Oi, bay. That was one of them demon sneezes. Shoo. All right, I'm good. Oh, goodness. Um, okay. Chop down every tree in this bitch. Pluck every flower. Chop every tree in this motherfucker. It's that simple. Folks, it's just that simple. Nothing more to it. Nothing more to it. Hopefully I have enough axe power, but we'll see. Um, yep. I think we should start with plucking every flower, and then we'll work on every tree. Pluck every flower first. I think this island does not have... Oh no, it does have a good bit of second and third level. Not a lot of third level, but a lot of second level. Okay. I think that was like part of the reason why I chose this one. I got my peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. Ooh, yummy. I'd say that that shit is like scrumptious even. Have a good day, Kuba. Hopefully you'll succeed. Well, we're not going to finish it today, but if we could get to the end of the stream without having failed yet, then I would consider that a success. I would absolutely consider that a success. It's so yummy in my tummy. Yeah, there you go. You got to hydrate after sneezing? Why? Did I lose like a lot of liquid doing that? I guess you do like expel a lot of saliva and boogers when you do that, don't you? I guess. Maybe you're right. You kind of got a point. You're valid. Hey, it's the heart pond. I spit in it. Do you guys ever do that? Where you're like really high up? Like you're like looking out the balcony of like your hotel room and you just... I'm not the only one, right? Zelda reference? What do you mean? What did Link spit in the pond? How many attempts do you think you'll need to complete this challenge? I don't know. Could be this one. Could be never. No? What do you mean, no? Come on now. No, I'm not an absolute menace. Dude, I'm not saying you spit on somebody. I'm just saying you, like, are in, like, a balcony. And you just, like, off the edge to see how long it takes to, like, get to the ground. It's really like a physics test more than anything. I'm trying to educate myself. You should be a voice actor, but just for spit sounds in every game and show. Well, dude, like, that's kind of like the modern-day Wilhelm scream. Like, nobody really knows who did it, but, like, everyone uses it always, and so, like... I don't know, maybe I could be like the Wilhelm Scream guy, but for people who spit. No, don't... What are you doing? I... Okay. I guess I'm silly. I guess I'm a real silly Billy. I don't know why I did that. Keep the ladder out, actually. Keep the ladder out. You want to keep the net out in case there's a tarantula. Very specific Foley artist. Yeah. Like, I could, like, just be known for, like, the spitting sound effect and nothing else. Just like the Wilhelm Scream guy. I don't think he ever, like, starred in any movies or TV shows. I mean, it was recorded in, like, 1939. And I saw a YouTube video that was, like, the actual full, um, like, recording of the Wilhelm Scream. You could hear, like, the director being like, Okay, we need a scream. And then the guy screams. He's like, ah... And then he's like, no, more realistic, more dramatic. And then he's like, ah! And then he's like, no, no, a little bit more. And then he went like, ah! You know, like the Wilhelm scream. That's how the Wilhelm scream was born. Fascinating. I felt like I was watching a piece of history. Is me, Owl. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good, Owl. If you line the edges of rivers with items, would that stop bugs from jumping in the river? No, I think they'd just jump over them. I mean, we've seen plenty of earth-boring dung beetles, like, crawling through flowers and shit, so I don't think that would stop them. What version of Minecraft did you stream last? I know 1.14 was uploaded. I was wondering how much whiplash I would get if you stream it again soon. I only got up to 1.16, which is... In the next video on the series, I'm going to do 1.15 and 1.16 in the same video. So, it's actually kind of a miracle, after almost a year and a half... 
I might finally get caught up on the Minecraft series with just one more video. I'll be completely caught up after one more video, and then we can start streaming it again and actually making progress. Good luck on getting netherite. I just said I all Never mind. I've already done it. I've already completed it. I've already got the netherite. I'm done. I'm done with 1.16. I'm on to 1.17, which I think has some, like, real doozies, so I'm not necessarily looking forward to doing it. Are you going to do the museum again? Yeah, the museum was a lot of work. I have to see what I want to do with that, but... Yeah, we'll see. We might. He's almost to 1.20. Yeah. I'm almost caught up to, like, the actual modern-day versions. How many bugs have you caught so far out of 80? Um... 27. It's actually not bad, I feel like, for this point. Not bad. What's your favorite flower in this game? Um... I'm a big lilies bitch, you know? You feel? I like hyacinths, I like lilies. I think I'm a big lilies bitch, though. More than anything else, big lilies guy. You play Pokemon. What's that? Alright, I think that's all. Every, everything on the second layer taken care of? Yeah, I think so, right? Let me check real quick. One little spot. Check real quick. Will you play more Stardew? What's that? I miss the violets? Dude, yes, the violets. Even though I didn't really like them in New Leaf, I'm also like, why would you take them out, you know? I thought they were kind of ugo in New Leaf, TBH. But now that they're gone, I'm kind of like, yeah, I miss them, you know? It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all or something like that. Fav fruit? Is this 20 questions? I used to hate Cosmos because the way they looked in AC and L. I, I'm not huge on Cosmos, TBH. You want my hot take? I'm not huge on them. Oh, I already got all the flowers up here too? Wow, look at me go. That's kind of sad, I don't remember that. It only happened like two minutes ago. Yeesh. Alright, so I only need to get the third level area to my right. Okay. I miss the carnations too, and I miss the fact that you can only get them on Mother's Day and Father's Day. You get a, I think you'd get a red one on Mother's Day and a white one on Father's Day, and then that would be the only way. You'd have to wait an entire like year to get them if you started the save file at the wrong time. You could time travel, of course, or get them from others, but still. I kind of miss that. They felt so rare and exclusive, and then you could breed them into different colors as well. So, like, pink carnations were, like, arguably the rarest flower in the game. I mean, blue roses exist, but, you know, at least roses were always available to you to make them. Yeah, and if you're an orphan, fuck you. No carnations for you, dumbass. Should have had parents' forehead. Alright, all the flowers are plucked. Now we gotta get all the trees down. Daisy Supremacy. Has there ever been daisies in Animal Crossing? Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Am I thick? I love when the British say thick for, like, stupid. Are you thick, boy? Alright, of course we gotta shake the trees before I cut them down because they kind of bees or spoiters or bagworms. Which I don't think I've gotten a bagworm yet. Justice for carnations, reduce them to cheesy decor item. Yeah, that's true. You can get them for like... Yeah, that's right. I think there is still carnations for Mother's and Father's Day, but it's a Nook Mile shopping thing instead of like actual carnations that you can plant. Really lame. What's up, Ruby Dexter? You reminded me that I watched Dexter's Lab yesterday. They're fucking airing like old cartoons on Cartoon Network. It's fucking awesome. I watched some Dexter's Lab yesterday. I don't have to dig them up, but, like, I sort of feel like I should. No, I guess not, because we're, like, never gonna come back up here to, like, where we might scare something away on a log or on a tree stump. I, we don't need to. Nah, save your shovel durability. 
Do you need stump? I, I do need stump spawning bugs, but I have stumps on like my main area around where my house is. So if I need them, I'll, I won't come up here for them. It'd be okay to dig them up. It's just like, it's maybe not worth my time or my shovel durability to do so. Y'all feel? How many switches do you have? Just two. I have one for having my main island that I've had since the game came out, and then I got this one for challenges and stuff. Because it sucks that you need a whole nother switch with which to have a second island, but uh, woe is me, I guess. Yeah, it's worth it. 200 bucks, 300 bucks for another Animal Crossing island? Yeah, totally. I mean, for me, it literally is worth it because it's my job, but like, it does kind of stink for people who don't make it their job. It's not a spicy switch either. It's it's not it's not I don't have a modded switch. Why is hydrate 2500? Do you want water diagonal? Dude, drink water. Calm down. I uh, I'm already getting rid of the hydrate redemption. 2500 is like not a whole lot of channel points and it doesn't stop people from using it, see? So and trust me when I say, I have autonomy. I'm not a sim. So, like, if I need to drink some water, I will not anxiously await my overlords in the Twitch chat to, like, do it for me. I will just take a sip of water. I will not have the little voices in my head tell me drinking water, and that's the only thing making me drink water. Relax, LMAO? Are you telling me to relax? Are you fucking telling me to relax? You relax. I'm chill. I'm calm. Fuck you mean. I'm calm. Pretty sure chat wants to fucking water poison you with how much they hydrate. Yeah, they do. You're right. But you need to calm down with swear words. Like, actually. Like, actually calm down. I know we're all joking. Like, haha. But, like, I, like settle down. Like, for real, settle down. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm really stressed out right now. It's just a really stressful time to be me, having to like navigate my island while making sure that I don't scare a single fucking bug away. It's just really getting to me right now. See? That could have got me. That could have fucking yoinked me. Is that new? Oh no, I have gotten a bagworm. Okay. Well, bagworm and spider. Both done, so I don't have to worry about those. Okay, that's two bees. If we shake five bees, then we'll know that there are no more bees. So, kind of help me keep track. That's two. I guess I can count the hives I have in my pockets, right? The Dark Souls permadeath of Animal Crossing. This is sort of the Dark Souls of Animal Crossing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like, if I wanted to make the game as hard as Dark Souls, I found a way to do it. Although I think Dark Souls is still probably harder. But still... I've definitely been, like, more... Str I've definitely never been more stressed playing Animal Crossing than doing this challenge. It's not really supposed to be a game where you take it, like, play it in the most stressful manner possible. But if there's a way to do it, I found it, by golly. Although I think... I don't know. I, I wanted to do this challenge for fish, too. And I tried doing it, catching all fish without trash. But I found an easy way to exploit it with bait. And so I don't think it would be very interesting. But there is, like, doing this with fish and without scaring them away. But I'm also like, that's fucked. Like, that is fucked, dude. Because, dude, imagine if I'm on, like, 75 fish and how, like, nervous I am. Imagine how nervous I am when I'm on, like, fish 75. Dude, I don't think I can do that because I will definitely fuck it up just due to, like, my nerves. I'll fuck it up just due to my nerves. I'm like, I don't think I can do that. My nerves would, like, I, I don't think, like, I don't, I think that that one is, like, literally not possible because I would, like, fuck that up. I would get in my own head so easily. I got the jumpy thumb, dude. I'm pretty bad at fishing without the stress of, like, knowing that I got, like, a fucking challenge on the line. Alright, so we've shaken every tree. Okay. Alright, we're good. Still, like, don't rapid fire the axe, though, because it could still be a bagworm. That'd be kind of funny to watch. Yeah, it'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? You guys aren't stressed. 
You guys are watching this and you're like, I don't see what he's so stressed about. Yeah, because you're not doing it. You think it's funny. It's not funny. Be in my position right now where you... Oh, I forgot a flower as well. What a dumbass. Be in my position right now where I'm fucking like overthinking everything that I'm doing. And it's not very fun. It's not very fun. Everything's funny when you're not doing it. Let's make sure to capture the controller breaking on camera. No, I'm not one of the, Okay. I hope that you guys wouldn't think that I'm one of those people that would, like, break a controller or, like, punch a hole in my wall if I don't do something right in a video game. I'm not, like... Okay, I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. Please don't think of me like that. I'm not, like, a... Break my controller because I'm so mad in a game or like punch a hole in my wall or like slam my fucking desk. Dude, I am not that kind of person, all right? I will like, I will be like, rats, and I'll like maybe say a couple swear words, but I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not five mentally or physically. I might say like fiddlesticks or rats or dag nabbit. But I will not break my controller. I mean, fuck, I've already failed three times and I haven't broken my controller, so... I think I'm doing okay, right? I think I'm doing alright. Hey, dag nab it. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't get it. Uh, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sure it was really funny, uh, but I don't get it. Oh, great heavens. Fiddle dee dee. That will require a tetanus shot. There will be that long, tense silence. I'm a guy where if I get mad, I'm just quiet. Hey, short stacko. Thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. If I'm mad, guys, I'm quiet. I'm like, oh, look at him go! Big man! Yo! Look at him go! You go, big fella! Holy shit! Damn. Imagine the strength. That'd be like equivalent to us pushing like a fucking boulder. That's insane. Um, 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 yeah. No, dumb shit. If I'm mad, I'm quiet. I, like, just sit there and I, like, fester and stew. I just, like... I just, like... And I, like, I, like grip my teeth. I'm, like... And I'm just, like, okay, I'm not, like, I don't... You wouldn't probably be able to tell just by looking at me that I'm mad. But I'm mad. If I'm, like, quiet, I'm mad. I don't, I don't really, like, express my anger in, like, physical movements, but if I'm mad, I'm just, like, shaking my head. I'm SMHing IRL. Faster stew and go purple. I don't get purple, right? Do I get purple when I'm mad? I don't think so. I don't think I get purple. Why he orple? Yeah, enjoy your emotes. Oh, you get real quiet when you're mad, huh? Start ignoring the people around you? Did that, like, hit a little close to home, buddy? We're gonna party till- We're gonna party till we're purple! Yeah, I love being purple! Alright, all these are cut down. I just need the... Top... I need to cross the river on the second layer. Okay, got it. And then we can go August 9 a.m. without having to do this then. I gotta shake all the trees, though. I haven't shooken the trees yet. I wish we could play Bingo with Snowman, Dad. That's one of the changes. I just don't know why they didn't bring that back. I kind of along with the violets that I was talking about earlier. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you include the violets? Why wouldn't you include the snow families? Is it really that hard to have brought those back? Does it not fit the vibe of the game? I wouldn't agree. I think it does. I don't see why it wouldn't anyway. I have a lost item. I don't really care. 
Boing, 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 boing. You should work for Nintendo. You know, you joke. But if I was like an advisor to the next Animal Crossing game, like, and I'm not kidding when I say this, if I was like an advisor to the next Animal Crossing game, I actually think I could like raise some good points. I think I could. I know Animal Crossing. If they like hired me on as like an advisor only, I could do a good job. I, I would actually, I think I'm pretty in tune with like what people want in Animal Crossing. I don't, I can't make games. I can't design models. I can't do anything. I'm a functionally, like, worthless person. I'm, I'm literally just the ideas guy. I'm literally just the ideas guy. But, like, I think I'd be a pretty good one. I think I'd be a pretty good one, you know? But, like, I don't think that they would want me. I think they have enough ideas people there to where just some guy wouldn't really appeal to them a whole lot. Drink all your water. I'm not going to do that for one bit, dude. Thanks for the bit, though. But corporate don't listen to fans. No, I, this is all entirely a hypothetical. They would never hire me, of course. But if they did, if I found myself in that role one day, I would, I think, do a pretty good job. I think I, I could tell people, like, this is what people like in an Animal Crossing game. This is what people like in an Animal Crossing game. You should bring back the snow people, bring back the violets, Make it so that Nook's Cranny has more than one upgrade. And then, boom. Six-figure a year paycheck. Easy. Easy. What about for three bits? Dude, if you're giving me money to get me to drink water, you know I have a channel point redemption for it. Uh, I do have another axe. Look at me. Thinking ahead. Five bucks? Yeah, maybe. Five hundred bits? We can start talking. Give the villagers funny personalities today. Yeah, but that's like, that's so shallow for an advisor to say that. Because you understand how many lines of dialogue that there is in this game. For being a game that many people consider to have like lacking dialogue, there's probably still like tens of thousands of lines of dialogue. It's insane. Not to mention every line of dialogue that you do write has to go through a translator to localize it to all the different languages that they support. Which, if you go into the Switch settings, is like, probably 30. So, it's re it'd be really rich of an advisor to be like, Hmm, I think you guys should add more dialogue. And then all the people who write dialogue just roll their eyes, because they're like, this guy doesn't even know how much fucking effort that takes. That's why people don't respect advisor roles, slash ideas guys, because they don't understand most of the time the effort that goes into all this shit. What's up, Gigi? How are you doing? A thousand bits or nothing? Don't devalue yourself, big man. All right, thousand bits, and I'll drink water on command for you. Ten bucks. Slip a fat ten in my pocket. Yeah, I'll drink some water for you. Sure. I'll do a lot of things for ten bucks, but I won't do that. Yeah, you're still on. It's on my lunch now. Yeah. How's your day at work going? Alright, we're good. Every tree except those in my grove is cut down, correct? Every tree except that that is in my grove is cut down. Without scaring away a bug while doing so. Okie dokie. So now we'll go September. I think not, sir. Oh, is there a tree somewhere? That's what she said. <laughs> August at, on a Sunday, at 9 a.m. 8? What's a Sunday in August 2024? Somebody tell me. What's a Sunday in August in 2024? Give me the four Sundays in August 2024. Use your fucking Windows calendars. I guess I could, but like... I already kind of, like, outsourced the job to you guys. I'd kind of feel bad, because some of you are probably working on it right now, just for me to be like, oh, I found it, never mind. Kind of, like, wasted your effort a little bit. Oh, How's the bug finding going? It's going pretty good. 
4, 12, 18, 25. Okay, let's go 25. And we're still in the same year, so we time traveled backwards so that all those flowers that I picked didn't regrow. Okay, goody. Oh, goody. Oh, it'd be, yeah, it'd be 4, 11, 18, 25. Well, good thing I didn't choose the 12th then. Okie dokie. We're going to buy a few stacks of turnips. Split the stacks. Drop them spread out. Okay. Upgrade nets, water flowers. We don't need to water flowers anymore. Okay. Get the plots and place them over trees. I've already put down the plots. Chop every tree except grove. All right, we're already... We're, we're, we're ahead of schedule here. We're fucking ahead of schedule. I sort of did things out of order, but... Kind of ahead of schedule here. Okay. And then by the time I'm done with this time frame, I should have... I have a list of bugs written down that I should have at this point. Oh, you know what I'm going to need? And I didn't consider this. I'm going to need a white flower for an orchid manis. I don't know if I have a white flower sitting around. I mean, that'd be fine if we're at the end of the challenge. And Whoa. Okay, dragonfly. Is that a banded dragonfly? I think it's just a darner dragonfly. I mean, whatever. You can't get scared away. All right, we're Daisy. Can I get a peacock? I don't think I can get a peacock butterfly right now. Dude, he's whipping around. He sure looks like a banded dragonfly. I would love to get that if that was the case. Got a mantis. Okay. Your little skirt is so cute! Yeah, I got that as a reward for, um... I think that is a banded dragonfly. It is! I really want that. I really want that. To get one of those basically without even trying would be great. I mean, if I don't, I don't. No big deal. I got a great purple emperor, which is pretty good. Peacock is so immature. Yeah, it's kind of funny, though. No bugs on that. Like, it's hard to chase it down, because usually you'll, like, chase them things down. I can't really chase nothing, so I can't sprint. Well, I can, but I shouldn't. I'm not even fucking with that, because that's a fucking walking leaf right next to a fucking... I'm not even messing with that. I don't need either of those, so, like, I ain't messing with that. Got Daisy May getting a little bit too close to this, I think, Mayama stag. Lyman, I swear to God. Then again, if Lyman scares it away, it's not me scaring it away. So, I think I would count it as okay. Alright, good. I do need a brown cicada as well. This is where it gets fucking stressful. Oh, it's a sauce stag, by the way. <laughs> I knew that. Okay. This is where it gets fucking stressful, because this is where, like, a shit ton of bugs are available. So, you have a plethora of bugs around you that you can scare away. Say peacock and no one bats an eye. You say poopcock and everyone loses their mind. There's another brown cicada. Oh no, that's the evening cicada again. I already got a drone beetle. A robust cicada I do need. Also, what's up Daisy? Oh, a giant cicada as well. Holy shit. Wait, I need to clear out inventory. I don't have enough inventory. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I just told a kid to shut up. Does releasing a bug potentially scare other bugs? Um, does it potentially scare other bugs? It might, actually. I should be a little careful. Maybe. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. But, you know, now that you mention it, I suppose it is, like, kind of possible. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I do want to buy turnips. Uh, now that you mention it, I maybe will be, like, a little bit careful with it, but we'll see. This is fucking- this is fucked. This is fucked. Like, I hear bugs in, like, all of my fucking ears right now. Okay, well, we bought turnips. I need that robust cicada, I need this giant cicada, and then we don't need to mess with anything else. Now I'm stressed, too. Are you guys kind of feeling, like, why this is so fucked up? Because, like, I just hear bugs all around me. Good. I need that one up there. Cicada season sucks? Kind of. I don't get cicadas in real life. At least not very many. Do you guys live in one of those places where, like, you get, like cicada broods that are like on schedule like every 17 years this brood emerges like right where you live i like them in real life i do hear them occasionally but i don't think i live where like the broods are nah i mean 
What is that one cicada I hear? I don't know. I'm gonna sell these, just clear them out my inventory. The shells scare the shit out of me. Dude, I had like pick the shells off the side of the tree when I was like, this is like in high school. I wasn't gonna say like a kid. You are a kid in high school, but like, you know, I would like pick the shells off the trees and eat them. I'm just kidding. I didn't eat them. That's so fucking different. I, I don't even know why I joked about that. I didn't fucking eat them. I did not eat the shells. I would just like pick them off the tree. I did not eat them. I don't know why I said that. I do not eat cicada shells. Oh, that's so gross. Why would I even joke about that? All right. Drop that. Oh, yummy. I mean, they're probably good protein. Probably pretty good protein. Can't shit on that. Can't shit on that. Eh. Okay, I'm kind of glad to be away from the trees. I feel like that's much better. Drop one turnip over there. Drop another turnip on, like, the opposite side of this shit. Like... Sure, right here. Okay. You keep emphasizing how much you didn't eat them, and it makes me think that you ate them. Dude, I would not eat a bug. Unless it was, like, culturally appropriate. Like, if some people who eat bugs, like, as part of, like, their culture and their diet, like, if I went to one of their, like, places, and they said, here, sir, here's a toasted grasshopper, I would be rude to not eat the bug. That's pretty much the only instance in which I would eat a bug, though. That's pretty much the only instance in which I would, like, eat a bug. Okay. Let me check the list of bugs that I have. And compare them to the list of bugs that I need. I need a white flower, but we'll worry about that eventually. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. That and the spiders in your sleep. Okay, that's true. You do eat... Oh, shit, I need that. You do eat, like... What do they say? You eat, like, 11 spiders in your sleep a year? Why are you going so fast, dude? Calm down. Chill. You do eat, like, 11 bugs in your sleep a year. But, like, you can't really control that. I don't really consider that me eating bugs. Because it wasn't really the act of, like, me eating the bug. You know what I mean? Okay, I did need a grasshopper. I wasn't sure. I need that stink bug that I saw on the flower back here. Not that one, but down here. Yeah, you eat like 11 bugs a year, so I guess I've eaten those. But that's, you know... I would That wasn't like a conscious effort on my part, you know what I mean? Okay, good. Pretty sure that's a myth? Nah, that's real. You eat... I, I like... It's, it's real. And you guys who are saying it's a myth are trying to deny the fact that you've eaten 11 spiders this year. It's the 30th of December for me. So if you haven't, if you're like on 10, you could expect that when you go to sleep tonight, you're probably going to get your 11th because it's 11. It's a flat number. Like that's how many bugs you eat a year. I need a fucking diving beetle, not a pond skater. I've seen like 15 pond skaters, no diving beetles. You was out here munching spiders? Well, you don't munch them. They just crawl down your throat. Have I caught a common blue bottle? Huh. I have not. Alright, well, that's good then. Oh, moth, long locust, migratory locust, rice grasshopper I haven't gotten. Kind of don't know how. They're not very rare. I kind of got to urinate. But, like, I don't want to be outside while I do so. I probably have to, like, go inside some building. Which I... Y'all's favorite music in this game between... Oh, hi. I need you. Y'all's favorite music in this game between uh, Museum Tent, Resonant Services Tent, or... That's your two options. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like better? By the way, this is now... Um, just to add to the stress, this is now our best attempt. I think that's our rice grasshopper. This is our best attempt. Fuck you. Fuck you. Calm down. Stop. Stop! Alright, at least I, like, got him away from the water a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with you. Dude, if you go into that pond, I will literally... 
freaking Suicune myself. Thank you, Jesus. I just Googled it, you do not eat bugs in your sleep. Yeah, that's a bunch of people on Google trying to reassure themselves of the same thing. But it's true, it's a proven scientific fact. You eat bugs in your sleep. You realize you have like 100,000 bugs in your eyebrows right now? And you think you don't eat any in your sleep? You're crazy. You're crazy. Museum? Museum tent on top? Alright, let's go to the museum tent then. While I urinate. I'm not messing with you. I'm not messing with you. Run. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm uh take a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Hi, I'm SpongeBob. Who said that? All right. Mm. Focus. Oh, my little cheeks. <sighs> Let's go over bugs that we have versus bugs that we need. How is your piss? Um, gratifying. Common blue bottle, or common butterfly, yellow butterfly, tiger butterfly, blue bottle. Yep. Moth. Yep. Long locust. Yep. Migratory rice grasshopper, mantis. No orchid mantis, so we will put a dot next to that one. Brown, robust walker and giant cicada. Yep, 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 yep. Stink bug, drone, beetle. Yes, yes. Saw and myomastag. No myoma yet. We can get that. Walking leaf. Yes. Bagworm. Yes. Cricket. Bell cricket. Yes, yes. Right? Cricket and bell cricket? Where would they be? Yeah, they're over here. Yeah, yeah. Cricket and bell cricket. Wasp. Damselfly. Yes, yes. Firefly. Yes. Pond skater. Yes. Diving beetle. No. Violin beetle. No. Citrus longhorn beetle, yes. Dung beetle, yes. Earth boring dung beetle, yes. Snail, yes. Pill bug, centipede, yes, yes. And spider. The only thing we need before I think we're good to move on is an orchid manis, which I can get later because I don't have a white flower sitting around right now. Um, a diving beetle. A diving beetle. And a violin beetle. All of those I think I can get right now. And a myama stag. Okay. Once we get all those, we're good to move on. Okay. Okay. I had an Apple Watch for Christmas, and watching my heart rate jump from 84 to 150 because I stood up and walked to my bathroom is so wild. P-O-T-S is so wild. Inform the ignorant amongst us. Uh, me. What is P-O-T-S? Or POTS? It's kind of dastardly it shares the name with the dreaded drug, but, you know. What's y'all's resting heart rate? Do you guys know it? I think I got mine down to, like, the 50s now. Ever since I lost, like, 20 pounds. <clears throat> Can you guys tell, like, I'm, like, more in shape than I was, like, earlier this year? I didn't even try. I just got off my medication. It's kind of amazing. I got off my antidepressants and, like, shed 20 pounds like it was nothing. I literally did nothing to change my lifestyle. You'd be surprised. Is that a Mayama? I don't know. I don't know the difference. I think that might be another saw stag. It's pronounced pots, as in pots and pants. Okay, yes. What is it? Everyone's so smart telling me how to pronounce it. Nobody knows what it is. So when most people heart rate goes from 150 to 200 while running. Oh goodness. Yours does it when it's when you're sat down? Oh, that's crazy. That's wild actually. That's a saw, I think. Yeah. I'm getting better at telling saws and mayamas apart. Uh Mayama Dagnal. Haha, <laughs> he's a girl. Yeah, so what? I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to help. I'm a coward. 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 I, I gotta. I gotta leave because I can't scare away a bug until I see a myama. So I gotta like enter a building and come back out to like refresh the bug spawns.
I think Mayama stags are more red. I think saw stags are the red ones. I think Mayama stags are like darker. They're very hard to tell apart though. They're very hard. I had sinus tachy tachycardia four years ago and was in the hospital for two weeks. The heart rate of 170 sh sitting shit is fucking terrifying. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I hope I don't get that. I was blessed, born, and I'm not flexing. I'm not doing this with the intention of flexing. Blessed is the word I would use. That I wasn't born with, like, a severe condition. I don't know if that's something that you're born with, though, or if it's something that you develop. So maybe, like, knock on wood that I don't get it at some point. Daisy May, you're really pushing the buttons here. You're really pushing the buttons. So are you, Lyman. Now, I want to be very clear. If one of those two scares a bug away... That's not me scaring a bug away. I don't count it. But, like, I don't want them to be, like, close to a bug that I'm about to catch and then scare it away. It wouldn't fail the challenge, but it would be kind of annoying. Good night, stinky stinker. Oh, I forgot about this cutscene. These are the 12 bits. Postual orthotic tachycardia syndrome. It means... This is too many words. I see, though. I get the idea. Take some bits for your flex. Oh, thanks. I guess I did get kidney stones. So, but, you know, all things considered, I guess it could be worse. Could be worse. Oy vey. Let's go. Oh, wait. Actually, this gives me a good chance to maybe buy, buy a white flower to get a orchid mantis later on. Thanks for the 25 bits. Appreciate it. By the way, anywhere, anywhere above 140 is hospitalization zone, and those with pots can get up to 250. I don't think 140. Look, I'm no expert, but like, I feel like if I like ran a mile, mine would get like close to 140. White mums, yeah, those work. Sure, white mums. I feel like if I like ran a mile, I would get close to 140. Isn't that like where cardio zone starts? Like where you're like cardio, like cardio? I don't know, man. I used to know all this shit. Chat needs to get you more hydrated to prevent kidney stones. Dude, what if I told you I fucking drink so much water and I still got kidney stones, it's a way to prevent them, but ultimately, if it's written in your genetics that you're gonna get kidney stones, you're gonna get kidney stones, drink all the water you want, unfortunately. Ah. Maybe 140 resting, yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So stressed. Still need diving beetle, violin beetle. I still have a bunch of stumps around my yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen a violin beetle. Okay. Or a diving beetle for that matter, considering I make pond skaters I've seen. The temptation to just walk up to the tree and scare him away is so real. Like that's just instinctually what I want to do during these challenges, but I can't. I guess let's walk the river a little bit. Check for diving beetle. I love the fit. Thanks. Like in real life, right? <laughs> You're talking about real life, right? <laughs> Nothing. I think we're safe, like, on the beach. I think it's too early for hermit crabs to spawn. And, I mean, I guess, like, a locust or a grasshopper could be down there. See, case in point. But it's mostly safe on the beach, I think. If you restart... Is it restart if you scare any bug away, only if it's unintentional? Yeah, intentional, unintentional. Is If it's scaring a bug away, I have to restart from zero. And the idea of having to, like, reset... The thing is, is that, like, the actual, like bug catching is not hard to do it's the getting the island to the point every single attempt where you have it like optimized for bug spawning as i have it now 
is really fucking annoying to have to do every single time you reset. That's the annoying part. I think that's a Mayama. No, I think that's a Saw. I think that's the third Saw Stag. Alright, that's really cool. That's the fucking worst part about it. It's gonna be the opposite of the efficient challenge. You're gonna catch all bugs with the most catches possible. Yeah, I suppose. In a way. I think that's a saw. Yeah, it is. God damn it, man. Fuck my butt. Let's enter and exit a building again. It's like every flower patch you have to just daintily walk by. Run. E fish in sea. Ahaha, <laughs> it's not like I made that joke in the video like five times. Is it scaring any bug or bugs you haven't caught? Any bug. Any bug. I have caught pretty much every bug that you see me walk walking by very slowly. I've caught uh, pretty much every one of those. I'm wanting some new ones to spawn, which is why I'm ignoring those and hoping that the ones that I need spawn, spawn. And it's like, I could catch everything, but first of all, if you catch something and, like, fuck it up, which is possible, then, of course, you lose. You're wasting your net durability if you catch a bug that you don't need. Which is kind of annoying, but not necessarily losing. Show us your real life fit. I did earlier. I did earlier, and then I, like, kicked my chair out of the way, and I fucking popped the spring out of my chair. And this entire stream, I've had anxiety that my fucking chair is going to collapse underneath my asshole. Because I popped that spring out of my chair when I, like, kicked it out of the way. I wasn't here for that, though. Oh, so I guess I just dictate the stream around what you want me to do because you weren't here for the first few hours. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, Madame President. I don't need that. Excuses. Look, I'll tell you what. If I get to the... If I get a Mayama Stag in the next five minutes, I'll give you guys a fit check. How about that? Next five minutes, I get a Mayama Stag. I'll give you guys a fit check. Sound good? Not even a hard bug, really. I'm, I'm giving you guys a pretty gracious opportunity with which to get a fit check here. But it's just fucking cicadas and drone beetles and, like, fucking nothing. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, get away from the fucking tree, man! Seriously, you're way too close! That's a Mayama. I know for a fact it is. Dude, you are fucking way too close to that tree. Alright, well, there's your fit check. Literally sitting on the tree. Isn't that your job? You guys really have a fucked up, like, view of what my job is. You guys really do think that, like, I'm just here for you guys, don't you? Alright, well, there's a Mayama stag. Alright, I, I made a promise. I will follow through. I just have to get to a safe place. I just have to get to a safe place. Okay. It's, it's literally like it's nothing. It's just, I'm a guy. I'm wearing, like, guy things. Fit goes hard. Bro, I'd be looking like a fucking... I'd be looking like a fucking Zweigel's hot dog. Ain't nothing special. Ain't nothing. Ain't no thang. Ain't no thang. Alright. What do we need? Got my armor. Violin and Diving Beetle. Oh, and a Banded Dragonfly, if I ever see one. I got a Darner, so I don't need you. But a Banded Dragonfly right now would be very nice. You can't scare away Dragonflies. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Someone sneezed. Oh, bless you. Bless you, honey buns. <clears throat> Is that a Banded? No. I mean, if you're going to waltz right up in front of me, sure. 
I'm wearing guy stuff. Sounds like something three raccoons disguised in a trench coat would say. Yeah, but checkmate, liberals. I'm not in a trench coat, all right? In fact, I pride myself in having never worn two things. Okay? No, actually, wrong. I have worn a fedora. Nope, that is wrong. I was going to say, I pride myself in not having worn two things in my life. A fedora and a trench coat. Trench coat's true. Never worn a trench coat. Have worn a fedora. I'm sorry to say, I have worn a fedora. I My boy would bring his fedora to class. Like, in, like, 2009. And I thought it was, like, the fucking coolest thing ever, dude. I was like, dude, that's a fucking... What is that? He says it's fedora. In reality, it was a trilby. But whatever. I thought it was the coolest thing. I was like, dude, can I try it? And he said, yeah. Cancelled instantly? Oh, I have many more cancelable traits about me, okay? I, um... Man, another pawn skater, huh? I, um... Retreat to the sanctity of my house. I, um... What's cancel about me? Oh, I am just such a perfect human being. I don't think I could possibly think of anything that I could be cancelable about, to be honest with you. I'm really trying hard to think of something. I, um... Is that when you started using Reddit? No, I think I started using Reddit in, like, 2012. I think I started using Reddit in, like, 2012. What's cancelable about me? I'm just such a good boy! I am really just such a top bloke that I don't think I can find anything too dastardly about me that where I don't think you guys- I think you guys wouldn't want to cancel me. You have some takes? Yeah, but I'm trying to think of, like, anything that's, like, vaguely cancelable as far as, like, my opinions. No, I didn't eat cicada shells. That was a joke. Being a Redditor is a ca is a cancelable offense. Dude, no, dude, I don't use the- I don't- uh, No, dude, I, I just use it to, like, browse the news, man. I don't even use the account. I just have it because you need to, like, log in. Dude, dude, I don't even use the account, man. No, dude, I, I don't even use it. Like, really, like, I could delete it tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Dude, I just use it for, like, the fucking Germa subreddit. For being a cishet white man cancelled? Yeah, but, like, I'm a good boy. I'm a good cishet. I'm good. I'm nice. I treat people with respect. Um, okay. I do need that paper kite. Okay, catch the stink bug, because the paper kite can't get scared away. The stink bug can. The stink bug can. The paper kite cannot. So, I'd rather get this guy out of here. Goodbye. Reddit confuses the hell out of me. Ugly layout? Dude, it didn't always used to be ugly. It used to look like every, like, forum looked like back in, like, the late 2000s, early 2010s. And until... I still use the old Reddit layout before they changed it to the fuck ugly-ass new one a couple years ago at this point. And I'm just waiting on the day where they, you know, wipe out support for that and they make everyone use the new one. It's fucking ugly as shit. I hate it. It's ugly as hell. I miss the old Reddit. Layout, specifically. I don't miss many things about old Reddit, though. Old man teehee? Dude, if you think 27's an old man... You know, it's really funny, and I said this before and I'll say it again. I'm not old. People who think I'm old are just young and, like, not matured yet. If you think 27 is old, then you're, like, a kid, more so than I'm old. Do you guys know what I mean? You're more of a kid than I am an old man, if you think that 27's old. Is 30 old? No, 30 isn't old. Help. Too many bugs. Coping. No, it's actually true, though. Someone try could try to cancel you for your Animal Crossing community, your spoiled video? I would really like to see what's cancelable about that video. Other than, oh no, I disagree with his opinion. I'd argue you're not old until late 40s, early 50s. I mean, it really depends on the context. You're old in, like, professional sports if you're in, like, your 40s. But you're not old, like, objectively. Playing, like, professional sports into your 40s is pretty rare. At least with, like, physical sports. But... 
like if you looked at someone in their 40 like tom brady he's like what 46 47 i'm gonna guess like he was old when he was still playing football but he's not old you know it's all about the context of it all that's how canceling works. No, disagreeing with popular opinion equals bad. All right, you actually sound like you're like kind of like mad about the ideas. So before you start going on like tirades about how you got canceled for very sensible reasons, could we like put the brakes on a little bit? It sounds like you actually like uh, are like a little bit too passionate about that cause. Ugh, you can get canceled for everything these days. Like having an opinion that you disagree with. Hell yeah, that's cancel culture. Yeah, I got canceled for being racist. Oh, oh, you deserve that. What? I don't want to go down that line. So before I know anything more about you, why don't you just pump the brakes a little bit? Isn't like 40, 50, 60 like middle-aged? Yeah, middle-aged, not old-aged. Exactly. Oi. Thanks for the hydrate. Someone tried to pick a fight with me on that video? Yeah, that's why I don't want to make videos like that. Is because all it does is it just like, it either gets people to be like an echo chamber of agreement to where if somebody actually does have a valid point against the idea of the video, it gets drowned out by all the people who only watch the video because they support the idea and then like their idea is never heard or, you know, acknowledged. And then it turns like, angry oh okay and then it turns into like angry because like people i don't know it just turns into like a fucking like i don't know that's why i don't want to make videos like that i don't want like opinion pieces to be like my thing you know i did that as a one-off i said it was a one-off and i'm going to make sure that it was a one-off because i don't care to do something like that again it was just something that was particularly irking me at that time that i made it so i made it but i don't want to make it a thing you know what i mean Nothing annoys me more than people yapping about, oh, we can't say anything nowadays. Because you know that that person that says that has some, like, shit, like, terribly bigoted or whatever the fuck wrong with them opinions. You know when someone says, oh, you can't say nothing. Oh, you are way too close to the water there, Buster. You know that that person's got, like, very, like, very opinions that are very reasonable to, like, cancel them over, you know? I, you know that that person's got some, like, fucking fucked up opinions. And they're mad, rather. At, they're, they're not mad at, because they have the self-awareness to know what a piece of shit they are. Rather, they're mad at the world for not agreeing with them. You can just... It's always just one of those things you can tell about a person before you even, like, talk to them any further. You ever just, like, speak one sentence to a person and they speak a sentence back and you can just soul-read them? Like, it's maybe not good to, like, assume, like, you know, fill in the blanks about people before you get to know them better. But I also feel like it's sort of human nature to do that, you know? Where, like, I don't need to really know... <laughs> I can kind of tell, for example, like, what a person's political stance is when they say, Oh, you get cancelled for anything these days. You know what I mean? I can tell. I, I, I think I already got, like, a good idea of what you're like. Thanks for the two months, Hermo Krypha. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Bug. Is Dag an empath? Is Dag pergnant? Is Dag gregnant? Can I get a fucking diving beetle? For real, brah. For real. And a, um, while you're at it, a violin beetle. Ooh. Does violin beetle even spawn right now? Can someone check that for me? Jarvis, uh, can you check when a violin beetle spawns? Jarvis, unship my pants. Who just buzzed me? That was one of them phone buzzes where I got an important message. Am I gregnant? Jarvis? Yeah, he's like the, uh, it's the guy from, um, Star Trek, right? I don't know. Rents due? Hey, it's the 30th. It ain't the first. I love when the rent come out of my bank account, though. I love when the rent come out of the bank account. It makes me happy, because it's like, oh, goody. I get to live in my apartment for another month. I like it. It's sort of a nice feeling. Let's see.
Nookopedia. If you guys use the Animal Crossing fandom versus Nookopedia, I do genuinely think less of you. No, it doesn't spawn, because I'm in August. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we only need a diving beetle. Let's check if we can get a diving beetle right now, then. May to September. Yeah, we can get a diving beetle now. Hm, I just, just haven't seen one. Fandom wikis are wretched. Dude, I went on a fandom wiki without ad block one time. I thought I was going to fucking explode. I thought I was going to fucking explode. I wish... I, I really wish I wasn't... I really wish I wouldn't snort at the isn't that Star Trek bit every time. It's not a bit, man. I'm genuinely just stupid. I don't know. I think that every, like, space sci-fi thing is Star Wars or Star Trek, and I get them confused. Or there's also Stargate, and then, um... Um... Surely there's more star paraphernalia out there, right? Somehow it bypasses my ad block. These fucking websites are getting too good at bypassing ad block. It's stupid. <clears throat> at this point, I honestly thought you knew all that info by heart. No, no, you'd, you'd, be, you'd think, because of how many times I've caught every bug and fish in the game, that I'd memorize how all... Well, there's 80 bugs, 80 fish, 40 sea creatures. So that's like what? 300? No, that's like 200 things? No, I haven't memorized the spawning conditions of 200 things in this game. That would be a little ridiculous. Maybe there are some people who have. I'm not one of them. I have a good idea of, like, most of them, but not all of them. Like, I can tell you that most butterflies spawn in winter, or summer, <laughs> in the daytime, with the exception of, like, the emperor butterfly, which spawns at night in summer. And then the common butterfly can can spawn in the winter. You can probably take good guesses. Exactly. I could give you, like, a general idea. But I didn't know that a violin beetle doesn't spawn in August, as I just had to look up for myself. I did not know that. What's a profuse blipper? And I had to verify that a diving beetle does spawn right now. Because sometimes I'll be looking for something and it don't spawn. And I'm like starting to doubt myself whether it actually spawns or not. I should really be on the other side of the river while doing this, huh? It's a good idea. Good point. Less flowers and tree stumps. Fake a gamer. Okay, so if I asked you, what are the spawning conditions for a vampire squid without uh, googling it? Would you be able to tell me? And I know if you give me... See, this is a lose-lose scenario for you. You could say, I don't know. Or you could actually tell me it correctly, and I will never believe that you didn't Google it. So really, you're probably just better off not answering. <laughs> I sort of backed you into a verbal corner. I apologize. That wasn't very cool of me. No idea. Well, there you go. At least you're honest. Uh, a diving beetle up here. Oh, there's a fucking bug close to the river. You know what I can do? Can you save and continue? No, I really should know that. Why didn't they bring back that feature? Isn't Jarvis from Iron Man? Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. I think it's from, like, the MCU. I think you're right, actually. Dude, I just want to get the diving beetle and, like, log off. I just want to get the diving beetle and, like, ooh, okay. That wasn't necessary right now, but I'll definitely take it. What's up, Nelly Jasmine? How are you doing? Banded! Come here. <gasps> Ooh! Aw! Okay, I gotta, I gotta get him. He's gonna be such a pain in the ass. He's gonna be such a pain in the ass. Can he fly up the cliffs? <gasps> Ooh! Yes! Alright, that's huge. I'm sorry, I got way too excited there. That thing is so fucking difficult to catch without, like, chasing it down and, like, scaring away a shit ton of bugs while you do it. That thing is so fucking difficult to get. It has to, like, fly in front of you, as it just did. Um, I see red up there. Are those flowers that I didn't pick? Or are they flowers? Oh, no, they're flowers that I dropped. Okay, yeah, let's find them. You are making me nervous. Go to the cliff. 
You have to, like, herd bugs in this game away from sources of water. Dude, if you go into that fucking water, I will... I'll do something terrible to myself. How do we classify a bug being scared away? If it flies away, if it jumps in the water, if it just despawns for some reason other than, like... Like, you know what I mean. I think it's pretty obvious, right? And if any of that happened due to my influence, then it counts as being scared away. Like, if wasps sting me, they get away. If a <coughs> scorpion or tarantula stings me, it gets away. Like, I count those, too. But... I think that that's... I don't know. I feel like if there's, like, a situation that I haven't, like, verbally established, we'll have to, like, as a as a committee, decide whether or not it was uh, scared away or not. But I think most situations in which I will fail this challenge will be pretty obviously that I scared something away. As has happened three times now. But, like, you can't control... I mentioned this earlier. You can't control, like, bugs despawning. The game is doing that, like, at all times, basically. Is despawning and respawning bugs. You can't prevent that, so... But that's why I'm saying, like, it has to be, like, a... It has to be, like, a mistake on my part that made a bug go away and not be catchable anymore. For it to count as, I scared it away. And it seems as though the committee, that being chat, and me, seems to have come to a reasonable agreement on that. Alright, I'm gonna not pole vault back to my house. I'm gonna save and quit and go back to my house that way. Imagine trying this with fish. Yeah, I was thinking about that, and I was talking about it earlier, and I'm like, I can't imagine being on, like, 75 fish and having to deal with the nerves of having to catch those last five without fucking it up. This challenge would be a lot more of a nightmare if you had Joy-Con drift. Isn't, like, life just kind of more of a nightmare when you have a Joy-Con drift? Isn't the game just more annoying to play? Jumping in the water is brutal. Yeah, but that's kind of, like, why you try to, like, herd bugs. Like, you stand near the water so that you, like, herd bugs away from the water. I don't know. I haven't done it yet, but I think I'm doing an okay job. This is the furthest I've gotten by, like, a good bit now. So, if I lose this attempt, like, now, I'll be very upset. I, I might actually, like, cry. I'll be inconsolably upset. Like, I'll definitely, like, end stream. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna end stream here in a minute anyway. I'm just kind of waiting on getting the diving beetle. And then I might try to get a couple of bugs after that. Why does hermit crab count as bugs? I don't know, but it does. Because one of the times that I failed this challenge was when I scared away... The first attempt I did, I scared away a hermit crab. So... Yeah. It counts. Even if it's not a bug... It is a... It is classified as a bug in this game. How many bugs do you have left? In this challenge? Or in this attempt, rather? Still quite a few. If we go into our Nook Miles goal, is the bugs don't bug me. We're at 44, so we're over halfway. But, I mean... A lot of those bugs that I still have remaining are like the, the palm tree beetles. Which are going to be its own class of annoying. So, we still got a ways to go. Crustaceans are more closely related to insects than fish. Well, there you go. The Poindexter answer. Even though know, there's like crustaceans in the deep sea diving though, so I don't know. Whatever, it's all pedantic. Just... Oh, no. Oh, I didn't see you. But luckily you didn't... Luckily you decided not to go into the water. I actually genuinely didn't see that. But if it turns into another direction, does it count as a scare? If a bug without my influence jumps into the water, even though I think it's AI is programmed not to do that, if a bug through no fault of my own decides to jump into the water, that doesn't count. So if that's what you're talking about, then no, that wouldn't count, because I didn't do anything. It just did that. But if I, like, scare... If I, like, run next to a bug and that makes it jump into the water, yeah, that's my bad. It's extremely my bad. Dude. 
I need a fucking diving beetle. Not a pond skater. Do snowflakes and cherry blo- No, they're not bugs. Like, if something is in the Critterpedia, it is a bug. That is- it's a very, very easy to understand thing. A, a snowflake, a maple leaf, a cherry blossom is not in the Critterpedia. Very, very easy to define thing as a bug in this game. Dude, I might just like peace out, man. Honest to God, this is just ridiculous. Catch it later, right? right. But then again, I'd hate to get to like 78 of 80 and have a diving beetle be like one of the two things holding me up. And then I fucking fail then after doing all the good work with like palm tree bugs. But fuck it. I'm getting impatient. All right. Last bugs I need for today are the evening cicada, the dynastid beetle, the man face stink bug, the cicada shell, and the walking stick. And I'm going to time travel to 6 a.m., to get them. Let's go back a day. 6 a.m. to get them. Let's do it. I think it's in the game's code. It might count in terms of bug spawning. What did I say? What did I say? I said that if it's in the game's Critterpedia, I make them. I make the rules, okay? It's my challenge. I'm making the rules. So if I said something doesn't count, it doesn't count. And that should be the end of it right there. Because I said it. I'm the guy who made the challenge. All right? If you're going to poindexter me and try to tell me that because a maple leaf, a cherry blossom, and a snowflake can be caught with a net that makes it a bug, then I'm going to go outside. I'm going to pick up some snow off the ground, a leaf in my hand, and I'm going to say, look, guys, bugs. If it's in the Critterpedia, it's a bug. If it's not in the Critterpedia, it's not a bug. That's the end of the line. That's the, that's it. There's no more poindextering to be done. That's the line I drew. If you're trying to inject your own rules into the challenge, feel free to do it with your rules. Feel free to do it with your rules. I would very much encourage you to do so. Make this challenge 10 times harder than it already is because you're counting snowflakes, maple leaves, and cherry blossoms. Please, do so. Oh, I would highly encourage you to do so. That would be fun to watch. You know what? It would be so fun to watch you guys play Animal Crossing. It really would be. It really would be. It'd be so fun to watch you guys play Animal Crossing and tell you everything that you're doing wrong while you play this game. That would be so much fun. I would literally... Ne that would be the funnest thing I've done all year. Alright, I need a scarab beetle. I didn't wasn't planning on getting it now, but I'll definitely take it. This is also pretty rare, so like make sure you're not fucking it up. I think you can't actually see the reflection in the scarab beetle. It's kinda cool. Alright, scarab beetle. And then I see a dynasty beetle behind it. Damn, guess I won't watch. Alright. Dag said I triple dog dare you. I don't know, it's just fun. It's just fun to like, it would be fun to turn the tables a little bit, you know? That's all I'm saying. All right, got that. Need the evening cicada, which I'm surprised didn't spawn. You know, man face stink bug, which I didn't really look at my flowers to see if I had, but we might have one of those on there. No problem if we don't get that right now. We can always get it later. We'll see plenty of them. That's an evening cicada. That's not something I need. These people really go outside on the snow and say, Damn! Infestation! They're raking the leaves in the out and their yard, and they're like, Look at all these bugs! Stop. Good. Alright, let's go. Evening Cicada, Dynasty Beetle, man Face Stink Bug, Cicada Shell, and Walking Leaf. 
Walking leaves are really rare. Or not walking leaf. Sorry, walking stick. Walking sticks are really rare for some reason. So are cicada shells. They're like two bugs that I don't know why they are so fucking rare in this game. They're not worth a whole lot. So why are they so fucking rare? Man-based stink bug. Or violin beetle can maybe spawn. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, I might have to refresh. The problem is, is when I get to a Nook Miles Island, I won't have, like, a place that I can walk in and out of to refresh the bugs that are on there. I'm gonna have to, like, actually catch everything. Hey, I came back. Welcome back. I need walking stick and... Man face stink bug and cicada shell. No problem if I don't get them now, but I would like to. I would like to. Walking stick was my last bug. I had so much trouble finding it. I don't know why they are so rare, but they are. They were rare in New Leaf as well, I remember. Cicada shells were everywhere in New Leaf. Those are the ones I truly don't understand why they are as rare as they are. They're worth, like, fucking five bells when you sell them. They were everywhere in New Leaf. But in this game, they made them, like, fucking rare as hell. And then made them worth, like, nothing as well. Tiger Beetle I don't need, but that's very scary because they are very hard to spot when they're in, like, the grass like that. You have more patience than I do. I hate not running. Oh, I hate not running too. But unfortunately, I kind of have to. Eep. It is basically catch every bug in the game without sprinting. But, you know, it is more than that. You do actually have to, like, be pretty careful as well. All right, I got the walking stick. Great news. Um, Cicada shell. Man face stink bug. That's it. And then I think after that... Oh, another one. And I think after that, we can dig up all of our trees? Question mark? Might have to dig up... We don't we might be able to dig up all of our trees? I don't know. I probably won't do that today, though. I'll probably evaluate what I still need and then decide whether I need to after that. Really? No man face stink bug? Just a bunch of regular old stink bugs? They're not rare. Regular... Really? Okay. And you're doing this challenge in Breath of the Wild. I don't think I ever... You guys complete the compendium in Breath of the Wild? That was actually a challenge idea. When I... I guess you do Tears of the Kingdom now, right? That was actually a challenge idea I was thinking about when I was, like, playing Breath of the Wild every day. Was I was like, dude, I should complete the compendium in Breath of the Wild. I thought that might be a fun video idea, but... I never got around to it. I never, like, casually while playing ever, like, worked on the compendium. So I don't even know, like, how I would do it. But I'm sure I could find a way. I'm sure there's guides out there, right? Hey, there we go. Oh, man face stink bug. I started New Leaf. I couldn't figure out how to run for two weeks. And when I did, it was painful. You know, I clowned on that YouTube short that I tweeted about that got recommended to me on YouTube. That was, like tips and tricks that you might not know in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Press B to sprint. And I'm like, bro, who the fuck don't know how to press B to sprint? But I guess I have been playing Animal Crossing for the better part of 20 years. So maybe I am, you know, maybe I'm like the the weird one. Maybe like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it from a point of like, yeah, I mean, I've been playing the game for 20 years. I kind of have known that for a while that you can sprint. Maybe I got to give the benefit of the doubt to the people who may not have played the game as long as I have, you know? I literally didn't know for a long time. I guess more people... Ooh. Oh, I forgot my turnips rotted. Yeah. That was really close, actually. That was really close to scaring that away. Jesus. Oh, my God. I didn't... I don't realize how close I just came to losing that challenge. If I stepped, like, one step further, I think I would have scared him away. I forgot that my turnips spoiled. In fact, the ones in my inventory spoiled, and now I can't dig up my grove so easily. I'd have to pick orange oranges up off the ground. Well, no big deal, I guess. I do have a bunch. No big deal. Well, I guess I'll look for a fly now as well. I'm not doing that. I'm not taking the chance. 
Press B to run. Uh -huh. don't, don't fucking make a joke, dude. What the fuck are you doing? I fucking press B to run as a joke. Quit making jokes, man. This is not the time. It's not the fucking time. Orange? Yeah, like the little fruits on the ground. Yeah. Damn near four hours live. Yeah, like I really want to get to a point in the challenge where I'm like comfortable leaving off on and being able to pick it back up tomorrow. So that's kind of why I'm like... That's kind of like why I'm like trying to like get to a point of progress. That being to get the cicada shell. Because I want to be able to be like... Okay, I can pick this up tomorrow and like remember where I was at. But, I mean, if I don't, I don't. I guess it's no big deal. Oh, pardon me. It's no big deal if I don't. It's just like, I would really like to. You know what I mean? I guess I didn't get the diving beetle or the orchid manis, but... It's whatever. Please don't forget turnips are on the ground. Don't let them be the reason you lose. Well, I know now... I'm going to, like, try to be more careful now when I didn't. It would have been a handy reminder, like, five minutes ago when I nearly did scare something away. But I think the fear factor of almost scaring it away is enough to, like, remind me, oh, yeah, those exist. I, I should also check for flies, though, too, on them. And maybe drop this third one that I got somewhere, like, right cheer. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Even, like, walking at full speed, I'm like, that's too fast, that's too fast, you can't do that. I gotta, like, edge the controller. My cat has decided she likes to jump on the fridge. Oh, dude, every cat I've ever had loves to, like, get up on the very tippy top of the fridge and, like, look down on everyone. There we go. Every cat, and you know what? They can't be scared away. That's not incentive to, like, start running around like a goofball, but... They can't be scared away, cicada shells. Thank God. Only bug in this game... Well, no. Maybe only tree bug in this game that can't be scared away. That's probably true. Okie dokie. Hey, that's 100 bugs! So now every bug in the game can spawn as well. Which will be handy later on when we actually get to bugs that need 100 total catch requirement to spawn. She's sniffing my food right now. Oh, she likes to jump in the fridge. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just a chill. I mean, if you were covered in hair, you'd probably like cold places, too. Oh, and get this, I guess, as well. All right, cool. I think that that is where we will end off today. I am so happy to report that we went an entire stream without fucking failing. Oh, that's hilarious. Haha, <laughs> nice. Hey, we went a whole stream without uh, failing a challenge, though. So I would consider that a success. We are more than halfway done with the bugs in this attempt. And tomorrow, I mean, I wish I could tell you what we're going to do tomorrow. I got to, like, plan out what I have to do tomorrow. But we are doing good. Temp's going well. I'm going to pause the timer at 5.03.45 is when I'm going to pause the timer. I'm going to pause the timer at 5.03.50.00. I'm going to pause the timer at 5.03.55.00. I'm going to pause the timer at 504 flat. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, tell you what. We're going to pick up tomorrow's stream at 5 hours, 4 minutes, and 0 seconds. Really, really not feeling it today. Sorry. Looks like it's a, it's a no webcam stream for me today. We started the timer at 504.00 for today. And, yep, I think it's a... I think it's a no webcam. I think it's a no webcam kind of day. I gotta fix that. that. It was so dark. Why is my hair? And you're gonna know what I mean when I unhide the camera. Why is my hair so big today? Why is it so big? I like woke up and it's like, it's big. It's fucked. Why is it so big today? I got, like, insane volume today. Alright, well, whatever. It's no big deal, right? It's looking vol volumous. Yeah. No, I can't walk out of the tent 
and fucking scare away a jewel beetle because there's nothing even within the vicinity of the tent exit. Like, there's no stumps. There's no nothing. It real, it's fine. All right, hang on. I'm going to do something real quick. All right, so we don't want to be at this time, actually. We want to be at, like, noon in June because we want to get a peacock butterfly. We want to get a flea, and we want to get a fly. All of which I believe we can get right now. Uh, well, I know we can get them right now. It's just a matter of freaking doing it. Did I hear a fly? Ooh! I didn't hear a fly. I heard you. Did I already catch one of these? I know I did in a previous attempt, but that's been like a couple of days now. That's been like a couple of days now. So I honestly don't remember. Yeah, yeah, it's not attempt zero. Sorry, 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 YouTube. It's not attempt zero. I didn't change the attempt counter. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. Should be good. All right, yeah, that is my first scorpion. Cool. I couldn't remember if that was my first scorpion for this attempt since I've caught them previously, but cool. And uh, there you go. There wasn't a fly in that turnip. Okay, that's good news. Don't go out tonight, well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. So we want to go June <clears throat> in the daytime, any day, at noon. And we're going to get a fly, a flea, and a peacock butterfly. YouTube's going to be so confused, they'll be devastated. Maybe a little video editing magic, I can change that zero to four. Put your shoes on, son. You're going to get stung. Nah, I'm good. You ever do that, though, where you're barefoot outside and you get hit with a... You step on a bee? You ever do that before? I haven't. I had an ant that did that, though, and it sounded traumatic. It's probably like some shit where you'd step on it and you'd say, like, Yeah, whoa, 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 And you'd jump, like, 15 feet in the air. And then you'd, you'd land and your, like, foot would be all swollen bright red. Wait, it's raining. That's good for the flea. But, like, not good for the other two things that we need. I couldn't walk normally for weeks. I can imagine. Goodness. I crushed a bee in my flip-flop and it stung my foot. It was crazy. That doesn't sound fun. You probably said some shit like, Yowch! Yow! And you probably, like, did a big old, like, a big old, like, uh, what do you call that? Mushroom cloud underneath your butt. You sit 15 feet in the air and then landed. And your foot was all brightly swollen red, and you can like hear like the blood pumping through it. Yeah, I don't think I can be here. Like, at least I shouldn't if I want the peacock butterfly. Tom the cat ass scream. That's what I was going for. I hope it sounded good. All right, just gotta get like a not rainy day. Although maybe for the flea purposes, I could do a rainy day, but I don't know. I kind of want to worry about the flea after the fly and peacock butterfly, but if I happen to see one before that, we'll of course get it. I'm pretty sure my mom has stepped on a wasp barefoot. That's like why I don't go outside barefoot. Like, I, I used to love frolicking in the grass. I'm a big frolicker. Would you guys think that I'm a big frolicker? I am. A, I'm a big frolicker. I like to frolic. Does the stream not work? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> Stream work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope so. I hate bees. Dude, bees are good. Wasps are bastards. Bees are good, though. People say, like, oh, wasps, they are good. Like, no, we shouldn't eliminate wasps. No. But, like, people always say, like, if you eliminate, like, if you said, like, I wish mosquitoes didn't exist, it would have horrible, horrible implications for, like, you know, the ecosystem. But, I don't know, man. Would it really? I think we as animals would all adjust. You know? I think that the benefit would outweigh the negatives. You know what I mean? Alright, so we're looking for um, those four black lilies to spawn a peacock butterfly. Let's get a check to see where our villagers are so we can get like a relative idea of where we need to check them for fleas. And then, what else? What other, uh, is there any other butterflies I need right now? I mean, there's a lot of holes in these butterfly spaces here. I feel like there's some other butterflies I need as well. But I can't think of them off the top of my head. 
the malaria mosquitoes can go. Yeah, but then even then people are like, oh, but they feed the bats, then the bats are gonna die. And I'm like, I think the bats will just find something else, you know? All right, uh, where's my turnips then? Where are the, oh, I have both my villagers out today. Kind of huge, actually. Kind of huge. Um, where'd I leave my turnips at? I think I left one, like, all the way on the right side of the island here. Yeah, most likely, most of the time, it'll probably just have ants. But the downside is, I can't scare away those ants, so I'll either have to catch them or ignore them and hope that they despawn in favor of a fly. <laughs> Sniffle. Yeah, the stream is not working for me on mobile. It's not working for me either. Really? I'm on desktop and it's not loading. Really? Is it my issue? I'm not... I don't see nothing wrong on my end. Let me look at, like, Twitch status. I... It's, so, I mean... I mean, three people is not a coincidence. That must mean something's wrong. Even if, like, most other people is working just fine, then, but, like, three people's telling me something's wrong. Twitch support? Twitch support hasn't tweeted since December 15th. That's really good. Uh, status page. All systems operational. December 31st, 2023. No incidents reported. Well, maybe... Oh, I do need that. Uh, I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. I do need you. That's good. Um, I don't see any problems. Could be Apple Android thing. Yeah, I don't know. If you're having problems, you can't even hear me, but if, like, for some reason you can. So, like, one's on PC, one is on... I don't know, did I get banned? <laughs> did I get banned? I don't think I did, to be clear, but that'd be kind of funny. That's a paper kite butterfly I see way back there. I'm on Apple Mobile, and it works just fine. It seems weird, because, like, half the people having issues seem to be on desktop, half of them are on mobile. If it was just one thing, we could at least say, well, it's that, it's because you're on mobile. I don't know. Twitch status page, maybe it just hasn't updated yet, but it says that nothing's wrong. So, oh, I need a B as well. Twitch status page says nothing's wrong, so... Oh, and a ladybug as well. Alright, this is a little Ako taco here. I have to say, boys, can we find some separation here? And this is really awkward, because I gotta get that ladybug and that bee, but I feel like if I catch one or the other, it's gonna scare the other one away. So, this is what I would personally myself call an Ako Taco. Uh, well, the bee seems to, like, fly away, though. So, like, maybe if I can get it while it's, like, fly... Ah, uh, this is so stressful. This is so stressful. And now they're, like, right next to each other. And there's a peacock butterfly! All right, well, I think that that's the priority here. Um, just, there's too many fucking bugs here. Beautiful, excellent, wonderful. All right, got that. Um, there's still some problems here. Still got some problems here, but we got the peacock butterfly. So we can pick all the black flowers just to, like, eliminate the amount of bugs that are just here. Plans canceled because I got a rotten cold. Expired to send New York, New Year. I almost said New York Eve with Mildred and gang. Yeah, that's me. I'm Mildred. Hey, where'd the bee go? Is it gone? I didn't scare it. Maybe it just despawned? Oh, no, it's over there now. Or is that the same one? A different one? I have no idea. Either way, that allows me to get this. Got a ladybug. I think that's... Interesting. Where did that bee go? Is that really the same bee all the way over here now? I kind of guess so. Some people can see stream and some can't. That's the conclusion I'm coming to. Oh, and now uh, this one's got a fucking mantis and a fucking ladybug on it. But wait, he flew right into where I needed him to go. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, um... Well, that helps out a lot. That was like three bugs that are rather easy to catch that I didn't realize I hadn't catched yet. This is an orchid mantis. I can't get that because I don't have white flowers around because I'm stupid. Got a ladybug. Got a honeybee. Got the peacock butterfly. So I could get rid of those black flowers. Um, problem is, is that they're going to have something on them most likely. Yes, I'm in. Finally. I wonder what's going on. 
Y'all should, like, check Twitch support. The Twitch support, um, like, Twitter, and then... Nah, I can't catch those, because they're, like, right next to each other. I can't. I feel the flowers are too close to each other. Well, I needed them to be close to each other because I needed them to breed to get the black flowers. Maybe I should have, after I had gotten the black flowers, separated them. But that's something that, in hindsight... I mean, that's, that's classic hindsight is twenty twenty, right? I think I might need to, like... What the... That she just scared the shit out of me. I didn't realize she was sitting on a stump. I thought she just, like, stomped on the ground. Let me enter the museum and, like, try to despawn these bugs. There's a lot of bugs. Too many bugs around. It's scaring me, just like real life. Whew. Fucking Twitch isn't working properly and it's infuriating. Yeah, I know. It's like really infuriating for me too because, you know, it's sort of like, um, you know, it, it, it affects me. <laughs> it affects me too, I promise. Alright, no bugs on these flowers, so let's get rid of these black lilies. I can't because my inventory is full. That's a tiger beetle. We don't need that. Get Grasshopper out of here. He built like a J Electronica verse. I don't know. It seems like maybe like 80% of people's is fine, but like 20% can't access Twitch. So <laughs> still kind of sucks. Ah, Long Locust. It's fine. Check him for fleas. Check him PC. And then check. I should have a turnip. Just also that is way too fast to be running as the stumps. All right, right. And there's that. I mean, a fly is going to be annoying because we can despawn ants, but we can't scare them away, which would be way faster. Don't need a common blue bottle. You don't have a flea. I don't care about you. It's good, at least, that both of my villagers are out. Usually, it's only either one or the other. It's working now that I switched to 180p? Yeah, but now you can't see, like, me. Now you can't see my facial expressions. I'm going, like... And all you can see is just a bunch of frickin', like, white pasty squares. You can't see nothing 180p, but I guess you can at least hear me, right? Or 160p. I had issues for a minute, it fixed itself pretty quick. Huh, interesting. Um, okay. I wonder if we should, like, pick most of the flowers now. Or maybe just the black ones, I don't know. You look like you're streaming in 2006. Dude, what would, like, internet speeds looking like in 2006? Were you even able to stream? I don't think Twitch even was a thing until, like, 08. And it was Justin.tv. And I'm like, man, how the hell did people even stream back in 2008? You, how, who had, like, a good enough internet connection back in 2008 to even stream? Twitch is from 2008? I think if you go on... The, uh, if, I think if you look up the history of Twitch, I think it started in 2008 as Justin.tv. Because, I mean, I think the founder was named Justin Wong, I want to say his name was. And he would, like, stream his real life. And he would, of course, stream it to Justin.tv. And I, I guess eventually he must have opened it up to the general public with which to stream. And then that's what happened. I think he is nothing even associated with Twitch anymore, so, yeah. I remember watching spicy football streams on Justin TV. It was a big bootleg live stream uh, hosting platform. Yeah, usually for illegal sports streams. But now we got crackstream.xyz, and you have to close 15 ads uh, before you can actually watch the stream. And if you misclick one of the X's on those ads, fucking command prompt starts running on your computer. Fucking drops a zip bomb in your downloads folder. Oh boy. Or you could pay the ethical corporation, NFL.TV, like $150 a year to watch all you want. Except blackouts, because uh, we, we, don't, we don't want you watching your local games now, do we? Sportsurge.xyz. Yeah, whatever it is. It's fucking shady as shit. If you want to watch bootleg sports live streams, you got to go to... You got to you gotta do some shit. You got to sell your fucking soul, man. You got to sell your fucking soul. I'm happy I don't watch sports. So what you're saying is, I'm happy I'm a fucking nerd. Wow. All right. At least you admit it. A lot of people are nerds in hiding. At least you're proud. I can't wait to play this video, bestsportlivevideos.exe. Oh, shit. Why did I just get like a... Two yottabyte download file in my downloads folder. Shoot. Who 
else is watching Dag in four pixels? I don't know. I'm a nerd about sports. Yeah, I, I'm a sabermetrician. I watch Foolish Baseball. I'm not afraid to admit to that. Well, you're very brave. You know that? You're very brave. I don't even um, know how to navigate this situation. Like we got ants over there. We got Muffy. She's down here somewhere. I think the trick to spawning fleas is to walk in and out of a building a shit ton of times. So if we can get the fly, I will do that. And then we can get the flea. And then I think we're going to go to a Nook Miles Island in the wintertime to get a tarantula. And then... After that, I think we do the palm tree beetles, right? What you know about that baseball doesn't exist? Yeah, that's a good one, too. I like that one. Oh, we're on the flea. We're on the fly slash flea slash violin beetle. Because I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. Boink. Okay, that's pretty good. How about that Pistons win? Yo, let's fucking go. Oh, I'm so happy the Pistons... I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't care at all. I, it, it, I was only invested in the streak. You know what's kind of sad is that now that the Pistons won, like, nobody's going to fucking care about them anymore. Now that their historic losing streak is over, nobody's going to fucking give a shit anymore. Nobody gives a shit anymore. I don't give a shit anymore. I didn't really give a shit until it became like a historic losing streak. And now that it isn't anymore, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't really care anymore. It was almost like losing was good for them, at least from like a marketing standpoint. Kind of sad. They might as well just like keep losing, get a bunch of like national media attention. Madagascan Sunset Moth I have gotten, right? I think that's what that is. I have gotten that. I remember seeing it. Yeah, it's down here. Okay. I think we do another refresh then, because there's a lot of bugs, and it's sort of stressing me out. More bugs on my screen, the more stressed out I am. But what if they went on a 29-game losing streak? If they started a new losing streak now, by the time they get to about, like, 20 lose lo losses in a row, I'd probably start watching them again. I'd probably be like, oh, here we go again. I'd probably do it. We eat in Wingstop every day. Dude, I wish I had a wing stop nearby. I totally would have gotten five free boneless wings. And then that would have been offset by the amount of money that it would have cost as delivery fees and service fees and fuck you fees. But, you know, hey, free wings. I don't have a wing stop nearby, though. It should have been a 69 game losing streak. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Why is 69 funny, guys? And for that matter, while we're at it, why is 420? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Can you prevent ants from spawning on rotten turnips if you surround them with weeds since they couldn't skedaddle away? That's actually a great question, and I feel like I've tested that at some point. I feel like I've tested that at some point, but you know what? I don't remember the results of my findings, so let's do it again. I feel like... I, f I feel like I remember them still spawning anyway. If you, like, put four, like, oranges or anything... I'll use oranges just because they're widely available. Also, I should look for a diving beetle while I do this, because um, I haven't gotten one yet. That is a that is a stellar point, though. I'm glad that you're you're really thinking with your with your brain instead of your freaking. I won't say what some of you guys think with. It's not good. Hey, get out of here. Good. He listened to me. He didn't despawn, but he listened to me. All right, and then I'm gonna have to like make some fucking room here. Drop this shit. Throw away. It doesn't even have like a fucking release. It's just throw away. My heart? Yeah, you're a heart. Your heart. Drop that. Let's do it in like the four corners of the turnip, and then maybe that will prevent it from ants from spawning, which would be good, even though I don't know if that will necessarily make it so that flies are more likely to spawn, but it's something to consider. Let's give it a try. Let's, let's observe that turnip there, and then we'll leave the other ones as they are for right now. The brain in the britches. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. Anyway, I didn't get to ask, how was your pub trivia? Oh, I fucking won. I won a $25 gift card to that same pub. So basically, the pub hosted pub trivia and said, Congratulations! Now you have to- here's $25 that you could only spend here. So essentially, we lost nothing in doing this whole pub trivia thing, and we're forcing you to come back and give us more money. It was kind of fucked up, but like, I mean, whatever. It's $25 of free food and drink that I will likely take advantage of. I guess they got me, because I'll probably, like, definitely go back. So I guess I- I guess I did do exactly what they wanted me to do. It's secretly a cult. No, it's just a brewery. It's just a brewery. It's, it's just like a common marketing tactic, most likely. They probably, like, Googled, like, how do I up engagement in my brewery? And the number one result was probably, like, host pub trivia night! <gasps> and then give out a $25 gift card to your own place. That'll really keep the customers coming back. Article clearly written by, like, chat GPT. Anyone else getting, like, insanely... I mean, I've been pretty good at it now, but, like, yeah, you could just always tell when something's written by chat GPT. Because it's just, like, needlessly positive, overly descriptive, and just unnecessarily flamboyant, I guess you'd call it. I find that a lot of the time. Well, no ants, but also no flies. Are pub quizzes common in the U.S.? They're so common in the U.K.? I don't know. It's the first one I've ever been to, but I'm sure that more exist around me. I'm sure that more exist around me. Always weird words that no human, yeah, like, would ever actually use. Exactly. You played right into their hand? Hey, man, I had fun. I had fun. I won pub trivia, so I really got to think highly of myself for, like, one night. And, you know, if that's, that's worth it. That's worth it. Having a real problem with Twitch right now. Yeah, you're not the only one, as we've established. You are not the only one. Hey, dirty bitch. I'm sorry, that was really rude. I wanted her to have a flea, and so I thought calling her a dirty bitch would help, but that just kind of made me feel bad. Check Lyman? I don't think I've checked Lyman any time recently. You stinky. <gasps> you stinky? No, he's fine. Dagnall is very smart. I... You know, I mean, I was definitely, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fucking saying, I was the smartest one in the pub that night. I mean, I don't need that, but that would have been really infuriating if that flew right in front of my face and I didn't catch it. Don't go out tonight, well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. You're the pub G. Yeah, that's right, dude. Pub G. I... That's a game that I hate. I think it's terrible, but God, is it fun. That I, That's like my go-to like game with the blokes. PUBG. We played that shit for hundreds of hours, man. And we're like, it's bad, but like, why do we like it so much? We don't know. We just do. All right, so this guy's got fucking ants. And the other one just seems to not be spawning anything anymore. Like, it's not spawning ants, but it's also not spawning flies anymore. Boys, strut up when they say, who that NL MVP, though? Ooh! No, yeah, I did, like, I was telling B-Boy, I did, like, a little strut when I walked up to get my $25 gift card. Which, if you need proof, by the way, still got it. I walked up there, they said, I... They said, top three, come on down, come get your gift cards, I said... I, I didn't do that. Not that much, anyway. I did a little strut, but I didn't do that much. Yeah! I didn't do that much. I, I, I wasn't that slow. I wasn't trying to rub it into my... I was very graceful to my fellow competitor, actually. I was very graceful to my fellow competitor. I would never strut like that. I mean, it's really rich to strut like you just hit a walk-off in Game 7 of the World Series when you just won $25 to pub trivia, you know? But, you know, it made me feel a little good. Put a little jazz in my step. Ain't gonna lie. Teabag them. I would never teabag them. That's just disrespectful. 
those ridiculous MLB The Show home run animations. And if you did any of those in real life, you would get hit in the fucking jaw with the fucking 99 mile an hour fastball. If you did any of that in real life, you would get fucking pummeled. You would get yoinked. Those things are fucking ridiculous. That's my boy. Yeah, that's right. This is a... Hmm. This is thinking. Gift cards to places were one of the things I specifically asked for for my birthday and Xmas, but this is the first year I didn't get any. I mean, that's just the reality of getting older, right? You get less and less every Christmas. I mean, you are, as you get older, you are expected to be the one who gets gift cards for others, right? It's more about the giving than the receiving when you get to, I'm not going to say my age, like I'm fucking ancient, but you know, you get to like... You get in your 20s and it becomes, you know, there, there's, a, there's a point where, like, there's a crossover where the amount of gifts that you receive becomes less than the amount of gifts that you give. And I feel like the age where you cross over there is probably, like, your early 20s, maybe late teens. Of course, it depends, but, you know, it stinks. But, you know, you sort of reevaluate what Christmas is all about. I started to get more as an adult, which is kind of funny. Well, I guess the more people you know, the more gifts you'll get, right? But the more you have to give out as well, so I don't know. I would backflip my way out of it because I am a ninja. You would injure yourself. You would injure yourself. I got a gift card from my workplace. Dude, okay. I heard something fucked up recently. From my mom, of all people. So I worked where my dad worked for a little bit, and um, she was telling me about how he... Go get it, Muffy. You, you get it, Muffster. Should I call her, like, the Muff? Should I call her, like, the Muff? Like, it, should I say that, like, um, if I'm ever, like, I don't know, having dinner with Muffy, should I say, like, I'm eating with Muff? Like, I'm eating Muff? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. No? If you have to. Well, I don't have to. I just thought it would be like a nice little funny thing to say. Please no. Please no. Why are y'all so mad? Also, motherfucker, what did you just go into your house for? I need you. I bet he had a flea on him too. Well, fuck you. You're now my respawn despawn house. I'm eating that muff. Well, that's if I was eating her, right? I wouldn't want to do that. That was not a smart idea. Why? Fuck you, Lyman. Sorry, I aided the flea. Touch flea. I can't. I eat it at them all. What else am I looking for? I guess, uh, yeah, just a fly. And a, a diving beetle. I knew there was something else I should be looking for. I shouldn't be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's just, I get nervous. And, like, I forget. I you get a little nervous. What's she running for? What the fuck is she doing? I don't need that. It's freaking me out. You got a flea? Dirty muff? <laughs> don't say that. Nah, she good. I'm gonna cry over here. Look for... I mean, it's just like less shit over here to scare away. So I'm gonna check for like a diving beetle over on this side of the river. Muff is censored for me. Oh, you got your Twitch settings. There's a setting on Twitch where you can censor bad words. Cheap tastes good? I never think I've had it. The most foreign, like... What's the most, like, foreign thing I've eaten? Like, the most, like, outlandish, wildest shit. Like, how the hell did you eat... Like, where did you get that from? Sort of shit. Mm, I don't... Really? Nothing, like, too crazy ass not that foreign uh i don't know i'm trying to think i had chicken feet eggnog eggnog is fucking everywhere everyone drinks eggnog rocks those are very those are all over the place everyone eats rocks those are all over the place am i safe to pole vault over here i gotta like Ooh, that was close that's why we double check though. Uh, there's a beetle on that stump, but I don't think I need any beetle on a stump right now, especially not a longhorn. Although I think actually a uh, Rosalia Batessi beetle I would need. 
but I don't know if those spawn right now. They probably do. I ate roasted cricket in Spanish class. Horse sausage. Ants. Frog legs. Frog legs are like a delicacy, though. They're pretty common here. Yeah, happy New Year, uh, Sims Lord. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I've eaten a meal worm lollipop. I have never eaten a bug. I mean, okay, well, outside of, like, the spiders that you eat during your sleep, like, 11 of them a year. I've never, like, consciously eaten a bug. I've eaten many bugs, like, just unconsciously, but, you know. Tasty night spiders. Cheese and onion flavored cricket. I mean, that's, like, what you'd have to do with, like, a cricket to make me want to eat it. You'd have to, like... Put it in, like, some Dorito seasoning and have it be like, look, it's a Dorito. Wait, I actually want to... Did I did I ask you guys this already? Where it's like, I truly do think that, like, nacho cheese Doritos might be, like... Maybe not, like, the best thing ever, like, food-wise. But, like, the best food that you can eat and, like, have access to, like, pretty much at all times. Like... You're not going to go to a restaurant and get a beef well, get Doritos over like a beef Wellington. But you can't just go to the store and get a beef Wellington, you know? You got to like make that shit or you got to go to a restaurant and get that shit. You can literally get as many nacho cheese Doritos as you want. They will never run out and they are so fucking good. When you when you compare like the taste level to the scarcity level and like make like a number with, like, the ratio of the two. I think nacho cheese Doritos might be, like, number one. Because, holy fuck, they are, like, the tastiest thing ever. And, man, you could just get, like, a shit ton of them. I'm so right. Yeah. The default American snack? Why do you think that... It, why do you think it is? Because it's so fucking good. Have you had Dorito roulette where you don't know if you're having tangy cheese or the spiciest Dorito ever? No. That sounds like that fucking bean boozle challenge where you don't know if you're eating like a cherry flavored jelly bean or like a dirty pad. They're both red. So you don't know before you eat it. I'm more of a spicy cool ranch kind of guy. I don't know. It's like the the two flavors Doritos, the two typical Dorito flavors. Cool ranch and nacho cheese Dorito. Nacho cheese Dorito clears nine times out of nine. I was going to say nine times out of ten, but really it's ten out of ten. I saw you thinking about how to phrase that. Yeah, I really had to go through the cogs of the brain. Hey, thanks for the uh, six bits short stacko. Original. Yeah, you guys call it Cool American over there, right? You guys call Cool Ranch Cool American over in, well, not America, right? You guys call it Cool American. Because, really, I mean, like, would you guys describe me as Cool American? Cool Ranch almost has too much flavor for me. Oh, you need to grow up. Cool Original? I thought you guys called it Cool American. What? Is Cool Original here? What the fuck? I've been lied to? No, I know for a fact I've seen that before. It's Cool Original, not Cool American? Dude, no, I swear I've seen Cool American before. For an American, you're pretty cool. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, that, that, really, that really means a lot to me. That really, that really tickles my funny bone. Room Temperature American. Hey, if I was room temperature, I'd be dead. Isn't that fucked up? Like, if you were like, that's fucked up. If we were even like internally 10 degrees cooler than what we are, we'd all be fucking dead. In the Netherlands, it's cool American. Thank you. I knew somewhere, probably most, not most places, but probably quite a few places, is it cool American. So any Dutch people in chat that told me it wasn't were fucking lying. And I know that there's some of you. Drone beetle. I haven't been checking these trees at all, but I don't think I need anything on trees right now, do I? Lukewarm American. Hey. 
These are all New Year's plans. I'm gonna go to uh, someone's house and we're gonna play some freaking board games. What y'all got going on? I heard Muffy. Okay, I think I just heard Muffy miss a bug and scare it away. But that's Muffy. I, I think I heard something flying away in my left ear there. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm hearing things. I'm pretty sure I heard Muffy scare something away there. But you know, the key word being that Muffy did it. I'm gonna lie in bed and cry myself to sleep. Okay! Alright, Busy Bee! Diving beetle, 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 diving beetle. Okay, someone got some shit going on. Do you like snakes? No, I'm not a big snakes fella. I've held a snake before and I was like freaking out the entire time. Because it was like a fucking copperhead. It's like, it's not one of them, like, little garden snakes, where it's just like, ooh, a snake, but it can't hurt me. But, like, no, those things can hurt. Have people coming over to play games. Holy shit, am I going to your house? I like snakes. If I saw a snake, I would probably just, like, <clears throat> shimmy around it. I'd probably do a little shimmy. When villagers yawn, it sounds like it's scared off a bug. She probably just yawned. Well, no, I think I heard the net hitting the ground and obviously missing something, and then the bug flying away. I think I heard... I think I heard both of those things happen. But again, it's no big deal, because it wasn't me. There's literally nothing I could have done about it, so I don't count it. And if the Poindexters, who are watching on the second channel right now, want to tell me otherwise... Then make sure that you're at least subscribed to me on YouTube and have, like, an active YouTube membership to my channel. Uh, cause otherwise I won't listen to you. YouTube doesn't need to know anyways. Well, it wasn't on camera. All I did was hear it, so as far as I'm aware, it barely even counted. It barely even happened. Were you able to get five stars before KK? I was. I was able to get five stars before KK. That was, uh, was that not my latest Animal Crossing video, I think? Is there... Am I... Gregnant? If I just, like, shimmy around you, you're not gonna, like... You'll be alright, right? Just shimmy around you, I don't even need to catch you, you'll be alright. Don't go out tonight, well it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Can you tell what song I've been listening to lately? I'm back after a few moths, and I have to ask why? Why this? A few moths? Uh, okay, I mean, that's weird, but I don't know. It, for a YouTube video, and then I can monetize that YouTube video, and then it'll give me money into my bank account. So, I guess like that. But like, secondarily, or maybe even tertiarily, uh, I guess people like when I play Animal Crossing, so I guess I do it for them, really. Yeah, I don't do it just for money. Thanks, Super YTFA, for the nine bits. Hi, Dag. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. I have a confession. Until recently, I thought your name was actually Dagnall. It is. Like, do you want to see, like, my pub trivia screenshot that I took that featured my real, honest-to-goodness, like, legal name? I would show you, like, my ID, but, I mean, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to dox myself, is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, let me see if I can't find it. This was, um, I have to scroll up a little bit here. So here's the screenshot of, like, my actual real-life name. I used it when I, um, did pub trivia. I took a screenshot when I was in second place, and I was like, Oh, yo, I think I got, like, a chance for this shit. We got Old Greg, Dagnall, Griffin, Mike, Potatoes, Emily, Benjamin, Buddy, Spanish Inquisition, Little Yachty, Walleye Wizard, and Brandon. See... As you can tell, all of these are everyone's real-life names, right? We got Old Greg. That's a real name. We got Dagnall. That's my real name. We got Griffin, Mike. These are all normal names. Potatoes? I mean, it's a little unusual, but it could be the case. 
Emily S., very normal. Benjamin, buddy, Spanish Inquisition. Their parents were just feeling... Their parents were just, like, feeling a little, like... Historical when they decided to name their kid that. Those all everyone's real-life names. Hey, thanks, by the way. Violet Purple Lavender for the 15 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Feeling a little goofy and silly. Me? No. By the way, even if I was, you wouldn't want me to be normal and not silly. That wouldn't make for a very good stream, now would it? So, you know, I think that is perfectly okay, even if I was. Thanks for the 25 bits uh, short stacko. And Happy New Year. Glunk. Watch this ad for 30 minutes of uninterrupted listening. Is that a complaint about an ad? I should... Oh. I should, like, track ad complaints throughout the year. Starting in 2024, I'm going to track people complaining about ads, and then we can total it up at the end of the year. We can total it up at the end of the year. And we'll be like... 400 total chat messages complaining about ads. I think that would be good. Hey, Jess, thanks for the 10 gift subs. Holy fucking shit, thank you. If you got a gift sub, courtesy of Jess, say thank you. And thank you very much, Jess. I appreciate that. Enjoy, everyone who got a gift sub, your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. Tell you what, this flower patch is stressing me out every time I walk by it. So I think this one's gonna go. This one, every time I walk by it, being that there's basically very little room to, like, shimmy between it without scaring whatever's on it away, I'm gonna get rid of that one. I've got plenty of other flowers around. And I'm looking for a diving beetle as I stroll along the river here as well. Yeah, say thank you if you got a gift sub. And thank you very much. I appreciate it don't need that. I don't think it'll be scared away if I just, like, walk behind here. Loving the dress. Oh, thank you. I think it fell out of a... No, it didn't fall out of a tree. It was, uh, when I gave the materials for the Nook Stop, this is where, for the Nook Store, this is one of the things he gave me as a reward. No, it's, it's all him. I, I just put it on. I just work it. I got a gift sub one time when I was... But it happened while I fell asleep watching a stream, and I didn't get to say thanks. Yeah, that happens to me. I get gift subs from streams that I either am not watching, like, at all, or, like, I put on while I was sleeping, and I'll wake up, and I'll be like, someone gifted you a sub to this person's stream that you left on while you were sleeping. And I was like, oh. I mean, like, I'm sure they didn't really care that I didn't thank them, but I guess I, I would have thanked them if I was there in that moment. Happy New Year, Mukulo. Where is it New Year's? Like, where is, like, the... Where is, like, the midnight... Where is it midnight or later? Like, it's probably, like... Close to midnight in, like... Eastern Europe, right? It's probably pretty close to midnight. Maybe a few more hours. Taiwan? Western Australia? Yeah. There's probably been New Year for a little bit for you guys in Australia. Taiwan, yeah, definitely. Most of the world? No. No way. It's probably like half of the world geographically. Population-wise? I don't know. I mean, I guess most all everything of Asia is in the new year. So yeah, maybe po population-wise. I don't know. Definitely not of people who watch my stream. I don't think I have a big Asian dem demographic because I don't stream at a very good time for people in Asia. So, I don't think most of my chat is New Year's yet. Some of you, though. Still New Year's Eve for me. I think most of us, right? It's still Christmas for me. <laughs> Who else is going to spend their New Year getting scammed by Red via his raffle? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about this game. This game is a fleeting memory. <laughs> I'm going to forget about this game. I'll be like, yeah, that's I. It'll be midnight in five minutes in Kazakhstan. Whoa, really? Well, hey, any Kazakhstan viewers in my chat, happy New Year's in five in five minutes. Those of you celebrating in... I don't know the capital of Kazakhstan. I was going to say Ulaanbaatar, but that's Mongolia. 
Well, any of y'all watching the, the the ball coming down in Kazakhstan, have a good new year. You know, based on my Animal Crossing decor, I'm still in Halloween mode. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, fucking God. I didn't even get a chance to see him. Also, what's up with the fly, man? Why is this, like, the most unnecessarily stupidly hard bug to get in this game? The fucking fly. At... I don't like New Year's. I don't know why, but it makes me sad. Eh, I guess I can get it. If, like, you know, this year wasn't very good. Or maybe if it was good, you're kind of, like, sad to see it end. I don't know. Maybe. I can't subconsciously pick your brain as to why you think that. Should I do another lap, or should I, like, go into the museum to despawn? I think I'll despawn. I think I'll do it, like, 50 times as well. I'll, like, leave and re-enter, like, a bunch of times and look for fleas, maybe. I always get flies from cans. Yeah, but I'm not, like, fishing. So, turnips is the way to go. Are there flies in Animal Crossing GameCube? Um, I think so. I think so, because there's Rafflesias, which I think were the only way to get flies. Well, maybe you could get them from trash in that game as well. I don't know. I don't know enough about Animal Crossing GameCube. I know it's like the one Animal Crossing game I didn't play when I was a kid. I played Wild World. That was my first one. Why is the ball dropping America thing? In Times Square, there's a giant bright ball that costs probably like one cent of every New York City resident's electricity bill every month. And it drops for like, we're like the last minute before New Year's, it starts dropping and it takes, of course, 60 seconds for it to reach its bottom point. And when it does, it's the New Year, it's the ball drop. And there's probably people right now, and I don't understand this at all there's probably people right now and by probably i mean there's most definitely people right now standing in times square shitting and pissing their pants because they had to get to times square 14 hours before the ball drops to be able to like have a good viewing point of it probably wearing diapers shitting and pissing themselves right now in times square so that in fucking 11 hours from now they can see that ball drop, and they'll be like, Yeah, I'm cold and miserable, and there's shit in my pants. But, hey, I got to see the ball drop. That's really cool. I don't know how people are that dedicated. I read defecated at first, but that's sort of true as well. Cold and wet and dirty. They wear adult diapers? I don't give a fuck what they wear. I'm not doing that. I would never. I would never. There's a flight that left Japan in 2024 that will land in L.A. in 2023. Yeah, time be crazy like that. Time be crazy like that. Alright, let's check now. Where'd Muffy go? I thought I heard something. No, I'm crazy. I'd do it maybe, but only once. I don't even know why you do it once. It's like, I guess it's a spectacle, and you can say, like, forever that you went, but I don't know. I feel like, if anything, if you told me that you went there, I wouldn't lose, like, a lot of respect for you, but I'd definitely be like, oh, okay. I don't know why you'd do that, but all right. I wouldn't lose all respect for you, though. I'd just be like, okay, a little weird, but whatever. Whatever floats your goat, I suppose. Bragging rights for that are, like, low. I mean, I guess it's cool. I'm not gonna say, like, that's not, like, a cool thing to witness. It's just, I don't think it's worth shitting, pissing, sweating. All the shit that you're just doing while you're standing there for God knows how many hours. I just, I just don't think it's worth it. I, I just don't think it's worth it. If you made, like, a two-hour drive to go see it, and, like, that was it, two-hour drive back, I think that that's worth it. But maybe not, like, you know, 20 hours of just waiting around Times Square, getting dirty and shitting yourself. Uh, speaking of getting dirty and shitting yourself, thanks for the raid. Um, that's a lot of people. 
Hi, I'm Dagnall, and I play Animal Crossing, and I'm trying to catch every bug in the game while not ever scaring away a single bug. I'm on attempt number four, I'm f almost six hours into it, and I'm stressed the fuck out right now. Pissing all by yourself, handsome? Is that like a pickup line? You like walk up to me in the bar, or like I'm at the urinal, and you just look me in the eye, you... Pissing all by yourself, handsome? It's a very sacred place, the men's bathroom, all right? It's a very sacred place. You don't fuck with a guy who's pissing in the urinal, all right? That's a very sacred time. You know how, like, dogs will, like, look all, like, real nervous when they're outside, like, pissing in the yard? It's a very sacred time in a man's life. It's when he's doing his business. You gotta flee, you dirty bitch. That's a very sacred time. Don't fuck with me, all right? Anyway, yeah, thanks for the raid. And shoutouts to Mifuyu. How was your stream? Hope everything went well. Uh, I'm Dagnall. I got a YouTube channel. You might have seen it. Real friendships slash relationships are made in the men's bathroom. Dude, we can't all... You sound like glory hole. That sounds like some, like, glory hole shit. Aw, oh, man. I, I, don't, I don't fuck with that. Dagnall. What? Ordered a small cheeseburger from McDonald's and received a double cheeseburger. I'm taking this as a luck sign for 2024. Yeah. Or, wait, is it 2023 still for you? Maybe that was your last bit of luck for 2023, and your 2024 is going to be shit. Because you used all your luck in this year. I don't know. I Maybe you're more of an optimist than me. What's wrong with glory holes? Well, they're hardly glorious, for one. Now if we got, like, the most confounded scribble around them, they got, like, penises and shit all drawn around them, and that stupid S. You know the stupid S. I don't need to say anymore. I love your AC content on YouTube. A bunch of fun hanging out with my chat in AC today while doing an end-of-year Q&A. Oh, that's cool. Well, Y'all, yeah. ask me some questions. I'll do a Q&A. Ask me some questions. I'll do a little Q&A. Y'all want to know more about me, right? I'm really important. <laughs> I'm gonna draw Tom Nook above a glory hole. That's okay. <laughs> okay. PB and J, grape jelly or strawberry jelly? That's a grape jelly. I'm always a grape jelly kind of guy. I have a very specific one that would break the flow of the stream. Go for it. Thoughts on AC Pocket Camp? It sucks. Should I do a challenge? No. Leave them to me. I think I know what I'm doing. What size are your glasses? I don't know. Thick? What's your favorite AC bug? I hate all of them. How long does it take an average to complete one of your challenges of yours? Somebody calculated this the last challenge that we did, and the actual filming of it, like the actual doing of the challenge, not taking into account the editing, the um, everything else that actually makes it into a video, uh, it was like 20 hours. If you want to spend like a couple of weeks editing them all and doing all that peripheral bullshit, yeah, that'll probably take a couple of weeks. On top of maybe the 20 hours that it took the actual challenge to take. Are you short or long-sighted? Uh, I'm nearsighted. So, like, if I put my glasses up like this and I hold my palm in front of my hand, I can smell how sweaty they are, but also I can see them perfectly. But if you, like, stick that out, like, out here, there'd be no way I can see that. So, I think that that means I'm nearsighted, right? Favorite game you played this year? New game that came out in 2023? Probably Tears of the Kingdom. Favorite game just in general that I've played this year? Probably The Binding of Isaac. Repentance. Hi, Dagnall. I got my first tattoo the other day. Oh, congratulations. I'm getting my first one on the 10th. Enjoy your tattoo and enjoy your emotes and your ad-free doing. Thanks, Adrian. On the YouTube video entitled Piss Missiles with the second home run, who is the pitcher that Shohei blasts one off of? Was it Dylan Cease of the Chicago White Sox? What is your tattoo of? It's the one that I showed you guys, like, months ago, um, that I cancelled initially. I found a different artist, someone that actually watches my streams is gonna do the tattoo for me. Um, and... Yeah. Well, I'll show you when I get it. I'll show you when I get it. Diagonal tattoo? Real? Yeah! I'm getting a job stopper, guys. I'm getting a fucking job stopper. 
That's what it's called. I don't actually... I, I guess that's like a, a, a tattooist term. Where you get like a tattoo on like your face or your like more visible areas. And it makes it so that your outlook of getting a job for the rest of your life is compromised. It's just a joke. I'm not actually getting like a... I don't feel like my future prospects from an employment standpoint will be compromised as a result of my tattoo. But... Yeah, I'm getting a job stopper. No, it's not going to be a face tattoo. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. Is Andrew Abbott of the Cincinnati Reds? I went to high school with him. Oh, okay. I don't think I went to high school with any, like, athletes. Well, there was a offensive lineman who won the college football championship with Clemson that I did go to high school with. He was pretty cool. He was nice. I liked him. And a really classy lower back. Dude! Get a really classy dude. Yes. Okay, hang on. I actually got I, I I could I could bitch about this. Like, I'm not actually gonna bitch about it because that's not very nice. But um The most like basic ass tattoos are like the butterfly on the lower back. I feel like there's like boob chandeliers I'm seeing a lot. You know the ones. I feel like if I just say boob chandeliers, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, like the ones that are like here and go like, I don't know how much of my chest you can see. But, yeah. I see a lot of those. I see, um... And they're not bad. I'm not saying like these are bad. I'm just saying like I they, they seem to be trendy, you know? They seem to be trendy. I'm not getting a boob chandelier. I'm not getting a boob chandelier. That would hardly be a job stopper. Heart on the chest? I don't know if I see the heart on the chest very often. I've totally seen your videos before. Your thumbnail work is pretty dope. I actually feel like I'm terrible at thumbnails, so thank you. I, I, I hate making them, and I don't think I do a very good job at them, but... You know, I'll take it. Mustache on the finger? Dude, and you know, like, those get faded after so long because, like, your fingers are always, like, rubbing up against each other. Nipple piercing taste just like the house keys and baby, I'm coming home. I don't know what you just said. I agree, though. The mustache on the finger, I forgot. In high school, girls would just, like, draw, like, the mustache on their finger and they'd be like... And I'd be like, ah, quirky, ha <laughs> uh. And... But I guess people are getting those tattooed on them? That's got to fade really quick, doesn't it? I think hand tattoos just in general fade very quick. Especially the high friction areas. Comically oversized nerd glasses? Dude, go to the 3D movie, pop the lenses out of the 3D glasses, and then wear them around school. Oh my god, you were the hottest shit. Shirts that just said geek? Shirts that said... Cool story, babe. Get me a sandwich. If you went to, like, high school between, like, 2010 and 2014, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like any later or any earlier, and you might not know what I'm talking about. And am I stupid? I didn't realize tattoos faded. Yeah, some faster than others. Shitty ink. Bad tattooing job. Or just in a place where, like, there's a lot of friction, or you, like, wash your hands a lot, or... Some shit like that, and yeah, the ink can fade. Shirts that say MILF. Man, I love fishing. Yeah, but that's funny, though. Cool story, babe, get me a sandwich isn't funny. We used to trade silly bands in middle school like narcotics. They banned silly bands in my school, did they? No, I'm thinking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Never mind. I'm thinking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't think they banned silly bands. But yeah, silly bands were the shit. Um, those, I remember it was like a dick measuring contest to like see how many of those like silicone, uh, bracelets that you could fucking fill up on your arm. You had the fucking, um, Lance Armstrong Livestrong bracelet and then like a I Heart Boobies silicone bracelet. And you gotta fit as many silicone bracelets on your arm as you possibly could. That was trendy too. Loom bands, is that what they're called? Anyway, I liked sucking on them. I liked sucking on them. I, I don't know. Sucking on silicon hit different. They banned Pokemon cards from my school. Yeah, I guess it's like gambling or something like that. Ugh, fucking nerd. Fucking nerd behavior, really, but whatever.
I almost scared that locust into the water, and I would have cried. That explains a lot? What explains a lot? Sucking silicone? That did not mold me into the person that I am today, alright? That has no influence on who I became, alright? It was just a fun, leisurely activity for a young schoolboy such as I. Maybe I go to winter for flies. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm also not getting diving beetles either, which is fucking absurd. Let me check diving beetles real quick. Hey, Amber Spooky, thanks for the five gift subs. Holy shit! Hang on one second. That was disgusting, I'm sorry. May to September, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Rivers and Ponds. Thanks, Amber Spooky, for the five gift subs. If you got a gift sub courtesy of Amber Spooky, say thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. <sighs> My school, they had a fair, and there was Pokemon card stand with first-gen cards. I got a Blastoise and traded it for a Rattata or something. I had no idea the value. First-gen Pokemon cards? Holy fucking shit. Like... How much money are those? I'm not big into Pokemon cards. I am big into baseball cards, though. And I assume they have, like, a very... I, I assume, like, a Gen 1 card, let alone a whole stand of them. It's pretty hard to come by. In 2015 as well. Thanks for the hydrate. Once again, right after I already took a sip. I think I said I'm... You know what? Should I do that on stream? Should I do that, like, literally right now? Get rid of the hydrate redemption on stream? Should I do that? Amber, can you give me a sub? Goodbye. You don't beg for subs. Get out of here, you frickin' you nuisance. Do it? I think I might. I think I might do it on stream. Or else your pee will be neon. No, my pee is fine without you guys telling me that I need to hydrate, okay? Also, if, like, if it's a half 50-50 chance of something spawning on the river being a pond skate or a diving beetle, this is fucking absurd how many of these I'm getting and not diving beetles. This is fucking ridiculous. You know, three people have died while playing video games from dehydration, sir. Yeah, and you know two people died drinking that confounded lemonade from Panera Bread, and yet people still do it. So, what's your point? Leave Hydrate in 2023. You know what? That's a- that's perfect. I think that that's perfect, actually. I think that that's actually perfect. I will leave the Hydrate Redemption in 2023. Just like everything else in my life. Is I'm a new me. I'm a new me. I'm a changed man. I almost puked. Like, actually. Am I okay? Replace it with a Piss Redemption. Normal redeemed hydrate for the first and last time today, then. Yeah, there you go. Yep, you, you got your one hydrate in, and I think that's it. How will we remind you to hydrate? You don't need to remind me. I do it plenty enough myself. That's why I'm going to get rid of the infernal command, because I do it enough where I don't need it anymore. It was a nice reminder around when I first started streaming that I should make sure that I'm drinking water. But I've been doing this shit for four years now, okay? Frequently for four years now. I think I got it down pat that I need to drink water occasionally, okay? I think I got it. Maybe three and a half years ago, that was actually useful to remind me that I need to, like, take a sippy sip every once in a while. But I, I got it now. I think I got it. Don't you worry. What do I do with my 235,000 channel points now? Maybe I'll think of something else to add for the channel points, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm getting rid of the hydrate. I'll think of something, but... For now? You have to just save them. Oh my god, it's another fucking pond skater. Oh, uh, yuck, I scared away a fucking mantis. God damn it. <sighs> Can I get a replay just to make sure I did? Unable to... Oh, because I went to the menu.
You guys are telling me to ignore it. You have no integrity. You have no integrity whatsoever. You guys have no integrity whatsoever. You guys have no integrity whatsoever. You just think that because you didn't see it, it didn't happen. It happened. Don't lie to yourselves. Don't lie to yourselves. I missed it. Yeah, I missed it too until I realized I saw it flying away. <sighs> what flew away? A mantis on a flower because I was preoccupied with uh, yelling or when, I don't know, something. <clears throat> Thanks for the uh, Prime N7 Ashley. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Just thinking about life and like what it means to me. Dang, I'm almost in tears. Calm down. If I'm not crying, you shouldn't cry. If anyone should be crying right now, shouldn't it be me? I'm gonna go outside and flip off a mantis. Nah, it's fine. It ain't the mantis' fault. It was my fault. I do want to see a clip, though. Like, was it, like, obvious? I know I did it. I'm not saying, like, can you clip it to make sure I did it? I already deleted the save file. But I guess it's more like, was it, like obvious and I was just being stupid or was it like hidden and I quite clearly like like should I I don't know I don't know I guess what I'm asking is can I see a clip of it can I see a clip of it yeah but you can't cry hey I don't need to be fucking don't make fun of me all right that's the last thing I need right now is to be made fun of all right kind of going through some shit right now I think it's my fault. Six hours in, that's a good run so far, and you immediately scared away a bug? I'm sorry. No, it's my fault, because like, I, I made the mistake. Don't worry. No, it's my fault. Like, I, I appreciate you trying to take credit for it, but uh, nope, that's my fault. It's, it, it's my fault. Thanks for the 500 bits, Nebraska. Appreciate that. I just watched it back. Can, can someone send me the clip, please? Like, I, I want to see the clip of me scaring it away. I don't know. They're all fucking ass. Um, I mean, I guess this one's like the most simple in theory anyway. I guess, whatever. All right, let's see it. Let's see how, let's see how obvious this was. Let's see how obvious this was. Whoa. That's fucked up. Hang on. Okay, there is a chroma key. There we go. Hide myself. <laughs> nice face, douchebag. Pause the game. And... Let's see. I think I got it. Don't you worry. What do I do with my 235,000 channel points now? Maybe I'll think of something else to add for okay, the so I catch channel the ant. points. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm getting rid of the hydrate. Yeah, I'll get think the of ant. Something, Let's see. I, I think I can already see the mantis for now, on the flower. You have to just save them. Yeah, it's literally right there. I should have seen that. It's literally right there. Like... That's, you don't get much more obvious than that. That wasn't hidden. I was focused on this because I was like, oh my god, why was it another fucking pawn skater? Instead of a diving beetle, which is what I needed. Oh my god, it's another fucking pawn skater. Yep, and there it goes. Yeah, I mean, that was just obvious. That was careless. That was, that was, that was, that was truly, that was careless. That was extremely careless of me. I was, I was hype. I was, I was tunnel visioned on the pond skater. I was not looking at that flower patch at all. Hey, hey! At least my recommended clips at the bottom aren't all porn. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hi. 
that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, let's put this back like this. There we go. And back to attempt number five. Listen, man, it'll be all right. Dude, you don't see me fucking waterwork crying over here. I know it'll be all right. It's just annoying because, you know, it sets back the actual making of the video for like another couple of days, maybe. So, you know, really, just kind of annoying. Sort of like, like a financial impact if it means that like it takes another two days for me to get the video out. So, you know, probably just lost like a million dollars. It's fine, though. I don't care. Why would they all be porn? What have you been watching? I've seen, like, clips. Like, I, I'll look at, like, clips from other channels. And those, like, four recommended clips at the bottom will be, like, from the Just Chatting category. Specifically, or the, uh, Pools, Hot Tubs, and whatever the fuck that category is called. And, uh, yeah. And it'll be some, uh, humana, 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 humana. My sister says hi. Hi! Say it like that. A lot of Twitch streams now are just softcore porn. They've been that way for a long time. It's just that with the new recent rules that they put and then deleted because they were like, whoopsie daisies, uh, I think it got a little bit worse there for a little bit. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, you gotta kick him, man, while he's down. Oh. Oh. Why you gotta kick me while I'm down, man? It's not good. That's not good, man. Not good at all. Scare on purpose. No, it's probably, maybe, um, maybe they just needed to summon the stinkiest villager in the game so that I could get the flea a lot faster, right? <laughs> right? I think I just popped a pimple. It's not bleeding, right? No, it's fine. Does that have to be the most annoying challenge yet? I mean, from a time standpoint, it's definitely not the longest, so I don't know if I can say it's the most annoying, but... Is definitely, um, getting my gooch a little bit, you know? It's definitely getting my goose. Anyway, thanks so much, Safey Kitty, for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy, if you got a gift sub, courtesy of Safey Kitty, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's not the longest yet. Yeah, it might end up being. And not many of my challenges ever require, like, restarting because I fucked something up. So, I guess in that sense, the fact that I have to, like, restart if I fucked something up, which happens a lot because I'm me, uh, definitely is an annoying element to it. But I don't know if it's the most annoying thing yet. Yeah, no, it looks good to me, man. Maybe reconsider? I wonder what that option does. Does it just make them go somewhere else and put their tent down? Interesting. But then you could just take it and put it wherever you want. I don't know why you'd have that as an option. Ellen the damn generous everywhere in chat today. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the generosity. It must be this time of year. The Christmas, uh, New Year's time of year. Or as I like to call it, the perineum of the year. If you know, you know. Got it. I was here yesterday. It was long. Yeah, I streamed for like four hours yesterday. No, nah, it looks good to me, man. Alright. Well, let's fucking do it again. Yeah, the gooch of the year. Like that time between, like, the time between Christmas and New Year's. It's. It's a good time. I think we're all much happier. I think we're all much happier. Well, most of us, anyway. Because I think most people get, like, off work from, like, a little bit before Christmas to a little bit after New Year's. Or at least kids are off school. I know I was off school, anyway. 
Oh shit, here we go again. I just came back, you are restarting. Yeah. The week when time and structured meals don't exist. I gotta do, like, meal prepping. Y'all do meal prepping? I gotta do that shit, man. I, uh, I love structure in my life. It's sort of like why... I don't hate being self-employed, but it's one of the downsides of being self-employed for sure, is no structure. I can stream whenever I want. I don't need anyone telling me when I need to work. I don't need, like... I don't have a boss. I don't have hours. I don't have, like, an environment in which I have to work or otherwise I get fired. In many ways, that sounds sweet. In some ways, it's like, I kind of miss the structure of working, you know? Hey, pause, call, pause Kilo. Thanks so much for the three months at Tier 1. Thanks. That's awesome. Appreciate that. And enjoy your three months of emotes and ad-free viewing. Or wait, is that a three months in advance? Or is that for three months? I don't know. I maybe well, Either way, thanks. I appreciate it. I don't know. I don't, like, like that stuff about a traditional job, but it does get me to do work, and sometimes you do just need to, like, do work sometimes. It's good for you to just, you know, buckle down and do work sometimes. It really is. It really is. Sometimes it's just easy to, like, when you're self-employed, just be like, ah, oh, I don't really feel like doing anything. I'm gonna go play The Binding of Isaac and do, like, t a two-hour-long run. And then nothing gets done. And you're like, man, I really should have done some work today. And I really wish I had a boss with the ever-looming threat of firing my ass if I didn't do work. Like, I don't like that. But, you know, you, you, you miss the value of stuff like that. But the people? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. In a way, like, having 175,000 subscribers should be, like, motivation... Because, oh, you're disappointing 175,000 people if you don't do work, right? Yeah, but, like, you're all, like, not... You're all, like, little fake people in my computer, you know? I know you're real people, don't get me wrong. But I don't have 175,000 people, which would be, like, a large stadium full of people all shouting at me to make a video, you know? You're all just little people in my computer. I know you're all real people, except for the bots. But, you know... You're not there to, like, tell me to do work. You're just waiting there. You kind of understand that, like, the whole thing of YouTube is just kind of, like, waiting until your favorite YouTuber uploads, right? We're just ones and zeros in the end. Well, you're not, because, like, you know, at the end of the day, you are, like, a person. But, like, you know, if I see your username, I'm just like, yeah, that's that you, you know? You are a one and a zero. You're not. I, I know you're not. You know what I mean when I say this. Wake up, Dag, it's been too long. Yeah, I'd love to wake up and realize that the last, like, 15 years of my life has all been wrong, and I can correct the mistakes that I've made the last 15 years and hopefully live a better life. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I'm not falling for it. I'm just a bunch of zeros. Nah, you're, you're, you're good. You're good. By the way, I like the tags. What's the tags? I don't know. Twitch automates the tags. Dag, help me. I just spent way too much money. Can't help you. Sorry. What you're saying is you spent a whole lot of money, and it wasn't for a bunch of gift subs for me. So, I don't know if I have sympathy for that situation. I'm sorry. That was rude. I will turn off your computer off, and we'll all be gone. It's kind of true that, like, you guys, if I don't want to hear what you guys have to say, do you know how easy it would be to just ignore you? Boom. Hit that power button on my computer hit that power off button on my phone, and I would never hear anything from you for, God, for as long as I wanted to. That's kind of crazy. I could I could literally turn all you guys off for like a week, should I just so want to. You can't do that with real people that you go to work with. You can't do that. You can't avoid them. I can avoid you guys. We die every time you look away from the screen. Attempt number five. Not our free-to-speech... Yeah, it's Schrodinger's chat. What's up, Galileo's Neptune? That's kind of a two-way street here. Yeah, you could also turn my stream off, but why would you do that? Why would you do that? Hey, thanks, Sploppy. Or Sloppy, for the two months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thanks. Ew! 
Oh, Diva! Yeah, I know. What can you do? Howdy. What bug did you scare to have to restart? A mantis. And I said, man, this sucks. <laughs> can I have uh, five gifted subs from someone? I'm, I'm kidding. But I think that that joke was like a... That, that was a winner. Haha, <laughs> dad jokes. Haha, <laughs> I'm not a dad. Alright, let's go. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty funny, right? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Dag jokes, then. Yeah, you can call it that. I mean, really, shoutouts to this game, because when you catch a mantis, it says, Man, tis so cool. Hey, holy shit. Thanks, Monka Wonk, for the five gift subs. And then thanks, Jess, for the five gift subs. Hey, what the fuck? Thanks. Monka Wonk and Jess, I appreciate that. If y'all got uh, a gift sub via any of those two, uh, say thank you. Like, genuinely, thank you a lot. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks. I appreciate that. I, I really do. Sh shout outs. I appreciate it. Mantises are such scared little bitches, they fly away, even if you're, like, on the other side of the map. If you're, like, trying to console me, um, it's not working, because, like, I literally ran right next to it and scared it away. Like, if it was any bug that was on a flower, it would have been scared away. It ain't a mantis issue, it's a, it's a error between human and controller issue. Look at us consoling you with our money. Yeah, if you want to console me, do it with your frickin' money. I'm not rich, I'm in debt and thinking about it when I need to. I appreciate it. Don't give subs if you aren't financially able to do so. It should go without saying. Don't give anyone on the internet money if you aren't financially able to do so. So it's a skill issue. Yes! That's what I've been saying! That's what I've been trying to tell these people! They're like, oh, dude, it's okay. I didn't see that, Mantis. It blended in. No, we looked at the footage. We evaluated the data. I- I got all the freaking I got all the code monkeys from Google to, like, evaluate the shit at, No, it's a skill issue. That's what I've been trying to tell you. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. We checked the transcripts. We studied the logs. It's a skill issue. I fucked it up. I made- I- I explained in great detail what I did wrong. I tunnel visioned on the pond skater that was in the river without realizing that right next to that pond skater was a mantis and I walked- too hastily by it and scared it away. Damn, get good, slash J. Any slash J, slash SRS. Garfield, are you slash J, or are you slash SRS? You should be slash SRS. I made a fucking mistake. One little error in the human brain wipes away six hours of work. But, you know, it was worth it because I got to stream with you guys while I did it, right? Should have done a frame-by-frame -frame analysis. Well, you see, the Mantis registered as an eligible receiver. But I thought that the Pawn Skater had, had, uh, became eligible. And so I didn't see the Mantis. That's a little football joke for you guys. <laughs> Any Lions fans out there? Uh, yuck. <laughs> a little football joke for you guys. The council reviewed footage and found your skills lacking to the dungeons with you, wench. Oh, wench. Did you get the idea for this insane challenge? I sat alone in a dark room for six hours, trying to think of the next Animal Crossing New Horizons video that I could come up with, since that's all I'm good for on this earth. And I said, all bugs without scaring one away, verbatim. And then I drank a giant fucking glass of chocolate milk. And then here we are. Maybe the bugs we caught were the friends we made along the way. No. 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 I, no, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so. Alright. Chalky milk? I'm gonna have some chalky milk. I'd chug a big old glass of that right now. I would take a bit. I say barkeep. Give me your strongest shit. And they would slide a big old glass of chocolate milk down the bar. 
I would catch it with 100% accuracy and pinpoint precision. And I would fucking, I need that shit. Take the edge off right now. Woke up in a cold sweat, screaming, catch all bugs, but if I scare one away, I reset into the abyss. Yeah, I just had one of them dreams that my teeth fall out and shit. Yeah, it was real fucked up. What's up, fishy? How are you doing? I have strawberry milk in the fridge to, like, throw in the trash, right? Because it sucks. Because I don't know why you'd buy strawberry milk, but whatever, I guess. My nose itches, and the microphone is the facility that I'll use to itch it. Rude? Well, it's not rude. Alright, let's go. Banana milk's really good? We talk about all this shit. It's like, literally the only good milks are regular and chocolate. It's the only good ones. Can I take my subscription back? Nope. Well, you can go to Twitch, uh, and go to your subscriptions, and then cancel your subscription, but you cannot undo a subscription that you gave to somebody. Mm -mm. Sorry. But that is a good reminder. If y'all, uh, are subscribed to me, that will automatically renew. If you, not through a gift sub or through a Prime sub, but if you paid to subscribe to me, that will automatically renew every month. And if you don't want to do that, then you should go into your Twitch settings and cancel your subscription. Any advice that people want to start YouTube? Yeah, just do it. Just do it without the expectations of being popular at first, because if you do that with that being your expectations, then you're going to be disappointed when you find out that your first videos are getting no views, because uh, nobody's first videos get any views. It's all about the expectations you have going into it. If you're doing it for fun, then you can't lose, because you have fun doing it. If you're doing it because you want to become rich and famous, then reconsider why you're doing it. I cancel every time because they still don't have the option to manually renew. Well... But, like, you subscribe every month. So, like, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess they don't. They do with Prime, though. Like, Prime manually renews. You, The people have complained that you can't auto-renew Primes, as a matter of fact. I've had 903 subs. I've been working on my channel for two years. You gotta keep trying. Yeah, and like 903 subs probably put you at like the top 1% of all YouTubers. So, so yeah, it's a long, tumultuous road. But it's fun. At least it was for a while. Why do you hate strawberry milk? Because um, I drink it and I'm like, yeah, patooey. This isn't very good. I think that's probably why. Uh, okay. Got it. Industry plants get millions views on their first video. Do you like my tinfoil hat? I made it myself. Are you, what are you getting at? Are you getting at the fact that, like, um, there's so much, like, shit YouTube videos out there that get millions of views on, like, their first videos? I mean, I don't know. Do they? I'm pretty sure most people's first videos don't get many views, but if it's funded by, like, a big corporation and they have the means with which to promote it and advertise it and have a high production value, then, yeah, maybe they do. But, you know, if you're talking about, like, the common layman in chat that doesn't have that amount of resources and financial backing, then no, they're not going to get much shit on their first YouTube videos. No, of course not. Five ads? Yeah, and I ran them just for you because I don't like you. If any of y'all ever feel, like, personally offended by the fact that you got an advertisement on my stream, then do know that I ran it specifically to spite you, because I don't like you. It is only a you issue. Nobody else right now is getting an ad except for you, okay? You should take it personally, okay? You should complain, because I do have something against you and you specifically. Yep. It's not a whole site-wide issue that many people are complaining about. Just know, it is personal. You're right. If you sub, then you get no ads. Yeah? <laughs> but I like to complain. I don't like to give money. I just like to complain. I, I didn't just catch one of those, did I? Yeah, I did. No, oh, okay. When I was around 12, I made a channel where my most popular video was 54,000 and gained 1k sub in a few weeks and I cracked from pressure. Oh yeah, I was sweating when my uh, bridge video, that was my first video that uh, went viral. I don't like that term, but I mean, it's accurate, I guess. 
That was my first video that, like, took off in... But football? What's a football? That was my first video that took off in popularity. And, like, dude, I was, like, panicking. Like, don't get me wrong. I was reveling in it. Like, I loved it. Like, it was awesome, but at the same time, it was terrifying because I was like, oh, man, I now feel like a sense of pressure with which to, like, put out more videos. And I did, and they did well, too. And then I was able to snowball that into a successful YouTube career. For better or for worse, it worked out. You know, I have problems with it, but, you know, overall, it seems to have worked out fairly well for me. But yeah, it's stressful, right? It's exciting, but it's stressful. I don't know how many of you have had the, like, dopamine hit of, like, having a successful viral video, post, or whatever it is, but it's stressful. It can be, anyway. I mean, that's more attention than likely you've received in your entire life. Most of us, anyway. You cussing your YouTube videos! You're fucking right I am! Sorry, that was really loud. I used to want to be a YouTuber. And what changed? I made a YouTube vid in 2014 that hit 4.6 million views? Damn! That's better than I've ever even done. I think my museum video is only at 2 point something. I don't know. Probably like 2.5-ish million. Only. Damn, so you're doing better than me. Shoot! I once got like 20 likes on a Facebook post. Dude, calm down. Save some likes for the rest of us. Goodness, criminy. I need one more. Oh, that's it. Bug. I've always wanted to be a Twitch streamer, but I'm too shy. Well, you should probably just do it. There's only one way to fix that, and that's just doing it. One, two, three, four, five. My water's over here for some reason. Why did I do that? Wait, I found an error! It says four in the title, but it's attempt five! Sure enough. Sure enough. Nothing gets past you, man. Nothing gets past you. Once I found, like, 200 notes on a Tumblr post, I was so proud. Is a note... I was never a Tumblr. Is that just, like, a like, essentially? Is that just a like? I would like to stream, but my PC probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Is PC less so than, like, internet, honestly? If you have a good internet connection... I mean, it depends on what you play, of course, as well. But OBS is not a very, like... It doesn't take up a lot of resources. So if you can run a game, likely you can stream a game as well. It's just, like, having the good enough internet connection with which to do so. Happy to catch my first stream. Happy to have you here, itty. I did a makeup tutorial vid in high school and got one comment on it, asked how I was doing it wrong, and panicked and deleted the video. Dude, it's- yeah! Like, I'm used to it at this point. Like, I want to say haters, I don't like that word. Um, unless used ironically. But like, if I get like a mean comment now, I'm just like, okay. It's nice because it's swathed nicely within like, you know, probably like a hundred positive comments. So I, you know, sort of like, sort of like, lessens the blow a little bit. But if it was like early on in my YouTube, f like, career, I'd have been like, I it probably would have ruined my day. Sometimes they still do, like, get me a little bit, but like, you still ha you have to realize that like, you know, within that one negative comment, it's probably like, you know, in my case, likely like a hundred good comments, you know? Sort of helps you feel better. I'm back, a reset? Yeah. Yep. Just lack of focus for like one second. Just like, didn't focus for like two, three seconds, and it's over. Six hours of work. What do you do when you have a dummy in chat? I ban them. Which is easy to deal with mean comments, you just time them out or you ban them. YouTube, it's a little bit harder because you can, you know, you can like mute them and hide them, but like, you know. You're not, like, seeing them live, you know? It might have, like, stayed there for, like, some hours and, like, I don't know. Dag is stinky. Well, I know you don't mean that because you're just trying to get attention. What do I have to do for you to ban me in the chat? If you ask nicely, I will ban you right now. Like, if you ask nicely, I will just time you out right now. Like, if, if you want... If anyone wants a ban, all you have to do is ask. It's It's easy. 
It's easy. Ain't gotta do nothing. Not if I do it first. Go for it. If they ask, send them. Go for it. If you're not a YouTuber or streamer, what career path would you have chose? I don't know. Whatever would have been available to me. I didn't have... I don't know what I want to do for a living. I fell into doing this. But before this, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I worked in a fucking factory, and I hated it. And I was like, this sucks. I don't know what I want to do with my life. I have no motivation. I have no goals. I've never had a passion. Ever since I was a kid, I struggled with the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I always said just like the most generic shit like, police officer, firefighter. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to be. And I was always like, I'll figure it out. You know, I'll go to high school and I'll take some classes in something that I find passion in. And then I graduated high school with still no idea. And then I went to college for computer science, which I thought would be something that's right up my alley. Because, oh, good doggy, I love computers. And then I dropped out of college without finding my passion. And then I was like, well, shit, I guess I got to go work in my dad's factory. Um, he doesn't own the factory, but he works there. And I hated that. And then I uh, moved, got another job at a factory, hated that moved and then stumbled into doing youtube and twitch and here we are so if i didn't do this i don't know what the fuck i'd be doing right now i'd probably be working a factory job or something that i'm not very passionate at until i find myself passionate about something you know i i'd 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 have found I'd, I'd be employed somewhere doing something that no doubt i'd probably not enjoy very much because even to this day, if it wasn't for the fact that I stumbled into doing this, I would not know what I want to do with my life. Because I never found passion or ambition in anything. During schooling life, during post-schooling life, during my adulthood at all. Like, I found passion in this, but, you know, it kind of stinks because I even see, like, the downsides of doing stuff like this rear its ugly head sometimes, too. And I'm like, man, is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Is it even something I can do for the rest of my life? Is YouTube going to be around forever? Am I going to be relevant? Do people want to watch me forever? Everything's temporary. And, you know, it's sort of, if you think about it too much, you'll start dreading the future. So I try not to think about it too much. Thanks for the hydrate. I feel bad for those packed people in factories making U2s. Why? Why do you, like, pity them? They don't deserve... They don't, they don't... I don't think that they... I don't think you should pity them. I find that if somebody enjoys doing what they do, no matter the job, then that should be awesome and praised. Why should they... Why, why, why would you pity them? They, I don't know. I don't think they deserve that. Um... Right. Mail for Joy-Cons and DIYs. Yeah, and it's just like, I could hope to stumble into my passion someday, but, you know, and I kind of did, but, you know, what happens when this ends? Well, I guess I'm back to, like, not knowing what I want to do for a living. But it is nice, because at least I did make some money while I do this. So. I'm gonna go celebrate the bells. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day. Have a good New Year's. Have you always liked playing video games? Yeah, and I didn't. I knew for a while that there was a way to monetize making video, playing video games by doing YouTube and Twitch. So that's why I even tried doing it in the first place, with never the expectation of actually ever making it a career. Just a, you know, a far off goal of that I had in mind, I guess. Just a far off goal that I had in mind. Right. Fifteen sticks, wasps, furniture, spoiler. Mail for Joy-Cons DIYs, donate five bugs. Right, I should've gotten the... Should've gotten the sticks. I still think you got potential to be a voice actor. Yeah, but like, you know, that's a really hard thing to get into. Unless you're like a nepotism baby. And you like know people. Pizza rolls for lunch and a stream? Yeah, this is the liffer. Yeah, that's right. No, actually, I do fuck with sex. I feel bad. <laughs> but like... I still love the same shit that I did when I was a kid. I could still, just as easily as I was able to do when I was like 12, 13, fuck up a whole ass bag of Totino's pizza rolls at the age of 26, 27, Jesus, dementia. I could still do that just as easily at 27 as I was able to do at like half the age I am now. Is that sad or is that great? Am I living my best life? Am I being a girl boss? Yeah, it's just comfort food, I guess, right? 
Mail for Joy-Cons DIYs. Sell extra stuff like the fishing rod. Right, we gotta go back in here. It's delightful. Yeah. I don't know. I still feel like a real doofus, though, going to, like, the grocery store as someone who's 27. I should be, like, buying, like, oh, raw ingredients and vegetables and stuff, and I've got a whole ass bag of Totino's pizza rolls, and I'm like... I feel like a real doofus when the person in front of me bought, like, five pounds of vegetables, raw hamburger meat, potatoes, onions, carrots, and they're all gonna put it in their crock pot for a nice, hearty, healthy stew. And I'm like, oh, Totina's Pizza Rolls tonight. Haha. <laughs> Totina's Pizza Roll tonight, babe? Totina's Pizza Roll tonight, queen? Totina's Pizza Roll tonight? Wow. I'm cooking rabbit. See, like, you're cooking rabbit. I'm out here, I'm probably gonna, like, heat up some, like... Well, I might make, like, tacos or something, you know? I might actually make something that takes, like, a little effort. Um... Alright, I wanted to sell, big doofus. As a 36-year-old living alone that can't cook to save her life, I feel that. Well, you know, I, I used to be sponsored by, like, meal prep services, so this isn't, like, me trying to sell them. But meal prep services taught me, like, the, at least the basics of cooking. I would recommend them if there's something within your budget, but they are, they can be pricey, so I understand if not. Football? What's a football? I made broccoli alfredo last night. See, that sounds good. Broccoli alfredo? And you could, like, tell others you made broccoli alfredo, and they'll probably be like, wow, that's really, like, you know, that's awesome. That's great. It sounds like you really got your, like, life together, right? <laughs> Sell extra stuff. Buy a net. Buy an axe. Buy 20 flowers. That'll make black, blue, or purple hybrids. Got it. Buy a net. Buy an axe. 20 flowers that can make black, blue, or purple hybrids. And, you know, trying to see if I can't get some white flowers this time. Because I made the mistake of not having white flowers and not getting an orchid manis last time. Red lilies are... Yeah, those can make black, and then yellow mum. Yeah, okay, so buy a bunch of black lilies then. We actually got black lilies, I think, as well in my, um... Fuck, not just one, stupid. I actually got a... We got a bunch of red lilies um, from giving them bugs, so we already have some of that. Made a lot of easy meals, makes me feel like an adult, and it's cheaper than eating out. Yeah, I haven't eaten out in that way it's in like um a couple months i think i'm pretty i'm pretty happy about that i've been trying to cut down on that and i'm happy that i have been able to do so successfully i will buy one white cosmo there we go i made some grilled meat korean barbecue style with the fam to celebrate new year that sounds fucking awesome and you guys aren't inviting me to your house in that way lmao hey put her there haha <laughs> Hmm. Buy five saplings, make three axes. Got it. Had to pause. Why? Buy five saplings, right? So you think you have... Dude, quit asking me questions, alright? I mean, some bomb-ass noodles right now. Hey, there you go. It'll be weird in my chat. The boycotts have stopped me from eating out, but in the best way possible, because now I'm not tempted to go out at all. What do you mean, the boycotts? Wait, who's boycotting what? Also, y'all see that, uh, Cosmics that's, like, opening up? You said this is a Q&A, didn't you? Yeah, but, like, you know, SFW Q&A. You guys see that Cosmics that's opening up, like, around, like, the United States? It's like, the McDonald's owned, like, cafe only. Do you guys have one of those nearby? I was kind of, I was kind of, like, looking at that. I don't think I have one nearby, but if I did, I might, like, actually, like, go out and eat. I might actually, like, go there, which is exactly what they would want me to do, but, you know, I thought I'd try it for the novelty of it all. Suggestion to plant flowers away from riverbanks and other regularly walked paths. Yeah... Kind of, like, hard to do, though, given that the starting area here is not very big. 
kind of like not a the starting area here isn't very big. It's kind of hard to avoid. Yeah, I've nuzlocked Animal Crossing. This is like a nuzlocke, isn't it? Sort of, yeah. Where you just like... Um, see, I think these are red lilies. So really, I should just add my existing red lilies to here, right? Maybe I'll keep all my flowers like kind of close by. And we'll do it that way. I don't know. Maybe race to get three stars and terraform over the rivers? Well, that's... I don't know. I don't feel like it's a very good use of my time. It, when in reality, I just need to not make the same stupid mistake. I think that, that m not making the same mistake I just did would be an easier solution than trying to work around me making a fucking mistake. Like, you just don't make the mistake. Is that easy, I think. Forehead. Is any of this a good use of your time? Um, let me think. Uh, it's my job, so, um, running the numbers, uh, yeah, yeah, it is a good use of my time. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, thinking, mm, numbers, calculator, mm, yeah, it's a good use of my time. I mean, you're here after all, right? And isn't that worth it? Alright, and then we'll, you know, see, this is, this is look nice, and if we keep all the flowers in this area... And uh, we'll, like, know that this is where the big flower patch is. We have a nice little area here with which to walk by without scaring away anything that's on the flowers. And then, uh, we're good. I think, anyway. I don't know, man. I don't think you need to stream. Money does grow on trees. It's not money, like, is trees, sort of, right? Because it's, like, paper. That's kind of, like, prolific, actually, right? I think I deserve a tier 3 gifted sub for that. All right, let's squash uh, a couple trees with this museum tent. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, plant 10k bells, man. Wouldn't that be $100 in real life? Could you imagine burying $100? Dude! Dude, if you bury a $100 bill... And you, like, dig it up in, like... Dude! If you bury, like, a $100 bill and you dig it up in, like, five years, it's gonna be, like, $103 because of interest. So, y'all should, like, go bury all your money in, like, a hole outside and then dig it up in, like, five years. You guys should do that. Maybe a little path through your flower patch in case there's a bug in the middle. Yeah, that's a good point. What if there's a bug in the middle? I mean, I guess I could just, like, if there's a bug in the middle, I can yoink, yoink anything in between me and it. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be okay. It'll be alright. Plant the saplings on the beach. Gather iron and wood. Fifteen of each wood. Plant five saplings on the beach. Okay. Got it. Famous last words. No, it's not. no. I think it'll be okay. I think you're being dramatic. I think it'll be okay. No, I think no. Don't try to fuck with me. I mean, like, look. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying is a guarantee sure. F like, I just think that as long as I'm careful about it, it can definitely be done. I'll plant that there for an orchid manis. I wanted to bury money all the time as a kid. <laughs> really? I wanted to like spend it on like candy and shit. But I guess we're just built different. I guess. Alright, so we've already shook all trees here, so we don't have to worry about bees. I'm also not keeping track of how many hits this axe has. I don't feel like it. I have caught a bell cricket. Get away. How do you come up with these challenges? Um, well, people suggest them a lot of the time. People, I don't know if... I think this one was suggested when I did the fish without uh, catching trash challenge, which I axed because it was boring. Uh, I think that this one was suggested in the wake of that one. So, here we are. I guess here we are. I can... Yeah, and then... I can... I guess I can get rid of this one. I just don't want to do that, because I want to, like, keep the wood next to the tree so I can remember that I hit it. I gotta head out. Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy, happy New Year's Eve. Hope it's a good one. Hope 2023 was a good one for everyone, and I hope your 2024s get off to a stellar start. Let me clean up. Uh, 
All right, don't pick it up yet. What's the outlook for 2024 looking like? Do you guys have like a good like foundation set for 2024? Or is it looking like kind of grim? Like the end of 2023 wasn't very good and so like 2024 isn't shaping up to be too hot. What's like the outlook looking like? Everyone says like X year is going to be my year. But like does anyone truly think that this is going to be your year? Fuck no man, I go with the flow. That's admirable though. Just going with the flow, maintaining status quo. That's okay. Yeah, that wasn't going to work, was it? I'm turning 40, so there's that. There's nothing wrong with turning 40, though. 40's cool. 40's not old. Get out of your head that 40's old. It's not. If you think 40's old, you're more likely young. Like, we should be clowning on you for being young, rather than you on them, or them on you for being old. I'm moving out of my hometown in 2024. Let's go. That's cool. Hopefully that works out well for you. Yeah, I've already hit that tree. I think it's just some fruit trees I left behind, right? Don't run. What are you doing? Don't run. Yeah, there we go. I'm graduating in 2024, so there's that. I would have graduated college in 2018. That's kind of fucked. That's really fucked. Oh, 2023 sucked for me. Got laid off, and I'm making way less now, but I'm going back to college next year for a career change, so hopefully it's better. Yeah, I hope for your sake it's better, too. I hope for your sake it's much better, too. I don't know what my outlook looks like. I think that for my, um, like, real-life outlook is pretty good. I don't want to get, like, optimistic only for it to bite me in the ass, but then again, like, I don't think it's bad to be an optimist about, like, what you think the year coming up will be like. I don't think it's a bad thing, even if you're wrong. Nobody should, like, clown on you for being like, ah, what a fucking idiot. You thought this year was gonna be good, but it was actually shit. And instead of consoling you for having a bad year, I'm gonna make fun of you. Nobody should be like that to you. I think it's okay to have a positive outlook on things. As much as I'm a pessimist, I try to. I think 2024 would be okay for me, as long as you don't get into the fucking river. I heard your ass away from there. Get away. Shoot! Scat! I don't think it's a bad thing to be optimistic. Even though in, like, the inherently pessimistic, uh, world of being online... I think it's good. Bad- bad foundation, maybe, but it feels like a fresh start. Yeah! I mean, if nothing else, having a fresh... I mean, I basically restarted my life in 2023. And don't get me wrong, like that's done a lot of good and bad for me. Which is not to say that, like, you know, it will be good and bad for you in the same ways that it was for me. But I basically restarted my life in 2023. And I look back on it and I'm like, is there a time in my life where I've been, like, happy with where I'm at in life? Ooh, hang on. Is there a time in my life where I've been happy with where I'm at? Not in a long time. I can hope only that 2024 will be a year that I can look back on and be like, I was happy. I was happy this year. Like, this is a year where I could totally, like, replay it and, it, like, have 2025 be as 2024 was and be like, yes, this is awesome. You seem happier now, Dag, truly. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I think I got, like, a good foundation around me to have my future happiness be better. Gold? Okay. I mean, good for money, I guess. Why would you hit it again? Alright, good. Going through the motions myself currently has been an up and down year, hoping for a brighter 2024. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I've built like an okay foundation around 2024. I guess it's just a matter of doing it, you know? It's just a matter of actually like putting the things that I've set in place into work and hoping that they work for me. All right, have I missed any trees? I suppose you haven't scared a bug yet. Nope. I've had a clean 49 minutes and 5 seconds. I've had a... It's been a good 49 minutes and 5 seconds so far. Clean. I think I hit that rock. Where's the third rock around here that I must not have hit yet? Where are you, bastard? Not you, but you are a bastard. 
Put it down here. Who's my third rock? I had one money rock. I had the one rock in the top right. I think the money rock was the one way up from here. I should have a third one around here somewhere, right? Yeah, here we go. Right? Yeah, there we go. May not seem like much because we're not physically here. I hope we help just a little bit and make you happy. Yeah, I mean, you know. I think as an overall, you guys are a... Um, I guess that overall, you guys are a positive influence on my life. I think that most of you I would not send to, like, the proverbial gallows. I think most of you are a, um, I think that if, like, 80% of you, like, waved at me on the street, I would probably give you, like, a wave back. I would probably, maybe some of you, I would, like, even, like, dap you up. I would be like... Yo, that's like, that's my dog right there. Like, that's my homie. I might even dap some of you up. So, yeah, I, I think, like, as a whole. And then, like, the other, like, 10%. Well, I won't say. But if you're in the 10%, um, which I won't say who's in the 10%, but, you know. If you are, then just, uh, you know. Aw, I think I'm gonna cry. Eh, who says you're not in the 10%? No, I, you're not. I get way too nervous to say hi to any YouTubers and streamers I watch. Why? I don't bite. Unless you asked. If you're in the 10%, you better cross the street. If you're in the 10%, you better keep walking is what you better do. Apple. I'm the entirety of the 10%. No, there's not one person that makes up the entire 10%. Excuse me. He doesn't bite, but he snarls. Yeah, like, I got, like, a mean snarl, but I wouldn't bite you. But I will snarl at you. That's just a taste. I wouldn't... Uh, that's just a taste. You wouldn't want to actually see me go, like, full snarl. That was just, like, a little... That was just a taste. You are my favorite YouTuber slash streamer. Thanks, Dream SMP fan. Wood? Don't hurt him now. Nah, yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not unleashing the beast. Nah, you guys don't deserve it. You guys don't deserve to see the full beast unleashed. What is this wood ratio? I'm getting a lot of regular wood. Urgh, I'm getting too much money. Don't want to see him at his max snarl wolf. No, I can get like real mean. I can get real mean. I missed the first couple hours. Seeing Dag started over has made me so sad. So sad. So, 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 so sad. So, so sad. Did he have dice in his pocket? Son of a bitch. Does the beast wear the orange or piss yellow t-shirt? This is a yellow t-shirt. You guys can't see? Look, it's even got a coffee stain on it because I spilled coffee on it. That's where the coffee stain came from. This is piss yellow t-shirt. You think this is white? It's yellow. It clearly has like a tone of yellow to it. Look at my neck. Am I fucked up? Am I fucked up? Ugh. I'm, like, weird. Do you ever, like, look at yourself and you're like, man, I'm weird? Because, like, look, let's be honest. You see, like, a hundred people, like, that are not you, and then, like, that's, like, the... You make, like, a normal human being in your head, and then you look at yourself, and anything that's not, like, the normal human being, you're like, oh, I'm weird. Humans are inherently kind of weird. You ever, like, look at your own, like... And don't make this into a weird thing, okay? Like... If you make this into a weird thing, I will actually genuinely, like, time you out. You ever, like, look at your foot? Like, look at your feet? And you just, like, look at it and you're like, wow, that's fucking weird. You ever look at, like, your foot and you're like, that's fucking strange. 
God, that's weird. It's weird. It's shaped weird. It's weird. Feet are fucking, like, and toes, and, like, they're weird. They're weird. And you're like, that's mine. I just live with that. I got two of them. They're weird. They're strange. Hands are strange. Like, I don't think I, like, anything else... I don't think there's any creature that could, like, do this with their fucking hands, like I'm doing. Other than humans. I think we're the only people that can do that shit with our hands. We're fucking strange. We're fucking... We're really strange. I don't know. Anyway, that's all my wood, right? Nah. And now... Do I have 30 of every kind? No, I'm short on hardwood. Get the president on the phone. I shorted him a brick. Or I fronted him a brick. I see the bad moon rising. Um, right, right. Got all that. Buy item, take picture, edit, comment, change design. Got it. I think I can actually do this before five. Nice. Okay. And go inside. I think ears look weird. Ears are weird, too. You're right. Ears are weird, too. The way that they're, like, shaped, like, the way that they're, like, curved, the way that they're, like... I don't know. They are weird. Ears are strange. I think that, like, evolution has made it so that, like, they're perfectly shaped in the way that it delivers, like, the maximum amount of sound into your ear, and it's, like, made them weird. It's made them strange. Do you guys wash your ears? I would heavily judge somebody who doesn't wash their ears. Those things get disgusting. Belly buttons? I don't like belly buttons. Like, my own belly button kind of freaks me out. I be looking at that shit and I'm like, damn, that's sucking strange. That's like a- that's like a weak point. That's like a weak point on my body that's like direct access to like my insides. That's fucking strange. I have like a- I have like an actual like weak point on my body. Like, I have an actual like weak point. Do people wash their feet? Oh my god, if you're not washing every square inch of your body, you're fucking strange. How about that? Uh... A-T. Yeah, I'm feeling A-T today. <laughs> A-T. It's just your old mouth, leave it alone. Yeah, but that's fucking- <laughs> And you're saying that, like, that's not fucking weird? It is. Y'all stinky. There's an emote for that called You Stinky. And I hope people use it more because I like it. It's a little cat going like... <laughs> it's funny. Oh no, we're going to get the bidet lecture now? It's not a lecture. It's basically a demand at this point that everyone should have a bidet. Whoops. Do that again? No, I'm not going to get your sick kicks off because I'm fucking not weird. I know people who say that soap and water running down their legs counts as washing feet. I've seen that before. I think it's like, I guess, a dude thing where, like, you think that, like, washing your body and then, the, like, the soap runoff of it, you know, getting washed off your body counts as washing your legs. And if you genuinely think that, I want you to know I think very little of you. <laughs> For what's that for the, what's that worth? If you think very little of me, then what I think of you will not mean a whole lot to you. But I just want you to know, if you think that that counts as washing your legs, um I don't want you to ever come near me. That's for sure. That's so stupid. No, it doesn't count. Of course it doesn't count. If you're not scrubbing it, it doesn't count. Tell him to do the same with a plate and then eat off of it. Yeah. Thanks, Cruise Vice, for the tier one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Thank you. Imagine you dap someone up and then find out they don't wash their legs. It would be a huge violation of my trust. Yeah. It would be a huge violation of my trust. Hope you have a great new year. Thanks, Unbridled Carnage. Thank you. I mean, I hope everyone thinks I have a good new year, right? <laughs> I wouldn't... I hope none of you guys think I have a bad new year. What is dap? If you dap someone up, that's what you're saying, like, my dog. And you, like, you know... You could, like, dap them up. And, like, hit them with, like, a, you know, a bro chest bump. Maybe, like, a little bro hug. It's basically two bros. Like, it's, it's a way of two bros greeting each other. 
Say like my dog, and you dap him up. You're legally allowed to bite someone if they violated your trust like that. Yeah? I think that that is in the law. I get like the gaming lawyer on that, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Oh, see, I'm not down with the kids. I think like... I don't know. I mean, I think that too, but even I know what that means. So, what's that say about you? Okie dokie, you could pay off our house. Ready to pay. Gonna gross y'all out? Every hand you've shaken has touched genitalia at some point. And? What's the problem? Ew! Private! Stop making that face, please. Good, I will stop making that face because it kind of hurt. Like, I don't think I'm going to do that again. Like, dude, yeah, if you think about it, it's like, yeah, of course they have all touched them little selves, but I don't know. That's just part of life, man. You ever pet a dog? You ever let a dog lick you? That tongue has probably licked their balls or their pussy within the last, like, 30 minutes, most likely. But you're like, oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the little kissy. You just accept that that's part of, like, other creatures, you know? Their own balls? Probably. Maybe not necessarily. Free third base. Yeah. Shook hands with a girl. That girl probably, like, you know, touched herself at some point. See you later, virgins. You can't throw out that word pussy like that. Oh, I just did. What are you gonna do about it? Alright, now we leave and the day rolls over. I try not to let my dog lick me, but I think it hurts her feelings when I push her away. Dude, that's the dog trying to, like, give you love and affection, and you're pushing it away? Let your dog lick you. If you don't want a dog to lick you, you probably shouldn't own a dog. That's kind of part of owning a dog, is it will lick you. It will try to give you affection in the only way that it knows how to do. And that's by, like, licking you and cuddling with you. And, like, yeah, they're gross. Dogs and cats and pets and humans are all gross, but, like... You can't let that get in the way sometimes, you know? Like, I don't know. I think that's a little fucked up, personally. Like, I know that when a dog licks me, it's probably, like, licked its privates very recently. But, yeah, it's just part of doing business, man. Just part of doing business. Just wa wash your face if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh, owie. Ugh. Ugh, hey. I, I can do like one of them stretches that like I probably make some like fucked up faces while I do it, so I gotta hide. Ah! I'm getting too much money. I need my perk. I need my perk. One perk is never enough. <laughs> Dagno, you just scared, and I woke up my cat. <laughs> Did that, like, alert every cat that could hear that? My cat keeps looking at me. Good. I want to, like, try to summon as many people's cats and as many viewers' cats as possible. You gave my cat zoomies. Good. I, I guess I can speak cat pretty well. I guess I can speak cat pretty well. Uh, alrighty. Uh, blathers. 
Shut up, rat. I see the bad moon rising. Where did I put him again? I think I put him like, yeah, down here. I see trouble on the way. Okay, now hiss at him. I can't hiss as well. I think I need to have a wet mouth for that. Is this good? That's a fucked up sound. That hurts. My cat gave me the stink eye and went back to sleep. Hey, I'll take that. You woke up my dog from his nap. Man, I'm a real, like, animal whisperer out here, I guess, huh? See, Dagnall can keep himself hydrated because he's half cat. No, if I was half cat and I needed to keep myself hydrated, I would, like, meow and cry until you, like, just a little bit turned on the bath faucet so that I go, like... <laughs> And suck like the stream of water coming out of the faucet. I don't know why, but every cat I've had doesn't like drinking water out of like a bowl in a traditional sense. They like the little like fountain water. I guess it's like better for them or something. Thanks for the hydrate. I got my cat a fountain. Yeah, what's it about like cat brains that they like fountain drinking and like bathtub drinking? I gotta get a cat, and if I- or rather, if I get a cat, I gotta fucking train it to use the fucking toilet, man. I gotta train it to use the toilet. Any of y'all got a cat that, like, uses the toilet instead of, like, the litter box? I gotta- I gotta fucking train my cat to do that, man. Because I see, like, people take videos of their cat, like, using the toilet, and I'm like, how'd you get him to do that? Because I want to learn. I want to get him to do that. They like running water because it's more natural. Oh, okay. I guess that's fair. They don't like stagnant water because it usually has diseases and natural selection and evolution and shit. Well, if that was the case, why wouldn't every evolved species hate that? Like, dogs love it. They don't care. And also, it's pretty natural to, like, drink stagnant water because, like, where do you think they drank out of when they were, like, in the jungle? The rivers and the ponds and the shit, you know? That's what I think, anyway. Could be wrong. Could be stupid. Likely stupid. Dogs are more human bred than cats. Oh, okay. Rivers are not stagnant, bois. Yeah, but you know what I mean. It's not like coming from, like, a fountain or anything, you know? My friends, the cat does that. It's jarring to walk in on them. Oh, do you, like... It feels like an invasion of privacy. You, like, walk in on them, you're like, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. You can close the door, wait till they're done. Most of my time, the cat drinks from the bathroom sink. Yeah, they love that shit for some reason. There's a kit you can get to fit over the toilet, put litter in it, then gradually take away the solid bottom. Uh, I wouldn't want to, like, buy, like, a kit to do that. I'd rather they just learn it naturally. Because if I, like, make them do that, I wouldn't want to make them do something that they don't like. Like, if they want to learn to do that, that's fine. But I wouldn't, like, force it upon them, you know? I'll clean a litter box. I don't care. I'm just kind of like, hmm, how do I get them to do that? But only if they want to, you know? All right. Buy better tools and tool ring. Will the cat start using the bidet? You know, they say because of, like, the diet of dogs and cats and pretty much every animal that isn't humans, like, nobody else, like, needs to clean their butt because their, like, diet makes it so that it's all clean or something like that. Pretty good tools. Just like potty training a baby. Yeah, well, you know, a baby also, like, is, I don't know. It, like, a dog and a cat take, like, a year before they're an adult. A baby is, like, 18 years, and they, like, hate you for half of it, so I don't know. A dog and a cat is, like, one year, and they fucking love you. Like, they're, they're fucking into you. A baby is, like, they get to, like, 14, and they're like, I don't fucking like you. You're fucking stupid. And then it's still not even grown. 
Tell that to the clumps of shit I have to cut out of my dog's ass for every month. I don't think I want to talk to that. Also, animals don't have ass cheeks like us either. Damn, if that ain't true. Shoo! Shit! Y'all see Dexter's mom? Holy fuck! I'm not kidding, man. God damn, man. They did not have to do that. Um... I apologize. Butterfinger's hosting a giveaway for Final Fantasy VII, if anyone's into that. Final Fantasy VII? Then that came out in, like, 1999? Calm down, buddy. Where did that come from? We were talking about ass cheeks, man. Alright, yes. Yes. All I'm saying is, alright, like, early 2000s, early to mid-2000s, like, cartoon moms, okay? Early, mid-2000s cartoon moms, they, they didn't have to do that, alright? They didn't have to do that, okay? They didn't have to do that to them, but they did. Mrs. Incredible, what's Timmy's mom called? They didn't have to, but they did. Timmy's mom, I don't think she ever had a name. I think she was just Timmy's mom. Dexter's mom from Dexter's Lab. Holy smokes, dude. Why did they go so hard on that? They didn't have to go that hard. Danny Phantom's mom? I never even watched Danny Phantom, but I wouldn't doubt it. Miss Bellum from Powerpuff Girls? Yeah? Lola Bunny? That was like mid-90s, but yeah, no. They, they did, they really didn't have to do that one, though. They, like, they really didn't have to do that one. Like, that one was like, okay, you really, like, you, you should stop. Buy a net watering can and shovel. Ain't no one talking about the owner of Tom and Jerry? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Hmm... Another one, more recent one, May's Mom Ming. Is that from Overwatch? Didn't they, um... <laughs> I saw something about how they de-cheeked, um... Did they, did, I think they de-cheeked Tracer, didn't they? I saw some outrage about that. Oh, Turning Red. Oh, okay. The Ant from Big Hero 6? I think they de-cheeked Tracer in Overwatch. No, she's always been uncheeked. I saw some shit recently that was like... People were mad because they uncheeked her a little bit. She's always been uncheeked. Oh, okay. By Netwater and Can't Shovel. They uncheeked Widowmaker. Which one's that? Is that the one that's in the moon the moon moon emotes? The one that's like you know, given like the Kurt Angle stare sort of? Make vaulting pole, better can, iron axe, crafting table. They uncheeked Wario in Mario Kart. Honestly, that dude needed a nerf. Phew. You could uncheek him and he's still thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. I see the bad moon rising. I only have two flimsy axes. Yeah, because I broke a couple. Widowmaker is the sniper with purpose. Yeah, the, the moon moon emotes. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. No, that's my wife. You have a lot of wives. Which, you know. Better can, iron axes, vaulting pole. Uh, uh yeah. First defense... If de <sighs> never fucking get this word right. Def defenstrate and now de-cheeked. I think those are two good themes in my stream. Uh, yeah, vaulting pole. Alright. Oh, in the crafting table, but I don't have any more iron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I can give my wood to this guy as well. <laughs> he said, oh, guys, did you hear what he said? Guys, did you hear what he said? Oh, my God, he said he's going to give us wood. Whoa, doggy. Woo wee! My parents didn't give me enough attention when I was younger. 
How's the challenge going? You can tell through the tone of my voice that it's going spectacularly. I want to sell. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Now, chop trees, pick up all the wood, hit rocks, get the iron, place crafting table. Don't have crafting table, no problem. Chat, he said a funny laugh. Yeah. Didn't they deboob Laura Croft? Okay. The, like, maybe, but it kind of was hard not to after, you know, the N64 version of Laura Croft. You really, like, you're starting at the top, man. You can only go downhill from there. Like, literally, like, mountains. Let's do, um, where's my grove that I want to keep? Also, I got to shake all my trees again. Give her triangle titties back. That was ridiculous. They literally, like, I, I don't know, that was fucking ridiculous. I saw a tweet, actually, that compared, um, I think it's Candy Kong from Donkey Kong Country to Laura Croft. And, of course, Donkey Kong Country on, I think it was the N64, right? I, I don't know, that was fucking ridiculous. Polygonal perkies. Yeah, that was fucking ridiculous. Interesting stream tags. I don't know what the stream tags are. They auto-generate. I know the post you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know where I saw it, but it was a comparison of Candy Kong and Laura Croft's uh, booba from the N64. DK Country games were SNES? Oh, I guess it must not have been SNES then. Where's my... I should have a fourth rock here now, right? Don't... It's fine. I don't think anything could be on trees right now, or at least not much. Nope. Bryce Dallas Howard from Jurassic World had her cheeks CGI'd smaller. Which one is that? Is that the more recent one? Thanks for the hydrate. I haven't seen any Jurassic World movie park at all. It was this post. Yeah, here it is. Candy Kong ate her up. Yeah, that was it. Hang on. Candy Kong... Well, don't censor the name. I want to give credit. Yeah, it was Candy Kong. And these are on the same systems, man. That's just... That's fucked up. That is fucked up. This is fucking ridiculous. Look at this fucking... I don't know. That is fucking ridiculous. That's in the Discord? That must have been where I saw it. I definitely remember seeing it. Oh, I just saw a bad tweet below that. I saw... No, I can't say it. I can't say it. Alright, hang on. I gotta go back here. There we go. Some of them replies on Twitter that I see sometimes. Just fucking absurd. Website's truly gone to hell. Laura Croft is from the PS1, a 32-bit system, while Candy is from the N64, a 64-bit system. So they doubled the bits, and the best thing that they decided to do with it was that... Did I hit this rock, by the way? I feel like I just, like, was going to hit this rock and then I didn't. Yep, sure didn't. But I can't because fucking pill bug. And I see that they made the best use of those 32 extra bits, right? They doubled the booba. They doubled the polygons, man. Probably because of a different art style. No, I think the graphical limitations is a good reason. It's just like... Jesus, Louises. Oh, I see that we're on attempt 5 already. Wow. Yeah... Yep. Maybe it doesn't art style. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's still. It's ridiculous. Fuck! Quit having fucking bugs! I can get like three things out of it. I think I can maybe hit the whole ass rock, but I don't want to chance it and like try to get the most amount of the rock without scaring away the pill bug. 
But I could probably afford to hit it more than three times before I lose the chance to catch the bug that comes out of it. But still, it's fucking annoying. I could probably go, like, maybe five or six hits with it, though. All right, chop trees and pick up all the wood. Right, where's the grove of trees that we want to leave? Probably not this one behind the museum. But let's go, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Don't have to do ten, I guess. You can just do like this seven. Right, I gotta shake them all again though. And Resident Evil 8 came out and everyone lost their minds over that tall bitch with the cans. Okay. I never played a Resident Evil game. But I'm assuming that will really hit hard for some of you in chat. Did you figure out what the spring fell out of your chair from? Oh no, I didn't. I still have that just sitting over there. Well, the good news is that the chair hasn't collapsed underneath me, and uh, so I think I'm just going to, like, continue on business as normal until my chair decides to fall out from under me, likely sodomizing me, and I'll probably go and take that as an excuse to finally get the Herman Miller that I've always wanted. Any bowling plans coming up? No, I don't go back to bowling till the 11th. Do you know what Shigeru Miyamoto had to approve of Candy Kong's design? I think he knew exactly what he was doing. You ever done midnight bowling on New Year's Eve? No, is that like a thing that happens? Is that a thing? Like, do a lot of bowling alleys do that? Or is that just like a you around you thing? I've never heard of that. There's like Glow Bowl where you uh like they turn the lights off and they just like run like a disco ball and that's kind of cool and they like play music and you dance that's kind of cool that's global though it ain't the same thing are you in a league i am in a league and the league restarts on the 11th it's fun if y'all got like i don't know if you're looking for something to do probably got bowling leagues around you guys is easy it's just bowling like you might not be good but that's okay a lot of people aren't good at it. I'm not good at it. I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like you might enjoy that. I mean, I might if I didn't have New Year's Eve plans. I'm gonna play some board games at a friend's house later. You're out of my league, for real. How low can you go? I want to find a lesbian bowling league. That'd actually be kind of fun. Maybe, you know, not for me, but, you know, I'm sure that you could find enjoyment in that. I mean, they do, uh, they actually had, you know what I learned they had around here recently that I didn't know existed because it really doesn't feel like a place where this would be too welcome? I learned recently that they have drag bingo, or had drag bingo, in where I live now, and I'm kind of surprised by the idea of that because I'm not saying where I live is a horribly bigoted place where you would never, like, even... You know, the concept of a gay person would just send this entire town into shambles, but it's definitely not exactly the most progressive place in the world. Yeah, they have drag bingo here, or at least they did. I think they don't do it anymore because of, you know, said bigotism. But I guess they did. I would have liked to be around for that. That sounds like it could have been a good time. I actually hosted it very close to me as well. Uh, I don't need these. Wasn't there a drag queen from your area? Ain't just a drag queen, man. That's Alaska Thunderfuck 5000. That's Erie, Pennsylvania fucking legend. Alaska Thunderfuck 5000. That's not just a drag queen. Like, yeah, they were like a background character in RuPaul Season 23 or whatever they're on now. That was like one of the finalists of RuPaul Drag Race. It's gotta be like, that's, that's one of people's more, like, adored drag queens, right? That's not just a drag queen. Put some respect. She won her All-Star season. Yeah! That's the pride of Erie, Pennsylvania right there. You're gonna just dismiss it as just a drag queen. Yeah. Fred Bolitnikoff, he was just a football player. Oh, that's a fucking legend right there. One of the most famous queens in the world. No big deal. Yeah. Alright, now we chop. And now we chop. <laughs> it's like epic uh, meal time. Remember that? Epic meal time. Hi. 
and winner of all stars too what that's awesome yeah it didn't really seem like a place where like you know I don't think this I don't I don't think admittedly that they like spent too much of their life in Erie. I think they like graduated high school and then like moved to places where I'm assuming like you know they're probably more welcoming to drag queens and the like, but I don't know. They they were here for some time. All right, we'll leave that grove in my top right. I'm getting kind of careless, to be honest. I'm really surprised I haven't scared anything away this challenge, because I guess it's like a time of day where like not much is spawned, but I'm kind of surprised. I'm being like a little careless right now, because I'm trying to like hurry to get back to the point where I was in the last attempt. Yeah, epic meal time. That was a that was a time saying like some shit like what you know about. I never watched it, but. Someone said something that reminded me of it. I'm gonna win the Diamond League in Duolingo. I've been doing Spanish since the start of this stream. I'm gonna win. OMG. They made fucking Duolingo like a battle royale? Is that what I'm hearing? They made Duolingo like a fucking PvP? I thought it was just learning languages. I mean, I guess that's like a fun way to make like learning languages fun, but... Interesting. I've never heard of that. I'm farming XP right now. It's mad. Jesus. When I took Duolingo, it just kept, like, hammering the same useless-ass sentences into my brain until I could remember how to say, the apple is red in Spanish. And even now, I forget. Because, I don't know, obviously I didn't do it. But I think I did it for, like, a couple of months, but, I mean, yeah, you can't learn a language in a couple of months. I know I'm not... I, and also, like, Duolingo is a good, like, supplement to, like, a, another way of learning a language. It's not a really good thing to, like, stand alone as a way to learn a language. La Menzana es Roja. Yeah. See, I would have said Rojo, because I thought that the color red was a guy. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Oh, how silly of me. I thought this washing machine was a girl. It had tits. It barely teaches you anything you can actually use. Yeah. I mean, maybe like a good supplemental refresher along with actually taking like a language course. Which probably, it's probably like it's intended use. I've been practicing Chinese on Duolingo. It's crazy fun. I only like tried Spanish because I was just like, I want to like see, <clears throat> I want to like learn like kind of like part of a language. And I like the thing is, is that like, I don't really have a use for any other language to know other than English. Like, Spanish, I guess, would be the most, like, versatile one where I live. But, I mean, even then, people who speak Spanish, like, they're not from America, they usually will just, like, try to their best to speak English, you know? I guess the only... I've always, like, dreamed of, like, being able to hear somebody having a conversation in another language, and I can, like, understand them. And I'm like, oh, shit, they're talking shit about me. And I can, like, turn around and be like... Hey, I hear you. I understand everything that you're saying. And they're like, whoop. I've always, like, you know, that's always been, like, one of those, like, uh, revenge fantasies you have in your head. But, like, nah, nah. This ain't worth the effort, you know? It ain't worth the effort. I'd totally pwn them, though. It'd be so awesome. I find Duolingo good for learning other languages' alphabets, like Japanese and Korean, but when it comes to actually learning the language, I don't find it useful. Yeah, I guess that's probably true, right? I can donate my softwood now. My eyes feel... Are my eyes, like, purple? You ever realize you've had your eyes open too long and you, like, blink and it feels so good to have your eyes closed? You're like, holy shit, my eyes. Finally caught Dag live. This is huge. Hi. Hi. Ah, I didn't mean to pick up the apple. Duolingo got too money hungry. I mean, isn't everything anymore. Because, I mean, like, what's most important? The shareholders or the people trying to learn the language, dumbass. Is clearly the shareholders. It's kind of a game, though, rather than learning. I mean, that's cool, but, like... Like, that's, that's fine. I guess I shouldn't shit on it too much if the intention of it all is to have fun more than anything. Why should I, you know, why should I poo-poo that? Dating apps have gotten money hungry. They have. I think I saw something that was like Tinder introduced a new tier of 
uh, subscription that's like $500 a month, I'm like, oh no, that bird scares me. Okay, well, it's gone now. I'm like, oh no, that's like, that's bad. Like, because, like, that's sad, because, like, there will be people who pay for that if they think that it gives them a better chance in, like, the dating pool. Because loneliness is so easily monetizable. You can so easily monetize loneliness. It's, like, something that every human being deals with. It's something that, like, most people, if they could throw money at it, would make it disappear. Like, if it was an option. And they present it as a potential solution to your loneliness. And, like, it's, I don't know. People will totally pay for that. People with more money than sense. Or friends. It's sad. Yeah, 500. It's like this super elite, like, I, I don't know anything about it, but I assume you're like in some like high class, upper echelon Tinder user where you're probably like at the front of every like, uh, every like swipe. Like you're like the first person that everyone sees as soon as they log on to the stupid app. It has to be, right? If you're paying $500, you fucking better be, right? If you can monetize loneliness or a negative emotion that humans feel, they will find out, for the sake of the shareholders, a way to do it. Uh, building a shop. I gave up on dating ads. I was so sick of the ads. I don't know anyone who pays for Tinder. I think you have to, though, right? I don't know. Like, I think you can get the app for... I guess, yeah, you just have ads, right? But I don't know. I think, like, the people who would pay for Tinder are uh, guys, quite frankly. Because I think it's a little bit harder as a guy on Tinder than this is a girl on Tinder. But, you know, just human loneliness factor. So, I guess, if you want to get some perspective as to why people would pay for Tinder, I guess you just have to try from the other side, the other team, you know? I paid for the cheap Tinder because I wanted to see who was liking me. Yeah, and that's kind of sad because, like, you do have to pay to see who likes you on Tinder. You have to pay to see who likes you. If you don't pay, you don't see who likes you. You just have to hope that you swipe on a person that also swiped on you. But if you pay, then you can see who likes you. It's one of those things that they hide behind, like, a pain wall that's kind of, like, shitty. And you're kind of like, oh, I feel like that should be, like, in there from the start, you know? I don't know. I tried dating apps for, like, a little bit, but I didn't enjoy it very much at all. It's like talking to a brick wall sometimes. I mean, that's just, yeah. Kind of humans. They expect the other person to be like this conversationalist that can guide the conversation in interesting and meaningful directions. But people, as is typical with relationships just in general, it's kind of a two-way road. And people don't really like that because it means they have to put in effort. Okay. Well, every tree except my grove is cut down. And we're good. I think I'll probably... I don't know. I got like 10 more minutes before I should end stream. You told us a dating app story a few weeks ago. What happened there? Did I? I don't think I've had... I didn't have a dating app, I don't think, a few weeks ago. I don't think I ever, like... I never met anyone I had on a dating app. I never met anyone. I talked to quite a few folks, but nothing ever came of it. And that's why I was kind of like, oh, this kind of sucks. So I don't really have any interesting stories to tell. Not too much wood. <laughs> About, oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 I did tell this story. Yeah, 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 okay. I did have a one dating app experience. Again, it wasn't like a real physical person. I mean, it was, but I didn't meet them. But about how um, this lady worked at a bank that I matched with. And <clears throat> I, you know, we were talking. I saw, you can see, like, if they put down what they do for a living, you can see that. And I was like, oh, you work at a bank? And they were like, yeah. What's, like, the worst customer you've dealt with? And she was telling me about this, like, customer who, like, threw money at her. Because I guess she did something wrong. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. You should be able to fight one customer a month. And you guys watch me. You guys know that, like, you guys know. I mean, tone and tone is very hard to communicate over text. Which is why, like, on stream, I can be more of a jokey goofster. 
So I told her, I'm like, you should be able to fight one customer a month. And I would do it if, if you know, she could see me. I would do it with a sinister look. And she said, no, I would get fired. And I'm like, okay, yeah. But if I was your boss, I would make it so that you could fight one customer a month. And she'd be like, no. Well, then no one would come to the bank. And I'm like, oh, okay. We're just, we're just not meshing, are we? I'm like, we're, we're just like not meshing, are we? Like we're, you, you kind of, you, you kind of ain't picking up what I'm putting down and maybe that's just how it is. You know, you just, you, you're not picking up what I was putting down and that's okay. You'll find someone great. Just not me. Cause I don't know. You kind of like need to understand like my humor. I feel like that's not, maybe not my entire selling point, but that's definitely a big one. Oh girl. Too pure of heart and naive for this world. I'm like, you gotta, like... If, if she hit me back with, like... Oh, dude, if I, like... If I ever see her again, I'd have, like, fucking... Triangle armbar, put her in a choke slam, WWE style. I'd have been like, alright. We can work with this. We can work with this. Alright. You know, you bounce my humor back off... I, I hit you with some with a joke. You hit me with a joke, and we bounce back and forth, and we can make something work. But you know, if if, if that one if that wasn't working, then I, I feel like I gotta I gotta graciously back out of this one. Um, right. Hit rocks. I think I hit all my rocks today, right? Mm, yeah, I think we're good. We gotta register all these nets though, or at least a couple of them. Dag, it's 12-31-23-1-2-3-1-2-3. By golly, you are fucking correct, aren't you? Wow! That's so true. What if she hit you with the, I've already been to prison for assault once, I don't want to go again. I say... Tell me about that. Yeah? Tell me about that. I say, yeah? No, like, that would at least be, like, an interesting conversation to have. I mean, like, look, I'm not saying, like, I got a thing for ladies in orange, but, I I mean, that would definitely be, like, something that we could talk about. Like, what the fuck did you go to jail for? And she'd say, like, I don't know. If it was for, like, a noble reason, then I could be like, oh, that's cool. Or if it was, like, something terrible, I could be like, okay, that's a very justifiable reason to block you. So at least I would, you know, learn more about them for better or for worse. I think she's a silly goose. You're so right. I would, I would, you know. Now let's figure out more about you here. All right. DIY workbench, I'll just put that down. Fuck it. Put that down. Cheer on the beach. Goodbye, Gulliver. I had a former friend pretend to be me in a dating app and talk to guys pretending to be me as a means of trying to get a date. Okay, former friend? Okay, yeah, you did say former friend. <laughs> I missed that part. Well, that's good. Seems as though you took the appropriate action. My first diagonal stream, I caught- I called you a silly sausage and you threatened me. Still wondering what would have happened if I called you a silly sausage again. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a silly sausage. Like- would I, like, nuke your ass for that? No, but I'm not a silly sausage. Don't accuse me of being such. Hi, I'm back. Hi. Should I hit her with a, do you wear a scarf? And she'd be like, a scarf? And reply, like, scarf these nuts. You want to know what my uh, Tinder bio was? You guys want to know? You guys want to get a Tinder bio reveal? I deleted it, so you guys are free to use this one. My first DAG stream, you banned someone, and I wanted to marry you on the spot. Okay, well, you're revving up for number two, then. I, uh... I think my bio on Tinder was like... If you like water, then you already like me 70%. Or some shit like that. I noticed my matches went up significantly after that. Okay. 
Yeah, but you don't drink water. What do you think's in my fucking cup, Drank Man? Drank Man, please! I'm trying to pull up! Piss? I mean, it will be. Eventually. Okie dokie. September at noon. Forward three days. Wait, I haven't gotten the shop bill yet. No, that's okay, right? Completely lost at where I'm supposed to be here. I like, I was so deep in the frickin' nutsack of this challenge, I forgot where I have to be. No. I have my AC and H Joy-Cons. Uh, yuck. Time travel forward three days to noon. For what exactly am I doing this for? I don't remember. I have it written down, though. It must be right. I would not swipe right for that. I'd nailed... I'd... I'd so nail Dag off Tinder, given the opportunity. Alright. You can sit down for four minutes. Your efficiency at time traveling is so cool, you got the muscle memory. Hang on, you see if I, how fast I can do it? Why is it scrolling so slow? It, it's fucking scrolling so slow now! If I change it, and then back to home, that's if you want to do it even more efficient, you go back to the home screen. You press the home button instead of going all the way back. It wants to embarrass- yeah, I'm embarrassed. I- I got fucking outed. I'm a fake. I'm a fraud. Why am I in September at noon? Water flowers if it's not raining. Hit rocks again until all are hit. Redeem miles. Time travel to December at 8 p.m. And then we'll get- right. Ooh, okay. Okay. I guess I'm just trying to get a black flower now. You guys can use that bio, by the way. I, I got it off Reddit, so you guys think I made that up. I'm not nearly that clever. Fill your drinks bottle with vodka, and every time someone does hydrate or donates 100 bits, you drink. So you're at that age, and we were all there. You're at that age where you think that, like, drinking is cool, and, like, getting drunk is, like, the coolest thing ever, but, like, it's kind of just obnoxious. I don't know. It's kind of just obnoxious. It's not cool. I, I, I'm not really a big drinker, and by that I mean I'll have a sip of my mom's wine when I meet her, but that's about it. First time catching a stream was watching your YouTube videos and saw that you were live. Hi! I am about to wrap up, but in the meantime, enjoy your time here. I'm 20 and I don't drink. Yeah, see, you're that age. Exactly. Just proving the point. What are the speakers? Where are the speakers for that microphone? Huh? What do you mean? Where are the speakers for that microphone? Oh, you know what I played for the first time yesterday? Lethal Company. And that reminds me because uh, whenever I was talking, I could like hear myself in other people's microphones. I played Lethal Company. It's pretty fun. I had a decent time with it. Lethal Company is sick. It was alright. I think I can see why people mod it, because it is, like, a little rough around the edges in some ways, but... And also, the weird, like, four-player limit. I think that there's a mod to allow more people in there. It's pretty fun, though. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it, anyway. Oh, Tom's microphone. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Do you know how the microphone works? Oh... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I never thought about that. Playing Lethal Company with friends seems very fun. Yeah, I had a good time. It's just, like, I don't like games where, like, you have to have, like, a minimum amount of, like, players. Because you always have to, like, set up dates and times where everyone can, like, get together and play. And it's like, oh, the, sometimes the stars have to align for everyone to, like, get on and play. But it was fun. I had a good time. I think it's fun even with two people. Yeah, it is fun with two people. I don't think that, um, 
you're meeting quotas very regularly if you only have two people, especially if they're beginners. But yeah, it is fun. The more the better. It's one of those games where like the more the better though, right? It was fun playing by myself earlier, but then I died. I didn't even know you could play by yourself. I thought you had to have other people playing that game. I already got a violent beetle. I already got that. Oh, a red... Oh, that's right. He got a red dragonfly during this time. That's right. I forgot. I'll wait. I'm not waiting. I lied. I'm not waiting. Got it. Are you going to play more papers, please? There's nothing more to play. I beat the game. That's not a game with, like, an insane... Well, okay, it kind of is, because there's, like, 20 different endings. But it's not, like, a game where I really feel the temptation to unlock every single ending in the game. Especially considering some of them will take just as long as my first playthrough did. So that's, like, five hours for, like, a few different endings. And then some endings require, like, a few hours of commitment. Some of the endings are, like, literally you could shoot someone day one, and then, you know, you get the bad ending. But, like, that would take, like, hours to get every single ending. And it's not really something I really have a lot of desire with which to do. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. But it's not really one where I want to get every ending. It doesn't have that much replayability to me, anyway. Who times out a paying member? Dude, I'm gonna do it again. What are you talking about, who times out a paying member? You think you're immune because you give me money? Fuck out of here. What a weird thing to say. They'll time out a VIP if they're acting weird, man. Yeah, probably no more papers, please. At least not for another 10 years, which is the gap between when I first played it and recently played it. So maybe in like 2033, we can talk about playing it again. If I haven't been nuked off of this website. Or if this website just hasn't been nuked in general. Well, I think we can probably wrap it up here, right? I think it's about that time. My mental state has been in shambles ever since I lost that run. So I think this is probably about where it would be appropriate time to end. Shut. I'm going inside. Hey, uh, thanks everyone for being here today. I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be live again. Uh, stream two days in a row. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel. If you want to get notified of when I go live next, I would recommend joining the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. And then get the at Andy role in the Twitch schedule channel of the Discord. And you'll be notified of schedule changes when I go live, etc., etc. We're going to pause the timer at 147.45. Point zero zero. One forty seven forty five. Who times out a paying member of chat? Anyone else think that way? Is there anyone else in the chat that thinks that? Anyone else want to come forward with your grievances? That was ridiculous. Thanks for being here today. I very much appreciate it. I'll might be live again tomorrow. We'll see. We're on attempt uh, five, day six. We ended at 147.45. I bet you liked someone named Francine. No, I didn't like no one named Francine. I didn't like no one named Francine. This is the first love stream I've been on for you. Oh, the rest of them were hate streams, right? Oh, hey, I need a rice grasshopper. I I, I actually, I, I need that. You want to not? There you go. All right, cool. Where are we at? He even got a Sarah with the H on the end, right? Fuck you, man. They don't need, I, don't, they, I don't live stream to be hit so close to home. I don't live stream to be hit below the belt. You know what I mean? Hang on, I gotta do something real quick here. I gotta, I gotta project. 
but like not in like the toxic way. I gotta like project my screen to a larger viewpoint so that I can see bugs and everything in my peripheral vision here. See, like you see my webcam here. This is a little trade secret here. You see my webcam. I don't see my webcam. All right. So everything that you're seeing of me right now, I don't see. I don't look at my webcam. I have a paper kite butterfly. So because like I got to see a bug that like spawns underneath my webcam and I can't do that unless I like hide it. Come here. Hey, thanks. Actually not slow. For the prime. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free <coughs> viewing. I'm sorry. I do that sometimes. That's just like a reaction that happens. Have I got a red dragonfly? Yeah, I think I was here in September at noon because I needed a red dragonfly. And because I needed a motherfucking... Hey, Chrysaria. Hang on. Or Chris Sierra. Thanks so much for the five gift subs. Holy smokers. Enjoy your emotes, everyone who got a gift sub. Thanks so much, Chris Sierra. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. That's not a grandpa cough, dude. A grandpa cough is like... <laughs> and it like... You can hear the phlegm coming up through their lungs and out of their throat. And then after they're done with that cough, they... They hawk a giant loogie. That's not... That's a grandpa cough right there. Yeah, exactly. And then they hawk a loogie. Gotta have some mucus and... Yeah, dude. You gotta have some mucus and like some form behind it. And you gotta, like, you don't do this, okay? You don't, <laughs> you don't do, <laughs> you go, <clears throat> Dagnal, victim of tuberculosis. He will be gone in a few months. We will need to mourn him. Yeah, my funeral expenses are looking to be in, like, the six digits right about now. So if y'all can keep the gift subs coming, that would really help support my family after uh, I perish off of this earth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That would be nice. Add 60 years of smoking to that. Well, yeah, why you think he's coughing? I think I already got a red dragonfly, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. So we left off at um, the step where... Hey, Thundergun, thanks for the five gift subs. Appreciate that. To Sarah Bear, Itty, Jay Madison, TaylorMade, and Kerr Tiger. Enjoy your subs. Thanks so much, for Thundergun. I appreciate that. Cremation is cheaper? When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. I don't give a shit what happens to my body after I die. I truly don't. That's up to whoever I leave it to. That's up to my loving wife, my beautiful children, my dogs, my family. That's up to them, whatever they want to do with it. So what the fuck did we leave off here? Right. Water flowers if not raining. Right, right, right. We're going to water flowers, and we're going to hit our rocks, and then we're going to... um. Right, okay, Got it. Yeah, no, I actually I, I actually understand completely where I'm at right now. I, I actually have it 100% on lock. Do you get a gift sub? Did you get the gift sub reading from Chris Sierra? The gift sub reading? Like, did they post a message? All five of Dag's children. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I, you said children, but like, to be honest with you, I don't plan on having any children, so... Kind of like... Five is even probably five more than I plan on it. Hey, Betty, bury me with my beloved 30-inch, $30 Philips CRT Facebook Marketplace find. They better bury me with my Milwaukee circular saw that I've owned for 30 years that was passed down to me from my papa. Fuck off, pillbug. Seriously, I'm going to freaking... If you prevent me one more time from getting iron from a rock, I might just have to do something terrible. Important question, are you a war criminal? Which war? Why don't you ever visit me and mom and dad? You're not my mom. My mom's in damn chat. Not right now, but she is. I know her username. It's not you. Fuck out of here. I'm sorry. That was really mean. We are your children? Yeah, that's kind of... No. <laughs> he might just have to let the bad boy out. Dude, at this rate, like, you guys are already plucking my feathers here. I might... We're, we might be on for, like, a really quick, like... We might be on for, like, a really quick, like... You guys, there's been a few streams, not many. Where I've, like, let the beast out. And, like, we're getting there. We're fucking 16 minutes into this shit, and we're getting there already. I've, 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 like, had the demon come out. 
in streams that have been way more peaceful to start than this. Let's put it that way. All right. Now, I, I, let that just be a warning, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Let, let that just be a warning. I feel like I've caught in, like, 15 violin beetles. Right? Yes. Well, at least one. Maybe not 15. Don't hold back. Let the chatters have it. No, 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 no. I'm not. Uh, you're not ready for that yet. I don't want, I don't want you guys to see that side of me. I don't want you guys to see that side of me. I'm not proud of that side of me. I'm not. I'm not proud of who I am when I let the beast out, okay? I'm not. Have I donated all the wood types already? Let me check. A slap on the wrist? No, like, if you guys, no, like, you guys don't understand, like, I can psychologically, like, destroy you. You guys think I don't keep receipts. No, I'm not going to drop a slur. I will rather find the deepest and darkest parts of your brain, and I'll bring them to light. I will expose your most inner demons to the public. I will psychologically destroy you with your very weak points. Have I donated the wood yet? I will find your biggest insecurities, and I will just... You know what I mean? We already received... Alright, we only need 30 iron nuggets. Okay, okay, okay. No! No! I didn't want Josh Donaldson over Austin Riley in 2020. No! Well, sometimes people just make it easy. Sometimes people just bring it to light. I don't even have to do nothing. You actually sound like an anime villain. Is that... That's good, right? Like, that means I have, like, a good voice acting career in front of me. Like, should this whole YouTube and Twitch thing fall apart, I could, like, take up, like, doing anime dubs and stuff like that, right? You guys think I'd be good at anime dubs? I mean, the bar is pretty low because I've seen some pretty shit ones. I've seen some pretty terrible anime dubs before. So, I think that, like, the bar isn't exactly set very high. Sure. Okay. Not exactly the biggest vow of confidence I've seen, but we'll take it. Only... Okay. Somebody said only in hentai. Alright. Yeah, just don't be bad. I think I could be a good voice actor. Only in hentai. Wow. I think I could be a good... Wow. I think I could be a good voice actor. No, I, I do think so. It's just that the thing is, is I can't really do voices, you know? I can't really do voices except Joe from Family Guy, but you can't watch me while I do it because it's embarrassing. Ow. Did you hear that? My jaw cracked because I have to, like, point my jaw out five inches to do it. Hey, Peter. I can't really do voices. But the thing is, is that if you need a white guy... If you need a white guy... To, do, to voice a white guy in something, I can do it. Oh my, oh my gosh, yes, I can do it. Just don't make me, like, do voices. Just don't make me do voices. Just have me voice a character that's exactly like me, and I will fucking nail it. I think I could do a great job. I really do. I, I actually do. You know he's gurning doing that impression. What the fuck does that mean, gurning? That's not- Dude, I just learned what fucking gooning is, man. I just learned what fucking gooning is. You're telling me, like, a gooning? Or, like, a goon isn't, like, a low-level henchman for, like, a mob boss? It's a fucking, like... That's disgusting. I haven't showered since last year. Dude, that flushed was- Flushed face. Flushed face. Doing nails. Hey, right, well, thanks, Shy Labu, uh, for the 15 months. Sorry, Tandems, as well, I guess I should add to that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Gurning is not gooning, don't worry. Is it like jelking? So it's not like gooning, but is it like jelking? It's not like jelking, right? So, like, okay, I, I, I think I got it. I'm gooning for my boss right now. Yeah, like, that's what, like, you'd be saying in, like, some, like... Like, some, like, comedy animated flick where there's, like, a big evil mod boss. You send the goons, you know? You send, like, I'm on it, boss. You know, sort of thing. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> That's really funny. Can you not talk about how you're, like, stroking your shit? Like, I know what it means in some parts of the world to 
have a stroke, like, have a stroke, it's not funny, and I'm tired of hearing about it, quite frankly. I, I'm really tired of people making euphemisms for stroking uh, in my stream. It's really quite disgusting, and it's really not the website for it. What on earth is gooning, gurning, and jelking? Just, dude, Urban Dictionary is your friend, you know that? Urban Dictionary is your friend. I entered the stream in the weirdest part. What if I told you every part of the stream is the weirdest part? What if I told you this is just how it is? This is just how it is. Thanks, Zanaya, for the 23 months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, here's what we're gonna do is I gotta find it. It's always so nerve wracking to pole vault because you never know what could be on the other side. Hey, I think I do need a darner. How many have you caught so far? Um, talking about bugs? Uh, you talking about bugs? I don't know. Hey, how the fuck did that miss? I swear to God, my net went right through that. Oh, are you serious? I swear to God, my net went right through his shit. Yes, but I guess I signed up for this when I followed you. Yeah, you did. Uh, how many have I gotten? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I hope you can count. There you go. No, the dra if you're worried about the dragonflies, they will not... Oh, well, here we go. 20. There you go. Dragonflies will not, like, despawn if you, like, chase them over the ocean. That's actually a way of, like, wrangling them in, sort of. Like, if you have a banded dragonfly, you can, like, herd them to the ocean, and then they will they'll stop once they get to the coast, because they're not going to fly over to the ocean. So, dragonflies really can't be scared away, but you can, like, sort of... They can, like, like, fly away, but not scared away, you know what I mean? So you can sort of, like, wrangle them. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh yeah, I was gonna get rid of that. I thought you missed a bug when I put my phone down. No, I missed the diagonal. Alright, we gotta go to December. December at 8pm for a dung beetle. And we smoking dung beetle. We smoking shit in a glass pipe. Blowing the Lord's bubbles. Well, I forgot to water the fucking flowers, though. Whatever. I don't care. I actually don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, <laughs> I don't actually care. Hydrate was supposed to stay in 2023. That's right. With my old self. With my old self. Don't they disappear when they go off stream? Right, but that's not des or that's not scaring them away. That's despawning. And in which case, you're despawning all the bugs all the time. The game despawns bugs. It's not in your control at all. You can scare away bugs, but that's, you know, that's within your control. What's wrong with you? You didn't get rid of Hydrate. I know! I forgot. I forgot. What starting villages you get? Mac and D.Va. Fucking terrible. I wish I could despawn. Hey man, you got a lot to live for. You're, well, an unsubbed member of my chat. And by golly, if that's not something you're willing to fix, then that, I mean, that's something to look forward to fixing at some point in your life, right? Max is so cute and ugly, I love him. Ask Mac, and he's just ugly. Your new self is dehydrated and UTI-infected popping out kidney stones. This... Is, I'm gonna, d I don't want to hear it. I'm going to dis, I, I'm going to, mm. I'm beating the kidney stone allegations, okay? Yeah, I have kidney stones, but you'll happen to know, it's genetic. It's not through a lack of hydration, okay? There's a lot of contributing factors to kidney stones. Okay, yes, getting enough water is an important thing to do, but, you know, eating red meat, and, uh... Eating red meat and genetics are, like, actually... Well, mostly genetics is, like, the leading cause of kidney stones, all right? I just got unlucky, all right? And if that's... And if my stunning good looks is what I have to pay for, my kidney stones, then, well, I guess I'll just deal with it. Why did chat be having that bullying energy today? Because you guys don't have an outlet for it in real life, okay? So you take it out on your little online people, okay? You guys don't have an outlet with which to take out your, like... 
tense energy of self-hatred that you guys have for yourselves. Jesus, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get this personal. You guys need to take your energy out on something, okay? You guys need to take your energy out on something. And I'm your perfect meatbag with which to do so. Alright? I'm choosing kindness today. Yeah, I really appreciate that. You guys need an outlet, and I'm happy to be that outlet sometimes, but don't push me, okay? Lest we see the beast unleashed once again. Correlation is not causation. If dehydration caused kidney stones, every dehydrated person would get them. Yeah, exactly. And also, like, everyone who eats red meat, everyone who, I think, like, diet and exercise involve, is involved in it a lot, so I've been trying to get better at that. Or I did when I first had them, but I've sort of fallen off lately. That being said, I have lost 20 pounds since, like, the summertime. So, like, I kind of got, like, the winter bod going right now. You know how people getting, like, uh, get their summer bods on? I'm getting my winter bod on. And it sucks because it's fucking 30 degrees and I can't go around shirtless at the nude beach. I need to lock in. What am I here for? I'm here for dung beetles and damselflies. And also maybe a hermit crab. It's a new year, guys. Why do we have to keep bullying? Maybe that was their New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution is to... Be kind. Be a good friend. Ooh. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's to get a car. It's to get a car... Start going to the doctor and dentists regularly, and, uh, I think those are, like, the two big ones, right? Mr. Dagnall, please give me the strength to practice violin. I'm in physical and emotional pain, and every day is suffering. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that strength come from me, or does that strength come from within? I think you, I might be able to guide you to receiving that strength, or rather harnessing it from within you, but ultimately, like, that decision and energy must come from you, you know? Darn it. That decision and energy must come from you, because there's days where I'm just sitting there like, I don't want to fucking edit, I don't want to fucking stream, but I have to do it anyway, because I know that, like, there's people out there that sort of rely on my videos and my streams for some reason. Maybe not rely on it, but they enjoy it. And so I kind of feel like that energy or that obligation from the people who enjoy my stuff that... Okay, fine, I'll resub since you asked so nicely. I lost my entire train of thought. Thanks, Emmer, for the eight months. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. It's also your job. Yeah, but the thing about my job is that, like, I have distractions all around me. All right? If I don't fucking feel like editing right now... I could go play The Binding of Isaac, all right? If I don't feel like editing right now, I can go, like, watch TV. I could go some find something to do. In the case of, like, probably 90% of y'all's jobs, you kind of are there at your workplace. You kind of have to do it. It's not like something that you need to... It's not like the willpower that you need to find within you to work. It's kind of like you are obligated to work because your boss is there making sure that you're working, right? Exactly. I could go play Fortnite with the Biffles. It's like I have... If somebody said, like, hey, boot up Fort, I would boot up Fort instead of editing. I need to find that willpower, that... Fuck off. I need to find that willpower, that restraint, with which to say no. I need to edit. And it's hard sometimes, but you can do it. When you have distractions all around you, it's very hard to actually motivate yourself to do those things sometimes, you know? That's what I miss about actually, like, working in a physical place with, like, a boss, you know? I don't like my- I never liked a boss of mine, and I've never liked going to work, but if there's one thing I can say about it is that at least I kind of needed to do work there, you know? It kept the brain occupied, and you really learn to value that stuff when you don't have it anymore. Anyway, thanks, effectively, Kyle, for the 27 months. And thanks, Sugar Plum Page, for the 14 months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. My partner found Butterfingers, and I'm so incredibly happy about it. They're my absolute favorite, and they're not sold anywhere in the UK. Are you, like, so... Is the UK so challenged with their cuisine that you guys really enjoy Butterfingers? Like, is that really such a delectable delicacy over there, because the rest of what you eat is such crap?
You trying to play some fork, fork knife, catch a victory royale? I did play fork knife yesterday. It's, um, eh. I like the mode where you, I like the guitar hero mode. I'm not huge on the b battle royale mode. I like the guitar hero mode though. And I played the Minecraft mode for a little bit. The Lego mo mode for a little bit. That was pretty fun. That was all right. Fortnite stream when? Forget it. Is never happening. I'm not salty today, am I? I'm not. Thanks, Carabine, for the five months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. There better not be something on this tree. Oh, it's my fucking snowballs, and I could have had a dung beetle, and that could have scared away. But it's okay. That was really scary. I really don't like these being in my grove of trees. So I'm going to move them. Imagine walking in the snow in your bare-ass feet. You never done that? Y'all never, like, walk to go get your mail in, like, your bare feet when it's snowing outside? You ain't lived, quite frankly. Fuck, what are these snowballs? Oh, this isn't my grove. This is just where I have fucking, like, trees and shit. Oh. I don't like this. I'm scared. No saltiness more than usual? I wouldn't say so. I don't know, though. What do you guys think? Butterfingers are S tier? No, they're not. They're legitimately, on a tier of F to S, they're like a D. Like, they're not like, I would never eat one. I have eaten them. And if somebody offered me one, I would probably, like, begrudgingly scrunch it down. But I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I'm not a big Butterfingers guy. I got a damselfly, right? They're not that good. No, they're not that good. Yeah, I got a damselfly. Just need a dung beetle. We smoking dung beetle. We smoking that shit that made Whoopi Goldberg. Ooh, your favorite candy is probably Almond Joy. If you ooh Almond Joys one more time, Buster, it's not going to look good for you. All right? Second of all, Almond Joys are not my favorite candy. My favorite candy, the ones that I will eat until, like, my mouth is sore because of how much, like, sugar I've put through it, are probably Jolly Ranchers. Probably Jolly Ranchers. Blue Raspberry, Cherry, Grape, they're all fucking good. They're all fucking good. I will pro I will eat Jolly Ranchers until my puke I till I puke it up and my puke is purple. I will Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I did this fucking same mistake again. Alright, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I actually don't care. Haha, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Oops. They changed Butterfingers flavor, man. I don't even fucking remember them even tasting any different. I didn't like them when I was a kid. I don't like them as an adult. I don't like them. I don't care that they changed. I never liked them. Shawty wanted to be with the demon. That's her problem. Help. Why am I going that way? They've always been nasty. All right, attempt seven. Mm. Oh no, it's attempt six, day six now. Yay. All right, reset this. How do you do it? Zero. There we go. I look away for three seconds. Well, what's that tell you? Don't look away. I love Jolly Ranchers. One time I was sucking too hard and inhaled one and genuinely almost died. That's... I can totally see that happening to me as well. I can totally see that happening to me as well. Because, like, I do be kind of sucking on them, yeah. What happened? A fucking hermit crab, again. This is the second time a hermit crab has fucked this run. Although, if you want to be technical about it, it's not a bug. But, tell that to the YouTube comments. In this world, life is fleeting. Yeah, I know. And I sit here wasting away at the computer. Jolly Rancher used to have a cinnamon fire. I miss that one. Cinnamon fucking candy sucks. If you like cinnamon candy, cinnamon gum, cinnamon anything, it sucks. It's so bad. 
Although I'm kind of like thankful to be, I don't know, I was completely lost on that attempt. I like, I didn't know where I was at. I'm kind of glad to be starting from the beginning almost because I'm like, at least I can be caught up, you know? What happened on the fifth attempt? It happened a minute and a half ago. I scared away a hermit crab. Maybe I gotta be a girl. Maybe that's the secret. Here's the secret. We're gonna be, can I go back? Oh, I can't go back? I can't go back? I want to be a girl. I was going to be a girl, but look exactly the same. And then we could, like, have that be, like, our little secret. And, like, maybe that's, like, from, maybe girl power is exactly what we needed. But I can't. I Once you choose the, once you choose the sex, that's it. Like, big red gum? I would wonder why people chew that. It's fucking disgusting, man. Name your character M Math... Mathilde? No, it's diagonal. I'm diagonal. Oh, well, okay. You're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alright, what are we looking at? I like islands with, like, a big starting area and pretty, like, minimal upper areas, which is kind of like this, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna go with that. You can change your gender in a mirror. Yeah, I know, but you have to look into the mirror. And you have to have a mirror. And there's no... I don't think there's a guarantee that you'll get a mirror, will you? OMG, Heart Lake. Yeah, oh my god, Heart Lake! <laughs> uh. Star Lake, Heart Lake, Penis Lake... If you didn't chew Big Red, then fuck you. Haha, <laughs> get it, man. It's from Talladega Nights. You ever watch that? Good movie. Really well represented NASCAR as a whole. I liked it. Actually, no. I've never seen Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. I haven't. Nothing against NASCAR, but I'm just not a movies guy. Good luck on number six. Thanks. I think this is it, though. I think we got it this time. Your first bottle is a mirror. Oh, like the first one that washes up on the shore? Yeah, actually, now that you mention it, I feel like every time I do get one of those for the first time, it is a mirror. So actually, you're probably right. Can we watch holes on the stream? No, I'm not getting my fucking... I'm not getting my shit DMCA'd for holes, man. I'm not getting my shit DMCA'd for Shia LaBeouf and holes. Fuck holes. I don't like holes. Alright, well, these starters are a little bit better, anyway. We're gonna sit down and watch the CMT production, Dale the Movie 2011 one day? I, uh, if that's the one I'm thinking of, I have seen that. Fuck, holes? Well, yeah. In more ways than one. It's not a very good movie. I, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's, I don't know why. Like, some movies are just, you know how you have, like, comfort movies, comfort shows? I have uncomfort movies and uncomfort shows. A, a uncomfort movie for me is Holes. I don't know, I don't like it. It's for some reason, for one reason or another, when I was growing up, I saw it and I was just like, ugh, I don't like this. Polar Express is another one. Polar Express is another one. Those are like my discomfort movies. What are my, like, discomfort TV shows? To be honest with you, um... You know what's kind of like a discomfort TV show for me now? Is... And I hate to say it, because I, I do actually enjoy this show. I do actually enjoy this show. So, I feel bad. Oh, comfort movie Cars? Oh my gosh, yes. I have a... A, like, internal dislike of King of the Hill. Even though I I really like King of the Hill, I think it's a good show. Like it, it's a it's a it's a it's a masterpiece in many ways. But for one reason or another, I can't watch King of the Hill anymore. I don't know. I have trauma associated with King of the Hill, and so now like every time I watch it, I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't hit the same. Brother, why? I'm sorry. It's just it is what it is. I left for 10 minutes and we're on attempt number 6? That's the nature of this. That's the nature of this. It, these attempts could just die at any time. That's the nature of this whole game. Or, well, this challenge specifically, anyway. Becky, if you were, like, not... Okay, at least I can talk to her. 
I'm sorry you have that trauma. No, it's okay. I'll get over it. I'll just pull myself up by my bootstraps, and I will just man up, and I will get over it, right? Uncomfort show, courage the cowardly dog. Okay. Kind of. That show is a little freaky. That show is a little freaky, actually. That show is not for... That's, like, it's a kid's show, but it's also, like, not. That shit is not a kid's show. Also, a lot of, actually, old Cartoon Network shows, some of them, anyway, are, like, discomfort shows for me. For what? I don't know. Just for some reason. Stupid dog! I'm fucking ballin'! Flapjack. I didn't like Flapjack that much. I was also not allowed to watch a lot of Cartoon Network shows as a kid, so maybe I just never appreciated them when I was younger. Come The ultimate comfort show, and this should be like no surprise because of how much I reference it, but the ultimate comfort show is Spongebob. I could l legitimately... Oh, thanks Toasty Joe for the gift sub to Simply D Sims. Uh, Sims, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks Toasty Joe. I could legitimately, is, is, is it too much to ask in life, is just to have someone who appreciates Spongebob as much as me, and we just like sit down on the couch, and we just fucking watch every episode of Spongebob season 1 to 3 in like one sitting? Is that so much to ask? And then we finish off with the Spongebob Squarepants movie from 2004, and then we pretend that the show got cancelled after that, and everything after that doesn't exist. And then we go on our merry little way. Is that so much to ask? Is that really so much to ask? That's all I want in life, man. That's all I want. And then the play- And then play the Spongebob movie video game for the PlayStation 2. That's all I want. That's all I want in this life. I, I don't think that's asking for too much. I'm not asking for a million bucks. Some things are worth a million bucks. If not in the monetary sense, but in the it makes me feel good sense, and that's one of them. Is that's all I want, you know? That sounds so like. Can you put a can you put a price on something like that? I don't think so. I think that that I I don't think so. Fuck off, locust. Because we're men. Men only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. This is a reasonable ask. I think so. What is your favorite Spongebob character? I don't fucking know. I've, the thing is, I can never tell you. They're all fucking amazing. Or at least they were until they were all flanderized down to Mr. Krabs likes money. Squidward hates Spongebob. Spongebob is a bumbling idiot who doesn't know anything, is completely oblivious to the world. Patrick is literally dumb as rocks and has no character any anymore in whatsoever. Sandy is just smart science girl with a cowboy accent. They've all just been dumbed down. Like so many shows, they just dumb down every character to their most, like, to the extreme endpoint of all of their, like, most basic level traits. And then that's when you can tell that a show has gone on for too long. And now there's the fucking Patrick Star show where it's literally just, I don't even watched it, but from what I understand, it's just old Patrick and his hijinks. And it's not even funny. I mean, that is sort of like what kids like, but I don't know. Like, I'm not saying I wouldn't have liked the Patrick Star show when I was a kid, but I don't know. It definitely ain't the OG, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is Spongebob still going? Oh my gosh, yes. You think Nickelodeon would let their cash cow die? You think Nickelodeon would let their cash cow die? No, never. Beep. Scooch. Let me just scooch right by you there. Anyone from Chicago ever say some shit like, Ooh, let me just scooch right by you there. And you like, just scooty by someone. Y'all ever say some shit like that? Ooh, let me scooch right by you there. 16. Would you judge me if Silence of the Lamb is weirdly a comforting movie? No, I, I wouldn't. I have weird comforting movies that are like horrors. Not that one, but like, uh, I don't know. It, honestly, I do like, like, if Silence of the Lambs comes on, I'll, like, put it on and, like, have it on in the background because I'll be like, oh, yeah, I like this movie. So I don't know if you want to call that a comfort movie, but yeah, I kind of, no, I do get it. I do. I do. It's a good movie. How'd the last attempt fail? I fucking got too close to a hermit crab. 
and it went into the ocean, just like attempt number two, I think. Or was that attempt number one that died that way? I think it was attempt number one that died that way. Chicago, no. Wisconsin and Minnesota, yes. And double yes. Ooh, let me, scra let me scoot right by you there. 25. Ooh, let me shimmy right by you there. I'm going to take the L to Jewel. Meet me in the French room. That's a Chicago sentence. Y'all wouldn't get it. Yeah, definitely not a Chicago thing. All right. Well, fuck me then, all right? You have a limit for attempts if you keep messing up, or are you going to be doing this forever? I'm going to be doing... Not forever. I'm going to be doing it until I finish it. And then I can make it into a video. Not forever. This ain't going to take forever. I just, like... I just need to, like, fucking lock in for an entire attempt, and then we can do it. It's just I'm struggling with the locking in for the course of, like... It's gonna be like 10 hours to do it. It's hard to lock into something for 10 hours. Ain't no way you're taking the L to Jewel, bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. I take a lot of L's, but not to Jewel. Guesstimate the comp completion time of a successful run. It'll probably be like 10 hours. And maintaining focus as to not scare away a bug, which is just something that you're instinctually ingrained in your brain to do in this game, is really hard to do over the course of 10 hours. Not consecutively, of course, but like... Still. I live in Chicago. Don't spread misinformation. Okay. I'm just... Alright. <laughs> okay, but French Room is real, though. They do be saying French Room. Chowder is my comfort show. I didn't like Chowder. I'm sorry. That's a discomfort show for me. I don't like Chowder. I don't know, the animation's weird. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just weird. It, like, freaks me out. Like, if I was not in, like, a sober state, I think I would, like, have a panic attack watching it. What is the French room? No, 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 it's the French room. It's not the French room, it's the French room. It's one word. French room. Usually, if you wanted me to say it fast, like how someone who would say, like, someone in Chicago would say, they'd say French room. And I'm pretty sure it's, like, a portmanteau... Of, like, the front room. Let me read up a def- Let me read the definition of it here. French room. Urban dictionary here. It's the room in the front of your house for entertaining guests, reading, watching TV, or other activities. Which, to you and I, is most likely, like, the living room. But I guess to people in Chicago that live in, like, certain kinds of houses, that's the front room. Alright, this is six. What about Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? I think I've probably watched it for a total of 20 minutes in my life. Do you speak Pittsburghese? Yeah, give me, like, a Pittsburghese sentence to say, like, Yin's gone dad time! That's a very not good impression of it, but if someone told me, like, Yin's gone dad time! I'd say, like, yeah, we're going. Absolutely no one in Chicago says that. French room? They do. <clears throat> Yinzer mode activated? Still, it's going to the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, that fucking Ben. Yeah, I know. I know what he did. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't fucking care. I don't believe it. Ed, Ed and Eddie fucking goaded, bro. Yeah, Ed, Ed and Eddie's pretty good. What about Cockney? Well, Cockney is just like Danny Dyer, right? Oh, I'm off me fucking potato skins. No, like, I, I, no. Pennsylvania Dutch is genuinely so interesting. Yeah, but that's like Lancaster. That's nowhere near me. And also, it's not even Dutch. It's more German than anything. My mom has a whole mug full of Pittsburghese words. I wish I had it right now. If you hit me with some of them, I'll be able to probably tell you what they mean. A common Pittsburghese uh, word is yinz. Y-I-N-Z. And that's just like a way that someone from Pittsburgh... Fuck out of here with Philly. Go to the shore, see the water. Yeah. Yinz is like a way of... Oh, Jagoff is classic. Yin's is a way of, like, addressing a group of people. Like, it's basically Pittsburgh's y'all. You don't say y'all, you say yin's. 
Now, I don't really actually know anyone who actually says that, but apparently people in Pittsburgh do. I can't say I've heard anyone say that, but I guess they do. Remember saying Jeet Jet? No Jew? No. Sounds like what we like to ca we call kids weans. Oh, like little kids? Like wee ones or something like that? Okay, I could see that. You're an eerie boy, though, right? Yeah, but we don't really have anything particularly special that we say over here. I think we adopt, like, a lot of where I live. I'm in, like, the sort of, like, Midwest Great Lakes region. We adopt, like, Midwestern dialect, Pittsburgh dialect, and, like, some New England dialect, even. We kind of are a mixture of a few different dialects. We say wicked a lot. Yeah, in New England, you say wicked a lot. And then in, like, the Midwest, you say some shit like, you all, or yous, I think is, like, a big Midwestern thing. I knew someone who said yins who was from Pittsburgh, but she moved out of the city. I don't know somebody who actually lives in the city that says it. I, I never heard anyone unironically say it. I never have. Me personally. Yeah, da fucking Boston Red Sox. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking Yankees. I don't give a fuck, kid. The Northwoods are like the Midwest in Canada had the baby. Had it the baby? Is that the ones who say like... Ooh, yeah. Ooh, it's mighty chilly out there today. Ooh, yeah. My favorite representation of the South is Zach from Oni Plays doing his accent. And I'm not even joking. My favorite interpretation representation of like a southern dialect is actually dracula from dracula flow you can t you can like sort of pin down where that guy's from because of how he talks and i love it sorry to be that guy but are you streaming tomorrow uh i don't know maybe probably unless i have something else coming up i don't not tomorrow but guys i'm going to um don't wear the fucking socks guys i'm going to poker night <laughs> I'm going to poker night on, uh, Saturday. I got poker night with the boys. I'm fucking, I'm actually, like, speedrunning midlife crisis. I'm actually speedrunning my midlife crisis. I'm going to a fucking poker night on Saturday. Win big? I, I don't think we're using real money. I think we're using, like, fake money. But... Maybe you actually, like, do win something if you have the most amount of money at the end of it? I don't actually know. I don't know how it works. It's the first one I'm going to. But apparently, there's this guy, and God bless him, because he sounds like a fucking character. I haven't met him yet. There's this guy in my apartment complex who hosts these giant-ass poker nights. Like, I'm talking, like, 50 people. And I have seen, of course, the apartments that are in my complex... They're not 50 people big apartments, all right? I don't know how you're squeezing 50 people into an apartment complex, but apparently this dude throws the most lit poker nights. 50 people from the apartment complex and even out of it will show up to these poker nights that he hosts every Saturday. And I'm like, oh, okay, shit. So I got a invitation from someone who goes to go to poker night this Saturday, and that should be fun. But I'm also like, how the fuck are you fitting 50 people in here? Like, I don't have the biggest apartment here in this complex, but I also don't see how you can even fit half of that. I guess he's the boss man, I don't know. That sounds not within the apartment rules? What are you? A cop? It sounds like a fun time. Yeah, yeah, I would hate- don't get me wrong. I would hate to be that person's downstairs neighbor, but... Hey, I, you know, I'm just going. I ain't hosting it, you know? Is it attempt five again? Oh, ship. Thank you. Fuck them. We ball. Yeah. It's not a sausage party either, okay? It's not. Everyone loves to play poker. As an introvert, that sounds like my worst nightmare. Oh, no, trust me. As a, also an introvert, I would never go to that by myself. I had to have somebody who's also going that I know to go with me. Okay. 
I had to have someone that I know to go with me. Otherwise, I would never have been able to do that by myself. I have to have someone to go with me. And you know that, as it is often with introverts, like, I'm going to be sticking by the one person that I know. Pretty much, like, as if we're glued together. Because it's fucking... Yeah. Like, if I lose my boy in, like, an apartment full of 50 people, it's fucking over for me. I'm going to have a panic attack. But, you know, as an introvert, like, on one hand, you want to avoid those places. But on the other hand, it's good to actually do stuff like that. Because it kind of, like, flexes your social muscle a little bit, you know? You kind of got to, like... You gotta understand that part of life is doing stuff that you're not comfortable with sometimes, with the expectation that it could lead to long and fruitious friendships. I hope there's a dog to play with. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. As all, that always helps the social anxiety a little bit. You're a little, like, overstimulated? Go play with the dog a little bit. That's me, but I don't have the person to cling to. Well, you gotta find your person to cling to. Like, I wouldn't go there if I didn't. I wouldn't. I'd, I'd be stressed the fuck out. I'm going to be stressed the fuck out, but, you know, that's part of doing business, I suppose. You know, one thing I've learned, like, ever since I've moved and, like, basically had no one ever since I moved here outside of my family. Like, I, I came here, I had, like, no friends because I hadn't lived here in three years before that. All the friends I knew have, you know, moved on. I didn't really keep up with them. So I basically moved here and I started from zero. And... There's one thing you gotta kind of learn, like... You gotta, like, put yourself in uncomfortable positions, you know? You gotta put yourself in uncomfortable positions. You have to, like... You just gotta... You gotta fucking put yourself out there. You gotta try, you know? It's gonna be, like, hard at first, but, you know, it's... it's uh, It only gets easier once you first start, you know? You gotta say, fuck it, dude, and you gotta just do some shit like this sometimes, you know? I think it's easy to make friends in places where people with similar interests, not poker, also come, but I don't know, that might just be me. Why not poker, though? Is that not a sim- if that's not a similar interest that you have with someone, then... I mean, I'm sure you can make conversation with them about something, you know? Poker is like, in this case, just like the great equalizer that brings us all together. But once you're there with others, you can find other things that other people enjoy that you might also enjoy. And then that's where you can strike up conversations about those things. Look, I'm not like saying I'm the expert. I know how this is going to go down. But this is kind of the stuff you have to do, right? I actually was lucky that someone who watches my streams reached out to me and said, Hey, I also live where you live. Do you want to, like, hang out with my friend group? And that's what I did on New Year's. And then the same friend group, at least one member from this, who invited me to the poker night. So it all starts with, like, one thing. You know what I mean? It all starts from one thing. You know? One little connection can lead to, like, a bounty of opportunities. I got lucky, and I have my platform that I use to my advantage, or at least got lucky, with which to somebody reach out to me. But, I mean, it's harder, even if, you know, it's harder for a lot of people, and I sympathize with that a lot. It's hard for me, because I don't actually go to, go to a job. You know, like, adults, they meet at work, you know? I don't go to work. I work from home. I don't got no one to say, Hey, Betty! You wanna hang out? I don't got that, you know? I don't got that. Sucks. But it's the way it is. Or college. Yeah, exactly. You might not like work. Alright? So to those of you who don't like what you do for work, can you at least say something positive about it in the sense that, like, well, first of all, you get money for it. Is that not, like, the grand reason why you're there? Even if you don't like your job, and many of you may not, because not many, unfortunately, not many adults like their job anymore. But if there's one thing you can say about it, can you at least say that, like, it does help you get out there socially a little bit? Can you say that it is has led you to, like, some friendships? As, can you say that, like, it helps you keep busy? You know how they say, like, uh, idle hands are the devil's play thing? Well, an idle mind is... Don't fail me right away, please. <laughs> Don't fail by fucking scaring a bell cricket into the river. Can you at least say that, like, instead of sitting at home and being an anxious mess all day, sometimes it's nice to go to work and at least have something to do to be productive with? 
Because, I don't know. That's, a, that's the case for me, anyway. You gotta look at the positive side of things sometimes and realize that, yeah, this may suck, but, you know, at least it keeps me, like, socialized. At least it keeps me, of course, with paychecks and stuff like that. I led a lot of my friends through car mates. Yeah, that's cool. And you all have a genuine interest in cars, and it's very easy to make conversation with others there because you know, already know what they all like. Work is kind of hard in that sense because, you know, you have the main connection of you all being work, but nobody really wants to talk about work. So you kind of got to, like, figure out what other people enjoy. But the good news is that you're going to be there with them every time you go to work, so you got plenty of time to figure it out. What is this, insanity? What do you mean, insanity? You guys think that, like, me playing a game in, like, a slightly different way is, like, insanity. Alright? Trust me when I say, if you could do difficult shit in video games and get paid for it, you would do it too. It ain't insanity. <laughs> get out of here. This is my job, man. What the fuck do y'all know about friction erasable pens? Uh, nothing, as a matter of fact. Making friends as an adult is super difficult for me since I just turned 21 and don't drink. Plus, I have slight agoraphobia. Uh, I'm going to Google that so that I don't misinterpret it terribly. I thought that was the fear of spiders, and I'm like, what does that mean? Person with agoraphobia is afraid to leave environments they know or consider to be safe. Oh, t totally. One of my goals for this year is to push myself more than I'm used to. Go for it. I'm you know, grateful for my job if I actually liked my coworkers and wasn't underpaid, but at least I met my best friends here. Yeah, like, you gotta look at the positive side of those things sometimes, you know? I can't wait to be drunk in the parking lot assaulting Michigan State fans with coworkers. Oh, yeah, since you're in Ohio now. I find it so hard to make friends online because I don't know how, but I want to so bad. And it's a hard thing to force as well, you know? Just like real-life friendships. You can't just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, be my friend. They're going to think you're weird. But you kind of just have to let it happen naturally. I think that, um, you know, I think about it sometimes, and I look at how many friendships have formed as a result of, like, my stream, and I'm like... I didn't really foster an environment with which for people to, like, you know, make friends with other people here. Y'all just hang out, and then one thing or another happens, and you make friends with somebody else. Like, somebody liked what you said something or sometime about something in chat, and, like, you two just, like, you know, you bonded over that. I don't think I foster an environment for that, but, you know, you'd be surprised what happens if you just, like, hang out, be yourself, and people might just take a liking to you. Can't force it. I do hate the penguins. Go fuck yourself. What do you restart your island? You go into your switch settings, you go data management, you find AC and H, and then you delete your save. Hi, I'm new here. Hi. I'm diagonal. I'm not new here. Bug. That was violent. No, I know Jen on a very personal level, okay? I, I know- they know I'm not serious. I wouldn't say that to somebody who doesn't know me, unless I truly want them to go fuck themselves. Do I have 15 sticks? Nine. I feel like it'd be easier to make friends in person if I liked Super Smash Bros. Melee. I find that to be the case with a lot of- not- well, games? TV shows and movies. I find that... Dude, if I liked d and I would have... I'm not saying I would have a hundred friends if I liked D&D. But it's a very popular, like, board game around here. Or, well, you know what I mean. Tabletop RPG. It's a very popular thing that people play around here. And I see so many, like, D&D clubs around my city. And I'm like, damn it, if only I liked D&D. Holy fucking shit, if only I like D&D. I could, like, actually find a scene here. Yeah, it sucks, right? It sucks. Oh, I gotta get the mail. I wish I had the attention span for D&D. Well, I think, like, you can go at whatever pace is dictated, right? You don't have to do everything in one sesh. 
But no, I get it. I'm off to work. I hope the run is indeed a run. Yeah, good luck at work. Hopefully too. Playing D&D is so fun because I get to play as my OCs. See, I don't have any creativity, nor do I like... I don't know. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Stuff like D&D. It's... Uh, I don't know. I just don't... I don't... I don't work with it, you know? I got into D&D fully because I met my now friends and they got me into it. I just don't feel like it's something that I would enjoy particularly. Even if I had friends there to, like, help me, guide me, and I was comfortable around them, I don't think it would be something I would enjoy. The older I get, the more I realize I hate spending time with other people. That's kind of the opposite for me. The older I get, the more I realize how much I enjoy the company and presence of others, you know? That's kind of- I'm kind of the opposite. You know, I was in high school, and I was like, I don't need friends. Even though I had friends, I was like, I'd be perfectly fine by myself. And then I went to college when I didn't know anybody and like isolated myself from the world. And then I was like, oh, okay. Other people, like they're pretty cool, right? Me alone in the Burnout 3 Ohio fan club? Oh, you are not alone. There's no way. You just gotta find them. In high school, I was like, dude, I don't need friends. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. You could shop at five or six stores, or just one. No, you have to, like, you realize, at least I realized when I went to college and I didn't know anybody, and I, like, isolated myself away from the world, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, wait, the accompaniment of other people is actually really sick. And then I dropped out of college because I was so depressed, and I didn't, like... I wasn't living, essentially. And then I got a job, and, like, things started to look up for me a little bit. And then now I'm kind of, like, back in that phase again where I'm like, ah, oh, man, I'm all alone. And I kind of took advantage of, or took for granted, the accompaniment that I had through coworkers and other friends that I had where I used to live, you know? Diagonal, look, there's more of us. Yo, who else in Ohio likes Burnout 3 Takedown? Hi, gang. My tummy's at war with me and won't let me be my Britney Spears. How are you all? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I hope your tum-tum gets better. What was your first job? My first job was a camp counselor at a summer camp. I got paid $200 a week. And it was, to be honest with you, um, a summer alone... Well, not alone, but a summer with a bunch of, uh... 200? Why didn't you keep that? Dude, if I went back next year, it would have been 210. I mean, it was fun. It was a summer where, like, it was just you and a bunch of other fellow counselors. Like, you know, you hung out in the woods, you, like, went on hikes and shit. You played games with the kids. It was fun. It's just, you know, it was hard work, and it was in the hot North Carolina summers. And uh, I got paid 200 bucks a week, and it was kind of, like, terrible in many ways. But, you know, it was that was my first job, and I feel like a lot of people had first jobs like that. See, clicking on the stream and seeing the attempt count would be higher than last time is so sad. So sad. So, so, so sad. Does he have dice in his pockets? Oh, red lilies. How many weeks? It was from the beginning of June to the end of July, I think. So, I think it was two months, or was it the end of August? I think it might have been two months. It was, uh, I don't know. It was a good time. It was a good time not for, uh, like, getting paid, but it was a good time hanging out with other kids my age, you know? It was fun. Team lead at a summer camp. I feel like it's the very first job job, you know what I mean? Like, a camp counselor at a summer camp. I feel like it's a very, like, it's my first... Like, it was basically every kid's there's first job. My first and current job is working with my dad stripping floors at night. That's kind of fun. I don't know, that kind of sounds like something I could fuck with. Just not at night. I work night shifts, and they suck. I ain't get paid, but I was a camp counselor? How the hell you not get paid? I gotta pay you. Even if it's fucking $200 a week, they still gotta pay you. At least I think, anyway. 
Girl Scouts. Oh, maybe you weren't old enough to be paid then. Some people volunteer? I guess. I guess. Retail overnight stalker for nine years. On one hand, that doesn't sound fun because of the overnight thing. I don't- I worked night shifts and I hated them. But on the other hand, there has to be a level of, like, serenity to, like, being in, like, a Macy's and, like, stocking shelves overnight. I don't know. That kind of seems, like, sort of... sublime. I don't know. What do you mean, dice in his pockets? It's a- I think you should leave reference. You gotta- you gotta watch it. It's probably one of my favorite, like, skit shows. It is my favorite skit show. Who am I kidding? It's fucking creepy. It sounds like creepy, but in like a fascinating way. I think the kids call that a liminal space when you're like in a area like where there's supposed to be a lot of people, but there's like nobody there. And it's like sort of like creepy. I think the kids call that a, 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 a liminal space, I believe. The damn kids. Uh, I want to squash both of these trees. There we go. It's so funny, I've been quoting it so much lately. I Think You Should Leave is some of the funniest television. I don't really think it's television because I think it's only on Netflix. But it's some of the funniest shit out there. You guys gotta see it. Alright. Kids just be making shit up. I think that, like, a liminal space is actually, like, don't get me wrong, I know what you mean, but, like, no, I, I kind of fuck with liminal space. Sometimes I don't fuck with GAT. Sometimes I don't fuck with, like, Ohio Riz. I still don't know what it, I, like, what's the Ohio mean? I still don't know. But, like, you know, I kind of get, though, the liminal space. I kind of get that. I did. When is someone a true introvert? Do I look like Socrates, man? I had no idea. I hate the Ohio memes, man. Well, yeah, you live there. Sorry to dox you. So, like, you probably in particular. No, trust me, it hits close to home because you live there. That's why I hated Damn Daniel when it was popular. Donate five bucks, sell extra stuff, the fishing rod, buy a net and an axe. Got it. Ohio equals bad is what it means. Oh, okay. So, like, if someone has Ohio Riz, then that means that they have L Riz, right? Is that right? Liminal spaces are actually just transis transitory spaces, like gas station on a road trip or an airport terminal. Somewhere you stay for a very short time on the way to a destination. Not necessarily creepy in any way. I've heard different definitions of it then. Because I've heard that it's like a place where like, there's supposed to be a lot of peaceful people, but it's like serene and quiet, which is like unusual and like, uh... Like, unnerving, sort of. Like, during COVID, do you guys ever, like, go to, like, a p very popular place during, like, when COVID first hit? And, like, nobody was there? And you were like, wow, this is weird. I thought that that's what, like, a liminal space was. Yeah, like, hotel swimming pool at night, exactly. Wasp, fishing rod, beehives, yeah. school when it was empty yeah you guys ever like go to school like past when like all the kids are out it's really weird you ever like walk your school hallways after school hours and like nobody's there it's fucking weird buy one net and one axe okay i should really know this one net one axe And then 20 black, blue, or purple potential flowers. Got it. A period in life can also be a liminal space where your old life ended, but you haven't built a new one yet, so you're in transition. Dude, that's like kind of like me right now. Like, I'm, I'm in a... So what you're saying is I'm in a liminal space right now? Because like, that's kind of where I'm at. White lily. White mum. Oh yeah, let's go white mum. White mum is like perfect, actually. That's literally me, LMAO, I don't exist. Haha, <laughs> LMAO, so true. <laughs> I'm just gonna get 15. We don't need 20, it's fine. I know someone in Gen Alpha, and half of his personality is the internet. Oh, come on. 
first of all, you're acting like there isn't people that in Gen Z and even millennials who aren't that exact same way. Oh, come on now. Oh, five saplings as well. Dude, is my, half of my personality not the internet? I mean, for fuck's sake, like, you guys met me through the internet. You guys kind of, like... I'm sort of defined by, like, my internet presence, you know? So, like, if that's the case, then that is not, like, kind of me too, right? And it's hardly, like, a Gen Alpha problem, I feel. I feel like the internet's been around for over 25 years now. I feel like there's been many people of many generations now that have had their entire personality built by the internet. Like, don't get me wrong. When all that they're saying is, like, referencing online memes and pop culture, okay, that could be a problem. But, I don't know. I probably do it more than, like, is probably healthy, I guess you could say. Would you cook and eat Diva as a frog if it means she will leave Animal Crossing forever? No. As disgusting as it is, and cover your ears if you don't want to hear this, there are some people out there whose, D whose favorite villager is D.Va. And I, I wouldn't want to ruin that for them. Even if they're blatantly wrong, I wouldn't want to ruin that for them. It's not nice. Gather iron and wood. Got it. Frog legs kind of tasty NGL. I gotta try them. Don't think I've ever had them. Acting like they weren't writing Bible fanfiction for the past four centuries. Yeah. Yay for choosing kindness. What, me? Yeah, I mean, when do I not? I'm a nice guy. What time is it? 42. Okay, we got time. Alright, we need to track how many hits this axe has taken. She would not taste good. No. Nah, I wouldn't do that, though. Gen Z starting to hate on the new generation for no reason at all is so millennial core. There's been, like, a generational divide. I mean, I don't know where the generations start and end, but millennials hate Zoomers, Zoomers hate Gen Alpha. It's almost like... As you get older, you start to not understand more and more what, like, the generation that comes after you is, like, doing, you know? Like, I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm, like, the border between Millennial and Gen Z. And there's a lot of things that Gen Z says and does and talks about that I don't get. And I could choose to use the energy. I could choose to use my precious energy to hate on the things that they enjoy. Or I could just say, like, I don't get it, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, gat, gat, and skibbity rizzler. I don't give a shit. It doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life. You know what I mean? It's, it's, we're all just going to hate, like, what the next generation that comes after us is going to start saying and doing because it's not ours, you know, and we don't get it. So you could choose to either, like, not get it and hate them for it or not get them and just let them have their fun, you know? Or join in on it and get called fucking boomer. Well, holy shit, is that twitch.tv slash Dagnil? Dude, I haven't seen you since last year. Ha ha ha. Please <laughs> laugh. Good one. Thanks for the 27 months, Ricking Angel. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I'm at 27 hits. Dagnil would play Lethal Company. I have been playing Lethal Company lately. It's fun. Three more trees. And thanks, L. Ah! Oh, it's fine. It's, it's not an axe that cuts down trees. I heard the boing of it falling out of the tree, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna crush it. But it's not an axe that... It's, it's not one of those axes that chops down trees. It's okay. Fuck. There we go. Thanks, Annie Calzone, for the two months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, we're good. This axe is good. They're kids, and the kids are always like that. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like every generation is surprised when the next generation, like, is not them, you know? And it's like, well, why aren't they like me? Because they're not you. Exactly. How's everyone been? I haven't been stopping in as much this past month. I'm alright. How are you? I feel like I've hit this already. Nope. 
I'm not saying you aren't, because I think you are, but it's funny because there's people five years younger than you who could still consider themselves between Gen X and Z. Well, I don't know where the line's drawn, because I feel like people have different interpretations of the line between Gen Z and Millennial, but through all the internet sources that I can find that says where one begins and where one ends 1996 is usually which is the year i was born is usually the year that they say millennials stopped and gen z started or give or take about two years that is from all the online sources that i find that confidently say when it translate when it transitions they always say 1996 is like the year so, I'm going to continue saying that, confident that I'm pretty close to being on the border. Not that 1996 is this magical year when the mentality of the babies that were born that year has shifted into saying, yeah. I don't think that that just magically happened in 1996. I think that people can be born in 2000 be way more mature than someone who was born in 1990. But you know what I mean. I don't ever, I, I've never understood, like, the generational divides and where they are defined. I don't really think that it's too relevant to how a person acts, all things considered. Ah. Skirt! I feel like I haven't gotten to skirt. I get Gen Alpha can be annoying sometimes, but they are just kids. Yeah, they're not Gen Alpha. Can we stop saying that as well? Can we stop saying that someone is Gen Blank? If someone is Gen Alpha, you know what that is? That's a kid. They're a kid. They're not Gen Alpha. They're a kid. And if you put it that way, if you say, oh, they're being weird because they're Gen Alpha, instead say they're being weird because they're a kid, and it becomes a, 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 makes a lot more sense. It makes a lot more sense when you say, ah, oh, shit. It makes a lot more sense when you say that somebody's weird because they're a kid, because kids are weird. If you say that they're Gen Alpha, you're implying that they're weird because they're Gen Alpha. No, they're weird because they're a kid. You know what I mean? They've always been weird. You think the millennial kids weren't weird? You think that the Gen Z kids weren't weird? They were weird. I saw it. Y'all fucking weird. Still are. But I always use the excuse of they were just a kid, you know? It's not because they're Gen Z, Gen Alpha. It's because they're weird. They're kid. Kids are weird. Oh, jeez. Plant five saplings on the beach and plant all flowers. What's up, Sorg? These kids' pivotal years were locked up in quarantine. Dude, <laughs> my pivotal years were locked up in quarantine. I think everyone had pivotal years. You'd be surprised the damage it does to your life to have three years, no matter your age. You'd be surprised the amount of damage it does to your, like, life, having three years of, like, stymied social development. One word, Gen Z, homestuck. Oh my god, yeah, you guys are trying to revisionist history that you guys weren't weird when I saw how obsessed you guys with were homestuck. I mean, then again, we had, like, you know, Homestar Runner and our own, you know, fucked up weird things, but, you know, don't pretend that you're better than us is what I guess I'm trying to say. Uh, okay. White mums. I had both, yeah? Some of you had both. Quarantine was only good because Animal Crossing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would have been popular on YouTube and Twitch if it wasn't for quarantine. I'm not going to say that that justified its existence, but it, you know, it's funny how history works that way. It's funny how history works that way. Why are his toes in the flowers? Well, it could either be my take my socks off or I take my pants off. I chose to take my socks off. Yeah, we could focus on the positive side of quarantine, and, you know, you guys wouldn't be here right now, likely, if it wasn't for quarantine, keeping everyone isolated and inside and playing Animal Crossing, so... Look at it like that. He's frolicking. Bro is absolutely pos positively frolicking right now. He's happy, moisturized, in his lane. Flourishing. My cat is here. He says hello.
That either was me saying hello to your cat or making them really horny. I don't know which one. He's unamused. Okay. I specifically remember playing Duke Nukem and my boss called and says, we got another one sick. And we were out of office for that month. Genuine, amazing memory. Yeah. I mean, some people... I don't know. I feel like a lot of people really liked quarantine when it started because they're like, oh, hell yeah, dude. I get to stay home and I don't got to like go nowhere. I'm not supposed to go nowhere. This is what I already do anyway. And then like a couple months went by and they're like, oh, this kind of sucks. Okay. Take picture, edit command, change design. Also do the board. All right. I should make Dagnall saying re my yearbook quote. You guys, nobody's made a yearbook quote of me, right? I don't think so, anyway. I posted my cat in chat. I will look at it later. All right, take a picture. OMG, would you like to be my yearbook? My yearbook quote. Um. I don't think I say anything prolific enough to really justify being your senior quote. I didn't have senior quotes, so I'm like, what's the etiquette behind it? Do people put, like, prolific shit like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky? Or do people put, like, the most, like, unhinged, inane bullshit in there? Like, it depends on what you're going for. I'm going to shit my pants, Diagonal 2023, where they probably wouldn't let you do that because it's got a shit in it. That's a, the infernal swear word. It's all bullshit. I guess. We were supposed to choose a yearbook quote in like November. What y'all doing? I never had yearbook quotes. I never had them. Like senior, like, uh, don't seniors get them before you graduate? I never had them. We didn't either. It must have been something. I don't know. I guess my school didn't do it. Also, them fucking yearbooks were like $80, man. I ain't buying a fucking yearbook for $80. Filled with a bunch of people that I didn't like, alright? I wouldn't buy a no hardcover yearbook for $80. Fucking word art graphics in them made by these amateur design students. I wasn't buying that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, thanks for the raid, Emmy Games. How was your stream? I hope it went well. Hope it went well. well I'm playing Animal Crossing. I'm Dagnal. Somebody, not mine, did the one scene from The Office when Michael said, I should have burnt down the place when I had the chance. Man, they would allow that? <laughs> Alright. Number four, or Big Star T. Hey, ain't that Steven Universe? <laughs> sure, give me some slip-on loafers. Pretty sure one of the top 13 students had a B-movie quote. Yeah, I mean, remember back in, like, 2016, where uh, it was funny to post the entire B-movie script? <laughs> that was comedy, man. That was fucking comedy. That was the funniest shit I ever seen. Yeah, that was a good time. I will S-O make you... Oh, wait, I thought you said so. I thought... I read that as, like, significant other. I will so make you my yearbook quote, but maybe no swear words, please. Well, there's a plethora of shit that I've said, so pick something. If you're, like, asking me to give you a quote right now that's prolific enough to be in your fucking yearbook, I'm sorry, like, I can't think of something on the spot. But there is no shortage, my friend, of shit that I've said that's out there on the internet. I'm sure you can find something that meets all the criteria that you've presented to me. Prolific, no swear words, maybe funny... I think that there's been many things that is a Venn diagram of all those three things together out there. It's just a matter of you finding it. So if y'all want to quote me for your yearbooks, that's fine. Don't ask me for a quote, because I will not come up with anything that's nearly as funny as, you know, something that I'm sure I've said previously. But go through every video that I've made. Go through every stream that I've ever done. I'm sure you will find something that is both prolific, funny, and... Doesn't have swear words. The three criteria. Stream went well. We restarted an island yesterday, so I'm just doing the beginning tasks again. I guess I'm also kind of doing the same thing, aren't I? All things based must come to a cringe. And brother, I haven't been based in insert age was my yearbook quote. 
that must have been very i feel like i can tell how old you guys are based on what your yearbook quote is you all things based must come to a cringe and brother i haven't been based in 18 years i'm gonna guess because it's your yearbook quote so you're probably like 21 that doesn't seem like a quote that you would have come up with all that long ago that seems like something that would have been very relevant only just a few years ago. I feel like I can, like, guess your guys' age. Opinion on quote books? Look, dude, if you want to go through a book and have a bunch of shit that, like, gives you inspirational quotes from celebrities that don't know anything about how you live your life and, quite frankly, would at the thought of having to live life in your shoes for one day and if you're searching for meaning and value in life through a bunch of quotes from people that don't care about you then more power to you but it's not really something for me you know like i'm not gonna look up an inspirational quote from katie perry about how i should choose to live my life because i don't think Perry, katie perry would want to live my life so i won't find much value in that myself personally but that's just me Harry Perry? Is that what I said? That's not what I said. <laughs> but if you search for moral wisdom in Katy Perry's lyrics, then kill yourself. Don't get mad at me, it's Bo Burnham. You can definitely guess my age since I didn't get a yearbook quote due to COVID. Yeah. Imagine a lot of people. I didn't get one because I wasn't allowed. The disclaimer? Oh, it's Bo Burnham. It's a classic. It's one of my favorite Bo Burnhams. Y'all didn't know Bo Burnham before Inside. Y'all weren't there. I feel like we're all around the same age here. I mean, maybe like most of us. I've seen my age demographics, though, and oh boy! That 13 to 18 category is way too high. I knew about him since Vine. Yeah, I mean, but even before that, he was doing, like, tours and stand-up routines and stuff like that. He's been going for... I mean, dude, before that, he had, like, viral YouTube videos back in, like, 2007. I'm going pink today. Dude, he's he's been doing, like, YouTube videos and shit since, like, 07. Look up Obo or I'm Bo Yo. That was, like, peak 2007 YouTube. What's the oldest percent? 65 plus is usually, like, the oldest demographic. And if I had to guess, I know of one person who's 65 plus that watches my stream. And that's my mom. So, it's probably like a 0.01% in the 65 plus category. But there's probably others as well. I reckon Animal Crossing has a pretty universal appeal, like, no matter what your age is. And there's probably some people who are over the age of 65 who are pretty, you know, pretty, like, good with technology and, like, watch Twitch, you know? She's over 65? That's whack. How's that whack? Like, Audie, yeah, there was that grandma who had, like, 2,000 hours in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and then they made a villager named after her for the 2.0 update. Or, no, that was for just this game, right? Like, I had to introduce my mom to Twitch. She didn't really know what it was before. But as soon as I told her, like, this is my job, this is what I do, she was like, oh, that's cool. But there's definitely, like, 65-year-olds out there who watch Twitch. Has to be. My mom's boyfriend still plays Animal Crossing when he gets home from work, and he's 50-something. You gotta remember, like, 50-year-olds... We're like, you know what's kind of fucked up? 50 year olds were like our age when the internet was first becoming popular, you know? So like, I'm not surprised that someone who's 50 is, you know, 50 year olds playing games is not weird because video games were very mainstream when they were like our age. I don't know. I think we got to break that stigma that like old people don't know what video games are because it's not like they haven't been around for like 40 years now. Yeah, of course there's 65-year-olds streaming on Twitch. I have no doubt about it. My dad is a gamer. I wish my parents were more of gamers growing up. I had games growing up. But 
I didn't really, like, play many games with my parents because my parents didn't really play too many video games. Which is, you know, perfectly fine. It's just that I wish I could be, like... I wish that I could have booted up, like, Super Mario World for the SNES with my dad. And, like, we could have, like, played that shit. My dad played WoW. Like, when people say, like, oh, my dad's, like, addicted to WoW, I'm like, damn, really? I couldn't imagine my dad being addicted to WoW. I couldn't imagine. My dad used to whoop my ass on Madden 12. I, like, I could never. I think my dad, like, played Major League Baseball in, like, 1998 for the Sega Genesis. Took the Pittsburgh Pirates to a 162-0 record, won the World Series every year, and I think that that might be the peak of his gaming prowess. Which is pretty damn good, I must say. I bet I could get him into something, though, if I really tried, but, you know, it's kind of hard. In the reverse position, my dad was a hella gamer, trained me like a racehorse on Gran Turismo 2. Now he don't play no more, gonna try to get blood back into it. Do it. Put up some burnout. Fuck it, play some games from around that time. I'm sure he'll still enjoy them. Don't have to be something new. Alright, we got the recipes. And we'll never speak to Blathers again. Fond memories of my mom yelling at me at the TV like it's 1am while we're in bed because she was playing Mario Kart Wii online. My mom was into... She, you know what my mom likes? She likes Toon Blast for... It's a mobile game. She really likes Toon Blast. I don't know if that would make her a gamer exactly, but she likes Toon Blast. She's a big Toon Blast. I fucking love Toon Blast. I, I guess you could say that if that counts, then yeah, maybe my mom is a gamer. Maybe my mom is a gamer. My parents don't game at all. It's really nice to have someone else here that does not have gaming parents. Because I really feel like y'all had, like, parents that, like, played Super, Ma Super Smash Bros. Melee with everyone. And I'm like, hmm? I had to tell her who Mario is. It's nice, I must say. Like, my mom was 40 when she had me. And, like, when I'd go over to my friend's house, they would all have, like, parents in, like, their 20s and 30s. And I'm like, damn. That's, like, kind of crazy. I don't know. That always blew my mind. All right. My dad is currently hyper-obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3. I think I see a lot of people who don't normally like games get into Baldur's Gate 3. Which is good. Having older parents is such whiplash sometimes. It is! I'm like, those parents of those kids that I, of my friends when I was a kid, I'm like their age now. Maybe not like, not quite their age, but like I'm almost there though, you know? And I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with it. But I guess like just the divide between like how old the parents of like my friends when I was a kid were versus how old my parents were when I was a kid. Always, like, kind of threw me off a little bit. It's not a bad thing. It's more just an observation, really. Gonna eat my dough balls. Enjoy your dough balls. Buy better tools and tool ring. Yep. Oh, I should also get my birthday miles before I do that. In fact, I have to get my birthday miles. My mom was 32 when she had me, and I'm turning 32 in April. My mom was 40. I still got 13 more years. Although, ow. You know what I found out the other day? I had a revelation. Um, so I was born on July 2nd, which is midnight of July 2nd, if it's not a leap year, is the exact halfway point of the year. So my birthday is exactly halfway through the year, which means... New Year's Day is my half birthday. So, first of all, what did you guys get me for my half birthday? <clears throat> what did you guys get me for my half birthday? Because I celebrate my half birthday. <laughs> Second of all, um, that means that that makes me 27 and a half, which means that I'm 75% of the way through my 20s. 
I had that revelation in someone's chat. And I was like, holy shit, I'm three-fourths done with my 20s. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <clears throat> 20s tier list, okay? 20s quarters tier list, okay? First quarter of the 20s, that was an F-, minus. all right? 22 and a half to 25. We'll call that like a D, all right? 25 to 27 and a half. That might have to be an F. Folks. Folks, that might have to be an F. How's my 20s overall looking? That's like a D minus. We're looking like a D minus right about now. But I'm I'm thinking 27 and a half to 30. Gonna be a C, at least. Gonna be a C at least. We're gonna bump those numbers up here. I think I think we're gonna bump them numbers up here a little bit. Folks, I have a great feeling. Let's aim for an A. Let's not get too crazy now, all right? When the the precedent of D being the best quarter of my 20s is, I don't think we should, like, aim for the skies here. It, it better not be. I ain't got no more Ds and Fs in me, man. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much at the limit now. I am at the limit. What would make it an A? I don't know. You want a serious answer? Probably, like... Well, you know, I must say, 27 to 20, 25 to 27 and a half, I should probably bump up a little bit, because it allowed me to do the career that I'm doing literally right now. So maybe I should bump that up a tier. Maybe I'll bump that up to like a C minus, because it has allowed me, it was when I started being able to do YouTube and Twitch for a living, so that's pretty cool. I guess maybe being able to continue doing what I'm doing now would be really good. Just getting to a point in my life where I'm happier and more content with myself. The people that I know, which is getting better. And being able to continue doing the job that I've been fortunate enough to be able to do for the last few years would probably be at least in B. It'd probably be at least a B. Okay, so we got that. Buy better tool ring and better tools. Agree to shop proposal. Yep. Have I already agreed to the shop proposal? No. 30s is when you stop giving a damn if you had to, one to give in the first place. To be honest with you, I'd like to think that one day I will stop caring about, like, stuff that isn't matter- that stuff that doesn't matter. I don't know, man. I don't know if 30 is, like, that magic number that you hit where you suddenly stop caring about, like, what others think of you. You stop caring about, like, you know... I mean, mostly about, like, what others think of you, right? Like, that's the stuff that, like, weighs down on you in your 20s, right? It's like that, that like, self-confidence, you know? But, like, I don't think magically hitting 30 is when you stop doing that. It might be, like, a slow transition through your 30s, but I don't know. I hope that I don't, like, start checking out so hard that I don't give a shit at all about what other people think of me at 30, but maybe not to the unhealthy extent that I've experienced in my 20s. Maybe not quite that. Buy net, watering can, shovel. You realize how pointless it is to worry about. I guess, but... I don't know. Maybe. It's not sudden, but it's a real gradual in your 30s. You realize you just don't care anymore. I guess. But, to an extent, I have to care what other people think about me, because if they don't think positively about, like, the, you know, stuff that I do, the videos that I put out, the streams that I do, then that does sort of affect my career. It just sucks. It's kind of hard to not care what other people think about you when you do what I do. You know what I mean? Maybe not, like, a personal level. Like, I care about, like, who people what people think of me, like, as a person. But it is, like, I care about what people think of, like, my content and stuff like that. I kind of can't stop thinking about that, because that's kind of paying the bills, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, I don't have any iron. I should probably go get some of that. But I get it. I know what you mean. Everyone always says the 30s is when you stop... You, 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 30s, people say, like, is, like, lit. People say, don't be afraid of your 30s. Your 30s is when you become more confident in yourself. It's when you stop caring about what other people think of you. And that's true, but it's not a universal fact. I'm sure that that stuff never stops for some people. Alright, good. No bug. Can I have some iron, please? Just a little iron. A speck of iron. 
Just a crumb? Just a little bit? Okay. How old are you? How many bugs? Alright. These are two questions paired in the same comment that are completely irrelevant to each other. But I will answer them both regardless. Hey, Dagnall. Oh, you didn't ask how old I was. Oh, I read the comment below you and I saw old and I threw... Whatever. How are you? How many bugs are we at in this attempt? I'm at like 10. And also I'm doing good. And also I'm 27 and a half. See you later, M's. I'm excited to be in my 30s. I'm not necessarily excited because it is a constant reminder of the ever passing passing of time. But, you know, I guess I'm not scared of my 30s. Let's put it that way. He's obsessed with age. Yeah, I know. Time do be passing, unfortunately. Um, how many times can I hit this before it gets scared away? Because I would really like some more iron. Alright, whatever. I know it's a bug. I know I wanted to see how many times I could hit it before I had to stop and catch the bug. Luckily, I got like five hits off of it and a gold nugget, but it was, I'd, you know, like to get a little bit more. That's what sucks about hitting rocks, is that when a centipede or pill bug pops out, you have to go fucking get it before it gets away. Thanks, GG Soprano, for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate it. Fuck off, Peach. Exactly 27 and a half on New Year's Day. On New Year's Day, it was 27 and a half exactly. Because July 2nd, halfway through the year, my birthday. 27 and a half on New Year's Day. Yep. Three, three, three quarters through my 20s. Scary to think about. It's a leap year. Okay, well, I'm 27 and a half now because it's the third, okay? So if you're going to poindexter me, it's the third now. So I'm at least 27 and a half now. Oh my fucking god, if I get another pill bug, I'm going to... Mm, I shouldn't say what I'm going to do. It won't be good. It's fine, though. What bugs have you been get getting you frazzled? Well, last run, it was a fucking hermit crab. The run before that, it was a mantis, and I'm still mad about that one because that was just a blatant oversight on my part. I just completely, like, walked by a flower with a mantis on it and scared it away. Just completely brain-dead thing to do. I don't know, the hermit crabs are at least tricky, and I could be like, well, you know... But the mantis, on my best attempt so far, attempt number four, losing it to a fucking mantis because I just wasn't paying attention for one second really sucked. I'm still kind of mad about that. What's up, Lee Rose? How are you doing? Thanks for the hydrate. When I learned I was conceived in Valentine's Day, I gotta say I was creeped out. Why does it matter that it was Valentine's Day? Is that not, if anything, a most relevant day to be conceived? Yeah, man, your parents fucked. All right? Yep. Your parents did the hanky panky. I know. Is you don't want to think about it, but it happened. You can't deny it. It happened. No, I refuse. No, no, no. They've never engaged in a loving commitment. <laughs> no. Please, I won't hear it. They've never had coitus. They'll never. They never touched each other. No. They don't even know each other. I just spawned. Yeah, man. You get to it at a certain age and you realize what happened. And then you're kind of like, well. Can you fuck off? Thank you. Okay, well, at least it's the money rock. And I don't have to get mad. I mean, I can, but I don't have to. I was a Christmas fuck. Were you, though? Like, everyone always, like, tracks their birthday and goes back nine months. But, like, dude, what if you were, like, premature? It's not, it's not like a strict nine-month rule, you know? It's not, like, strictly nine months. There's some give or take there, you know, for certain factors. Like, if I went back nine months, that'd be, like, October... But, like, I don't fucking know. 
All right, we got the iron now. I think I was a birthday fuck. When I was a kid, for real, I for real thought you would pray for a child and then a baby would be delivered via stork. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? You what do you mean you thought? You you don't think that? <laughs> Mods crush his skull. Mods decapitate. Yeah, you can take the hardwood. Or they come down like the Who's in Whoville. Yeah. Fun fact, most people are born in August. Most people are born in August. People most... Fun fact, most people are born in August. People most parents have more sex in the winter. Oh, okay. No, actually, I think that if you look up, like, the most popular birthdays, I think, like, September is the hottest month. Mom, no, was Tagnal a big baby? She's not here, first of all. And second of all, I'm not a big adult, so I have a hard time believing that I was a big baby. I think if you look up, like, the heat map of birds, I think September is the hottest month. I feel like around the middle of September, people are most... Most people are Xmas conceived. Is it Christmas conceived, or is it just, like, winter and they're, like, a little bored? Like, you say, like, they were conceived on Christmas, but, like, is it just wintertime, and they're just looking to stay warm? I don't know, man. It's so cold, everyone is just snuggling up, yeah. Better net, better shovel, and axes. Oh, and vaulting pole as well. And crafting table. I don't think I have a fucking inventory for all this. It was a mini baby boom nine months after 9-11. Is that actually true? There was a mini baby boom nine months after 9-11. So to process the trauma of 9-11, people just hanky panky? I guess. I can see it. I'm not denying it. I'll tell, I'll tell you that. I won't deny it. Dead ass. No, I believe it. 100%. I believe it. I wonder if it happened with other national tragedies as well. Crafting table. They said, thankful to be alive. Who? I gotta do something. I don't have any more iron. Oh, I don't have any more hardwood now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let's leave a grove of trees. I think with co- Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, we've already seen it, right? I was going to say, we're going to see, like, the numbers jump for COVID, but we've already damn seen them, probably. Shoot. Earth boring dung beetle. All right, I got to leave 10 trees. I don't really have a good grove of trees. Sorry, little nose candy. I don't really have a good, like, place for a grove of trees. I guess one, two, three, four. Don't. Earthboring dung beetles be scaring me. I'm surprised they haven't lost me a run yet. I'll be scaring them shits away. I'm a dog. Doomsday prepping with becoming pregnant. I'm not reading that. I was, I snapped my lips together. I said, prepared to read that comment. And I said, no, I'm not doing it. If you know what, you know what comment it is. You can read. The fi 2008 financial crisis was the year where more kids were born, apparently. I definitely uh, wasn't born during that, but that was like a big, it was like a defining moment of my life. There's a lot of, like, weirdly defining moments of my childhood. For some reason, 
Well, not for some reason, because I, I, you know, first of all, before I cut anything down, I have to shake all these trees. It's not for some reason, it's actually for a very understandable reason. I remember, like, the 2008 financial crisis very vividly. Stop calling me out, stop posting it. How's the challenge been so far? Fucking terrible. <laughs> But we're, we're, I'm, how's this attempt been going? Fine. How's the whole challenge going? Pretty terrible. I have, like, core memories developed during, like, 2008. I mean, like, I was 12. I was, like, old enough to remember that shit, you know? I didn't really know what was going on, but I just remember every day we would watch, like, the nightly news, and it would be, like, all, it would always be terrible. That kind of sucked growing up, and I feel like it defined a lot of my world outlook, was watching, like, I didn't care about the news, but it would always be on while I was, like, playing Animal Crossing Wild World on my DS. And there would be the, the evening news would come on, and it would always be terrible, terrible. War in Iraq, financial crisis, Dow Jones is down, whatever. It really, like, fucked me up with, like, my perception of the world when I was a kid, you know? I could I have told my parents to put on Spongebob. Or Bluey, if I had Bluey at that time. Yeah, I remember Obama becoming president. I remember all that shit. Those were like, I don't know why I remember that stuff, even though I had no idea what was going on when I was a kid. But those were all like very core memories for me as a kid. Specifically Spongebob seasons 1 to 3, and the occasional season 4 and 5 episode. There were some good ones in there. What's up, Leslie? Just got home from work. Hope you're doing well. Thanks. I'm not. Mom, who's Mitt Romney? Who's John McCain? I never... Sarah Palin? Spongebob for the palate cleanser. I can relate to that. You know, my parents were convinced that Spongebob was going to rot my brain when I was a kid. But to be honest with you, it kind of kept me sane. Thanks, Super YTFA, for the bits. I hope these bits send you more luck. Thanks. It's not really luck, though, that I've been lacking. It's skill, mostly, anyway. I just want to get you out of here. I vividly remember my first grade teacher wheeling in the TV for us to watch Obama become president. First grade? Damn. Ooh. I'm new, came from YouTube, love the videos. Thank you. He has no skill and no luck. No, to be honest with you, like, the luck has been okay. Like, I've gotten decently far in some of these attempts. Like, some things have taken a while, but ultimately, every time... Every failure of every attempt on this run has been through me being stupid, for one reason or another. And I'm hoping that, as I learn to not be stupid with every subsequent run, that I won't make the same mistakes that I have the last couple of runs. But that's obviously not happening, because I haven't gotten very far yet. Well, I got, like, halfway through on my furthest attempt, but... Still could have been better. Still could have been better. Have I shaken every tree in, like, the starting area of my island? What bugs are you trying to get now? I'm trying to just cut trees right now. I'm not looking for anything right now in particular. Alright, let's start with these. Is your strat to just go slow and have hope? Basically... I mean, you can't really go... I'm, I'm trying to, like, do it in an efficient manner, but not exactly a fast manner. Like, I have the speedrun world record, like, notes here of, like, how they did it. So I'm obviously trying to do it with some level of haste, but not really haste, more like efficiency. You know? There was a hydrate. Oh, goodness. Well, I would ever do if I missed that. What's the world record? The golden net... World record, the fast, the time in which somebody has caught every bug in this game faster than anyone else is two hours and 30 minutes-ish. Like, two and a half hours. Which, I'm not gonna do that. I, fuck, I'm already on terrible pace if that's what I'm trying to do. But it's also pretty hard to do when you have to, like, avoid... Because, like, of course, the speedrun you scare away a lot of bugs with which to get new ones to spawn, which is not a luxury I have, so... It's not possible for me to do that in this run. But... I'm trying to do the same thing that they're doing, just without, like, the scaring away bugs part, you know? Yeah, but how many attempts did they need? I mean, hundreds, but... 
Yeah, I mean, that's speed runs. It takes hundreds of attempts to get a time that you're happy with, you know? Like, I don't know if this is like a... Yeah, but, you know, it took them a hundred tries. Yeah, it took them a hundred tries because they did the dedication with which to do it, you know? What's up, Theo? How are you doing? I tried doing gold net speedrun for ACCF and it was awful. I, uh, tried it for... I think I practiced it for a little bit. Animal Crossing City Folk golden net runs. They're fun. The, uh, Petal Tail is a bastard. The... Honestly, that's, like, the biggest thing. I think the Flea, just as any other game, could be a pain in the ass, but maybe not too, too bad. It's the Petal Tail that's the bastard in City Folk. Who's up speedrunning 100% Animal Crossing GameCube? Yeah, that's been done, too. That's probably, like, 100-plus hours. <laughs> Yay, ad. Ad. Yay, ad. Ad, lol. Well, while everyone's complaining about ads, I guess I will uh, take a bathroom break. Because, well, nobody can hear me anyway. So, I'm going to be right back. Hang on. Before I make a cruel and heinous mistake. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom while ads are going on. And I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for the 200 bits, Mary. Appreciate that. Don't think I didn't see that. Alright, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. God, I fucking hate streaming. God, I fucking hate streaming. Why am I fucking defined by, like, how many people watch me and what they say and what they think about me? It's fucking stupid. Oh, hey! Thanks for the 100 bits, Annie. Appreciate that. I didn't ever tell you guys I love you guys, by the way. Love you guys, and I love what I do. It's the most amazing thing in the world, and I am blessed to be able to live days on this earth doing what I do. Boy, howdy. Thanks, Annie, for the 100 bits, and thanks again, Mary, for the 200 bits. Appreciate that. Why do I look like a ghost? I promise I got, like, color. I gotta get a fucking lighting situation. I gotta fix this fucking lighting, man. I, I literally look like... Like, my room is bright. It's bright in here, man. But, like, the natural camera settings make it look like this. It's bright! Why are you lying? And thanks, Super YTFA, for the 100 bits. And thanks, Cable, for the bits. I always thought you didn't like streaming for some reason. <laughs> why, why, why would you think that? Why would you think that? What a silly thing to think. <sighs> you did some time loss. You kept the timer on while you were pissing. Yeah, that's a speed run. Time doesn't stop. You'll happen to know that the Earth doesn't stop rotating. Galaxies don't stop existing. Every people don't just start stop walking mid movement while I'm going to take a piss. Life does go on while I'm like using the toilet. Life goes on. Time keeps moving. Inevitably. Unfortunately, life doesn't stop when I gotta go take a leak. I wish it would. I've missed like the fucking I had to go take a leak in the middle of a movie while I'm fucking at the theater. I'm like, gee, man, I really wish time would stop for like a little bit here. I don't got that fucking remote from click. Just stop while I go take a piss. Or I fast forward through an argument with the wife. Yeah, I can't do that. Time unfortunately keeps going while I am uh, using the bathroom. My world stops spinning when Dagnal isn't talking to me because he is my world. Oh, really? Really? Thanks. I really appreciate that. That's really nice. That's the nicest thing somebody said to me today. You don't have a break in the theater? I have never been to a movie at the theater where they give you a break. I've never seen that before. Is that something that people do? Is that something that some movie theaters do, where they, like, give you, like, a break? I've never seen that before. Happy birthday? 
It took two hours for somebody to wish me a happy birthday. It took two hours for one of you guys to remember that it was my birthday today. It took two hours for you guys to remember that it was my birthday today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad someone remembered, at least. I'm glad someone remembered. Liar? What do you mean? I thought your birthday was July 28th? Man, no. In my defense, I was eepin? Nah, that's no excuse. Nah, that's no excuse. During the Emoji movie, my buddy went pee during Whip and Nay Nay. It was a tragedy. Oh man, missed the best part. Oh, I've seen the fucking Emoji movie. Bro literally said his B-Day earlier. Yeah? And you guys still fucking forgot it. Do you know guys know any birth people that celebrated their birth week? No, I knew kids that celebrated their half birthday, though. I mean, it kind of sucked for me because I would have been totally justified in celebrating my half birthday at school because the tragedy of being born in July 2nd is you don't get to celebrate your birthday at school and it sucks. I totally should have, like, celebrated my half birthday at school so that I could at least get some birthday celebration while I was in school, but I never got shit. The fucking problem with summer birthdays, man. I never got to celebrate my birthday in school because they went hard, dude. Birthday parties when you were in school, fucking, you got, like, this, you were the center of attention that day, man. That would have been fucking awesome. I'd have loved that shit. But nah, I had to be born July 2nd, man, middle of summer break. Fucking sucked. So you know what? But I guess I wouldn't even have fucking celebrated my half birthday in school because it was like New Year's and I guess we would have been on like winter break. So I guess I wouldn't even have been able to celebrate my half birthday now that I think about it. Hmm. You ever get birthday beatings? Oh yeah, dude. You get the amount of... Yeah. You get punched for every year that you've been alive. It's like your 13th birthday, you get 13 punches. Yep. I never had to go through that, so I guess that's a positive part of never having celebrated my birthday in school, is I never had to get my birthday beatings, but I guess it still would have been worth it, man, because, like, people, like, sing songs for you and shit. Every time this Polish kid would have his birthday, we'd sing the uh, happy birthday in Polish for them. I'm like, man, I never got that treatment. I grew up poor, so the only one that never brought cupcakes for the class, and I got a lot of hate in elementary. Damn, man. At fuck! What? Really? I wasn't that close. <sighs> really? I wasn't even that close. I guess I hit the tree. Man, I don't want to fucking do this again. I really don't. Really mad. Oh, I didn't change the fucking date. It's fine. Look at the silver lining. Seven's a lucky number. I'm sure it'll go well this time. Yep. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. I think you're right. I think attempt number seven. I think number seven is my year. You feel? I think you're right. 
I think 2024 is my year, everyone. <laughs> I think that 2020 is going to be my year, guys. <laughs> I think 2021 is going to be my year. <laughs> I think 2022 is going to be my year. <laughs> I think 2023 is going to be my year. <laughs> I think 2024 is going to be my year. <laughs> Anyone else keep lying to themselves? Anyone else love lying to themselves? My streamer. He didn't say frowny face. Thanks, Owls, for the 37 months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Guys, he's going insane. Oh, you know, you'd kind of be... Like, imagine you were doing a project at your job. And just for one reason or another, it keeps fucking going wrong. Like a slight, just a very small, very, very tiny, just brain fart. And you lose a project that you've been putting hours into. And I think you'd be kind of like losing your mind a little bit too. Especially if it happens, I don't know, just throwing a number out there, like six times before that as well. It kind of be, like, real stinky, right? Especially when, like, the... You don't have a deadline, necessarily, for this project, but theoretically, the sooner you get it out, the, you know, of course, sooner, A, you could be done with it, and B, the sooner you could, of course, make money off of that thing that you just did. I'm a girl this time. I, I think that that's honestly where I have been going wrong this entire time. I think that that is where I've been going wrong this entire time. Dude, what happened? Well, let's see. I just had to restart a run where if I scare away a bug, I restart. So through process of elimination, mental deduction, I'm going to guess that I scared away a bug. And I had to restart. I have a monthly work auditing project where if I find an error, I have to chuck my work out, pick a new time frame, and start over. It's so annoying. It is. It is. Sassy? Okay, I, I I promise I will not be sassy. I will I will not be in a bad mood. That was my one... I get one... Okay, I get one time where I got to be sassy, and that's it. I got it, alright? I'm done. That was my one sassy comment. That was my one snarky comment. Girl footsteps are actually quieter in the game. I figured you would know this by now. Yo, actually real? True? I think, like, they're all shit, to be honest with you. They're all terrible. Every single one of these is, like, not a desirable island. Although, this one's okay, I guess. Diagonal is allowed one genuine emotion per stream. Goodbye, Mario Kart champ. I'm glad that you guys... Never mind. I said I'm done. I said I'm in a good mood now, and I'm in a good mood, see? I'm gonna second what the Joker did. No, 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 I swear I'm not, like, fucked up. I, I'm not, like, fucked up. No, I'm, I'm normal. I, it's like what the fucking Joker did in that movie. Fuck. Okay, no, I'm normal. I'm good. Thanks for the 10-bits super YTFA again. Just tell him how you feel. Nah, it ain't the place. It ain't the place. Chat dictates the ability for Diagonal to feel emotions. You know, people are like, sometimes they're like, oh, Dag, you should, like, be more honest and open with us. And then I'm open and honest with you guys, and you guys, like, use it against me. I don't know. You know what I feel? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm like the joke. I'm not like the Joker from that movie, Joker. Yeah, no. He, like, did the thing where he goes like... <laughs> And he, like, smiles in front of the mirror and starts crying. I actually watched that movie on TV. A little bit, anyway. Damned if you do, damned if you don't sort of situation. I'm like, you guys are like, why don't you ever laugh? And I'm like, well, I don't really laugh because I don't really, like, show emotions very much. Because, I don't know, for one reason or another, I'm very emotionally stifled throughout my adulthood. And my childhood, for that matter. And then they're like, and now you guys are making jokes about it. And I'm like, well, I might as well just not say anything, right? Cherry's a win, this is the run. T Cherry and Tian Shang is pretty dub lineup, I gotta say. As if you don't do the same to us. Nope. 
Don't think so. I don't know anything about you guys. What is funny to you? I think you should leave. German 985. Um, no, man. Y'all can... I can laugh. It just takes, like, a very specific, like set of circumstances you know what i mean like if somebody like an inside joke you know i can laugh with the buddies because y'all know like what makes me laugh and we can like hit each other with like inside jokes and shit that shit makes me laugh problem with chat is that you guys don't know i don't think what makes me laugh some of you are so i think some of you pick up my humor pretty well but not a lot of the time not always I just want to squash an orange tree. That'll work. You, okay. You remind... You remind me of Leon Kennedy if he was a twink. Oh, you mean Leon from Resident Evil. I didn't know that was his full name. I'm like, is that an actor? You remind me of Leon from Resident Evil. If he was a twink. He is a twink. Alrighty. I'll take that as a compliment. I think if you compare me in any way to Leon... What?! What are you talking about?! Huh? I wasn't even close! I wasn't even close! What are you talking about? I wasn't even close to the stupid thing! There's bugs! I've walked by a hundred bugs that closely before and never scared them away. Okay, well, I don't even think I need to delete the save data because I think it already didn't save because that happened so quickly. What the fuck, dude? All right. Well. Three, two, one, go again, I guess. I don't actually know what happened there. I have walked, I feel like I've walked by a lot of trees, especially with very common bugs that aren't exactly very, um, like, how would you call it? The basic, rarer bugs in this game are more likely to be scared away. So, like, if I did that with, like, a Hercules beetle, I'd understand it. Not with a brown cicada, though. Not with a brown cicada. But it did stop chirping, and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Why did it stop chirping? In my head, anyway. I was like, why did it stop chirping? And I guess it's because I was too close to it. I, I don't know why. I, I genuinely, that one confuses me. Why that one got scared away. I didn't feel like I was doing anything that wrong there. Skittish, yeah, there you go. The rarer the bug, the more skittish it is. To where you don't need to do as much to scare it away. But a brown cicada is not a rare bug, as most of you know. I didn't feel like it was going to be that skittish, and therefore I was not even walking at, like, full speed, either, I want to say. I was not even, like, I don't think I was even walking full speed. I actually want to watch the clip of that. I saw someone clip it. I kind of want to watch it. Let's pull it up here. Uh, let's go... Here. Fix the chroma key on it. Let's see. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, so there he is, and he's already, like, not moving. I think if you compare me in any... I was... Okay, so you can see I am not walking full speed here. I'll take that as a compliment. I think if you compare me in any way to Leon... Dude! That's fucked up! Maybe the collision with the rock? I'll take that as a compliment. I think if you compare me in any way to Leon... Where did it get scared, exactly? Compare me in any way to... I... Okay, it is, like, simultaneous with when I, like, ran into the rock. It is, like, about simultaneous to when I, like, doinked the rock with my foot. Nice face. That was really... Way too... Stupid. I guess, though. Because I think it's similar to when I scared away that snail, I ran into a tree. The only difference is that a tree... A tree actually, like, makes noise when you run into it. A rock does not, you know? 
So I guess I'm a little bit still confused by that, but I guess whatever. All right. Whatever you say. I I don't I won't claim to understand though. I guess I have to be even more careful than I thought. That's so unfair. I mean, it happened six minutes into the run. I'm not like, I'm not more, if I lost that, like that was my most, fuck it, I'm still being a girl. I still think that that's the secret. If I lost that like hours into the run, I would be fuming. I probably would have stopped streaming, but happening so soon after I just restarted is not a big deal. I'm just more like, if anything, it's nice that that happened as soon as it did, so that I have now learned that brown cicadas are as skittish as they are, to be careful in the future. I'm glad that at least I learned that lesson on an attempt that didn't really matter too much to that point. You can't get pink hair. Pink hair is lucky, but I can't get pink hair. I don't know. I don't know. It's becoming... I What I thought was once, like, a challenge where it's, like, feasible, but... Like, tricky but feasible is now becoming, like, more unfeasible the more and more that I go on. I'm starting to be like, wow, this is, like, actually, can I actually do this? It's not becoming like, yeah, I can do it. It'll just take, like, a lot of care. It's like, man, I really can't, like, mentally ever not focus on it. Because if I make any small mistake, it's just completely over. But I also am, like, committed to it to this point where I'm like, I kind of got to do it, you know? I've already said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So we're at day six, attempt eight now. So that's pretty good. Let me update the title. I feel like you could do it off stream easier. Well, you know what's going to happen if I do it off stream? Oh, you cheated! You totally scared some bugs away while we weren't looking. Like, if, okay, let me put it like this. If every failed attempt I did on stream, and then the one attempt that I didn't do on stream suddenly succeeded, that's a little sus, isn't it? That's a little sus. I, I would, as a viewer, find that sus. Like, I'm not saying, like, you guys are wrong to find that sus. No, I would find that sus as a viewer of that video. I'd be like, okay, dude, so conveniently that the one attempt that you did off stream is the one where you succeeded. Okay, man. Nobody would believe you. No, they wouldn't. Not that, like, you know, I need them to. Well, you know, I would certainly wouldn't want to be, like, clowned on for it. But at the same time, like, I can understand the skepticism that one would have, let's put it that way, about how the legitimacy of the attempt, where, oh, guys, you're just gonna have to trust me, I didn't scare anything away. At this point, you can make a video about how you found the real AC&H hard mode and showed all your failed attempts at this challenge. You know what I was thinking about doing after this one was doing all fish without scaring any away, which I'm like, man, how am I gonna do that one? Because, like, at least... It's a lot harder to scare away a fish than it is a bug, but you also have to, of course, not mess up catching a fish, which is something that I do very often. So that would be maybe even more tough than this. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that after I'm done with bugs. And I'm like, man, I don't even know if I want to look at this game after I'm done with this challenge, if I ever even do this challenge. Doesn't using bait also scare fish? Well, if you, like, throw it on top of a fish shadow, you don't need to do that, though. Yeah, my, like, jumpy-ass thumb would destroy that. You have Castmaster to help you out with the progress? Yeah, but that only goes up to 100. And also, I don't need to keep track of the progress. I need to, you know, if I miss a fish, I'll know I missed a fish, just like this. Can I get... Nah, I can't get both of these peach trees. I mean, whatever, man. Just keep going, I guess. Get every villager in the game to live within your town once. I've never, ever, ever... I've, I think I've suge uh, been suggested that. I wouldn't do something like that, but there have been suggestions that's like, see every villager once. So, be it on a Nook Miles Island, be them on your island. Just in some way, see every villager once. is probably the closest I would do to doing something like that. Because that's at least feasible. You could see most of them through, like, Nook Miles Islands. You could see most of them through the Happy Home Paradise DLC. It would be easy enough, in theory. It'd take a while, but it'd be easy enough. It's just, like, I don't know. It's just, 
that's just sort of like one of those challenges that I do, and I've done a lot of them at this point, where they're not really creative in the sense that, like, there's something that's, like, a challenge. It's more just like a slog to meet an arbitrary goal that you set out for yourself. Which I guess that's the fun in games where they're open-ended is setting goals for yourself and meeting them, but I don't know. That one is not nearly as interesting of a concept as, in my opinion anyway, catching every bug without scaring one away. I feel like I would look at a video like that and I'd be like, wow, wow, how did someone actually do that? You gotta think about, when you're a YouTuber, how people would react to the video that you're putting up, you know? I would much rather watch a video where someone caught all the fish in the game without scaring them away, because I'm like, wow, that must have been really tough, I want to see how they did that. Versus, I fucking saw every village or an Animal Crossing, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, no, not really a big deal, to be honest with you. Thanks for the hydrate. Didn't really require much skill, just a lot of time, I guess. But, you know. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get a hundred villager photos. I think Koromora was trying to do every villager photo in the game. Maybe they still are. I don't know. Maybe they gave up because they realized how ridiculous that is to do and how just god awfully long that would take. But if they're still going, more power to them. That'll be a banger video once it's done. But I wouldn't want to do that. Me, personally. I'm trying to do every villager in HHP. I've done that. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's not easy if you're actually like, putting effort and care into every single villager's house. Um, if you just do, like, the most basic stuff, though. I mean, you can knock that out in, like, five hours, maybe, if I had to guess. I think they're still going. Are they? I haven't seen any update on it in a while. I remember they used to stream it to YouTube... But I haven't- I don't watch YouTube streams, like, ever. Unless they're, like, rip-off college football games. Or something like that. Unless it's, like, crackstream.xyz, except it's on YouTube. I remember trying to get Kabuki's picture. It took so long. Oh, well, that's just it. Is that, like, it's random. It's completely random. Getting pictures is you have to get them up to a certain friendship level and then just hope that they give it to you after that. There's not really a whole lot you can do. There's things that you can do to influence it, but ultimately, there's nothing really that you can do. It could take fucking forever to get, to get it from certain villagers. Sometimes you can get it quick, but sometimes it might take a long fucking time. And that's why I would not want to do a challenge like that, because it's completely completely random with very little influence that you as a player can have took me three months yeah like you can maybe optimize it to a certain extent but ultimately you're in the hands of rng when you're doing that i hate that fucking word i hate how every instance of something random happening in a video game or some chance based effect in a video game is fucking rng now i hate it i want to I want to behead myself every time I hear it. I hate how every chance-based thing in a video game is RNG. That's that's my pet peeve. You want to you want to get you want to get my goose? Do that. Call every random instance in a video game RNG and you got me. Chess is pay to win and RNG. Uh, Wild World. It probably took longer in Wild World, to be honest with you, than this game, because everything was harder in Wild World. When the light turns red right before I go, I call it RNG. Do we got a problem? Yeah, it's fucking stupid! And red lights are determined by traffic patterns that are predetermined based on how heavily trafficked the intersection that you're trying to go through is. It's not RNG at all! And that's what makes me mad, is that half the scenarios in which people claim is RNG is not RNG. I don't know, though. I'm not a game designer. What, what the fuck do I know? Everything is RNG. You'd think, based on how some people use that frickin' word. I don't know, it used to be like a speedrunners, like... It used to be like a word that you'd only really hear in, like, speedrunners communities, you know? RNG. Where something has a chance of happening in a game, and it does or it doesn't happen. And that's good or bad RNG, respectively. And... It's like, okay, yeah. It's like the SNES determining whether or not to, um, 
fucking give you a level skip in Super Mario World. I don't know. It made sense back then. Now everything is fucking RNG. I hate it. It's random number generator, not luck. Which, I guess, they are sort of the same thing, but... Maybe still. I don't know, it just bugs me. Even if people do use it the right way, it bugs me. I wonder if streaming read streamer reading my message is RNG. No, there's definitely a human element to that. You're Imagine Owls, I always read your messages. Ah. Uh, oh my god, does he play favorites? Does that mean he plays favorites? Yep. I definitely do. <laughs> no, I don't, okay? No, I don't play favorites. Yes, play favorites. No, I would never. You ever see how an ionizing particle from outer space helped a Mario speedrunner save time? Okay, I think that that's putting it a little bit... Uh... Disingenuously, I think... The whole particle is a theory, and it helped them, like, shoot up, like, to, uh... It helped them, like... First of all, I don't think they were actually on a run. I think they were just practicing. And it helped them, it, like, warped them up to a different part of the level. And people are speculating that an ionized particle from outer space hit their SNES, or N64, rather, in a perfect way, hit the perfect bite that changed their Y-axis to where they teleported up to the top of the level. And nobody's been able to recreate it since. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I have seen that before. Dad, can I be your least favorite? No, you'd have to work for that. It's honestly quite a remarkable skill to be my least favorite chatter, but you're not banned. Because, like, if you're my least favorite chatter, then you're still able to chat, which means you're not banned. But you're, like, perfectly... Walking that threshold. You're perfectly walking that threshold of being annoying enough for me to not like you, but not annoying enough for me to not ban. Or for me to ban. Yeah. So, really, you're doing... You're walking a fine line. A skillful line that I have to admire in a way. But I won't say who's doing it. But it's one of you. This is, what, eight? Eight? God damn it, man. I didn't even get to name seven. Gotta be me for sure? No way. Now I'm scared? You can expose me? It's okay? No, man. Not everything's about you now. I mean, annoying but endearing. No? Like, sometimes there are people out there, alright? There's sometimes chatters out there where they're like... Annoying... But they don't do anything blatantly wrong with which to, like, outright ban them. Now, I don't need a reason to ban somebody. I don't need a reason to ban somebody. I could- this is something- this is a little misconception that a lot of Twitch chatters have, is that, like... Why'd you ban me? I didn't even do anything. And it's like, even if that was true, first of all, somebody who says that definitely did something. All right, let's get that out of the way. But theoretically, I banned somebody for no reason at all, which I'm not going to. But theoretically, I banned somebody for no reason at all. There's no checks and balances that I need to run. I, I, I don't have to run by the vice president of Dagnall. Oh, hey, man, do you think that this guy deserves a ban? There's no checks and balances. It doesn't have to go through all the executive branches of government for me to make a decision as to whether or not to ban somebody. I don't need to do that. I could just do it for no reason at all. I'd be kind of a dick to do so, and I don't, but I don't need to do so. I don't need... The, can't, the Council of Diagonals does not all need to meet. And we all need to have, like, a 70-30 majority vote with which to decide whether to ban somebody or not. I can nuke them. I don't need to. That being said, it's not exactly going to get you too highly thought of if you just ban people for no reason, you know? It's not, it's not gonna, you're not gonna make a lot of friends that way. So, I don't. But if somebody has, like, a past history of being an annoying chatter and they do one thing that... I could vaguely justify banning them for, they've kind of lost the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I give you a lot shorter of a leash than somebody who has been proven to be a good chatter in the past, you know what I mean? 
but you know it's all good none of you are at that point let's put it that way If someone gets banned, does Twitch cancel your subscription? Nope. Except Schlatt, who banned all those folks at once and is still doing good. I only know that person by name, and from the sounds of it, it seems like that is probably the best decision I'll ever make. Maybe not ever. But we'll see. What if it's annoyance for the sake of chat engagement? If what you are saying is merely to stir up a debate then I would reconsider why you were chatting in my stream, I guess is what I would say. Schlatt banned 14,000 people with a script and then unbanned them for having Dream in their name. Boy, I thought you said for no reason, though. Like, if somebody's coming in and they're, like, posting something that's annoying but will stir up, like, chat and me... Then it's still not really somebody I would want here, you know? Didn't you ban the person that was like, How dare you time out a paying member? Yeah, that was last stream. That was a good one. That was a good one. I didn't ban them, no, actually. I timed them out. I timed them out for a long time. And I would have banned them if they weren't a paying member. No, I'm just kidding. I would have timed out anyone who said that because what a ridiculous, what a what a ridiculous. I okay. So for context, I timed somebody out because they were they said something stupid or weird. I think it was it was weird. It was creepy weird. Like like not weird. Like oh that's strange. That was, it was like a creepy weird. And then they came back after their timeout went up, and they were like, "How could you time out a paying member?" And I looked at the camera and I said. That was my- I was licking my fucking chops, dude. I was licking my fucking chops after they said that. That was- that one felt good. I nuked them after they said that, and that one felt good. I was licking my chops, dude. I was fucking- who? That felt good. It was a knife wife. I wish I knew what they said. It was just like a creepy comment. Like, one of those, like, creepy, weird comments where if you... I don't know, people feel, like, weirdly entitled to be able to, like, hit on me in Twitch chat. It was one of those comments. And so I'm like, oh, get out of here, weirdo. And then they come back and they're like, how could you do that to me? I subscribe to you. I should be able to be weird to you in chat. And I'm like, mm, okay. Imagine thinking that paying money makes you invincible. Like, sorry, bestie, you can't get away with that. No, of course not. And it sort of, like, teaches me about, like, the kind of person that you are in real life. But maybe that's unnecessarily speculative. Came back because I heard people were debating the tink twi tink tegrity of Leon Kennedy. I was told that I, uh, they were, I am like Leon Kennedy if they were a twink. And I think the consensus that we came back to is that Leon Kennedy is a twink. Yeah, that's that tier 3 privilege right there. You get to hit on me if you're tier 3. Leon Kennedy is a twink. Yeah. So really, like, I'm a twinkier version of Leon Kennedy. I mean, I'm not a hunk, so I guess, yeah, kind of true, right? Same people who are tier 3 sub to Pokimane, donated 100,000 bits, and expect her to love them romantically. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, on one hand, I'm like, oh, people to that extent that you listed don't exist, but, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be so ignorant, huh? Maybe I shouldn't be so ignorant. Oh, I forgot to place down my pants and socks. Silly me. Hello, dear Sir Dagnall. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good right now. Twink ear is a word. Really, if you take, like, a word, like an adjective, and put I-E-R on it, is it not kind of, like, by default a word? Oh, no, not my pants. I want to keep my pants on. I want to do my shoes. 
You're telling me if I tier three and give you money, you won't love me? I'll actually like sort of lose respect for you, to be honest with you. I'm like, why would you do that? I feel like I would actively lose respect for you. There we go. I love the tutorial music. I like it too. It just gets to you after a while. It just gets to you after a while. Go. Like, it's just... I don't know. If it wasn't the same, like, one-minute loop, it would be a little bit better. The hell is this challenge? How long does it take? Um... A long time, apparently. Got his grippers out. Bro, this guy ain't even got no grippers. Dude got penguin feet. Look at this. Bro got fucking flippers, man. There ain't nothing in there. What if my form of love is just you playing GeoGuessr? I should play some Geo on stream. I, I have to, like, break out of my, like, um, comfort games. You know, like, how people have, like, comfort shows, comfort movies, comfort, like, settings, stuff like that? I gotta break out of, like, Animal Crossing, Stardew. Okay, so there's, like, games that I kind of, like, know people will like that I play because they're all, like, within the same vein of things. So, I can play Animal Crossing. I can play... Stardew. I can play Minecraft on stream, and I know that people will like me playing those games because I feel like there's a lot of overlap in the fandom of all those. I gotta be more variety. Like, I know GeoGuessr is hardly variety. I've played it a bunch before, but I gotta, like, branch out out of just the games that I play. Because for my own sake, I don't like just playing those three games. I gotta break out into, uh... No, I'm not gonna play Lethal Company. I don't do co-op streams. I know you can play it single player, but, like, it's also fucking ridiculous if it's single player, because how are you ever going to meet, like, some of the higher quotas? No. Isaac. I have played Isaac on stream. I just got to, like, be... I got to more consistently play things that are outside of that, you know, comfort zone of games. Like, it's okay. I have to remind myself, it's okay if some people don't like you playing certain games if it means that you like playing them, you know? Play Miitopia on stream, it's amazing. I have also played... No, wait, hang on a minute. Miitopia... Yeah, I played Miitopia. I was getting Miitopia and, um... Fucking... You guys are gonna say it. You guys are gonna say it, and I'm gonna get mad, because I couldn't think of it. Tamodachi Life, yep, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. I've played Miitopia. It was fun. I just don't think it's, like, a uh, more than, like, two-stream thing. I don't think it's more of a two-stream thing. And also, capturing my 3DS is such a pain in the ass. I try not to stream too much 3DS games, because it's such a pain in the ass, if I'm not emulating it. It's such a pain in the ass. I'm going back to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. Ever played Pokemon before on stream? I have played and beaten Pokemon Scarlet Violet recently. Um, <laughs> real turd, that one. I didn't like it. Um, I hear a cricket. Yeah, that one, not my favorite Pokemon game of all time. Although that's sort of like a comfort game where I feel like there's a lot of overlap within the fandoms of the games that I've built communities around. Animal Crossing, I feel like people generally like Pokemon too. So, I could probably be, like, pretty rest assured that people will like when I play Pokemon. That being said, I actually am the one who doesn't really like Pokemon that much. At least not as of late, because I feel like Pokemon games as of late have been pretty not good. But I did play Scarlet Violet on stream. I thought it was better than Sword Shield. Not exactly a high bar with which to meet. But I thought it was okay. I beat it. So I have played Pokemon on stream. I should play, like, maybe I should play, like, you know what? If there was a Pokemon game that I was going to play on stream, it'd probably be Black and White. Because I don't think I ever beat Black and White. When Black and White came out, people didn't really like it. And I wasn't huge into Pokemon when I was a kid. Is that a scorpion or is that a weed that I see blowing in the distance? That's totally a weed. 
I didn't like Pokemon when I was a kid. And when Black and White came out, I remember people didn't like it very much. But now everyone loves Black and White. I don't think it was as well received when I was younger, around when it came out, versus how it is now. But the combination of it apparently being pretty good, and the fact that I haven't played it, means that if I was going to play another Pokemon game on stream, it would probably be Black and White. Or Black and White 2, which I think that they're pretty similar, if not, like, are they kind of, like, not the same game? I don't know. Pokemon Kaizo runs are interesting. Oh, I'm not doing that. They're not Kaizo. Aren't they called Nuzlocks? Or are those things different? Is a Kaizo not a Nuzlocke? Yada yada. Black and White 2 are direct sequels. Has quality of life updates and basically a better story. But if you play one... Is there any... Desire... Like, if you play one, is there any reason to play two? Or should you just play two from the start... And then you don't need to play one. I guess is what I'm asking. It's a sequel, not a remake. You have to play one. Okay. Well, look, I'm not saying this is going to happen anytime soon, but I will remember this for the future, should I look to play something new. Also, um, <clears throat> Pokemon games are generally very easy to emulate. So that's another reason why I'd be happy to play it. Pretty sure black and white would be quite easy to just emulate. So, as opposed to like playing X and Y, which not as easy. One has a better story, two has more features. I'm never a features guy, to be honest with you. I feel like when a game has a bunch of features, I rarely ever even use half of them. So, that doesn't really appeal to me a whole lot. They weren't well received because they went clean slate with the Pokemon. What do you mean? They went clean slate. I feel like Gen 5 was around. If I can pitch in as to why I think that they might not have been well received. I hate... Okay, I don't hate. That's a strong word. I hate a lot of things, but maybe it is a strong word. And so I'm justified in it. I didn't like Pokemon designs starting around Gen 5. I think that they started to get, like... I think that they started to fall off very hard around Gen 5. No old Pokemon till post-game. I mean, that is kind of annoying, honestly. I could see why people may not like that. Because I think that Pokemon around Gen 5 were generally where, like, the designs and memorability of them all sort of fell off a lot. I pretty, I'm pretty good at remembering Pokemon from Gens 1 to 3. It's around, like, 4 and 5. I mean, probably because I didn't play them as much. That's around when I, like, stop remembering them as positively as I remembered them from the first few generations. Don't go anywhere. Eh. You don't like the frozen ice cream cone? You don't like the fucking trash bag? You don't like fucking Rotom, who could become a fucking refrigerator if you wanted to? No, not really. I wish newer games pushed the new Mons more than the old. I, did they not? I don't know. They feel more humanoid and like I find them less appealing. If it makes sense, I feel like Gen 1, early Gen Pokemons were not just like, hey, I mean, and I know that there are some that are like this. Don't get me wrong. And don't get me wrong that, like, trust me when I say, like, Rattata, for example, to bring up an early-gen Pokemon, that's not exactly, like, pushing the boundaries of creativity. You took a rat and you made it purple. And a lot of the reason why people remember Rattata so fondly is because it's just nostalgia, most likely. Okay? So I'm not saying Gen 1 was objectively better at designing Pokemon than later Gens were. A lot of them weren't exactly very creative. But I feel like a lot of Gen 1 Pokemons were more not just like an animal reskinned into something else, you know? Like, what the fuck is Muck? What's Grimer? What's, what the fuck is Coughing? What are those things? They're not like... There's no like real-life equivalent as to what those are. I feel like a lot of Pokemon made these days are like, I took an animal... But I made it a Pokemon. You know? Nidoking, Nidoqueen, those are awesome designs. And they're not really based after anything in particular. They're like fucked up lizards. <coughs> ow. I don't know why I said ow. 
now I feel like most Pokemon design these days are like, we took an animal and we like made them cool. And like, don't get me wrong, that Greninja from Sword Shield, I think, he's pretty badass. We took a frog and we made him a ninja. That's really cool. Okay, now show me all the Pokemon that aren't like the starters. And they're like, mm. yeah, I'm not saying that there's no Pokemon that are like that. I mentioned Rattata specifically. Yeah, Ekans and Beedrill, Snake and Bee. Yeah, no, I'm not saying they didn't do that at all. I just felt like way more so than now did they actually make like more original designs for Pokemon rather than just basing them off real life things. Like a set of keys, for example. You know what I mean? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But maybe I'm completely wrong because I don't know Pokemon very well. But that's always been my impression of them. I feel like there's a lot of memorable Pokemon from recent generations that are only memorable because they're, like, the starters, you know? Or the legendaries. I feel like every Pokemon from Gens 1, 2, and some from 3 are, like, iconic. Now I feel like it's just kind of the starters and the legendaries that I think people go crazy about, you know? Not, in the, not just, like, the, you know, 90% of Pokemon that you're going to see throughout the game. I hate the rideable bike legendaries. They're supposed to be gods. Yeah, that was something that I was sort of confused about. I was like, oh, look, it's the, it's the fucking cover Pokemon on the cover of the game. Surely, I, and he looks so badass. He looks so cool. Surely I get to use him for some functionality outside of him just being a bike, right? Nope. Maybe you do in the DLCs, though. I haven't played them. He's just a helpful guy. Don't get me wrong, but... I guess cool, but... Don't you just fucking get a bike? I don't know. That's just, that's what I think, anyway. Stream ends soon, doesn't it? I don't know. A bike that you feed sandwiches. Yeah, it's like... Mm. And who's the god here, man? The Pokemon or me? I'm having to freaking baby this god. Ain't so much of a god, it doesn't seem like, anyway. I got Breath of the Wild on sale, and I'm too overwhelmed to start it. Everyone loves it, and what if I don't? Then who cares? That's only something that you would judge yourself for if you don't like it. Nobody else would really judge you. And if they do, then they aren't very nice. You know, dude, I hate plenty of things that so many people like. I think I've donated a Cricket. Have I? Oh, okay. I guess I haven't. Dude, you know how many things- Dude, I'm a hater. You're talking to King Hater over here. You're talking to King Hater. Alright? You understand who you're talking to. I hate so much shit that other people like. Not hate. Okay, maybe. Some things, definitely, I hate. You're talking to King Hater, man. I hate so much shit that a lot of people like. Not because I'm more intelligent than them, and I can see the things that- I can see the small details that they would overlook more critically than them. No, it's just that I'm cynical and in many ways hard to please when it comes to, like, games and movies and TV shows. And also I'm picky in particular to an obno obnoxious extent. And, like, I like Breath of the Wild, but if you said, I don't like Breath of the Wild for very legitimate and well-found reasons, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. That's fair. I, yeah, I don't like Breath of the Wild because, um... The world is so big, but they only utilize, like, a very small part of that world for villages and stables and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, no, I get it. I can understand that. Me, personally, I find the beauty in all that unused space. Even if it isn't functional, it still looks really good. But I would still be like, okay, that's a valid criticism of Breath of the Wild. What's, like, the biggest criticism of Breath of the Wild is, like... I don't know. There's something. There's like a... I mean, like the... Like the breaking of weapons. Okay. That's a criticism that I have. I don't like how weapons break. And that they so heavily incentivize, like... In the case of Tears of the Kingdom. Like, making new weapons when your old ones break. I... It's a very legitimate, like... Point of concern that you might have for Breath of the Wild. That I would kind of completely understand, to be honest with you. I like it. Or at least I don't mind it. I got over it at some point, but I get it. I really do. 
How many attempts do you think this will take? I don't know. If I knew how many attempts it would take, when, like if I said, this is going to take exactly 12 attempts, I would just purposely fail this attempt in the next, like, three after that so that I can get straight to 12 and then pass it instantly and not have to worry about how many attempts it would take. I already know it's going to take 12. Wasn't the most criticism the fact that you couldn't climb when it was wet and rainy? Yeah, but like, I don't know. I feel like the... I, it was innovative to even let you like climb shit in the first place, you know? The amount of like exploration that they even let you do in that game was insane. So, I don't know. You're criticizing something because... Yeah, you weren't able to like climb in the in the weather even though there was a suit I think that allowed you to do so. Or like a potion, something that you could eat that allowed you to the ability to do so. Yeah, but even the ability to climb as liberally as you were able to do was like innovative, you know? So, I don't know. That's just me though. Did I make my nets? No, I didn't. Wait, yes I did. Yes I did. Okay. Here's the Kingdom at least gave us a frog suit to overcome. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't thinking... Yeah, that's in Tears of the Kingdom, not Breath of the Wild. I have to sell things. What the fuck is that emote, Owls? Oh. I feel like once I give Breath of the Wild a shot, I'll like it. I'm just easily overwhelmed with wide-open maps and shit. I mean, the thing about Breath of the Wild, the way that I like playing Breath of the Wild, was I liked... Um, exploring all the map first. Before I even did anything story-wise, I explored the entire map. Not the entire map, but I got all the towers. I don't need these, right? Nah, we can sell those. I got all the towers that allowed me to map out the world, and then that was before I even did anything in regards to the story, is I got all those towers that allows you to map out the world. It's a good way to introduce all the different regions of the map to you without, like, you needing to do anything in particular except just explore and get a feel for the world around you. I like that. So, if I guess I could recommend you a way to play the game, I'm not going to tell you how, but that's the way I would do it. What's for sale? Maybe if I am nicer to Timmy, uh, I'll have a better attempt. Like, maybe don't call him, like, the rat or something like that. Buy a net, buy an axe. I don't know. Give it a try. I'm not going to tell you guys how to play games, because I play games the way I like it. Won't mean that that will be the, the way that you like it. White Moms? White Cosmos? Fuck you. I'll buy one White Cosmos and 15 Red Lilies. It's kind of sad I don't hear anything about Tears of the Kingdom anymore. Play Animal Crossing all day? I think I'd lose my mind. But then again, you guys would probably love that. Do you think po next Pokemon game will be good? The past three Pokemon games haven't been good. So I don't see any reason as to why that trend will change anytime soon. You know us so well. Trust me, I kind of want to, like, invest the time here to, like, get back to a point in this attempt where I'm, like... I don't know. Happy to pick it back up tomorrow and, like... I don't know, be at, like, a good point in the challenge, but I don't want to also stream this all day because, I don't know, I'll probably just, like, lose my mind. Is Subnautica your thing? I don't know, I never played it. There's a lot of games I would like, and a lot of people have tried to convince me to, like, play certain games that they like, and it's just hard to get me to play new games, you know? Because, for one reason or another, like, mental... I don't want to say mental illness, but I guess just the way that I am, I'm very hesitant to try new things. I like to stick within, like, my comfort zone. The kind of games that I know I'll like, rather than trying new ones a lot of the time. And especially with the added stress of playing them on stream. I'm not gonna say, like, it's so hard for me to, like, uh... It's so hard for me to play games on stream because, like, oh, there's so much pressure to, like, play... To, like, do it in front of chat, you know? I'm not gonna say, like, it's the hardest thing in the world, but... Having to... Play a game for the first time on stream and actually enjoy it is hard because of the added factors of trying to be funny while I do it and also having to deal with a chat that's, you know, trying to tell me how to play the game when I want to figure out how to play the game the way that I like, you know? 
So if I'm going to play new games, most likely they're not going to be on stream, but that's just my personal preference. I like to play games in my lone time, at least if I'm going to play them for the first time. I think you'd like it based on what you said about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, a lot of people have been telling me to play Subnautica. I don't know anything about it. But if I do play it for the first time, likely it will not be on stream. Playing new games on stream is stressful. I think... How many people have tried streaming before? Do you find... Not that I'm looking for, like, praise and validation. But, like, have you ever tried streaming because you're like, Oh, this is fun. And then you do it, and you're like, Oh, I can see, like, why this is stressful and, like, difficult. I'm not saying it's a hard job, but can you maybe... Sometimes I think you need to do it sometimes. I think you need to do it sometimes to appreciate some of the more hard to see difficulties of it. Again, it's not difficult necessarily, but I think you gain some perspective on what it's about when you actually have to do it for yourself. You don't have to, but if you try... Seems easy, but I'm kind of different. Well, I know. I'm kind of asking, like, everyone but you, you know? It's hard. It's hard. You'd be surprised how hard it is to just sit here and, like, play a game and try to be entertaining. I'm not going to say I'm particularly good at it either, but... It's harder than you think. And having to balance that and also trying to focus and enjoy the game that you're playing. I guess this is how I'm trying to conclude the point. Doing all this while making sure that you're enjoying and playing the game to a somewhat competent level is kind of hard. I guess that that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. What's up, Russo? This is why people do the comfy cozy shit? I guess. This game is definitely a lot easier to play on stream than some other games. So, if somebody's, like, looking to stream for the first time... I mean, I, I played Animal Crossing when I first streamed. Because I was like, I've been playing this shit for years. I know it inside and out. I kind of, like... It's way, way easier to play a game that is simple, more, re more laid back, more relaxed, and one that you know very well... Than starting something new for the first time where you... I don't know, let's say it's competitive and you have to, like, focus. That's a lot harder. That's a lot harder than just doing, yeah, like, cozy games. Make a Cottagecore playthrough. I would sooner shoot myself in the foot. I was going to say the head. Let's not be dramatic. The foot. Don't. We all know how finicky fucking bugs are. Although Earthboring Dung Beetle, I thought was going to be a little bitch, actually has not made me fail any attempts yet. So shoutouts. I mean, wanting to try streaming, it's just intimidating. There's a lot that goes into it. I mean, on the surface level, no. There's not a lot that goes into it. It is just kind of like going live and talking. But if you want to be good at it, there is a good bit that goes into it. I guess I would say that. You're good at streaming in the sense that you know your humor and how to lean into it and how well you bounce off of chat, which is hard. I think the advantage of doing it for four years now, which actually it has been almost, it, it's actually been a little bit over four years now. My first stream, well, it's not my first stream ever, but the first time I consistently started doing it was like December 30th, 2019, when I started playing New Leaf a few months before New Horizons came out. So, it's kind of like my four-year anniversary, and don't nobody be saying happy anniversary to me. Um, but, I think doing it for four years now has kind of just made me more used to doing that, you know? I think that that is just something that you get better at as you just do it more, as with anything. Some people are good when they just start out on streaming. But sometimes you need to practice to get better at doing, I don't know, what I do. And I'm not great either, so whatever. Bon anniversary. Thank you. I think. 
I think it's because some of the games I'd want to stream, like streaming 3DS and DS games, sounds like a nightmare. I mean, yeah. It's definitely easy to stream something on PC, but you can do it. Isn't it super awkward in the beginning with no one watching? Yes, it is. That's another factor to it. It's like, unless you have people that watch you, watch you, you have to completely make up every conversation. Everything that you say has to be not formed by that of a chatter in your stream. Because, yeah, when you're just starting out, nobody's watching you. It's not like anything against you. It's just nobody starts out with people just immediately watching them when they stream. It's very awkward. It's like, you be surprised how, like, quickly you'll run out of things to say. You think, like, oh, I can talk all day about this game that I'm playing, and then you actually have to do it, and you're like, oh, oh, not really. Kind of, kind of, like, just begging somebody to come in and be like, hey, how's your day? So that I can have something to talk about that isn't just the game. But when you're starting out, no, you ain't got that. That's hard. Do you remember your first follower? No, sorry. It wasn't you, was it? <laughs> no, couldn't have been. How does it take for people to notice you when you start streaming? Uh, maybe never. <laughs> it's, it's, it ain't, it ain't just, it ain't just you do it and you get noticed eventually. Nope. It, it don't, it's never guaranteed that you will find a following. It's not just gonna happen. Just because you put work into it, you have to be good at it. It, it's never guaranteed. Never guaranteed. Oh heck, attempt eight. Yeah, what do we start today on? Five? Ugh. Yeah, that's uh, fun. I like it best when you play games that require less of your attention as you chat random shit with us and it's chill. Yeah, like this, except, like, I do need to focus, like, a little bit, because it's been my lack of focus that has made me fail every attempt thus to this point, so... I'm kind of, like, that's why it kind of stinks, is because, like, I want to play it, like, casually, like I always do, but at the same time, I also want to, like, you know, not fucking fail. So, I'm kind of trying to find that sweet spot between paying enough attention to you guys where I'm not fucking boring, but also trying to pay enough attention to where I'm not failing challenges because I'm scaring bugs away. So, that's kind of the difficulty of what I'm trying to do now. I also gotta plant all this fucking shit. I forgot. Good thing it worked out for you. Well, I will say that if you really wanted to take Twitch seriously, then you should also coincide it with YouTube content as well. That's the best way to do it. That's the way that everyone would recommend that you... Every Twitch streamer who has found success would probably... Not many of them find success naturally just on YouTube anymore. Or, sorry, just on Twitch anymore. A lot of the times it takes, you know, an outside effort by integrating your Twitch content into YouTube content of some way. That's what kind of sucks about it, is that it feels like there's not much natural growth on Twitch anymore. You always have to get it from somewhere else, be it whatever platforms you have the biggest following on. Mostly YouTube, because it's easy to incorporate your Twitch and YouTube content together, but I suppose it could be TikTok, Instagram... Uvu. I don't know. Whatever you find to be easiest. Alright, fuck it. That's good enough. How much time do I have? Not much. Um, did I write on the board already? I did, okay. I have enough wood. I planted all that. Alright. Missing Tumblr? Yeah, Tumblr, I guess. I mean, it's still there. It's just, you know, not anything like it was back when I was a kid. Yeah, exactly. Every streamer you watch, you found somewhere else first. Mostly YouTube. That's just the state of it anymore. You don't find people on Twitch. At least, very rarely do you, actually. Uh, take a picture. I might not get enough miles. I might have done this a little bit wrong. We'll see, though. Take a picture, change design, change passport. Twitch sometimes has topless people on the front page, and I just think, why do you think I would want to see this? I mean, I could tell you a very legitimate reason as to why somebody would want to see that. 
They actually, you see Twitch implemented, like, further rule clarification on the extent with which you can be nude on Twitch. They made it so that now the little black bar that covers your, uh, your boobs, you can't do that no more. You have to, I, I don't remember the whole entire rule change, but I guess it looks like they're, uh, amending that for the 15th time now. So it really it really speaks of a company that really has their shit together. You guys know what I mean? Yeah, tatas. Yeah, no sensor bar allowed now. The fact that Twitch keeps having to like clarify every rule change that they make 15 times really just One year of being forklift certified by association. Really just speaks to me as a company that really knows what they're doing, knows their user base and just has it all figured out from a management level. Really just screams to me that they got it together. Thanks, Supper Last, for the year. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. High tea. Yeah, give me high tea. Was that due to Boogie? It was due to a lot of people. All right. Should have enough miles now, hopefully. Might be a little bit short, though. I don't know. I feel like I've done something. I feel like I haven't done something, rather. Feels like yesterday they were banning accounts for cleavage with no warning. I don't remember, to be honest with you, them ever getting too, too mad about cleavage. I remember Twitch users getting mad about cleavage. About how, oh, this woman has her shirt down, shirt cut like a little bit too low. Oh, how, how could Twitch let this... How could Twitch let this be on their website for kids, even though this website has never been for fucking kids? Let's be honest with ourselves. The majority of users are probably over 18. People like to fake outrage at people who had too much cleavage, but I don't know how how Twitch has ever been too... I don't know if, how if Twitch has ever been too strict on that. People always say, like, this... Like, yeah, you can be a kid on this website, but... I would argue that this Twitch has really never been for kids, you know? Ever since the days that it was first around, it was probably more of a 18 plus website. Not in the sense that it's straight up porn, but you know what I mean. The majority of users were probably not kids. Men are just mad that they can't get views because boobs. Yeah. We actually have to be, like, entertaining, or this is what they're saying. It's like, oh, women can just wear low-cut tank tops and they can get viewers. I have to actually be funny. Oh, and that's really hard for me. Well, some people have managed to do it, so I guess skill issue, right? And also, like, is anyone really sticking around because someone's shirt be like this? Eh, maybe. I guess I won't try to, like... I won't try to, like, get into the minds of the people who watch those streams, because I, quite frankly, don't understand it, but... I mean, I guess, man. But, on one hand, it's like... If I can't compete with someone who's wearing a tank top that's down here, so be it. Kinda sucks for me, but on the other hand, if I could do that, you think that I wouldn't? You think that if I... You think that if I couldn't do that, I wouldn't? Unfortunately, I got no goods to show. So, I've got to do the best I can with my... Ah! I spilled water everywhere. Okay, if I die, if I go offline, I just spilled water on my, like, modem and my router. But I haven't died yet, so I think it's okay. I think I, there's, like, water on my modem and my router right now. But, it seems to be okay? Man, they really build these things different these days, huh? Wow. It wasn't like a little bit, either. <laughs> I'm gonna get a towel. I'll be right back. Let me... Let me... There we go. Well, uh, I think I'm still here, so we're good. It 
Seems like we're good. Alright. The water is soaking in his wires right now. It looks like all the critical components are safe. So, I mean, look, I didn't, like, tear apart the router and, like, wipe down the inner bits to make sure that uh, absolutely nothing critical got zapped. But... I don't know. It, look, if the stream dies, all right, and my entire apartment building burns down because I got water that hit some wires inside my router, then you know what? Life goes on. The way I see it, life will go on. All right, we're good, right? Pay off the house. Agree to get your house built. Time rolls over to 5 a.m. Yeah, okay. Is it just me, or is it just me, or is it just me, or is it, uh, it, uh, is it just me, or is he keep stuttering? I'm not jo- I'm not jo- I'm not jo- I'm not joking. No, I think it's just you, man. I think it's just you. I went to go reach for my... In case you were wondering what happened. I reached for my water bottle. And I was trying to go, like, around to grab it. But I fucking... I glunked that shit. Knocked it into my fucking... I Maybe this isn't good. That I have my router, modem, Nintendo Switch, Wii U, and, like, camera... Like, my good camera all sitting on a little end table right next to my desk. Very close to where I have my water bottle. I don't know if that's very good. <sighs> Dang, if your building burns down, you can't attend poker night. It's not in my building. It's in the complex, but not my building. It sounds fine. Look, it's probably objectively fine. It's just... Just like anything can go wrong, like, if you try hard enough, like, yeah. Like, I have my whole setup right next to a window. I could get struck by lightning, right? Yeah, but, like, you have to accept that that's a pretty low percent chance of that happening. In fact, I would even say it, if that happened, that'd be some bad RNG, fellas. That'd be some bad RNG. Oh, I got struck by lightning? That's bad RNG, man. That's suboptimal. God, I'm never going to get sub fucking, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> Ow. Yeah, bro, for real, where is the lid on your bottle? Dude, I don't want to go every time I want to drink water, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to, is it really like that? Like, yeah, okay. I don't have a lid on my bottle because I... I don't want to unscrew it every time I want to get a drink. See, I was thinking about getting, like, a lid with a straw, yeah, but, like, they don't make that for this kind of bottle specifically, I don't think, anyway. Maybe I could find one. Maybe that is a good, like, birthday present idea from one of you. But also, this one is fucking good for, like, keeping the water cool. You gotta have something that, like, you gotta have a lid that, like, also, like, keeps the temperature as well. So, I don't know. Try a sippy cup? Are you implying that I'm a little baby? I'm not a little baby. I don't need a little sippy cup, okay? I'm not a little baby. Get a straw? No. I'll get you a Cars sippy cup. Okay, but you say that, like, to clown on me, but that would actually be kind of sick, though. A fucking Lightning McQueen sippy cup. Fuck out of here. You know how many bitches I'd be able to pick up with a Lightning McQueen sippy cup, dude? Don't tell me, guys, stop recommending me water bottles. I love my water bottle. Look, it's got Twitch on it, because it's Twitch, and I'm streaming on it. Look, I like my water bottle. I'm not going to get your water bottles, okay? I like mine. Okie dokie.
Actually glad I found you live, just found your YouTube channel. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy. Um, bastard. Just go around. Get a McDonald's large soda and reuse it for two years. Are those really that reusable? I guess we get the refill cup. What's up, Savitar? How was your new year? It was alright. You can't talk about a lid that keeps water cool when you literally have no lid on there. Well, how about you put a lid on it, alright? I don't need to hear it. You guys ever play Betrayal, the board game? Because on my uh, New Year's, I was over at a friend's house and we played Betrayal. It was pretty fun. I only did one round, though, because they can last quite a while. But it was a good time. I fucking love Betrayal. Underrated game. We need to calm down. Like, okay. I'm... Okay, I'm really happy you like Betrayal, but... Calm down. Like, the swear words. We don't need to do that. Goodness. We did not need to... S Jesus. Calm down. There is no need to swear. Oh my goodness. Settle down. Good. Googly moogly. Never heard of it? Yeah, it's kind of niche. It's sort of indie. You wouldn't know it. No, I don't know. I was wondering. It was pretty fun. That's how I spent my new year. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just goofing. That's what I did with my new year. Fucking play some betrayal. We played, um, I don't remember what it was called, but it was essentially Gardic Phone, except, you know, real and not online. You got, like, everyone got, like, a little flip whiteboard and you drew something, and then you pass it to the person to the left, and then... You get that person's thing, and you have to guess what they drew, pass it to the left, draw whatever the prompt was, and eventually, of course, years will come back around completely fucking wrong, of course, from what your initial prompt was. And that was pretty fun. Telest yeah, it was Telestrations. Yeah, that's what it's called. Except ours was Telestrations After Dark, which you might be wondering what that means versus regular Telestrations. What it means is that it has words like cock and penis in it. <laughs> and you could, like, draw cocks and shit. You know. Just dude things. We'd always make up any word we want anyways. Yeah, you could do that. That's also fine. In that version, they had cards, and you had to pick a word from a card. But yeah, you could also literally just choose whatever you wanted to if you really wanted to as well. My friend got that for Christmas. We never played it. Well, it's only been like a, a week and a half, so you still got time. When I play, we always... Yeah, I mean, you could just do that as well. It is. It's just Gardic Phone IRL. I don't know any other way to describe it because I forgot the name of the stupid game. I played Telestrations on New Year. One of the funniest games I've played. It is funny. And I feel like I kind of like... I don't know, I feel like I could present, like, my, my drawings in, like, an entertaining way as well. Or at least try. I think I'm funny. Just drawing penises with the blokes completely hetero. Dude, if you're trying to imply that that's not hetero... I think that that is, like, the most hetero thing you can do. Is draw penises with your boys. Dude, that's just boy things, man. Dude, that's just boy things. Tell me you ain't draw a penis on something before. You ain't lived. Eep. Shop proposal by net water and can shovel. Gotta go to bed now. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Thanks. Good luck with bed. I'm probably going to after I. I'm probably going to after I. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up after I'm done with this in the tent. Okay. Every guy has drawn a penis once in their life, straight, gay, bi, or ace. Yeah. It's- I feel like- Isn't there like caveman drawings of penises out there? 
to have been doing that shift since the dawn of time. By net watering can shovel. Net watering can shovel. There's like caveman drawing. I mean, like ancient Egyptians were drawing penises. Actually, there's some meta in GeoGuessr. We were talking about GeoGuessr earlier. If you ever see a penis drawn on a building, it's probably Bhutan, because the penis is sacred over there. They draw it on everything. Do I have iron? I do have iron. I think we should let people be silly with guys without implying it's gay or needing to say it's gay. Just do whatever. Yeah, I don't think it was, like, serious, though, is the thing. I appreciate the stance you're trying to take, but I don't think anyone was ever actually being serious. Pompeii is filled with cocks? Isn't there that guy that was immortalized? Like, <laughs> ain't there that guy? Oh, shit, my pockets. Ain't there that guy in Pompeii who was, like, <laughs> who was playing with his little worm? When, like, Pompeii erupted, and so he got, like, forever fossilized as a guy playing with himself when the volcano erupted. Yeah, see? I mean, dude, like, fucking volcano's about to swallow my entire existence up. Fucking crank one out before you're done, right? Might as well. That's how I want to go out. Vaulting pole. That's what I want to do when faced with certain death. Yeah? What a wild way to get immortalized. Well, you also, like, you can never go back and see, like, who that was and, like, judge them for it, you know? If you know that you're about to become, like, a fossil and nobody's going to discover you for thousands of years, your identity is essentially wiped forever, like, I don't know. Might as well go out looking like that. By net water and can shovel, vaulting pole, better cans, iron axes, crafting table. I can probably only do the iron axes. Yeah. Well, no, I can do both. There are worse ways to go. Like amnesia, dementia. Is this the furthest you've gotten in this challenge? No, I got like six hours into one attempt. And I lost it because I was stupid. And I got really mad. Well, I didn't get like really mad. I'm not like one of those I get really mad kind of people. I hope you guys don't think about me like that. I've never gotten mad, right? I've been, like, steamed for sure, but, like, and I, no, I'm not even gonna say that I haven't been mad on stream. I think I just don't make it known. I think I just, like, I, I think I do a pretty good job, like, not showing my anger. I think I do a pretty good job just, like, not showing my anger. Like, I've been steamed on stream before, but I think that, for the most part, I do a good job keeping it not mad vibes, even though you can quite clearly tell I'm mad sometimes. So I can get this all organized before I leave. Okay. We're gonna end it off there. I'm sad. I'm disappointed. I'm upset that we never managed to... Ah, that we never managed to get any further than what we started today. If anything, we went backwards because we're at a point even further back from where we started today. So I'm kind of sad, but it is uh, it is what it is. I guess that's the nature of it all. So, eep. Oh well, thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. Um, if I'm live again, it'll probably be tomorrow, noonish. Uh, yeah. Join the Discord to get notified of when I go live. Keep up with it. Um, other than that, I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. I'm just hyper mobile. All right. I can move these, I can move these fingers like crazy. It's not common, but I don't think it's unhealthy. Dude, yeah, exactly. If everything uncommon with your body was unhealthy, I think we'd all be unhealthy because we all have body quirks, right? Some of us have a third nipple. All right, you gotta tell me that that's not healthy. All right, uh, we left off. We need to now chop trees, hit rocks, pick up 30 plus four of every kind of wood, leaving 10 uh, trees for a grove. You should know this by now. We've done it, what is it, uh, eight times now? You got a third, oh no, I don't have a third nipple. Um, who's the guy that has a third nipple? It's uh, one of the Jonas Brothers, right? 
One of the Jonas Brothers has a third nipple. I have Megan Fox thumbs. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, Harry Styles. Chandler Bing. Oh, apparently there's a lot of Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Alright, I didn't know. I, I had no idea. Yeah, Harry Styles. Jonas. We all know. Um, Do I have axes? Yeah, but probably not enough. But whatever. We'll just use the ones that we have for right now. I already almost have enough wood. Have I already donated all the wood I need for the shop? And I just need iron, I assume? I think hypermobility can cause dislocated joints, but that's an easy fix. Yeah, and a dislocated joint, you know what you do? You just knock it back into place. You just knock it back into place. Uh, I'd like to donate. You don't seem to have what I need at the moment. Yes, what is it that you need is what I'm asking, rat bastard. Okay, well, he said I don't have what he needs at the moment. He didn't say anything, but I don't have any iron at the moment, so I'm going to assume that I need iron, okay? My brother can dislocate his elbow and click it back in without hurting, and he's fine. That's... You ever see, like, a, a soccer player, like, do that? I saw the one of the most terrifying videos I've ever seen is a soccer player who dislocated their knee, and they're, like, down on the field in pain, and they, like... Whack it back into place, and then they get back up and play like nothing happened. Fucking weird. Strange. Creepy. I've seen that. Is that Roy Kent? I have no idea. Soccer players are not human? Uh, I don't want to hear that, okay? Because for every tough guy soccer play I've seen, I've seen about a hundred pussy-ass soccer plays where they... Whoa! When they get, like, vaguely run into by someone else. Alright? I don't want to hear it. For every tough guy in soccer, I've seen about a hundred little bitch babies that just topple over at the gu hard gust of wind. I gotta shake all these trees first before I do this, though. And I know that, like, soccer fans probably like, oh, he's gonna complain about floppers. Like, no, but you gotta admit, like, it is a little, like, crazy, right? Like, that's- it's, it's, it's just insane. Please change your notification text. I got my life ruined and my jaw dislocated. Well, I can't help with your life being ruined, but if your jaw gets dislocated, just... Back into place. How hard can it be? How hard could it, like, actually literally be? You know what? In fact, I think you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Did anyone ever tell you guys that? I think people need to tell you guys more often that you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, okay? I see a lot of kids these days whining about shit that I didn't have to deal with when I was younger, like student loans and minimum wage. Because you know what I did when I was your age? You know what I did? I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. I put on a, a hearty, healthy, winning smile. I got a small loan of $10,000 from my parents, and I just dealt with it, alright? And I think that that's what you guys need to do too, alright? Stop acting like you're 40. Well, how do you know I'm not 40? Oh yeah, it is attempt date. I didn't change the attempt counter. Fucking god damn it. Thank you. I'm literally 47. Yeah. So, back when I was your guys' age, like, 30 years ago, alright, the minimum wage was like, I was earning four twenty five at my job, okay? So you shouldn't be complaining about earning seven twenty five today. You're earning three whole dollars more than I did. If you're smiling, the whole world will smile with you. Everyone, I want you to smile right now. I want you to smile right now, because, first of all, you should smile more. Second of all, if you just smile, all your problems will fade away. You should smile more. You're nice when you smile. I'm frowning so intensely. It takes more muscles to frown than to smile, man. Which actually is true, you can feel that shit, like, that hurts. Mm. Mm. That hurts. The scowl hurts. A hard scorn and a thumbs down. 
That takes way less effort than a nice smile and a thumbs up. And your depression, and your anxiety, and your ADHD, and all your other mental troubles will fade away if you guys just smile a little bit more. I promise you. All of your problems will fade away. I don't want a fucking Mrs. Flamingo. Thank you for fixing all my problems. Do a challenge where you smile the entire time. Restart if you stop smiling. It's not realistic to expect people to smile 100% of the time, okay? It's not. Now, I'm telling you guys to smile more, but even I understand that smiling has its limits, okay? You have to sleep eight hours a day. I really shouldn't have done that. To be honest with you, I really shouldn't have done that. It was like behind the tree, and I shouldn't have done that. I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I, I, I shouldn't have done that. That was just stupid. Dude, I couldn't see it, so I shouldn't have just even, like, tried to catch it. I just assumed it was in my net peripheral. Carapino didn't smile. That's okay. They subbed, which is just as good. Anyway, let's uh, do it again. Uh -huh, e. All right, it's fine, though. I'm glad we can start from the beginning. I'm, a I'm actually, like, happy we can start from the beginning. It's a fresh start. Hey, thanks, uh, Canned Jeans. For the three months. I appreciate that. And thanks, Al Mazorka, for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it. Smile went away real fast. This, this is the depressing run, all right? That was the smile run. This is the depressing run. This is the. <clears throat> my life fucking sucks. My life fucking sucks. I hate everything about life, all right? This is the depression run. I think maybe that is maybe the secret to finally completing one of these. Hi Dagnall. Watching this from 5 -ch. What the fuck is that? Are the boomers injecting me? You watching this from 5G? I thought I had it set up to where you can't watch this stream on 5G. I don't like that shit. Uh-uh. Maybe because you're subbed though, you get an ex maybe like that's the only kind of message you can post in here is a sub message. Anyway, thanks B-boy for the 6 months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Attempt 9. Yeah, I gotta change the title now. You can't watch this fucking stream on 5G, man. That shit is poisonous. No. I subbed, but I did, in fact, not like the stream notification message. That's okay. Rarely do people like much about me. It's just, for some reason, one reason or another, you guys must like one small aspect of me with which to keep tuning in. And I don't know why, but you keep doing it, and I'm not going to complain. A lot of people watch me in spite of how much they hate me. And everything about me. I don't know why they do it. If it was up to me, like if I hated someone as much as you guys hate me, I would simply choose not to watch them myself. But, um, I mean, who am I, really? You're fun to annoy. Yeah, no, like, that is all I am. I I'm literally just fun to annoy for you guys. You're right. No, no, you're actually right. No, I think you actually nailed it. You guys don't like me. I'm just the guy that you can just, like, fucking, like... You can, like, wind me up. It's as if I'm, like, one of them wind-up toys. You, like, take my little wind-up thing on the, ba on the back of me and you, like, wind me up. And then you let me go and you start, like, pissing me off, annoying me. Just really start, like, getting my goose about various things. And then before you know it, I'm off- I- I- I-, I you got me. You fucking wound me up. You, like, you freaking yoinked me. I like the font you use for the attempt counter. Thanks. It's Paris- Paris- Hotel Paris XE, I think. I don't know why I know that, but I think I know that. That that is it. Are we really doing this again? Dude, it's my job! What do you mean, are we really doing this again? It's my job, I have to do this! I, this is what I have to do! It's what I have to do! Hi there, I'm doing good? Well, geez, man, you completely messed up my follow-up question where I was gonna say, Hi, how are you doing today? But I guess I- okay, I guess you don't get anything now.
I watch this. You're going to get lilies, pierce, and pears. I will literally delete this save file if I get all three of those things. I don't think I've had pears this entire time, so that's quite bold. Lilies is my starting flower. Pierce as my starting jock. And pears as my starting fruit. All right, you're on, Buster. You're on. You're on. I'll gift you. I will gift you a sub. Wait, you're already subbed? Well, you're wrong. <coughs> <laughs> You're wrong. No, that was actually... I like that, though. I like that. I respect that you put yourself out there. Even if you were wrong... In more ways than one now... Then, um... You tried. And you know what? That's better than the coward that's watching this stream right now... That didn't guess anything. They said, Oh, no, I, I don't think I'm gonna be right. So I'm not even gonna put my prediction in chat. No, I, I don't think I'm going to be right. I'm not even going to, like, attempt to make myself look foolish. I, I'm curious now. What are my starting flowers? Wow. <clears throat> you really... You struck out, Buster. You were 0 for 3. Mums, goose, and cherries. Mums, goose, and cherries. Wow. You were 0 for 3. Goodness gracious. Y'all scared. At least you tried, though. Even if you struck the fuck out, at least you tried. Stinky bitch Muffy? No, she don't stank. She don't stank. There are some villages in this game that would canonically smell like shit in real life. If they were, like, humanoid... If we humanized every villager in this game, there are definitely villagers that would stink. I mean, for fuck's sake, there's called a villager called Stinky. I don't think Muffy would be in them, though. I don't think Muffy would even be in, like, the bottom half of, like, the stinky villagers. I bet they got some, like, Abercrombie and Finch, like, perfume or something like that. Y'all ever do that? You like... Walk into Abercrombie and Finch and get, like, lightheaded because of the just oppressive smell. Marlo would reek of aftershave. Well, that's not, like, that's a fuck of a lot better than, like, you know, someone called Stinky wearing their damn undies on their head. Yeah, squash this cherry tree. No, because I'm over 15. Stop lying, first of all. Second of all, you can go into an Abercrombie and Finch and be over 15. Because you could be shopping for someone else, okay? It's like, I've been into the Victoria's Secret, but not the shop for me. I don't really think they have a whole lot of goods and services that I would be too useful for. But that don't mean I haven't been in there. Y'all remember walking by the Victoria's Secret in the mall as a kid and being like... Y'all remember that? Like, I don't see it. I do not see the panties. I do not see the bras. I do not see the lace. Wait, I'm, I actually almost, like, catcalled. I didn't know I was capable of doing that. Not me. I was staring. Me as a kid? Dude, I would, like, pretend I ain't looking, but, like, I'd be, like, side-eyeing it a little bit. No, I was ogling. It's, I, I guess that's respectable to ogle. As long as you're respectfully ogling. Victoria's Secret is overpriced and overrated. Why am I taking this from you? I don't want this. Bro is afraid of underwear. Dude, I was more like... You know what, actually, I will take it and I'll squash a cherry tree. Just one last cherry tree. You know what, I will do that from now on. I'll take their things and I'll put them over cherry trees. That's actually much better. This is the most horny Animal Crossing stream I've ever seen. Bro, I mentioned Victoria's Secret once. That's automatically the most horny Animal Crossing stream. We haven't even begun to horny. Where's the other guy? Stop squashing cherry trees. They're useless! They can't have bugs in them! And honestly, they're more annoying to chop down because then they litter cherries everywhere all over your island. Hello, goose. Hold on himself. I buy AliExpress, so like Vietnamese children work more, so they get more, so they get paid more. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. I mean, look, you're acting as if that shit from Victoria's Secret wasn't made in the sweatshop, too. Alright, let's go. No, but like, I just, you know, it's just a fun little story I thought I'd share. Imagine that one grasshopper got scared. I mean, I would much rather that one grasshopper. Uh, eight minutes into the run get scared, then the one grasshopper eight hours into the run gets scared, so... 
I've scared away bugs within like the first 10 minutes of, I think, a couple attempts now, so it's definitely happened before. Grasshoppers, though, they don't get scared just by running by them, though. They have to, like, jump into the water or something. Mm. What other, like, stores in the malls? What's, like, a classic mall store? Spencer's and Hot Topic? I wasn't allowed in those as a kid. They had, like... They had, like, South Park shirts. That's offensive. They had, like, I mean, they do actually, like, genuinely have some, like, stuff not for kids in Spencer's and maybe Hot Topic. So, like, it's kind of fair, honestly. It's kind of fair. There's too many fucking bugs around. How do you do this to yourself? Um, I don't know. It's my job and I make money out of it, probably. I think Spencer's was off limits because of the deal does. Well, yeah, but, like, I don't know. Like, the surface level of Spencer's is fine. It's just, like, band t-shirts and pop culture and shit. I don't know how much, like... I don't, I don't really know how much, like, we knew what was back there, you know? I don't know. Hot Topic is PG, but Spencer's is straight up an adult store in the back. Yeah, but, like, you know. What's up, Reed Master? How are you doing? Those token faux Japanese stores that sell cheap anime shit and samurai swords. Do y'all have, like, this terrible, like, screen printing store in your mall where they just, like, print Fortnite memes on t-shirts, stick, like, a $15 label on them and sell them? Do you guys have that? Where they just stick, like, I don't know, like, the most unfunny memes screen printed onto shirts probably cost like two dollars to make them total probably stole some artist's artwork and screen printed them onto that t-shirt without crediting them completely unlicensed usage of a lot of copyrighted material bam all that shit rolled into one store stick them on a bunch of t-shirts put it in the mall people love that shit and all of it's stolen yeah I have a whole ass store full of that shit in the mall. I also, this is how you know my mall is kind of like on the fritz. I also have, in my local mall, a, um, like, casino. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, a full ass, like, casino. I'm talking about, like, they stuck a few cheap ass slot machines on there. I actually, I want to find it. I, I, I actually want to find it. I cannot properly drive home how pathetic this casino is in my mall. It's actually, like, I gotta find where it is, though. It's... Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like... Yeah, 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 here it is. I found it on Google Maps. Yeah, and then here's the front of it. Here's the front of my fucking mall casino. Oh, you guys are gonna love this, actually. You guys actually will love this. I, I, I promise you. It's gonna take, like, ten seconds to pull up. I promise I you will love it. I promise you will love it. Can I save? Alright, let me show you. Not that. Here. Look at this. This is the fucking... Oh man, I reset my timer. Oh well. Does anyone remember what it was at? This is the fucking casino, skill casino in my mall. Nah, that's an ATM point. Kind of, basically. This is, um, the, yeah. Look at, like, the posters on the window. Skill casino, win money. That looks like a filler store in a video game. It does. It actually looks like it's out of, like, GTA Vice City. They, they put this in the fucking mall in GTA Vice City. It does. The time was 11.31. Thank you. This is... Yeah. I walk by this sometimes, and I'm like, how low of a point do you need to be in your life where you would actually go in here and be like, Yes! Yes! We have a casino, by the way. Like, in my city. We have a casino. A full-fledged, legitimate casino. We have one. I don't know why you wouldn't go to that one and instead choose to go to that. But far be it for me to tell other people what to do. 1131, you said. Okay. Yeah, that's my local uh, mall casino. 
That's another beauty... That's another beautiful staple of my local mall. I should play Animal Crossing from the Skill Ceno. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck. I bet nobody's there. I bet the ambience would be on par with what I have now. Fucking, like, I don't think I have ever seen anyone in there. Somebody said, like, it looks like a money laundering front, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised at all. Ain't nobody ever in there. It's been going for, like, a few years now. It always, as well, smells of piss when I walk by. It always smells of piss when I walk by. And I don't know if I could have... I don't know if you could have told me if that place smells like anything, what would you guess? I'd say piss. So it seems like most accurate thing that it could uh, that it could possibly smell like walking by that place that's so shady do not like yeah no i i mean i i don't know at what point in my life would i actually like be willing to go into a place like that and like show my face but i don't know who knows who knows 20 years from now man who knows who knows where i'll be 20 years from now i'll be 47? That'll be properly into, like, midlife crisis range, right? 47 is, like, properly midlife. I mean, shit, if, like, 47 is the middle of your life, you're, you're living to, what, 94? That's pretty good. I'm really scared. There's a lot of bugs here. I just want to get this rock. And we all saw what happened with the evening cicada a couple attempts ago. So, I don't want to make that same mistake. Alright, I got all the rocks. I just need the sticks now. Boo! Trying to scare you. Oh, hang on. Boo! Ah! Trying to scare you. Oh, jeez, you got me, man. You're already 47. You'd be 67. No, I'm not 47, alright? I'm 47 for, like, bits sometimes, but I'm not, like, actually 47. I'm, I'm a lot of ages for a lot of bits sometimes, okay? But, you know, it's not my real age. Bro is going a brisk three miles an hour. Dude, I gotta, I gotta fucking take it easy, all right? I gotta be slow. If you were 47, you'd look great for being 47. I would take it as a compliment to look the way that I do if I was 47. Like, if you guys, if I was actually 47, and I told you guys, I'm 47, and you guys were like, there's no fucking way you're 47. Like, completely just don't believe me at all. Do you understand, like, what a high form of compliment that would be for me? Dude, if I was 47, I'd be feeling great right now. I'd be feeling stupendous. Bro is sweeping the grass. Alright, let's go. Ah. You see they added a brand new item in City Folk yesterday? It's not a brand new item. It's an item that has been pre-programmed into the game to be in there. And it will continue going until like 2060. It's not a brand new item to have a t-shirt in there that says 2024 when the game is pre-programmed to give you a new t-shirt with the year on it every t every year. And then every 12 years, it has the repeating Chinese New Year respective animal on the front of the shirt. It's not a the I saw a tweet! I think I saw a tweet that was like, wow, they're still updating City Folk. And it was a fucking shirt with... Because in City Folk, okay, let me start from the beginning here, okay? Let me start from the beginning because I, I need everyone to be on the same page as me before I, like, get mad at this, all right? <clears throat> Somebody made a tweet about how in Animal Crossing City Folk, you get a new shirt for every new year in City Folk. It's a shirt that says, you get a new shirt on New Year's Day in City Folk that says... On the back, the number year it is, so in this case, 2024, and on the front, the Chinese New Year symbol of that year, in which case, I think this year's a dragon. So it'll have a dragon on the front and the year number on the back. And people are like, wow, they're still adding items to City Folk, but not New Horizons? No, motherfucker, they stopped updating City Folk in 2008. What are you talking about? Are you, no. I don't know if this is, like, purposely ignorant, or if that's, like, a genuine, like, criticism of Animal Crossing New Horizons. But I'm pretty sure that if that was the definition of city folk getting new items, doesn't new 
Horizons give you new items all the time then? Because they're always like putting new items into the Nook shopping? Yeah, it's the same ones as before, but you're acting as if that New Year's shirt isn't the same one that you got every year previously, where it's just number on the back and then Chinese New Year fucking animal on the front. It's not. It's literally like the same thing. That's not a new update. I uh, I think that was like a genuine criticism that somebody tweeted about. And I'm like, you, this is not even the same thing. People getting mad at city folks saying that New Horizons don't, they crazy. It's just nothing. I, I, I didn't know whether that was a genuine criticism of New Horizons or a joke, but I'm pretty sure that there were some serious interpretations of that tweet as like, wow, this is fucked up, that city folk is still getting new shit, and New Horizons isn't. No, man. They have shirts to give- they have it pre-programmed into the game since 2008 to give you a new shirt every new year that rolls by, okay? That's not adding new items. That's a very much, like, thing that was in the game since they first made it. And if New Horizons did something like that, nobody would be like, WOW! NEW HORIZONS an ITEM! No. I was up celery, by the way. What if I ate the City Folk CD like it was a donut? Do they still like coat the? Did they, did they coat like CDs in the same shit that makes it so that you can't eat like Nintendo Switch cartridges? It tastes very good. What's up, Russo? How are you doing? Yeah, New Horizons has a New Year arch. Exactly. So by that definition, is New Horizons also still getting updates? I don't know. I, I, I think people are looking, like, way too far to criticize this game. You can criticize this game without looking very far at all. But if you're... I, I don't know. I don't know. I won't make fun of my fellow Animal Crossing content creator. Because I know that times be tough. I know times be tough. It's a, it's a tough world out there when, you know, you're trying to, like you know, milk content out of a game that hasn't received updates in, yeah, like, two years now. Three years now? Yeah, three years now, right? At least not a major update. Yeah, no, I get it. It's tough. You're trying to stick to any relevancy that you initially grew your channel with, and I'm trying to do the same. Is there any news for the new Nintendo Switch? No, because if there was, God, it would be fucking everywhere. I think New Horizons fans, when they create a Twitter account, like, the neurons on their finger muscles go crazy just by seeing the Animal Crossing hashtag. Yeah. Yeah, totally. My lava lamp has don't drink written on the cap. I mean, that's because probably somebody drank it at some point. You know how people are saying, like, oh man, they put, like, the most obscene warnings on things. Usually it's boomers that complain about stuff like that. But you know who probably did it? to even warrant putting that label on there in the first place? The Boomers. Probably the Boomers. Can't have shit! Can't drink from my lava lamp anymore! I always wanted a lava lamp as a kid. And then my sister got one, and I was like, Whoa, this is crazy! And then she, like, had it in a room, like, off 95% of the time. And it was like, it wasn't like the lamest thing ever, but like, it was kind of like, it took like two hours to like warm up to, to the point where like, it would even like work, like the loom, loom, loom. It wouldn't even like work unless you let it sit there for like two hours. And then like, once it did, it like was really hot and I was like, oh, I want to touch it. Ow. It like got really hot and I was like, oh, this is kind of like... They make, it look, these, they make these things look way cooler, like, in video games. I had one and it started melting. It was- it got so hot, I swear to god, that thing was going to, like, melt into her desk. I thought it was just water? I don't know. I still don't know what the fuck it was. For all I know, it's still lava. I have to fight the urge to wrap my hand around it, knowing that it's hot. Yeah, but like, you just wanted to like, touch it and lick it, right? <laughs> I wanted to lick it anyway. I love lava lamps in a deep and intense way. They are so cool. You know, I wouldn't mind having a room with like, a bunch of like, psychedelic tapestries on the wall. And all the lighting in the room was via like, purple lava lamps. And then, like, I have, like, my summoning circle in the middle, and I just sit in the middle, and I just do hard drugs. 
And that's like the entire, like, that's like my entire hobby. That's my entire hobby. That would be kind of cool, actually, now that you mention it. Have you found the guy from the Mill Creek Mall who threw the orange Julius drink at you yet? This is a very important question. The dude's probably dead. The dude's probably dead. Somebody who would throw an orange Julius drink on a, like, 9, 10 year old in the mall? That person is not got a large life expectancy, you know? That person's probably dead. They were probably in, like, their 30s when they did it. I have a hard time believing that they would have made it to their 50s. I have a hard time believing that they would have made it to their 50s. That kind of person does not live a long time. They're probably in the slammer if they are still alive. Gonna lick a Himalayan salt lamp and then help it down with a few swigs of lava lamp juice. Yeah, like, and if, and if I can't do that, then I, quite frankly, I don't think there's any freedom left in this country. My grandma got me one for Christmas, and I love watching it. Hey, more power to you. I thought that once I... Well, I didn't get one, but once I finally actually saw one in person, I was like, these are lame. You know what else I wanted as a kid? Oh my god, do you know what else I wanted as a kid? And I always saw them, speaking of Hot Topic, I always saw them in, like, Hot Topic. I wanted one of those fucking balls where you, like, <coughs> rub your fingers on the ball, and it, like, the, the static, like attracts to the heat of your fingers and you can like make it like oh i wanted one of those so bad i still like if i saw one of those like in the mall i would be like oh my god we got to go in there i want to like touch it i want to like go in there and i want to like touch it i want i want to do that like right now they had that as Spencer's and it was cool. Yeah, exactly. The lightning ball, exactly. And you guys are all trying to make haha <laughs> funny euphemisms about testicles, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about at all. Oh, uh, but you guys... Uh, but I'm the horny guy, right? But I'm like the horny streamer, right? <laughs> I had on my old fourth grade classroom and we thought it was the coolest thing ever. It is the coolest thing ever. I don't give a fuck. I subscribe to the Facebook page that says, Science is fucking cool. Alright? I, I fucking love science. And they be posting, like, videos of people using those electrostatic balls, and I'm like, Wow! Science is epic! Is that what it's called? A Tesla bulb? It's cool either way. I still kind of want one. It is fucking cool. Thank you. Daddy switches to his Mickey Mouse laugh when he gets caught. Gets caught doing what? I fucking love science. Do we have the same life? Well, if you guys are like my age, you guys remember like... Like, you guys remember, if you're like my age, you remember like Facebook pages. And I mean, they still exist, of course, but like, you remember your entire personality being built around like, how many Facebook pages you liked on your Facebook profile, right? Thanks, Mwis from Niblets, for the two months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it, right? You, uh, you, you remember, like, going on and, like, liking a bunch of Facebook pages that all essentially are like, I hate Justin Bieber, right? Because when I was, like, a teenager with a Facebook account, do you know what I did? I, like, liked as many facebook pages as possible that were like i hate jb fuck justin bieber i hope justin bieber gets hit by a car you guys are gonna tell me that you didn't do that i wouldn't believe it i wouldn't believe it liking everything so that people knew that you were cool exactly and it was cool to hate jb i joined i hate jb deviant art groups yeah i played all the kill jb happy wheels levels all right Hating Justin Bieber? Dude, that was the coolest thing from, like, 20... 2009 to, like, 2012. It was the coolest thing ever. That was a whole era of my life. What was funny is that I looked like Justin Bieber. I was like, I hate Justin Bieber, but I, like, looked like him. Kind of. At least the hair. Not in, like, the, uh, you know, like, millions of dollars of cosmetics and makeup, but, like, just the hair, really. I hated JB before he was an asshole. Yeah, me too, but that's because I didn't have a reason to. I just did. Hating Justin Beaver and One Direction. Yeah, I remember One Direction too. Mm. 
Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Acting like I wasn't there for that. We didn't have any reason to, and I don't remember why. Well, I mean... The unfounded hating of people really never stopped, you know? Like, people still do it to this day. I think we were just young, and... I mean, we were young, and I was a boy, and I was like, Oh, look, it's another boy, and he's, like, popular and stuff, and, like, every girl likes him. I hate that guy, and his songs are annoying, and every girl likes his songs. I don't like his songs. I hate him. I think that was my logic to it. I won't speak of everyone else's logic to it, but that was definitely my logic to it. I was like, ugh, look at all the chicks he gets. Why can't I get chicks like him? I hate him. Yeah, it was jealousy, essentially. And now, like, I think people have a very, like... I think people have a very well-understood hatred for him. Because I don't think he's a very nice person. Or maybe he's mellowed out a lot. I don't know. Maybe he's a fine person now. To be honest with you, I am at the age now where I, I have no opinion on him. He might be a fine person now. I know that he, like, got caught street racing a Lamborghini. Um, you know, kind of a, like a not good thing to do. I'm pretty sure, uh... He's done some undesirable things in the past. I don't know specifically what, but I always remember hearing about him in the news occasionally. But maybe he's mellowed out now. Maybe he's fine. I don't know. Is he good? Has he done it? I haven't heard much about him lately. He might be all right. Maybe old JB's turned his life around. I mean, dude's probably like 30-something now, right? I think he got a DUI. Okay. Not a desirable trait. Was that recent or is that like a long time ago now? Party Rock is a fever dream I had forgotten about. Me too? But then... But then, ladies and gentlemen, the other day I played Fortnite, and I played that Guitar Hero mode in Fortnite, and me and two friends of mine, we loaded up Party Rock Anthem three times in a row. Like, because it was like our last... Uh, it was like our last round before we all went to bed. So we loaded up fucking Party Rock Anthem on the Guitar Hero mode in Fortnite and did it three times in a row and then now it's been like taking up space in my brain ever since then while I had previously forgotten about it for like eight years party rock is a great song I, I don't know look I, I don't like I don't say songs are bad because I don't think that it's ever I don't I don't like it when people say that songs I like are bad so I'm not gonna say like I'm a big fan of it but um, well, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's, it's, yeah, I can understand why somebody would like it. Let's put it that way. It's nostalgic. There's no doubt that it definitely invokes, like, a positive, like, memory of what times were like back then. I guess if there is one good thing I can say about it, Party Rock Anthem does, like, may, does jog my memory of a time that I feel like was maybe a little bit better in my life. Or maybe it wasn't, and I'm just nostalgic for it. I don't know, but either way, it's positive. So, while I don't maybe enjoy the song in particular too much, I, I do understand, like, why somebody would, because it maybe reminds them of a, of a better time. Sorry for Party Rocking is better than Party Rock Anthem. And can we just say, can we just say, if you don't like the song, if you don't like Sorry for Party Rocking, if you don't like Party Rock Anthem, can you at least appreciate that they apologized? Can you at least appreciate that they went out of their way to apologize for their devious act of party rocking? You have to respect that. That's a character arc that I think you must objectively find respectable. I, I really do. I really do respect that from them. That's noble. That's really noble of them, that they would say sorry for doing that. I do like sorry for party rocking. Okay, I don't know if I've heard it, to be honest with you. I'll, maybe I'll have to listen to that one later. Man, what happened to those fellas anyway? Probably made their bag and then went about their life? Instead of, like, you know, trying to, like, re... I don't know. I guess instead of trying to, like, rehash what made them popular in the first place. Or maybe they did and their efforts were just unsuccessful and that's why we haven't heard of them. But, I, I don't know. They, maybe they might still be making music. Maybe they're doing, like, a DJ Khaled thing, where, like, maybe they're not, like, the main star, but they're, like, a background in, like, a lot of different things. 
like a pit bull or like a DJ Khaled sort of thing. Where they don't like actually make the songs, they just go like, DJ Khaled! We the best music! Or some shit like that. The group is still together, but has yet to land another hit as successful as their 2000s party anthem. Even so. Well, there you go. But, you know, it's better to have, what do they say, loved and lost than to have never loved at all. I guess it's better that we uh, knew them for a brief time than to have never known them in the first place, right? I mean, even if my YouTube and Twitch career dies due to irrelevancy and obscurity, I can at least say that I had a good time doing it. They beefed? No, did they? Did they? They beefed? Oh, that's the worst way to go out. It's better to have party rocked than to have never party rocked at all. Exactly. And I think that that's actually quite prolific in a way. I, I really do. That's very prolific. No spider, but that's okay. Did I get a yellow? Yes, I did. Who's buzzing me? Who's buzzing me? I have a new offer for one of my uh, baseball card listings on eBay that will have to wait. Oh, I tell you guys, I'm a master negotiator. I'm a master negotiator. Let me tell you guys something. Um, I like to list stuff on eBay, mostly like baseball cards that I'm looking to get rid of or, you know, sell for a profit. So I'll like sell baseball cards on eBay. And somebody gave me an offer for a card that I listed for like 30 bucks. They gave me an offer for like 15. And I was asleep when they gave me the offer. I had it listed for 30 or best offer. So they chose to give me the best offer of 15. I was sleeping. A few hours later, they did it to 20. I was sleeping. A few hours later, they did it to 25. I was sleeping. By playing hard to get via sleeping, I managed to get their best offer up $10. Because they were probably like, $15, let's see what he says. Hmm, it's been three hours and no response? Alright, you drive a hard bargain. Let's go up to 20. 20 is not good enough? You're still not giving me nothing? Alright, fine. 25. Literally the whole time I'm like... Yeah, I drive a real hard bargain. Master negotiator here. He must think it was too low. I think I eventually got it. I think I eventually, someone else entirely offered me the 30 bucks, and I just took that. So, if I had taken that 15, if I was awake, I might have taken that 15. If I was awake, I might have taken that 15. And I'm really happy that I was asleep when they made that offer, because I was like, yeah, no, I could probably go down to 15. Eventually, like, literally later that day, somebody offered me 30, and I was like, okay, shit. All right. It was kind of, uh... I don't know, I, I really felt like a master negotiator, despite doing nothing. Anyway, thanks, Happiness, in Rowney Land for the Prime. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Literally making money in your sleep? That's what's nice about YouTube. Maybe not Twitch, because you do... I, I do get subs off stream occasionally, but it's very rare. Um... That's what's nice about YouTube, though, is that, like, it is nice to know that while I sleep, there are still people that, like, watch my videos and shit. And it is sort of like, I have to wonder, like, how much money in my life I've made during sleep. Because, like, you know, my YouTube videos don't go offline while I'm sleeping. So, I'm kind of like, this is kind of cool. It's, it's just cool to think about sometimes. You guys ever make money in your sleep and it's just kind of like, man, this is the life, man. It may not be a lot, but it's better than nothing. Let's try to save our wasps so that we can get the most money. I got an offer as a buyer for $100 off a $150 item. I think it was a typo, but I bought it for $50. Dude, typo or not, you got to eat that shit up. I did from the Tooth Fairy. Oh, yeah, the Tooth Fairy. I guess we've all made a little bit of money, right? Because the Tooth Fairy is real, guys. How much money did you guys get from the Tooth Fairy for as a kid? I think I got like five bucks a tooth. I think I got like five bucks a tooth when I was a kid. One to five? A quarter? Jeez. Am I like... 
Oh, am I Billy Big Britches over here? Dude, I think I got like a fiver. Like a quarter? What the fuck? Dude. Oh, man. Am I showing my privilege here? Am I showing like my insane upbringing? My insanely wealthy upbringing? Is that coming up? Is that coming to a front here? Oh my gosh. Wow. No, I think I got like five bucks per tooth. I know people that were getting like 20? What the fuck's a kid gonna do with 20, man? I- you wanna know what is like something that I really should have taken advantage of more when I was- I would say a kid, but I was in high school, which is a kid, but not like a small kid. Um, I lived in North Carolina, and the summers get hot. Hot and muggy North Carolina summers. Not a fun time to be outside. But I had a neighbor who was elderly who paid me to mow his lawn in the summertime, like, every week or two. And it was hard work. Like, that fucking sucked. Not to mention fire ants. Fucking so many fire ants. But he, when I did it, he paid me, like, a hundred dollars every time I did it. Like, a hundred fucking bucks. And I, I hated doing it so much as a kid that I was like, it's not worth it. I get bit by a fucking bunch of fire ants. It's so hot and miserable. Half of the fucking lawn is just made out of sand. It, it did suck. But, dude, if I had that, like, in real life, I would be, like, doing that shit every week. Now that I know the value of $100, which I didn't appreciate enough when I was younger, I'm like, dude, I'd fucking be doing that shit every week. That was insane. Then again, I don't really blame him because, like, 100 bucks is, like... I mean, if you want someone to mow your fucking lawn in those conditions, you better be, you know, you better be fronting up a good fat Benjamin for that. That's good money now, let alone back in 2013 when I was, like, doing it. 2012, 2013. Jeez, man. You kidding me? Um, we shouldn't have put that down yet, but it's okay. I'm going roller skating for the first time tomorrow. Does anyone have tips on how to impress my friends? Is it the same as ice skating? I'm all right at ice skating. I think, yeah, if you're good at ice skating, you'll probably have, like, the balance down. It's probably just the familiarity with ice or roller skates. I don't know. I was never a good roller skater. So, but, like, you know, I figured it out eventually. Just, just give it, like, if you're good at ice skating, you already got, like, the hardest part figured out. And that's the balance, I think, anyway. But you know how you can impress your friends more than your sick rollerblading skills? Be- be kind. Be kind. Be nice. Maybe buy them a slice of pizza at the roller rink, because God knows if you go to a roller rink, they will have no shortage of pizza slices for you to buy. Oh, I gotta check the mail for my shit. Hi, Dag and chat. Tomorrow is my birthday. Hey! Hang on. Eh. Sorry, I had, like, a really loose nail. Um, I'm gonna be crunching on that for, like, five minutes now. Uh, well, happy birthday tomorrow. I hope it's a good one. Hope the big one-two is a good one. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, I implied that you're 12. Wasn't this the depression run? Yeah, but depression is lame. Depression is broke. You know what's woke? Being kind. I'm on a kind- This is the kind run. This is the- folks, this is the kind run. I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of being sad and mean and angry. This is the kind run. We're out here- we're doing kind now. In kindness, out mental illness. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow's my daughter's eighth birthday, too. Jeez, man! How many people got birthdays in one six? Christ! Sell extra stuff. Yes. He's playing a no-hit pacifist AC and H run. Sort of. People have compared it to like an AC and H Nuzlocke, which I think is maybe a little accurate. Although rarely is there like Nuzlocks are like a lot of like luck involved. I don't really think there's much luck involved in this. I think it's mostly just like don't be stupid. Me deciding once a month that I'm not going to be depressed anymore, even though I've been clinical for four years. Okay, let me tell you guys something. As someone who has been depressed for, God, probably over a decade now, um, 
having like one day where you sort of like decide in your brain that I'm not going to be depressed today, even if you know that you're just going to be back to the way that you were yesterday and, you know, so many days before, it's okay to have a day where you're like, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm not depressed today. And you like do your dishes, you like do your laundry, you organize, you clean. You understand that that's like way better than like if you had just decided to be like the normal old you for a day. So even if it is just, uh, you know, you lying to yourself for a day, that's better than not doing it all. I mean, it's better than just like not doing it at all. First streamer that I don't have to stay up late to watch. Hey, welcome. By a net, by an X. It's like, yeah, we're maybe a little delusional into thinking that, oh, I can like keep this going. This is easy. I could do this for like more than one day before I completely burn out of trying to be a functional human being for more than one day. Yeah, you're like sort of lying to yourself, but it's okay. It's okay. It's better than you didn't have that day at all. At least tomorrow when you go back to your normal old self, you'll be like, well, my house is clean. That's pretty cool. Damn it. I don't have any flowers that can make the types that I need. Well, then I'll buy these. And I will, I guess, time travel back a month and then hope that they have what I need. Even if it takes lying to yourself, at least it gets done. Yeah. If it means that for a day, you cleaned the dishes, you did your laundry, you did whatever it is that you need to do. You'll go back to your normal scheduled depression routine tomorrow, but at least with an empty sink and a clean apartment slash house, right? No laundry. What's up, sky full of fireflies? Also, over time, we might slowly improve, even if it's not linear. Exactly. You think that, like, one day your depression will be cured and you'll be like, Oh, goody, I feel like I have all the motivation to do what I need. No. You'll have maybe more of those days as it gets better. And eventually those days will outweigh the days where you don't feel like doing anything. And then you'll be not cured, but better. You know, it's not... You, you don't just go from depressed to not depressed. You go from, like, really depressed to sort of depressed to, I have my moments. And then, you know, it's an up and down thing. You're not going to always go up. You're not going to always go down. You know what I mean. You all know this. You all know this. You Most of you probably witnessed this on a day-to-day -day level. I've been watching the VODs, and it's crazy that we're on attempt nine. Yeah, and I have not had, a, like, a good attempt since, like, four, I think, so it's sort of sad. I haven't had a good attempt that's gotten past, like, a few hours since, like, four. White mums would be ideal. Red mums. I mean, red lilies also work. White roses make... White roses make purple roses, right? White roses make purple roses, correct? Purple? Yeah, let's do that then. Let's do that then. Because white roses will spawn orchid manises, and they'll also make me purples, so that's good. I'm still caught up on how attempt six ended. What was six? How did six end? Was that the one where I ran into the rock and I scared away the stupid cicada? Because that one was bullshit. I'm still not over that one. I mean, I'm still not over when I fucking scared away that mantis on that attempt that was, like, over probably halfway done. That was probably the most bitter one of them all yet, as far as all my failures. That one was bullshit. No, the mantis one wasn't bullshit. The cicada one was bullshit. It happened so early in the run, though, where, like, I wasn't really mad about it. I was just like, wow, okay. If anything, it's good to know that I can't be that careless around them in the future, you know? Hi, Mom. The Mantis one was just completely me not focusing, not paying attention at all. Is there a clip? I think somebody has clipped every time I've failed these attempts. Um, if you go to my, like, top clips of the past week, they'll probably be there. I won't promise, though. Maybe, maybe not. Make three axes, place Blathers tent, gather iron and wood. Got it. And we gotta go back to September now, because I had to go back a month to get what I needed. Nine. Let's go back a little bit as well, because I'm never going to do that before five. Heh, <laughs> 420. 
<laughs> Thank you, Dag, for streaming while I wait for my food to get here. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. Try to be a functional adult. I have sweat fucking... No, I don't have pit stains. Okay, good. Jesus, that scared me. Right? Okay, I'm good. Um, Yeah. Try to be a functional adult challenge. It's hard. I fail probably like 50% of the days. Dude, I can't work. I'm, I'm like legitimately like I can stream no problem. But when it comes time to like edit, I can't do it. I'm like paralyzed. I'm like paralyzed. I, I'm sorry. Like I am not putting out a whole lot of videos right now. I am like I have work paralysis right now. I, I like sit down to do like some editing or something. I can't do it. Like, I don't have, like, anything- I'm really kind of waiting on finishing this challenge to make it into a video, but, like, so, like, I've really got nothing to work on, but I'll, like, sit down to do a little bit, and I'm paralyzed. The first pit check in a while. Yeah, because I don't, like, raise my arms above my head very often, okay? It's okay, we totally understand. No, no, I know you guys understand. It's just, like, more like the financial impact of not doing it, you know? Like, yeah, you might understand, but, like, you know, you're also not going to watch something if I don't upload new things. Yeah, you might re-watch something, but you can't rely on everyone else doing that as well. Have you tried working with a friend? Like, you're both working on something together. Okay, well, I mean, like, I wish I had a friend that I could also work with. Like, also, I would need not only a friend that I can work with, but also, like, a friend that would be willing to work while someone else is working in their immediate presence, which I feel like might make some people uncomfortable. A lot of people like working alone, and in many ways, I do, too. But I get what you mean. Like, having an accountability buddy is always important, right? Thanks for the bits, by the way. The 15 bits at Maya. Appreciate it. Like, when I have a friend, like, doing anything, I always am, like, more motivated. I'm always more confident. You ever, like, go out with, like, a friend? Like, you're normally very introverted, and if you go out with somebody... Not on, like, a date. I'm just talking about, like, you're, you're hitting up, like, the mall with your boy or something like that. And you just are, like, so much more confident. You're, like, you're, you're obviously much more talkative because you have someone to talk to. But you're, you're more confident, you're more, like, got more energy, more motivation. Depends on who, I suppose. But, you know, if it's somebody that you're comfortable enough going out with, I would assume that you are, you know, fairly comfortable with them. Those friends that you can bounce energy off of and you don't feel drained after. You might feel drained. I do. But, you know... You can at least, like, you know, you both understand each other's limits, and you can be like, Hey, man, I think it's time we go home now. And then they'll be like, all right, cool, let's do it. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about, you know? I love going out with, like, a friend. I'm, like, funnier. I'm more motivated. I'm, like, I have more energy. It's just nice to have someone that is that I can, like, invest my time and energy into, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, you know? I'm not telling jokes for myself, you know? I'm not being energetic for myself. I'm being it for someone else, you know? Being alone is cool, and I like my alone time, but sometimes you need to do stuff for others, you know? I'm tired of doing things for myself sometimes, you know? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I'm tired of doing things for myself. It's good to do things for yourself. Don't get me wrong. It's great to do things for yourself. You should be your number one priority when you do things. But it gets a little bit sad and lonely when you do, uh, you know, all the, you invest so much time and effort and energy into yourself when you're like, man, I really wish I could do this for someone else. I need to go out with people sometimes. Enrichment time out of my enclosure. Yeah, it's good for you. So I would recommend it. I gotta shake all these trees before I hit them with the axe, in case you're wondering. I also gotta hit my rocks with my axe as well, get some iron. I always forget to do that. I have an imaginary Twitch chat in my head that I make funny comments to. Oh my god, yeah. Um, I think, like, a hundred years ago, people would have called this, like, schizophrenia. I mean, like, a hundred seconds ago, people probably would have called this schizophrenia. I don't... Look, I'm no mental health doctor. 
Um, so I don't, tr I don't believe this at all. But you think when I'm alone and I'm like out, or really when I'm alone, just period, whether I'm inside, outside, doing something, not doing something, I have like an internal like dialogue of kind of like Twitch chat that's like helping me, not helping me, but like is an outlet for me to be like, okay, guys, I want to make a left turn up here and we're going to, we're going to go to the giant eagle. Okay. And then when I get to the giant eagle, I need to buy taco seasoning. I need to buy buttermilk. I need to buy, uh, cookware. And then it sort of almost like reminds me that it's, yeah, it's like, I'm pretending to make a vlog in my head. It's not weird. It's normal. It's not weird. No, it's not weird. No, it's not weird. Guys, it's not weird. See, I'm doing it right now. No, it's not weird. And if anything, it helps, like, remind me what I'm doing sometimes. Like, if I ever need to jog my memory of something that I am doing, I will be like, okay, let me, like, talk it out with the Twitch chat in my head. Having an internal dialogue is good, even if that internal dialogue is a Twitch chat. It's healthy, and it's not... I don't know. I don't know how some people don't have an internal dialogue. Like, how do you, like, stay on track? Yeah, some people remember things better when they read it out loud. I truly would understand if somebody said that. I'd be like, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it 100%. 100%. The imaginary narrator narrating my outings like a sports commentator. Or, alternatively, the narrator from Spongebob. Where he's like, Okay, I am going to go to the giant eagle. It's not weird at all. No, it's not weird. And everyone who says it's weird is probably weird for not having something like that. So fuck you. I'm just kidding. I love you. Uh, at Goo Lagoon. You guys know that's Tom Kenny, voice of Spongebob, doing that? Do you guys know that Tom Kenny is the narrator from Spongebob? He's also Patchy the Pirate from Spongebob. Do you guys know that? <laughs> Just a little fun fact, though. Just a little Spongebob fun fact for ya. Alright, we're all good. Or you could do Morgan Freeman. You'd be like, I need to go to the Giant Eagle. There, once I am at the Giant Eagle, I am going to get some pancake mix. I would like to have pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. Tom Kenny is goaded and literally everywhere. I can't escape him. Yeah, he's goaded. That's a man that I will be... I If you said, jump off this bridge for Tom Kenny, I said, oh, for real? Tom Kenny told me to? Shoot. All right. Do you guys know where you are when you wake up? Because I don't know what planet I'm on when I woke up. It's actually funny you should say that. I had a dream within a dream last night. I I was fucking... I must have been conked. I must have been absolutely fucking conked out last night. Because when I have a dream within a dream, I'm like... I must have been fucked up. But I had a dream where I was in, like, Paraguay. And then I woke up from the dream and I'm like... And I was still in a dream. And I'm like, oh no, I'm actually in Bolivia right now. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why the fuck am I in like Bolivia in my dream? Why am I in Paraguay? And I was in like the most beautiful place in Bolivia as well. I was like on top of a mountain with like a lake and like a little village I was in. It was so good. I also had a school dream last night, but that's pretty normal. I have a lot of school dreams. Something like, you know, trauma or something like that. Dodo code, please! Exclamation point, Dodo. Come join. Please replace Hydrate with the Spongebob fun fact redemption. That would be so cool. I would... You know, with how often people would redeem that, uh, I would, like, run out within, like, one stream. I would run out of Spongebob fun facts within one stream. Like, I, I, I'm pretty, like, sponge literate, but, look, I, I don't have... It's not an, it's not a, it's a very, like, it's, it, it, I would run out eventually, okay? I would run out eventually. I have a lot of vivid dreams like that, and then recently I've had none, and unless I'm really stressed, it feels weirdly empty. I feel like, when I got off my medication, I, like, stopped having, like, really intense dreams. I think, like, Zoloft helped me, like, have, like, really, why do I always get gold doing this? It's kind of annoying. Like, other than being, like, something to sell. I feel like I always get gold doing this. 
I feel like when I was on antidepressants, I had like really intense, vivid dreams. And now that I'm off them, they kind of stopped for a while, but I feel like they're going again. I feel like my intense dreams are starting again, which is cool. I like having intense dreams. They're never bad for me. I'm very fortunate that like all my dreams are generally very positive. Or at least like I wake up and I'm like, oh, that was weird. But it doesn't like make me feel bad, you know? <clears throat> Man, I, iron is fucking insane this run. Holy fucking shit. This is like the best amount of iron I've ever gotten. I remember when Dag was trying to get gold from rocks in a challenge. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. That was for the uh, Zodiac Furniture Challenge. That was like one of my more recent ACNH challenges. And by that, I mean it was probably like four months ago. Oosh. Man, I used to pump out a new challenge like every month. But, I mean, I was also way more motivated. And also, like, I think people just enjoyed them more. Ow, bug. In my eye. There's a bug in my eye. Playing a lot of Lethal Company. You guys like Lethal Company? I know I'm a little tardy to the party, but, um, Lethal Company is fun. Lethal Company, a lot of fun. I don't have friends, so no. Well, you can play it by yourself. It's just really hard to meet the quotas. But, um, yeah, you can play it by yourself. In fact, there might even be a mod. I would be willing to bet... That there is a mod that makes it so that it's not only, like, that you're not only able to play by yourself, but it's also, like, feasible to, like, meet quotas if you play by yourself. I'd be willing to bet that there is totally a mod for it. Not saying, like, it's more fun than playing with others, but it's possible. Yeah, I thought I already hit that. I think it's possible. I do need that. I'm always sweating my ass off. I stay on the ship. You stay on the ship. You're one of those people. Is it's stressful, like, Among Us? It's not... I don't find myself to be too... I don't like horror games. Me, personally, I don't like horror games. And I like Lethal Company. I don't find myself stressed. I find myself to be, like, maybe a little bit, like, paranoid sometimes. But it's not... It's fun. I like it. The, the fun outweighs the paranoia and stress for me. Generally, I don't like horror games. But Lethal Company is quite fun. There's also a mod who adds three AI players who can't speak but understand you. Okay, that's actually insane. Hmm. But yeah, there you go. If you really want to play it by yourself, it is possible. Ah, I don't need money. Money, 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 money. Please, the gold nugget reminds me of when I fell asleep to the unedited Zodiac video and woke up terrified when it was still playing and I was mad waking up at you cussing out a rock. I'm sorry. I have a lot of people that tell me stories that are like, <laughs> Hey, Dag. Big fan here. I always put on your VODs to sleep, but I always wakes me up when you yell, SHIT! And I wake up in a cold sweat. Love the videos, by the way. Keep it up. Apparently, I've traumatized a lot of people in their sleep before. I might have just done it now by yelling that. But now I could at least deflect it and say, Hey, I was just responding to a comment. So, really, it's your fault. Hi, chat. What's up? Ooh, Scott. Hi. And that's like three people getting woken up in like three days. I think that's the diagonal roulette. That's the fucking risk you take when you put on my VOD to sleep, okay? I generally have a very neutral, uh, white noise. Would you call like my voice white noise? I have a very generally, uh, easy to fall asleep to voice. You just have to run the risk sometimes that I will, like, yell a swear word or an obscenity of some sort. Or I'll yell out at a bug or a fish or a villager or something like that. You just have to, like, understand that that's, that's part of the, it's part of the fucking risk of doing it, alright? You fall asleep to my body, you take the fucking risks, alright? You think it better than me? I would call you more bats shrieking in the night. Yeah, but people love bats, right? It's just like they find them cute, but like don't let them bite you because you'll get a disease. Which I think really is quite accurate to me. Pill. Damn it. Net. Alright, well, whatever. At least the other rocks didn't have bugs. I wish bats didn't have rabies. They're so precious. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, you know, I was gonna joke, like, what if I have rabies? But no, if a human gets rabies, it's fucking terrifying, actually. I, I think you'd know if you had rabies. Oh my god, that's one of the worst ways to die. Don't look it up. 
Don't look up a video of like somebody like with rabies. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Like actually don't. I am not kidding. Do not do it. I know that like I always say like hi, don't do that. Haha, <laughs> yeah, totally you should do that. Don't do that. No, like actually don't do that. It's it's actually fucking terrifying. He's foaming at the mouth. No. And it's way more than foaming at the mouth. It's like you can't drink water. You have hydrophobia. You you're oh man. You like can't drink water. It's fucking scary. Imagine doing the thing that you like literally have to do to survive as a human being and you can't do it because you're like paralyzed from being able to. Terrifying. It's all I want to do now. I would recommend against it is all I'll say. It is terrifying. Is there going to be something in between modify single emo and VIP? Because I want to redeem hydrate because I haven't seen you hydrate in a while, but I cannot. Uh, nope. I guess not. I guess not. I'll just be dry. By the way, I mean, I have been hydrating. It's just not been with water because I needed my caffeine. But now that that's empty, I actually probably should go get some water. So, you know, in a way, you did redeem hydrate. Because now I am reminded that I do need to hydrate. So, that is... Or I need to at least go fill my water. So, you know what? In a way, my friend, you did redeem hydrate. You did. Let me get to a point where I can take a moment here and fill up my water. Fill up my cup. Mazel tov. Look at her dancing. Move it, move it. Just shake it up. Y'all remember... Y'all remember? Don't act like you weren't there. Uh, I need to plant my flowers now. <laughs> OMG, LMAO. Dude, broke, LMFAO. Woke, black eyed peas. Alright? I won't say anything more. I was not there. You weren't there? Dude, you want to know what's like the most 2000s thing ever? Do you want to know what I had? And it was one of my most prized possessions in, like, the late 2000s. It was probably, like, 2008, something like that. I had a Tooth Tunes. Do you guys know fucking Tooth Tunes? I had a fucking Tooth Tunes that sung Black Eyed Peas. I had a Tooth Tunes that sung the Black Eyed Peas. After listening to you sing that, I think I've had the lyrics wrong for years. Maybe I have them wrong. I wouldn't put it past me to have sung it wrong. Let's put it that way. Uh, tonight's gonna be a good night. That uh, tonight's gonna be a good night. Yeah. Weren't they recalled? Um... Monka S. No, I don't know. Were they? They were recalled? For what? What are they going to do? Are they going to, like, eat my teeth? I'm going to be dropped, and that was the hardest shit for a while. Yeah, dude. You ever you ever Tooth Tunes? I feel like you fucked with, like, Tooth Tunes back in the day. There was, like... I think there was, a uh, All-Star was a Tooth Tune, I believe. And by the way, if you don't know what Tooth Tunes are, they're toothbrushes that would play a song for two minutes to, like, you know, you'd be, like, jamming while you're brushing your teeth. And you'd, like, oh, man, this song is so good. I don't want to, like, put my toothbrush down. I want to keep brushing my teeth. In reality, it was like you got tired of the song after, like, the, you know, third day of brushing your teeth. But it was a clever idea, I suppose, in theory. I'd see advertisements for them all the time on, like, Nickelodeon. Tooth Tunes. My mom got me one for the Black Eyed Peas. And I was like, yo, this is fucking sick. You know, I really sh should, like, not put these all together because... Because, like, what if there's a bug in the middle of them all? That's kind of stupid of me, isn't it? Hmm. That wasn't very smart. I guess maybe this is just to get them to breed, and then once I get a purple, I will uh, dig them all up, and then we can... Yeah. And I don't need these red lilies. It's fine. Red lilies can make black lilies, but the white roses make purple roses, so I don't even need them. Yeah, maybe not in hindsight the best thing to do. All right, but that's fine. Dude, go hydrate. Dude, relax, all right? I gotta do something. 
Listen, letting my teeth rot because I've listened to Smash Mouth for the 365th day in a row. Yeah, it's just like, you know, they were cool for a little bit, but then like, you know, after a few days, you're like, okay, I can only listen to uh, I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas so many times before I want to like, you know, shoot myself. Hello Pets was another classic Nick commercial. It's a pillow. It's a pet. It's a pillow pet. Oh yeah, dude, totally. All right, I will go refill my water since I'm getting harassed about it. But you're going to get an ad. All right, I'm going to be right back. Give me a minute and a half. I'll be back. Hi. I'm not getting an ad, and I'm going to be pissed at Twitch if I get one when Dag is actually here. You didn't get an ad? Damn. All right. Well, I guess that's like 50 bucks that I just lost. I get 50 bucks for every, like, minute and a half of ads that you guys see. So, like, that's really fucked up. I might have to sue Twitch for that. I remember the glutton of, like, weird cake pan ads. Oh, yeah, 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 those Betty Crocker, like, layer cakes. Yeah, no, I remember. And, like, D do your brownies get stuck to the cake molds? Well, try this new one that totally won't do that. It's made of silicone, a high, a high industrial material that does not allow sticking. You can stick it, squeeze it, mash it, twash it. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. A bunch of, like, you know, Nickelodeon ads went hard after, like, 1 a.m. Slice them, dice them. Alright. Buy an item. Floam? Oh, fuck. But, like, Floam was good, though. Like, Floam wasn't, like, snake oil. Floam was actually good. I wanted Floam. I still kind of want Floam. Black and white. Whoa, look at how much this person is a fucking dumbass. They're, like, fucking, like, shit. Like, falls out of their hands, starts flying everywhere. They look really stupid. They're like, ugh. And then the color explosion. Whoa, look at this new product that they're using. I fucking love infomercials. I hated them as a kid, but now I laugh at the absurdity of them. I was like, these are stupid when I was a kid, but now they're like, oh man, these are better times. Kalates? The what the fuck? Those are booty shorts. Give me some flip-flops, man. Old cereal commercials went so hard. <gasps> oh, because apple and cinnamon for the winner, man. Oh yeah, dude. Follow your nose, or the fruity fruit that shows. I don't remember how it went, but that was Fruit Loops. Take a picture, edit command, do all this bullshit. That Lucky Charms bastard? Oh yeah, that's classic too. Does your four-year-old child shit in the bed? Don't worry, buy a $59.99 pillow that glows once every two minutes. I don't think they ever advertised that. And also, pillow pets were a very reasonably priced $19.99 plus shipping and handling, alright? They were not $59.99. Get out of here. Ain't nothing on- There was never an infomercial that was anything more than $19.99 plus shipping and handling. And if it was, then it would have been $19.99. It, it, they were very clever about this, alright? Crunch or die is me, Captain. They were very clever about this because- if there was ever anything that was more than $19.99, they would call it four or five easy installments or payments of $19.99. They would make it seem like it was still $19.99, but no, it's just four easy payments of $19.99. It would never be any more than $19.99. Never. Ever. You'd be damned if you fucking charged more than $19.99 for something. You'd be damned. You know what I saw today, um, while I was making coffee? I go to my apartment, like, clubhouse to do it, and they always have the TV on, and I saw an ad for a Golden Buffalo Nickel. And, boy, 24 karat Golden Buffalo Nickel. And I was like, boy, I have not seen one of those advertisements in years. And they're like, did you know gold has gone up five times in value since 2002? And I'm like, shit, really? Damn, they're actually, like, working on me as well. They're actually working on me. I'm like, damn, did gold really go up five times in value from 2002? Shit, I might have to get a buffalo nickel. Shoot.
What are you doing? I, I don't know. <laughs> don't let him watch QVC. Oh, dude, QV. Y'all ever get like a gift from your grandma or grandpa from QVC? They were either like the greatest things ever or they were like fucking useless. Most of the time, fucking useless. But occasionally they were fun. Oh, and Billy Mays. What a what a what a card. What a classic. I remember he died. That was like a cultural event when I was a kid. It was fucking Billy Mays dying. That was a fucking like oh my god, with how much I saw that guy as a kid? That was like that was insane. My grandma recently got addicted to QVC. That's insane that people are still watching QVC. Like, yeah, it's old people, but like still. That was a sad day. I was like, holy fuck. Like, that's OxyClean guy. That's fucking Zorby's guy. That's the fucking, uh... Dude, he did so much shit. He did so much. I couldn't possibly remember everything Billy Mays did. I put QVC on to sleep sometimes. I That's fair. I wouldn't judge you for that. I mean, you should be like a Dagnal VOD, but, you know, I guess QVC is like a solid second. That's why people like flex tape, because it reminds them of the absurd 2000s ad. Can't lie, though. Use flex tape for packing and running out of regular tape, and that shit held on. It was not easy to cut. Shoot! I mean, dude, they sawed the entire fucking boat in half, and it was on the water, and it wasn't sinking. That's all I needed to see. I know flex tape works because I fucking showed that it works. He fucking slapped that bitch on a fucking canister of water with a big ass hole on it and done no water get out. All right? How can it not work? I have to believe it worked. My car is currently flex taped and it holds up fucking great, actually. That shit might be better than that, like, airline tape that they'd be shoving on, like, cracks on airplane wings. That shit's better than- stronger than that shit, probably. And also, that flex tape guy is probably the closest thing we have to Billy Mays. So I think maybe it's also the nostalgia of missing old Billy that we like that guy. He does have that same, like, energy. And if it makes sense, he has the same, like, build, too. He has the energy of Billy Mays, and he has the same build. Just like an honest-to-goodness guy. What's up, Fugue? Hello, father. Uh, I disown you. I'm going yellow this time. I think all my attempts where I went pink failed, so... <sighs> Y'all ever get on a plane and you see, like, tape? You see, like, tape on the wings? That shit freaks me. I don't like flying. I don't like flying, even though I trust it 100%. It's I know it's safer than driving. Like, I, I don't like it. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't like it. Alright, we gotta get time to roll over to 5 o'clock now. Is there anything more I could do before I do that, though? Kinda not really. Save this wood to donate to the shop. I already got a little bit of iron. It's not bad. Yeah. All of your attempts failed. Yeah, but, like, the pink ones were, like, especially bad failures. Like, I lost them within the first hour of doing them failures. Like, not, like... Like, not like, you know what I mean. Don't, don't, don't be ignorant, all right? You know what I mean. Don't be ignorant. You know exactly what I mean. Seeing that tape and playing too much GTA or Ace Combat, wondering when the engine's gonna start smoking? Aw, hell. I mean, even if, like, airplanes are so fucking safe that, like, if one of the engines does start smoking and fucking dies, you're fine. They can run on the other engine. They have to, like, make an emergency landing, and you're like, really, it's more of an inconvenience, because you have to make an emergency landing at an airport that was not your desired destination. That's the only, that's the worst part about it, really. You're not gonna die. It's crazy, though. Like, I, I still don't like it. I still don't feel safe. Holy shit, it's pouring. I still don't, I, I don't like flying. It's one of my, like, fears. And I was good about it for a while, but now I haven't flown in, like... I mean, months? My last flight that I took was, like... I mean, honestly, I'd be okay. Like, I wouldn't, like, be freaking out, but I would be, like, uneasy. Especially during takeoff. Takeoff and landing are freaky. Once you're at cruising altitude, though, and it's, like, not turbulent... 
easy. I can do that all day. I wouldn't want to because you're still on a plane with a bunch of people, but I can do it. What about that Tetris kid? What do you mean that Tetris kid? That Tetris kid. Bringing my cheap Logitech USB flight stick on a plane and sitting beside you. Don't worry, man. I got this. Dude, load up with like... If you like load it up with like a bunch of games and shit, movies, whatever, I'd be all right. I, it's just a distraction, really. You, you just need that distraction. Once you got me distracted and not thinking about the fact that I'm on a fucking pressurized vessel with a bunch of other people... 30,000 feet in the air. I'm all right. Where did I put old Blathers' tent? There. I and mean, the fact that it's raining is good for the fact that not as many bugs are going to spawn and my flowers get watered. He beat it. First human to say that they beat it. How do you beat Tetris, though? How do you beat Tetris? I love wearing a Burger King crown on planes. If you know, you know. Okay, I'm on team I don't know. Can someone explain to me? Glad to finally be catching a stream after watching your YouTube videos. Yeah, glad to have you here. Thank you. Don't? Well, dude, you fucking said it. You can't say don't after you said it. All right? You can't say don't and be like, if you know, you know. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. You said it, man. No more lines of code. Interesting. At some point, Tetris crashed because there's no more levels and someone got to that point. The game is only coded to put out blocks until the score of 999999. So when he got to 999999, the game physically cannot produce any more score. Therefore, he won. Oh. Interesting. No, I didn't see that. I did not see that. That is not a good thing. Well, then why'd you even bring it up? Not you, but we don't talk about it then. It's kind of like the Pac-Man glitch. Interesting. No, I did not see that. But that's cool. It only took, what, 30, 40 years for someone to finally beat Tetris? I don't have pit stains. No, I don't. Okay. All good. Plugging in my gaming mouse into the USB port in the plane and making an immediate left? Oh, gosh. Tetris theme still slaps after all this time. You know, if there was a game I wish I could be good at, I think Tetris would probably be, like, the one. Being good at Tetris is... I don't want to say it's a great party trick, but everyone's always really, like, wowed by people who are good at Tetris. I'd love to be good at Tetris and, like, show all you folks what's up. Go on, like, Tetris 99 and clown some folks. Damn, it's a fucking proper thunderstorm here. It is a fucking thunderstorm. Hi, Dad. Well, I usually can't catch your streams. I'm excited to start watching. Check this out. Ooh, check this out. Ooh, welcome to the stream. I'm on mute for a minute. Was doing was Dagnal doing ballet there? No, me? No, I couldn't. I would never have the balance. I'm leaving? Dude, it's so good. Dude, you can't act like popping your knuckles ain't a good s feeling and sound. You can't act like that's not a good feeling and sound. Tetris people are like virtual Rubik's Cube. Oh, dude, I knew a cuber. Maybe some of you guys are cubers. Y'all cubers? Uh, dude, I had... Oh, thanks, uh... Caitlyn. Or Catalane. I got it. For the tier one. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Y'all cuber? I'm a cuber? It's not a Sag, man. It's cool. It's not a Sag. Dude, them cubers, like the really, really, really good ones, can, like, turn it, look at it. Okay, they're, they're like, looking at it, observing it before the timer starts. They put it down, timer starts, brrrr, done. Fucking three seconds. Literally three seconds. That's impressive, man. That's not sad. Even the people who can do it in like 30 seconds is impressive. They like look at it, plan out all the moves before they do it, done. 
You tell me that's not cool? That's objectively cool. Same those people who can like fucking just look at the Tetris piece, plan like 10 moves in advance. Whole board's cleared. You just sent so much garbage to your fucking opponent in Tetris 99. You can be a cuber. Like if I looked at you on the street, I would think, yeah, that guy knows his way around a cube. Like you, you, if you saw me on the street, you think that I'm a cuber? I would actually take that as a high form of compliment. Like, actually. I'm just glad that you guys think that I'm good at something, really. Because I'm not really good at anything. I'm like, okay at a lot of things, but really, like, good at nothing. I've had a good holiday season. It was stupendous, I would say. <laughs> uh, ooh. Okay. Got number two in Tetris 99. I have it. Not on this Switch. I have it. Never played it, though. I mean, it was free, so of course I, like, have it. Everyone has it if they really want it. My geriatric ass cat was screaming outside my room. Fucker had me think he was dying. Nah, they're just dramatic. You have the face of being good at ping pong. That's another cool one, too. I don't give a shit what people think. Being good at ping pong, you see how, like, they serve that shit? They, like, look really intense. They're like... Watch. And then they are able to, like... Dude, that's a lot of fucking energy as well. That's a lot of, like, stamina to be good at ping pong, man. That's fucking insane. Those people are crazy. Like, people look at sports like that, and they, like, degrade them as, like, oh, that's not, like, a real sport. And then their examples of real sports are, like, soccer, where they go, like, whoa, when they get landed on by a fly. Baseball, where, like, half of it is you just sitting in the dugout, like. Football, where the action only takes place, like, 5% of the actual game time. And then hockey, which is actually a real sport. Uh... And they're like, oh, why don't they play these real sports? Uh, we want an axe and... No, not a net. Or, yes, a net? Yeah, net, watering can, shovel. Darts! Dude, you see that, like, British kid who's, like, taking over the darts scene? That's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm happy for him. Even though he's 16 and he looks like he's, like, older than me. People are like, oh, he's like this 16-year-old British dart sensation. And I'm like, what do you mean 16? He looks like me. He looks older than me. Which is not a high bar, I understand, but still. Pull vault, upgrade the can, upgrade the axes, and make a crafting table. Got it. Why do Americans call football football when they're constantly touching the ball with their hand? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I I, yeah, I, really don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh, I gotta buy the better tools first. Yeah, dude. I, I don't know. That's really, like, stupid of us, right? To call it the thing that we've been ingrained to call it. Because our entire lives we called it one thing. I don't know. Did you ever do the 100 baby challenge on The Sims? No. I don't do, really, The Sims. Ain't no way that darts player isn't a grown-ass 35-year-old. I mean, that's what I'm saying, man, but I ain't run a DNA test on him. If they say he's 16, I guess I gotta believe that he's 16. Okay. Call it hand egg. <laughs> Even though there is, like, a specific part of the game that does require kicking and thus using your foot in football. Yeah, don't get me wrong, like, the foot per capita of football is nothing compared to that of soccer, but I don't know. Why do Americans call it football? Well, don't you guys call it American football? Like, you are also still calling it football, I do want to point out. Oh, yeah, I got to redeem enough miles. Wow, why do they call it rugby? They don't play it on a rug. They should call it running ball. Yeah, dude, I, look, they should call it, like, oval ball, really. The ball is oval, so if you really want to be as accurate as possible, there's one thing you can't deny about that ball, and it's oval, and brown. Call it brown oval ball, but that doesn't really roll off the tongue as well, and so we just call it football. You calling me British? I don't know. Why is it called root beer if it ain't from the root? And it ain't beer! They should call it God's chosen sport, where it's from.
58 out of 60 on my exam. Hell yeah, boy! Yeah, let's fucking go. That's like a... That's probably like a 97. <laughs> Rounding up. Can I get a boo oo a Are you asking me for a... Oh, no, you're asking me for a bo o wa Oh, I see. Yeah, you can get a bo o wa Touring. Football is the best, most sports ball of all of them. Been watching YouTube for a while now. You inspired me to do a 100% museum challenge of my own. Plan on finishing it this weekend. Good luck. What are you on? The art? Because, like, extra good luck. Root beer is from the sassafras root. Okay, but it ain't beer. So why do we call it that? Hmm, it's almost like words aren't entirely accurate to the describing the thing that they're talking about. Hmm. It's almost like the English language has a lot of inherent flaws in it. Hmm. And we just kind of deal with it. Upgraded can. One fish, one sea creature, two fossils, and 22 art. Yeah, good luck on that 22 art part. And depending on what the fish, sea creature, and fossils... I mean, fossils are a pain because... Of course, you're going to be like, I need, like, the last few fossils. And I'm finding, like, literally everything but them. So good luck on all those as well. You turned on Ben Shapiro mode for a second. What did I do? What did I say that was Ben Shapiro mode? Like, I actually want to know. I, I actually want to know. What did I just do that was Ben Shapiro mode? Can you please tell me? I don't want to... I, I don't want to do that too much. You sounded like a nerd. Oh, the nerdy accent. No, that's not Ben Shapiro, man. That's just generic nerd. That's just generic nerd. All square. Eh, it's a mess, but it's fine. Alright, and then this is about where I started. This is where I left off my last attempt, right here. Was where I, uh, so we're back to where we started the stream. Yay! American accent is pain? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'll just stop, then. I guess I just won't fucking talk. No. Well, I kind of wanted to put it down here, but it's fine. No, no, like, it's, it's it's okay. I don't care. I don't mind. I'll just put it, like, right here. Oakley doakley. Um, now we gotta chop down only all the trees, leave a grove, and hit rocks. Okay. Uh, let's assign a couple nets here. Let's assign our shovel, our pole vault. Shovel. I like to keep the shovel on the bottom. That's just personal preference. You guys can do it differently. You guys remember, like, YouTube tutorials? I mean, they're still a thing, but, like, you know. I feel like their peak era is a little bit far gone at this point. Dagnall, do you support British accents? Yeah, you're, you're valid, I guess. You're valid. Is that what you want to hear? You're valid? Because you're all valid, whether you're British or otherwise. You're all valid. You're like, Dagnall, can you validate me? Yes. Yes, I can. You are valid. Okay, but, like, not everything. But, like, most things, I, uh, you're valid for. You heard of Oshasis? Nope. Is this one you're gonna tell me to, like, suck your fucking nuts or something like this? Like, Oshas suck my nuts? I used to watch exclusively DIY tutorial videos. If you haven't, like, watched... Some kid from, like, Kazakhstan explain how to, like, edit videos in Sony Vegas 14. Then, really, have you even lived your life before? Now, are we valid for liking Timmy and Tommy and not thinking that they're rats? Um, I guess. Like, I'm not saying that I agree with everything that you guys are, you know, saying is, like... I'm not saying, like, just because I think that you're valid for it, like, I agree with it. I hope y'all want to be very clear here. Like, I might very much find things that are valid about you that I also don't agree with, but, you know, that's okay. You have to understand that we can't agree on everything. How many Ligma jokes have you had to endure, Dagnall? Because that sounds like it came from a place of hurt. Oh, a lot. I mean, I've been streaming for like... I streamed during the peak of Ligma jokes. I remember when it was going around, like, 
Oh, did you hear Ninja died of Ligma? Dude, I was like streaming. I was there during that peak. And I've been doing it for a while now. By the way, thanks Burby for the Prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks. I, I was there for the peak of it. I was there for the sewage runoff part of it, where people were just saying it because they had nothing else clever or interesting to say. We're still there in many ways. We're still there. Burby. Oh, okay. Survived the Ligma Plague. I gotta, like, mark that on, like, my... Ooh, that was fucking, like, right there, and I... Okay. I don't need that, though, so, like, I'm just gonna ignore it, lest I make the same mistake I did last time. Thanks, Kaishu, for the 12 months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing as well. This is what I'm saying, man. Literally just one fucking moment of just not paying attention and you're done. Like, is that beetle still there? I don't even want to shake that tree because I'm afraid I'm going to scare it away. Literally just one fucking moment of not paying attention and you're done. Like, I literally, like, should not even be reading chat. I want to get it so I can shake that tree without risking scaring it away. But we all saw what happened last time I tried to catch one of these motherfuckers. Oh, now, is that him over there now, or is that a second one? Because his ass is in, like, the fucking weeds. No, there's actually just two of them. Oh. This fucking sucks, dude. I want to, like, actually... I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into the building, and I'm going to despawn him. I'm going to go into the building, and I'm going to despawn him. I'm not taking the chance. I, I don't want to even, like, mess with that. Scaring any bug is a reset. I thought it was just for ones you were going for. Nope, any bug. That's what's making this so hard. Because I have caught those before. Nice tag, Zag. Thanks. I don't know what they are, but thanks. Mods just be, like, messing with my tags these days. Alright, are they gone? Are the bad bugs gone? I think so. And there was nothing in there. All that just to realize that there was nothing in there. Isn't that sad? Squidward's father never hugged him. Isn't that sad? <laughs> I'll have you know, my father loved me very much. Do you know how you- how do you do that slow approach holding the net? Oh, you just hold down the swing button, and then you walk. Glunk. Kind of like critical if we're catching like a lot of the like palm tree bugs in the game. In fact, probably critical for catching like half the bugs in the game. You can't really- I mean, I guess you could like really stroll up real slow like and do it, but it would be kind of annoying. Do you think we'll actually end up completing this challenge? I fucking hope so! I sure hope I'm not doing this to never, like, complete it and make it into a video that I monetize. I really would hope that I wouldn't invest 20 hours into something that I ultimately decide, nah, I don't really feel like completing it. And, like, not making it into a video. That would, like, really be, like, lame as hell. That would really be quite lame as hell. Like, not lame, but, like, a waste of my time. At least it would feel that way. Like, yeah, I guess we did it, and we, <clears throat> like, you know, or at least we attempted to do it, and we had a good time while trying, but... I, I don't know. I feel like I'm almost obligated to complete it through any means necessary. Look, if one of these attempts I literally have to, like, fucking crawl in order to do, then I will do that. I will do that. If it means that the video gets complete, I will do that. You think that I'm not, like in it for the long haul, you're mistaken. I knew this wouldn't be an easy challenge. I knew it. I knew when I first decided on doing it, like, this is gonna fucking suck. Maybe the revelation of how much to the extent with which it would suck is maybe only just hitting me as of the last few attempts, but that doesn't mean I'm just gonna... I don't hit turbulence in my life, and I'm like, well, I guess I just give up. I'm a fighter! <laughs> right? I don't just run into, like, a small issue and just give up entirely and write the day off as a total waste, right? <laughs> I would not never. No, not me. Folks, you are not talking to a quitter. You are not talking to a quitter. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> amen, sister. Can I get an amen? I really don't feel like we see enough amen in this stream. Here, here. I'd be saying some shit like, here, here. I'd be doing that. I like raise a glass and I say, here, here. And I take a sip. I'd be doing some shit like that. Not enough God in this stream. That is G-O-D. I have a full stack of sticks. Plus six, apparently. Alright, well, whatever then. Hear ye, hear ye. Alright, where am I leaving my grove at? I guess this is a nice little spot. Yeah, that's a nice little grove right there. Oh, you're a nasty little grove, aren't you? I'm sorry. Why did I say that? Yeah, all right, just be careful. Maybe when I read chat, I should freeze, like, in-game. Maybe that's my new strategy. If I'm reading chat, don't move, okay? So that I can still have chat engagement while also making sure that during critical parts of the run, I'm not scaring away bugs, okay? When you're, when you're reading chat in-game, you do not move. That's my new rule, all right? Try to help me enforce that. If I'm moving and reading chat, like, looking over here, that's how you know I'm reading chat, and I'm moving, call me out. Yell at me. Say, hey! Quit it! Scat! Scoop! Quit it! Did you get a snail? Yes. Not a bug, but whatever. It counts. Are you trying to collect every bug without scaring any away? Well, let's see here. Let's see here. Um, let's just do a little checky-poo here. Am I trying to scare a bug away? Uh, let's see here. Let's pull it up. Jarvis, pull this up. Uh, let's see. Am I trying to... Hang on, what was it? Are you trying to collect every bug without scaring any away? Let's see. Am I trying to collect every bug without... Scaring it away. Yeah. 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 What happens if you scare away a bug, then? Well, I guess I restart. And by that, what does he mean? Restart his save file? Like, restart his life? Oh, well, I don't know. I guess you'll have to stick around, see if I scare away a bug, and figure out for yourselves, folks. I gotta donate some of this wood, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. I gotta get some of this wood out of here. Well, folks, I guess you'll just have to hang out and see. Should I scare away a bug? I guess you'll have to see. Maybe if I scare away a bug, I'll... And then flop out of camera frame, and then another Dagnal walks into the room and is like, Alright guys, let's try that again. Alright folks, we go again. Dag, it says attempt zero, thanks. How fast can I press the button nine times? Time me. Ugh. Hang on. I can do better than that. That was pretty good. Ha 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 ha! That would be so funny. Yeah, you're right. That would be pretty funny. You'd be so good at cookie clicker speed runs. No, I know how to mash. It's just, like, exhausting. I don't know how, like, speedrunners do, like, heavy mashing speedruns. Because I'd be, like, doing that shit where I, like, like, vibrate my arm to press the bell. I know how to mash. It's just, like, I feel like I'm going to get arthritis in my elbow if I do it for more than, like, 10 seconds. Let alone doing it, like, multiple times over the course of, like, a multiple hour long speed run. I don't know how people do that. That legitimately, like, blows my mind that people can just do that and, like, be okay. 
Diagonal, can you do accents? No, not really. It depends. You have to name an accent. I had a boss who used to play Cookie Clicker like 24-7 in her office. Dude, that's a fine office game. If you're like clowning on her for that, then that's like the epitome of an office game. One that you literally don't even need to like shift your focus from your work on and you just play. That's like the office game. Had to mash in Mario Party today? Almost got a cramp. Yeah. I'm gonna go back in, if you don't mind. I'm gonna go back in. Okay. I'm gonna... Look, if I scared one of those away while I was doing the coming out of the tent animation... I'm gonna ask- I would ask you guys for a mulligan. I would ask for a chat-approved, like, mulligan on that one. Because that would genuinely not be in my control. That would have genuinely not been in my control. I- I think that everyone would have, like, understood if I said, Hey guys. That one doesn't count, right? Like, we're all, like, on the same page. That one didn't count. That's not you scaring it away, that's the cutscene thing scaring it away. Well, yeah, point is, like, it was my character coming out of the tent scaring it away, is what some naysayer could argue. However, it would literally not have been in my control with which to... You know, I can't just cancel the animation. That's fucking... That was fucking bullshit. Alright? I'm fortunate that it didn't scare them away, but that was fucking bullshit. That was really fucking close. I think we all would have had a mutual understanding, at least reasonable people all would have said like, yeah, that's like kind of fucking bullshit. We'll let that one slide. Your timing could be better. I'm joking. Oh, okay. I gotta hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just got the, oh, oh yeah. I just got the fucking, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got the, oh yeah, mm-hmm. If you know, you know. I got the fucking itch. I got the fucking itch. And when you get the itch, you need a Q-tip stat. I got the fucking ear itch. The deep internal, I will never reach that with my finger ear itch. And when I get that, the bell. when the bell tolls for a Q-tip, I answer. Alright? When the bell tolls for a Q-tip, I answer. Mm-mm. You just have them on you? You don't have them on you? You don't just have a plethora of Q-tips with which you can just, like, immediately grab from if you get that fucking itch in your ear? What are you doing? What are I ju- I- you're judging me. I'm judging you for not having Q-tips at your immediate disposal. Does anyone else sometimes bite their hand when it itches? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not only do I do that, it actually makes this sound when I do it. The audio is going to be doubled here for a second, but it's fine. Not only do I do it, it goes like... Hang on. Yes. Absolutely. How many bugs have you caught? Good question. You got the bug. That's but 10 unique bugs. 15 total. Fix the double? Thanks. I literally said that it's going to double, and then I forgot about 10 seconds after saying it that I need to fix it. I don't need the wood. Who cares? Just cut it down. Get it out of here! I came in here to study. I cannot shut up. I keep yapping. Well, do you need me to, like, time you out then? Like, are you asking for a timeout? So, like, like, do you need to be, like, timed out to force you to study and not chat? No? 
I will time myself out. All right, well, no more messages from you then. If I see any messages from you from now on, I'm like, uh, excuse me. I will time you out for 100 seconds if you... No, I'm just kidding. But do study. Don't make me have to enforce the rules. Your own I need to study rule. Dog still doubled? Oh, shit. I muted the wrong thing. Sorry. My bad. Someone give this man an Oscar? Is that like the Grouch? What's up, Super Mike and Happy New Year? It's the fifth. But Happy New Year. You know, I think that there is like a weak... I think that there is like a weak tolerance that you can give to like saying Happy New Year. So you know what? I will dock you like 20 points for maybe being like five days late. But you know, you're still within the weak threshold. So it's it's all good. It's all good. At Dagnall, I miss you, buddy. Okay. I can't tell if that's from like a real life friend or something like that. In the Netherlands, you can say it till the 6th. Why in the Netherlands can you say it till the 6th? You missed the buried gold. Bro, I don't care. I don't care. You miss the buried gold. I don't... That's not the point of what I'm trying to do here. This ain't a Let's Play, man. This ain't your mama's Animal Crossing New Horizons playthrough, all right? This is an Animal Crossing gameplay and commentary part 62, Gathering Wood, all right? Although I do miss that shit. I do miss when, like, the YouTube gaming was, like... I do miss when YouTube gaming, gaming on YouTube, was not, like... I fucking made a hundred generations of Sims incest babies in The Sims 4. I miss when it was like... Grand Theft Auto San Andreas gameplay and commentary part 62, CJ gets a nuke. I miss when YouTube gaming was that instead of what it is now. Because I would argue I enjoyed it more. And as a creator's perspective, that was way easier to hit go live in fucking fraps. Record your gameplay, throw it in fucking Sony Vegas, 15 minutes, bada bing, bada boom, you can put out like 10 of them a day. Is easy. That would have been so much fucking easier than the shit that I have to do now. I am so envious of people who got in like popular gaming YouTube videos back then when it was that easy versus the shit that it is now. Stop moving. Stop. I hate these bastards so much. Stop! Fine, I just won't. But, like, I need to, because I gotta cut trees down around here. Okay, Jesus. The other day, I saw a video called, Could L from Death Note Catch Walter White? And I hated YouTube. I mean, the target audience probably isn't you, you know? You have to understand, that's like kids, man. That's for kids. That ain't for you and me. That's for, like, people under the age of, like, 16. So, once you realize that, you just kind of... You're a happier person, I promise you. I miss when people joined noob GTA 5 streamers who never played before and chatted, Call X and the ice cream truck will come, and they called X and they would be teleported to the sky. Really? That happened? Manly badass hero just does playthroughs and he's doing fine? Yeah, probably because they got in when, like, that was, like, the game. Like, SSOH PKC? That was my favorite. Still a great YouTuber, even though he hasn't uploaded in, like, years. That was, like, that was, like, who I used as the example when I gave the example of, like, GTA San Andreas Part 62, CJ gets a nuke. That was, like, who I was thinking of. That was the guy. I miss those days, dude. I love watching your vids, dude. Thanks. Boing, boing. Uh, yeah. On the 6th, there's a small holiday called... Dry... Uh, boy. Um... Dry... Kongne. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Called... Dree Kong Ingen. Dree Kong Ingen. 
Driekongingen in Belgium, and that's where we stopped celebrating it, I think. Oh, okay, so that's why you have a strict six-day limit on saying Happy New Year's. Oh, okay. Man, you guys got a holiday for fucking everything. Life's great in Belgium, huh? Life is fucking awesome in Belgium. Can't reach out. Moving. Snail? No? Okay, good. We're good. All good. Just stressful. Tomorrow is Reyes Magos. Magos in Spain is like Santa Claus, so we get the presents 12 days after y'all. Wasn't well, that what the 12 days... When does the 12 days of Christmas start? Does the 12 days of Christmas start on Christmas, or does it end on Christmas? Christmas Day. Okay, so we're on like the 11th day of Christmas, right? Right now? So we're getting like... We're getting 11 drummers drumming, which, if we can be honest with ourselves, is kind of a shit gift. To be honest with you, tier ranking of gifts from the 12 days of Christmas, S tier, 5 gold rings. I could pawn them bitches off no problem. Um, I don't want a partridge in a pear tree. I don't want turtle doves. I don't know what's up with all the fucking birds, really. Um, three... What's, what? How does it go, anyway? I'll take maids of milking. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably like... That's probably like A tier. Yeah, maids of milking. Five golden rings. They're also birds. They're all birds? There's no way five gold rings is anything but five golden rings. You can't tell me five gold rings is a fucking bird. They're not all birds, man. I don't want a shit ton of birds for Christmas. Who thought that was a good idea? Maids of milking is also birds. No, it's not. Three French hens. Yeah, I don't want French hens. Four turtle doves? No, turtle doves was two. Four... Five gold rings. Four calling birds. Okay, I, I like know it backwards. Trying to say it forwards. It's like the fucking alphabet, but backwards. I can say the alphabet backwards or forwards, no problem. Backwards, forget it. I can name... I can do the 12 days of Christmas backwards. Forwards, I can't do it. Twelve... 12 pipers piping, 11 drummers drumming, 10 maids of milking, 9 geese laying, 8 fuck. No, I don't remember it actually. I don't remember it even backwards. I'm a failure. I'm a fraud. That's the point of the song, All Birds. Why? Why is that the point of the song? That's a stupid song. I love that song as a kid. I don't know why. We had a giant ass Christmas CD when I was a kid, and I loved the fucking 12 days of Christmas. No idea why. Nine ladies dancing? Okay! Okay! That might be like an A tier then. Okay! How they dancing? It's Victorian, so that's what they ate. They ate ladies dancing? Drummers drumming? You? How can you say that a fucking drummer drumming is a bird? You can't justify that. You can't say that a drummer drumming is a bird. That's not fucking possible. Lords a-leaping? Yeah, how the fuck is a lord a-leaping a bird? No, man. There's no way. Like, like the first, like, few and some after that are birds, but not all of them. I'm so confused. Dude, you gotta listen to the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. It's the most confounded Christmas song that there is. It literally makes no fucking sense. I just got an ad, not here, for a lava lamp. They're listening, man. They heard us talking about it. I think it was originally all birds, and then they changed it or something. Well, that's good. It seems like they definitely missed some birds, though. Because there's still a partridge in a pear tree, turtle doves, four, five calling, three calling birds, three calling birds, French hens. They're still calling birds, French hens, uh, geese are laying. They missed some. They hadn't executed all the birds yet. Golden- no, you can't tell me golden rings are birds. No. If we're being, like, literal about it, golden rings is the best fucking gift in that song. Ladies dancing can be pretty cool. Oh, we all saw what happened last time I tried to do this, right? Nah, 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 I ain't making the same mistake. I'll wait. I li literally, I will wait until you, like, move away from there. 
I, I, I will, you will not find me. Golden ring pheasants? No, man. No, I want that golden ring. That coochie yummy slime. That coochie doing it for me slime. Sort of shit, you know? Bro, can you get away from the fucking tree? Fine, I'll cut down other trees. I don't care. I'll wait. It's like when the teacher is waiting for the class to calm down. I'll wait. You guys done? I'll wait. Fuck you. I think you're better than us. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. I will give you a knuckle sandwich. I'm from Southeast Asia, so I have no effing idea what y'all are talking about. I'm sure you guys got your own Christmas songs then. Or whatever songs. It's literally just this one tree I need to cut down. And there's the stupid bug. I'm despawning it. I will actually just go and despawn it. I will not fuck with it. I, 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 in my first few attempts, I would go catch that. Maybe fail, maybe succeed. I am not fucking with it this time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I will despawn his ass. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So this is how the song goes. Except every time you do it, you do one more than you did last time, up to 12, okay? So in the final verse, it goes, 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a-leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a-milking, 7 swans a-swimming, 6 geese a-lang, 5 golden rings, but you like really emphasize the 5 golden rings, 4 calling birds, 3 french hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. So, 1 through 7 are all birds. Eventually it gets to like, humans. Maids a-milking, ladies dancing, lords a-leaping, Piper's piping, and drummer's drumming. All the birds, F tier. I don't want any birds. Five golden rings, S tier. Ladies dancing, A tier. Maids a-milking, A tier. Drummer's drumming, B tier. Piper's piping, B tier. Lords a-leaping, D tier. Swans are swimming, or all the birds. All the birds, F tier. That's it. That's my tier list. If you guys are looking to get me any of those things from that song, for Christmas, for me, consider perhaps just uh, golden rings, please. Alright, we're good. We're good. Good, good, good. Oh, goody, good, good. I'm positively gooding right now. All right, all the trees are cut down, barring my grove of trees. Oh, we. Who we? Now, question is, do I play it extra safe and dig up all the stumps? I haven't done that before, and I haven't failed via scaring away a stump beetle, but I'll be honest with you, it is like a constant fear of mine to do. So you know what? I will take the time. I'm going to sell, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is the attempt. Like, if it's not going to happen this attempt, like, I seriously will consider whether or not this challenge is possible. I won't quit, but I will begin to consider whether or not this challenge is possible. Because I will legitimately be like, man, I'm going to do everything this, this challenge, this attempt, to make sure that I succeed this time. I'm going to dig up every stump. I'm going to play it as safe as possible. You already saw me playing it really safe with the earth boring dung beetles. If this isn't the attempt, by golly, I will begin to question whether it is actually possible. Dag, don't cover the stump holes. When you save and quit, they autofill. Well, now I'm going to do it. Like, if I had thought that to myself without, like, that input from chat, I would have been like, oh yeah, I should probably, like, not even worry about that. But you know what? Now that you said it, you have to understand I'm a very spiteful person. I don't like when people tell me how to play the game, all right? And so when people tell me how to play the game, I love, love, love doing the opposite. So if you guys ever want to tell me how to play a game, I would recommend not. It will make me less likely to play the game the way that you want me to. Yeah, you, some of y'all understand. I got to teach some of y'all sometimes, though. Let this be a lesson, then. Let this be a lesson. I wish your hole stayed so you wouldn't have to redig my rock holes every day. Well, you could put down a piece of furniture. Like, for example, pretend that this stump is a rock. I can put down 
this and then I could put down pretend that it's a nicer piece of furniture that actually fits here and then boom like that okay don't choose the Corolla and underground to fuck you I will always choose the Corolla fuck you Corolla until the Supra is unlocked Supra until I mean I, I honestly don't mind finishing with the Supra Corolla until the Hummer H2 is unlocked. Hummer H2 until the Supra is unlocked. Supra until the Skyline is unlocked. Skyline until the Burger King decal is unlocked. Okay. If you know, you know. Still waiting for that Discord stream, man. Yeah, man. Give me, like, time. It might be, like, two years from now. Also, I don't think I ever promised it. I just said, oh, yeah, I could do that. I do not know. Well, if you don't know, then you don't know. I might even take the fucking Corolla the entire game. That thing is fucking fun. Like, it's kind of ugly. I don't love them Corollas, but, like, it is fun. That is the most fun car to drive in that game. Okay, Dag, choose Pokemon Pearl, then. Ahaha, <laughs> you guys are all trying to use reverse psychology now to get me to play the games that you want me to play and play them in the way that you want me to play them by saying, no, no, don't choose Pokemon Pearl. Ha! <laughs> You guys are so funny, you know that? Oh, you guys are really funny. Why do turnips rot for ants, but none of the other fruit rot? I don't know, good question. They used to be rotten fruit in New Leaf, but you didn't just leave them on the ground to rot. They would rot if, you, if they were perfect fruit, and if you shook the perfect fruit tree enough times, then they would eventually rot, but that's not the same thing. Pokemon Pearl is for gay people. You're legally obligated to play Diamond or else the gay people will arrest you. Wait, is that actually real? So wait, hang on. Just so we're on the same page. Diamond and Pearl are both Gen 4. They're just, you know, those weird, like, different variants of the same generation. So if I wanted to play Gen 4, I would have to play Diamond or else the gay people will get me for playing Pearl. Is that actually, like, true? That is the realest shit out there. I never heard that before. That's fascinating. Okay. What if I... What is the other way? It's just Diamond and Pearl, right? There's no, like... Does that apply to the, rem the remasters that they did recently? Fuck. Does that apply to Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond? Platinum? That's right, Platinum. What's Platinum for? Non-binary? Rats. Platinum should be the best one. So, I'll probably just play Platinum then, right? Okay. Good to know, for future reference. I never played Gen 4. People say Gen 4 is trash. Oh, but Cynthia is the best final boss in any Pokemon game ever. So I'm like, I don't know. Y'all make up your minds. Gen 4 is the greatest. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Only Gen 4 playable non-gay game is Diamond. Platinum is for demisexuals. Oh, okay. I'll have to, like, write all this down. Gen 4 is my least favorite, so... So, it's, like, objectively the worst then, right? Because you think it's the worst? Okay. Oh, good to know. I I didn't like, uh... I didn't like Sun and Moon. If y'all like Sun and Moon, well, I guess you don't now. So... Sucks for you. Ha! Idiot. Dumbass. Gen 4 is my favorite LMFAO, but you should play them for yourself. I know I should, but, you know. Well, they said that Gen 4 is their least favorite, so I guess it's my least favorite now, too. That's how it works, man. Already attempt 9? Wow. Yeah. Do you play Stardew Valley? I'm trying to start it, but it's so complicated. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a complicated game. You're doing the thing, all right? I know you're doing the thing. I can read your mind right now. You're doing the thing right now where you're trying to complicate it because people are trying to tell you that you need to do things in a certain way, okay? No, it's not a complicated game. In reality, it's like the most simple, like, casual game that's ever Hello, been made. Admiral, I haven't watched almost since you've moved. I hope that you are well and I'm happy to watch today. Thanks, Anladab, for the eight months. Glad to have you here. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Okay? Stardew Valley is a simple, straightforward game that people make complicated because you're like... 
What? You gotta plant potatoes, and then you harvest the potatoes before the fucking Easter festival. And then when you're at the Easter festival, you have to maximize the amount of strawberries that you can get. And then once you have the maximum amount of strawberries, make sure that you can get a seed maker. Don't sell the strawberries, put them in a seed maker so that next spring you can have a bunch of you can have a bunch of strawberry seeds for the next spring that comes by. No, they're trying to make you min-max the fucking game. It's actually not a fucking hard game. It's not a complicated game at all. It's not a complicated game at all. It's a really simple, casual game that... You and many others have been tricked into thinking it's complicated because you have to play it in a certain way. You have to play it with the maximum efficiency possible. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. By, like, no matter how efficiently you play, by, like, year three, you're going to be more... You're going to have more money than you ever, like, will need. Okay? If you really want to min-max it, yeah, you could get a million gold before the end of year one. But it's not very fun, in my opinion, to play that way. So, how about you just... All right, I'm not going to tell you how to play... But I will also say that you don't need to make it complicated and stressful. It's a game that's literally meant to be casual and easy. And it's been so, like... It's been so... And just like Animal Crossing. Like, I'm not going to say you need to play Animal Crossing the way that I do, because the way I play it is stressful and annoying. Um, so really, I'm guilty of the same thing, just with a different game. There aren't even time consequences. No, you have literally all the time you ever need in the world. It's like, you're... I don't understand this, like... I don't know. I, I Again, I'm sort of the problem in with this game. Like, the fascination with, like, min-maxing, like, casual games. My fascination with it is money. To just be honest with you. Like, my fascination with it is it's my job. Am I, like, truly fascinated by it? I don't know, it's interesting, but you don't have to play it like this. But, you know, it, you don't have to do it, really. Well, story-wise, there is somewhat of a two-year kind of thingy without spoiling anything. Yeah, and that's really easy to get the maximum score on without even trying. I'm pretty sure my first playthrough, I got the max score and I didn't even try. So even that's not a big deal. Okie dokie. We already... Watered flowers because it's raining. Time travel to September at noon, three days ahead. To... Why three days ahead? Oh, to grow all the flowers, I guess. At noon. Yeah, 1154 is okay. Good enough. Even if... Yeah, and if you don't do it year two, you'll just be... You can do it again at any time. It's not... That's not even a time constraint. Like, at all. Do you consider getting bit blacked out by a spider as a scare? Yes. Yeah, getting stung by a tarantula or a scorpion is not allowed. Which, that hasn't killed me yet. That hasn't killed me yet. I have managed to actually catch a scorpion multiple times without having it sting me. Because, you know, I'm pretty good at the game. But, um, it's just a matter of time, really. I, there's only so many mistakes you can make per run. I mean, one is the amount. So every time I do a new run, I make a new mistake that I try to make sure I don't do the next time. So, we'll see. Dag, it's impossible. No, it's not. I've literally gotten halfway through this challenge. It's not impossible. It's just really fucking hard. I love all these comments that are telling me, like, Dag, this is stupid. Why are you doing this? Dag, this is impossible. All you're doing is it's making me feel better when I do it. All this is doing is making me feel more powerful when I actually do it. You will be accidentally stung. No, you won't, because if you don't carry a net, they will never get mad at you. You can run up next to them. If you're not carrying a net, they won't get mad at you. Give me iron. Give me iron. Give me iron. Yeah, 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 What a fucking champion. You're feeding the monster. Do you understand how big of a fucking ego I'm gonna have? Do you know how, like, I'm gonna be doing the fucking Randy from South Park thing, carrying my fucking balls around in a wheelbarrow? That's how much of a fucking ego I'm going to have when I do this challenge and prove all these people that are saying, no, you can't do this, wrong. I'm going to fucking carry my balls around in a wheelbarrow. I will. I am going to be Billy Big Balls. You better believe it. Billy Big Bollocks. Will you be doing a similar challenge for fishing? Maybe. We will see. 
That will probably be harder than this one is because I'm really not good at fishing in this game. That's that's really good with like the one iron. <laughs> that's really good. That's funny. <laughs> that's just classic, really. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic. 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 Dag, dag. No, it's impossible. You'll never do it. Okay. Keep telling me that. It will only make me stronger. It will make my opinions worse. It will make me more obnoxious and it will make me stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You ever hear that song? You better. Have you ever been in a mall for five minutes? Yep, you definitely heard it. Orchid! See, this is what I'm saying. When a fucking bug is in the middle of all these flowers, it makes it tough. Also, I have to water these bitches. Just be careful. These guys are a little... These guys are a little tasty as far as getting scared away. They could be a little... They could be a little touchy. Good. When you said Billy Big Balls, I heard Bobby Big Balls, aka a Smash Melee player, and I was like, what does he know? No, I'm not in that scene. You know I'm not in that scene. That ain't my game. Alright, we gotta water these. Get this guy out of here, though. Or this girl, because she's pink. <laughs> One of the funniest emotes I found recently was, um, it's called Pink Name in Chat. And it's the flushed emoji just, like, bouncing around because it's like, oh, pink name in chat must be a girl. I thought that one was really funny. I might add that one. I might add that one. Dag, rate Tears of the Kingdom 1 to 10. I have, like, 9.5. Probably my game of the year. Of 2023. My game of the year. I don't acknowledge Baldur's Gate 3. Which I think actually won game of the year. Not my... Not my G-O-T-Y. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, Buster. Calm down. Not my G-O-T-Y. And for 2024... My game of the year for 2024? I don't think I've played a game that's come out in 2024. Then again, I don't think game of the year needs to be a game that came out in that year. It might just be the game that I enjoyed the most that year. In which case, the game that I've enjoyed most in 2024? Probably Lethal Company so far. Lethal Company is really fun. Even though it did come out last year. I only started playing it, like, late last year. Why are you feel so mad at Baldur's Gate? It was impressive game- Oh, I'm not mad, dude. Don't worry. It probably did deserve Game of the Year, because it seems like everyone loves it. It's not my thing, personally, but it looks like it's really good. I don't know anything about it, but it's probably really good. And, yeah, I mean, it's rare that a game comes out and, like... It seems rare that a game comes out anymore and receives as positive feedback as Baldur's Gate 3 does, you know? Like, that's a big title as well. That's not like some small indie title from a developer that's looking to show their stuff. That's like a well-established series by developers that I assume could have put out a shit product and sold just as many copies, I imagine. Which is impressive to see nowadays. So I have a lot of respect for Baldur's Gate 3, even if I don't understand it. Rare that a game even comes out finished damn near half the time, yeah. Just because it's swept and people hate when that happens. I mean, like, I like Tears of the Kingdom. I think that it was a good game. Really, really good game. My game of the year. I don't need an award to validate what I thought, though, you know? I don't need other people to think what I thought, you know? I don't need people to think that other people to think Tears of the Kingdom was the best game of the year. My life goes on whether or not people agree with me or not. Hmm. I really don't know how I have a rock in the middle there. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Did you end up finishing it? Yes. On stream, even. So, dang, I didn't see it. Well, tell it on yourself. Hi. Hi, 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 colon three, hi. <gasps> hi. That's a grasshopper. I need that. I need red dragonfly, grasshopper. What else is? What else do I need in this time frame? Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> hey, no, you, you, no, 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 no. Don't touch that dial, please. Thank you. Dag, no, please don't tell me off. I am studying. I just really want to ask. Do you button mash when you hit rocks, or do you use timing? Nah, I button mash. You might be able to like time it. I, I just, I, and uh, my mashing doing that is not mashing. My mashing is just like 
that. That's not as fast as I could press the button, but... Maybe it would be better to time it. But I would probably... It's just more mindless and easy to just press the button as fast as you can. Or as fast as you care to, because you don't need to do it that fast. It ain't gotta be that fast. You ain't gotta be a world beater, nah, I mean. Okay. Hit rocks. No fucking power bugs. Dagnall, do you watch anime? No. I actually, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I hate anime. I hate anime. Anime sucks! Do you consider a stupid, disgusting, dumbass grass- Okay, calm down, dude. Jumping on water while you chase it, scaring it away? Yes, that is literally, by definition, I scared off a bug. Into the water. That's, like, the most, like, literal definition I'm pretty sure you could have come up with of scaring a bug away. I don't think you could have, like, possibly created a scenario where I would even have to think about the answer to that question. That is literally, in the most literal way, scaring away a bug. Nice migratory there. Oh, no, that's a grasshopper. Right, that was a rice grasshopper that I caught. Damn it. Migratories are harder. I would have rather it been that. Oakley dokley then. Um... Right. Defending my anime homies in high school going, yeah, DBZ is cool. Dude, you gotta hit him with like the most milk toast anime that literally everybody will enjoy to be like, yeah, no, I get you. I know what you're doing and I appreciate what you're doing. I really do. I appreciate what you're doing. Not for the sake of me, but for the sake of others. I know what you're doing. Um, I already donated all these woods. I tell you what, I don't need this extra. Well, I could use it, but it's just taking up inventory. It's not that much. And these extra sticks, too. Full Metal Alchemist isn't milk toast, but it's good. Yeah, like, if you said, like, if somebody said, Dag, do you watch anime? And I said, okay, maybe humor me for a second. If I said... Yeah, I like Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, and uh, Bleach. Would you be like, oh, he's a weeb? Or would you be like, oh, he's a normie? By, like, anime standards, aren't those, like, the three most milquetoast animes out there? With, like, the most universal appeal because they're just, like, paired with regular cartoons on TV most of the time? Yeah, that'd be, like, normie as fuck, right? If I said... Yeah, I like anime. I like Toradora, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. I mean, even that was milk toast for a time. And, um... I don't know, I can't think of an- I can't think of, like, a second-level obscure anime. Oh, yeah, Naruto, of course, as well, right? I can't think of, like, a not, like, basic level... But not, like, really, really, like, niche anime. I'm trying to think, like, second-level tier... One Piece? Maybe even that's a little mainstream, you know? Kill la kill, maybe? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, I should rewatch Toradora. Yeah, I was thinking like ones that most, every anime fan would know, and like maybe some like people who don't like anime that much would know, which is kind of me, really. Which is why I can't really think a whole lot. Neon Genesis Evangelion. I would call that maybe second tier. Maybe back in, like, the 90s, that would have been, like, a mainstream one. Attack on Titan? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good example as well, yeah. Mm. My Hero Academia? Yeah. Like, they don't show My Hero Academia on TV, at least not on any channels that I watch. Um, they don't show Evangelion on TV. These are, like, animes that you would have to seek out in order to watch. Like, you must have a small interest in anime if you wanted to go out and watch these. I guess it is on Netflix, Evangelion. So that's pretty mainstream, but whatever, still. But, like, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Naruto, those were on, like, regular TV when I was a kid. Like, you wouldn't exactly be an anime fan for liking those, you know what I mean? Um... Right, we gotta water the flowers. I did water the flowers. So, what did we need during this time frame? I think we just needed, like... 
I mean, let's maybe... Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta upgrade my nets as well. I miss that Toonami guy. I thought Toonami came back. Like, people were like, oh, dang, Toonami's coming back. And I'm like, what? Who are you? I don't care. Isn't Netflix trying to reanimate One Piece? Why are they trying to reanimate a show that's still going on, to the best of my knowledge? And also, wouldn't that be like a thousand episodes? What the fuck kind of budget you got to reanimate a thousand episodes? I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't, I don't know if it came back. I remember people talking about it, though. But I, and I feel like I watched Cartoon Network recently, and they, like, advertised it. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I do need Dragonfly, actually. Top animes. Dragon Ball Z, Beyblade, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Baki Hanma, and Initial D. Alright, I knew the first three. I did not know the last two. The last two is kind of where you, like, showed your colors as, like, a... You know, maybe not, like, intro-level anime fan, but, like, a I've-spun-the-block sort of thing, you know? Spun the block so many times they thought it was fucking Minecraft. I hear a long locust, but if it jumps into the water and it's not on my screen, did it really happen? Thanks for bidding donuts for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad. Free viewing. Check the flowers, I guess. You're just a rice grasshopper. I don't need you. I'm part of the Beyblade gen. I had no idea. <laughs> what came first? Beyblade the anime or Beyblade the toy? What came first? Did the toy inspire an anime or did the anime inspire the toy? The toy. The toy came first. Okay. That's what I would have thought. That's what I would have thought. Have I gotten a tiger butterfly? Have I got a tiger butterfly? I think I have, right? Surely. They're everywhere. I guess I'm kind of looking for a banded dragonfly, should one approach me. Fuck you, Earthborn Dung Beetle. I hate you. 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 Got a nice white boy mid-range that ladies fear at Tandem Drifts. I've seen it, Tandem. Believe them. That's so crazy how an anime was inspired by a fucking toy. That is kind of crazy. Alright, I guess we're going to go to... December now, and we'll 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 catch up on any bugs that we might have missed now. You know what is a bug that should be like widely available right now, and I just haven't seen, is a common blue bottle. Also a mantis, yeah, that that's also another one. Bastard mantis made me lose my fucking best run that I've had so far. Yeah, that's right, rat bastard. Favorite NH critter. Um, I don't need that. Um, so bug, fish, sea creature. Um, I mean, the coelacanth's a classic, right? That's like, you're always happy to see one of them bitches. Coelacanth is a classic. Fucking, um, you know what? We'll probably be back later to catch a lot of the things that we need. We watered the flowers, correct? So now we'll go to December at 8 o'clock for a dung beetle and damselfly. And a mole cricket, probably. See, they can't, like, always happy to see it. Um, I like a lot of, like, fish, to be honest with you. Catching all the, like, 15,000 bell fish is really satisfying. I remember in Wild World, I would, like, I was a fucking Dorado master. I'd catch those, catch those bitches in that game all the time. And it was his pit stains. No, I'm fine. And it was, like, they were worth so much money in a game where, like, getting money was so much harder than it is now. I loved fucking Dorados, dude. Bugs? Um, not a big bug guy, but I mean, Hercules beetles are pretty cool, right? Longhorn, not Longhorn, sorry. Um, you know the one. What's the really expensive bug in this game? Fucking palm tree. No, not Cyclomatis. Fucking, um, damn it. What's it called? Giraffe stag, thank you. That one's pretty cool in this game, too. Like, don't get me wrong, if I had one in my hand in real life, I'd be like, oh, fuck! Ooh. <laughs> but I guess in-game they're pretty cool. And then a sea creature? A vampire squid's pretty cool. 
looks wise. Pick a number one through five, five. If I saw one in game, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Another, again, vampires with deep sea stuff also freaks me out in real life. Deep sea stuff freaks me out. So if I saw like any deep sea creature in real life, just as I would, oh, I got a fucking dumb ass. You gotta be, snow has to be on the ground, stupid ass. I'm so stupid. Well, you know what? I mean, I might as well, like, water my flowers while I'm here because I'm going to have to go forward. So take this time to water my flowers again. And, like, we're at the time of year where, like, nothing can spawn on flowers. So they should be all safe to waltz around on. I did not get any hybrid. I did not get any offspring at all, let alone a hybrid. So that's kind of lame. Pretty, pretty lame. What's up, Luna Amethyst? Why do you insist on turning AC into a brutally difficult game? Oh, because I like money. And I like making money off of the challenges that I do. And, like, the challenges in Animal Crossing that I do uh, generally get more views than me doing anything else in Animal Crossing. So, I, uh, I like money. And I like having money. And I like doing this as my job. And you're trying to tell me that you wouldn't do this as your job if it was your opportunity to do so? Um, is that an axe or a shovel? It's probably a stone axe. You rotten bitch. Uh, I need to do like this, because I missed that one flower there. I guess I can get a damselfly while I'm here. Do you like Muffy, though? And she's alright. I just hate how she gave me a stone axe instead of something that was like more functional. Like a regular axe or a shovel. I think she has a chance of giving you as well. I hear a mole cricket. We can get a mole cricket and a damselfly before we go for the dung beetle. Here's this, and I hear a mole cricket. When the next AC comes out, you're going to get a lot of money. Yeah, probably. If I haven't fallen off into obscurity by that point. See, I think about that too. I'm like, it's going to be really nice when the next Animal Crossing game comes out, and I like, you know... My channel might become, like, popular again because, you know, all those people who watch me for New Horizons might be like, Oh, let's see what Dag does for the new challenge. Thank you for being such a pinnacle ac &H content creator. THE pinnacle, right? Look, I'm biased. I think I'd like to think highly of myself, but, you know. I think that while I respect all of my Animal Crossing content creators, we're a fourth of the way through, by the way, I respect all my fellow Animal Crossing content creators, but I particularly don't find any Animal Crossing YouTube shit interesting. I'd like to think that if I didn't, if I wasn't me, but me still existed, you know what I mean? Like if I was one of you, okay, well that doesn't make sense because you're already a fan of me. I'd like to think that I would be a fan of me. You know what I mean? Oh dude, completing the museum on New Horizons 2. One million views within the first week. Calling it now. A million views in the first week. I like to think that if I wasn't me, I would find my, con my content interesting. You know what I mean? I'd like to think that I would probably, like, I probably would only watch me playing Animal Crossing. Because I don't really find Animal Crossing YouTube videos very interesting. By the way, did I thank Forbidden Donuts for the Tier 1 seven minutes ago? I'm sorry if I didn't. What if you did new leaf challenges? Well, people just aren't, like, as interested in new leaf. It's just not the latest one. It's not the one that people are playing the most, you know? I have done new leaf challenges. I've done challenges in every Animal Crossing game. But New Horizons just is the most relevant and most played. Oh, I did, but thank you again. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Well, I got a offspring. Not purple, though. I watch a lot of streamers as far as YouTube videos go. I find your challenges fun to watch. Thanks. Look, I'm not like, I'm not uploading as often as, you know, a lot of Animal Crossing content creators and Animal Crossing content creators specifically. But, you know, I'd like to think that when a new video from me comes out, you're like, oh, I got to watch that. That's like, I got to watch that. Don't come out every day, you know. I'm not making a new video every day that's like, Good news for Animal Crossing this week! And then tomorrow, I make a video that says, oh, Bad news for Animal Crossing this week. Tee-hee! Tee-hee! 
Oh my god, did he just go there? Oh my god. Wow. He just went there. Wow, I can't believe it. Touring someone's island. Oh, look at this, guys. This cottage core. Um. Well, this sucks. I like your non ACNH content as well. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I appreciate it. Oh, fuck. Swap with a bug, maybe? Yeah. Goodbye. He will never last. You, that thing does not spawn in the winter time. That thing was going to shrivel up and die. It's going to fall out of the sky here in a second. Your face is cottage core. Really? Like it has like a what what is what does that mean? Is that a good thing? Like it has like a what you, what you're saying is it has like a it makes you feel like cozy and warm. Like it's like there's a lot going on there, but it's, like, unique and comforting. Right? Like, right? This is what you mean. I think it's the glasses? Let's take it, though. That's, that's good, though, right? I don't want to talk to you, stinker. It's a festive wreath. I... Okay, whatever. You looks like... You look like you milk cows. Well, I don't have the inventory room. Also, I don't need this. Actually, you know what? Let's make this fucking... Let's make it easy and put it here. And then check this out. Just like I was talking about. Now I only need to dig one hole. Look at that. Holy fucking shit. Wow, he's insane with it. Wow. It has freckles and mushroom stickers, probably. I don't have mushrooms on my face. I have various amounts of fungus and fungi on my face, but no mushrooms. Although I was thinking about, oh, do you guys think I would be like cool and quirky if I got like a big old heckin' tapestry back there with all the like different kinds of my, with like a mycology tapestry with all the different kinds of mushrooms? Cause I love mushrooms, guys. I love mushrooms and, like, plants! And maybe one with, like, a summoning circle that says, like, it's the witching hour or something like that. Oh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like that? Oh, I heckin' love that! OMG, that would be so original, though. Yeah, like, maybe too original. Like, ah, uh, mm. You're right, maybe it would be. How about some frogs? <gasps> How about some frogs? Maybe I'll like put a bunch of frogs on shit and shit. Even though if I ever like held a frog in real life, I'd be like, oh! They're slimy and gross. Oh, how do I know it's not a poisonous one? What's happening? Oh, I'm just uh, making fun of people for no reason whatsoever. Where's my snowballs? I guess they don't have to be on, like, my main area here, but whatever. Dag, this is targeted harassment. If you can't- if I can't laugh at you, then you can't laugh at me, alright? If I can't make fun of shit that you like, you can't make fun of shit I like. And chat has never held back in making fun of shit that I like, okay? Thanks, Sure Inc., for the two months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Thanks. Appreciate it. Untrue? What do you mean, untrue, dude? I have four years of evidence proving that that is right. I don't want to go where the trees are. The trees are bad. The trees are nasty. The trees are gross. I don't like the trees. The trees are scary. Hey, it's Wisp. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> what does Dag even like? I don't tell you guys what I like because... I know that that creates a weak point on me. I know that me telling you guys what I like is like a weak point. I'm exposing like my weak points, okay? I'm allowing you guys access to my weak points, which is a big mistake. Big mistake. Never let your never let ops know your weak points. All right? If you guys know what I like, then you can make fun of me for it. If you guys know my insecurities, you will expose them. 
If I ever show you guys any bit of emotion, you will use that to strangle me. In like a verbal sense. That's why I never tell you guys anything. That's why you guys don't know anything about me. And that's why the things that you do know about me aren't actually true, because I've been lying. Do I even live in Pennsylvania? Am I 27? Am I wearing Penn State pajama pants right now? You will never fucking know. He's so dark and mysterious. Yeah, that's right, actually. I think that if I was, like, going to have my Minecraft skin be anything, it'd be Kakashi from Naruto, because he's, like, a ninja, and he's, like, dark and mysterious, and I'll make Minecraft videos. Keep your little secrets. Yeah. I want you guys knowing my secrets. The more you guys know about me, the weaker I am. The more misinformation that I spread about myself, the more powerful I am, conversely. Keep you guys on your toes, you know, sort of thing. Why am I walking full speed? Stop. I mean, it's probably fine, because, like, nothing spawns in the winter. But, like, still, don't... freaks me out. Pole vaulting freaks me out. Everything freaks me out. I'm just... I'm just freaked out right now. I'm really scared, guys. Can I be honest with you guys? I will expose, like, myself for a minute here. I will, like, open up my vulnerabilities to you guys. I'm really scared right now. Like, I I'm, like, really scared right now. Like, it's just, like, the constant fear of there being a bug around me. Just, it's, it's, it's putting me on, like, my breaking point this entire time. I'm literally not been, like, calm and chilled this entire stream. I have been on the edge stressed this entire time. Just, like, because I just, I just never know. You just never know. You just never know. I will expose myself for a minute. Yeah, but not in like the, I'm going to show my cock on stream way. But like, I'm going to show my, really, what's worse? Showing my cock on stream or showing my like emotional vulnerability? I would argue that the latter is the worst, really. Cock's just a cock, you know? But like, my emotional vulnerabilities are my weak points, you know? You guys can use that against me. Huh? Any dung beetles? We smoking dung beetle. No, no dung beetles. Okay, well, I'm gonna kick him to a better spot than this. Why are you farming for Timmy Tommy Shop? Because you need to progress the game to the point where you build the three plots, which requires you to build the Timmy and Tommy Shop, because that's what allows you to get the ladder, and the ladder lets you get up to the upper levels of your cliff to allow you to cut down all those trees and pick all those flowers to make it sure that bugs don't spawn up there, rather only spawn in the little grove of trees and flowers that you left on the main area of your island, basically making the challenge a lot more accessible and easy for me later on. Does that make sense? Or are you going to, like, uh, ask again, like, 30 minutes from now? I mean, both are weak points in different ways. Ah, common misconception. Tis not the cock that is the weak point. Tis the balls. Prometheus, 23-7. <laughs> that's not a Bible verse. Prometheus isn't even in the Bible. I'm thinking, like, Corinthians or some shit like that. Amen. Amen. Isn't Pythagoras... No, isn't... Prometheus? That's the math guy, right? That's the guy who made the fucking A squared, B squared, C squared shit. Yeah, that's that guy. He ain't in the Bible. Ain't no math in the Bible. Damn Bible. Alright, we got these over here. Just in a much easier to access area. What's up, Soapy Toast Pants? How you doing? Okie dokie. Let's uh, even go a little bit further. And cut down these trees. Just so there's absolutely nothing around these snow walls. When I want to check them. Just making sure. Jesus has zero riz. Well, he was a virgin, right? So, kinda. I mean, then again, you can't say somebody has zero riz when there's an entire, like, religion made after them. You kind of have a hard time saying that somebody has zero riz when somebody has an entire ass religion made, like, based after them. I don't know. I don't know, now that I think about it. Maybe just not in, like, he put all of his riz in, like, actual, like, charisma, not, like, flirting, you know? You know, like, what the word riz is based off of? Is that moving?
What is your Riz percentage? Be honest. Um, I don't know. I mean, okay. Now, if we could be a little objective here. You guys must think that I have some degree of Riz. Because if I had no Riz, why would you be watching the stream? Okay. Now, consider that. Consider that if I had no... You can't say I have no Riz, because why the fuck would you be here watching someone with no charisma? Okay, that'd be a little bit silly of you. Now, do I think that I'm, like, 100 Riz? Maybe not. I do have, like, a little social anxiety after all. That's eyebrows? Yeah, eyebrows. That's at least 20 points right there. Was a Mina of Fina. Um, so I don't know. Let me like walk in and out like ten times. That sometimes helps with dung beetle spawning. Are you alive? Plus sixty five Riz. Okay, well, that's already like almost like a not failing grade. In fact, is that not like a D? So I'm already not failing. You have Riz, but watching you suffer contributes too. Okay, so you're not here entirely for, like, my words and speaking. You're here, like, kind of to watch the game and me suffering. But, argue, I would argue now, why are you watching me suffer playing this game instead of watching someone else suffer playing this game? You know, I must have some appeal, right? Dag, your riz got go up when you are silent. It's the truth for everyone. My riz... So, like, if I were to, like, not talk, do you think that, like, my viewers would double if I, like, didn't talk at all? Like, if I sat here and just... Because this would be easy. If I just sat here and, like... You're thinking that, like, my viewership would, like, double? Your viewers would triple if you showed that fit. What fit? My fit is just is a gray t-shirt, man. It's the most basic fit that you could possibly imagine. No, man. I think that if you want an objective rating of my Riz on a scale of 0 to 100, I think I have... 75 Riz. What do you guys think? Accurate? Higher? Lower? Ideally higher? I think I have 75 Riz. Okay, tell you what. I am going to use the uh, little boy's room. I'm going to stay outside while I do it, though, in hopes that... Um... Oh, I'm not going to leave you guys next to a mole cricket. That would be, I'm pretty sure, against the Geneva Convention. I'm going to, like, pop my little uh i'm gonna pop my little self up here and then i'm gonna hope that when i come down like you know just sitting here afk and then i'll come down and maybe there'll be some dung beetle on them snowballs here we'll see be right back don't go anywhere i have been muted for like <clears throat> i have been muted for like a minute now okay that was fun um hi uh, anyway, somebody said, Hello, I've been following your Twitch for quite a while, but I've never caught a stream. I hope I'm not too late. Yeah, yeah, I'm not dying tomorrow, so... I, I sure don't think you're too late. So, yeah. What were you saying? I don't even remember. That's what sucks, is that I can't even, like, repeat what I was saying because I don't remember what I was saying. It really stinks. It really stinks. Can't remember. Dementia Daniel over here. Oh, I mean, like, is it too late for the stream? I mean, I probably am, like, wrapping up within, like, the next hour. But is it too late to, like, start following me and getting into my content? No, not unless I plan on dying anytime soon. Which, it's not in the plan. But, I mean, I guess you never know. <laughs> you never know. Hey! So I think I just woke up like my pet ferret. 
All right. Like, like my 15 pit bulls just all woke up. All right. I'm just going to... These, these, these guys are so fucking annoying to like... Like sometimes you hit the snowball. Don't roll it off the edge. Don't roll it off the edge. Okay, good. Whew. All right. Dung beetle. Got that. Now... We keep watering flowers until we have enough iron to build the shop. I did water flowers today, so let's go to the next day. Really wish I can get a day where it snows. It'd be really nice. A day where it snows. A wish for wings that flew. Is Pet Ferret an innuendo? No, no. Uh, believe it or not, not everything I say is an innuendo. Uh, referring to... My penis. No. Were you rizzing us up with that mating dance? That was not a mating dance, okay? If I was doing that for a mating dance, I wouldn't be streaming right now. Dag, do you ever turn that riz off? Yeah, unless... Yeah, I mean, unless you consider, like, crying to be, like, riz. Is crying riz? Because, like, I can't be rizzed up all the time, man. That's not realistic, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, you can? No, nah, but it's not, like, a realistic expectation for somebody, you know? Like, I have an expectation to be rizzed up for, like, three and a half hours every time I go live. But it's... It's not realistic to expect me to have the same level of riz that I have while on stream as I do off stream. I don't think that's fair to me. What did you just do? Oh, she put her net away. I thought she tried to take a swing at something. Nah, I thought she about swung at me. Nothing? Did I water my flowers? It's just sure reeking of I didn't water my flowers. I just assumed that I did. Well... I guess we'll do that now. And then we gotta keep getting iron. Don't hurt him now, Muffy! She said, nah, I'm gonna take a sip. We're approaching three and a half hours. Well, I guess that's the end of stream. Once I hit three and a half hours, I've positively run out of riz. The, ga the tank is empty. No, nah, I refueled, though. I had a little peanut butter while I was taking my little bathroom break. I had a little peanut butter. I think that that's probably bought me like an extra 30 minutes. I, s I got the energy now. It's not bad that I've been like eating the same peanut butter like from my like cabinet for like the past like five years, right? It's good for like five years. I'm almost at the end, so like I'll get a new one eventually, but like it's all it's fine, right? Peanut butter lasts forever. Five years and like honey, right? It's fine. It said, like, it, it expired, like, two years ago, but, like, it's fine, right? It's no problem. It's no problem. Five years? Dude, I'm a slow eater. I'm a slow eater. I'm not, actually. I'm, I'm, I, like, eat fast as fuck. Everyone that I, like, go out to eat with, I always finish, like, before them. Is that a euphemism? Everyone that I go out with, like to eat food with, I always eat. I am always done before them. I'm I'm a fast eater. I really wish I wasn't. I want to like take it slow, enjoy my food. But I'm sorry when I'm really hungry and there's some good ass grub in front of me, I can't resist. It's literally like not within my instinct to resist. Like just going in on that. And then I and then yeah, and then you just sit there for like 30 minutes. Like, well, I guess I'll just watch this other person eat their food. They probably feel really awkward because they're like, oh man, am I eating slow? No, it's me. It's 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 all a me problem. I eat fast. No, please, don't worry about it. My kidney stones made me a slow eater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the association there? Because I also had kidney stones twice now, and I... I'm a fast eater, and I was never- I've never read to eat slower as a way to prevent kidney stones? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 
What is the what is the correlation there? Guys, I put too much milk in my mac and cheese. Disaster. Well, start from the beginning. First of all, your first mistake was using milk and not like cream. Second of all, your second mistake was using too much of that. So really, you fucked up twice. I feel like you need some work. You need like a you need like a mac and cheese sesh. Are you gonna give me more iron? Well, you're the second person who's giving me a fucking festive wreath. I don't want it. I don't fucking want it. I take like an hour and a to an hour and a half to eat? I've been called very annoying for this. Why does that not surprise me? Why, that literally does not surprise me. <clears throat> Have some holiday spirit, man. You're right. You know what? You're right. I'm, I gotta stop being a stooge. You know what? I'm stooging right now. Or, no, sorry, I'm scrooging right now. I'm not stooge- well, I'm also stooging right now. You're right, I'm scrooging right now. I gotta stop. You're right. I can understand, like, taking your time to eat, but, like, dude, all I'm saying is, if I'm really fucking hungry, and I have, like, I don't know, for me, my mind, I don't, I love food. I fucking love food. It's one of the great pleasures in life, so you'd think that I would use that as an excuse to say, slow down, enjoy that pleasure for as long as possible. No. My brain goes into a sort of, oh, can I not, I can decorate their door, though, right? My brain goes into a sort of... Oh. My brain goes into a sort of, like, feral state. I can only imagine this is what, like, Caveman felt like when, like, Grok brought back, like, a whole mutton for the entire family. It must be some, like, Caveman instinct in me where I, like, seafood... And I'm not about to make the seafood diet joke either. Where, like, I see food, and I legitimately, like, tunnel vision. I can't think of doing anything else in that moment other than eating that food. If there is anything that is making it so that I cannot immediately dig into that food that is on my plate right now, I will get, like, mad. Like, I actually get, like, mad. If I have to say grace, for example, before I, like, eat the food on my plate, I get pissed. I get mad. And if- Oh, dude, then that's the worst, too. Oh my god, that's the fucking worst. If I have, like, the food on my plate right now, I could eat it at any second. But I need to find a YouTube video. Oh my god, I need to find a YouTube video. Oh my god, I need to find a YouTube video. And I cannot find the perfect eating YouTube video. Oh, I get mad. I get mad. I'm like, oh my god, does this fucking infernal website not have any good fucking videos? Like, I actually- You don't want to see me. You do not want to see me when I am, like, in that ravenous state. You do not want to see me. Whoo! I am a, I am an angry person. If there is something in front of me that I gotta eat, and I want it, and I can't have it, for whatever reason, I get feral. It only makes me madder. I pray for the chicken wing that I am about to eat if I am not able to eat you as soon as possible. Just smoked a new op. His meat came right off the bone. Yeah, you guys watch my- I understand the value that I bring to society. I bring you guys those videos that you can watch while you eat your dinner. And that's a role that I am proud to fill in this world. I- it, it really is. It really is a role that I'm proud to have. Honored, even. Because I know what it's like. A good meal in front of you. A good YouTube video. And that's what makes life worth living. It really does. And I'm not fucked up to say that, like, life is legitimately more worth living because of, like, good food and YouTube videos. Oh my gosh, no. I'm not, I'm not wrong for that. I'm really, if anything, I don't think I've ever said something so true in my life. But if we have dinner while watching you, who do you watch while having dinner? I like... Do you want to know my my dinner YouTubers? I'm a sports guy. I like a good sports-like documentary. 
documentary. Why'd I say it like that? I like a good sports documentary while I eat. I like to think. I like John Boys. Always a great eating food YouTuber. Just a great YouTuber in general. Um, just some classic old like SSOH PKC videos. Where he just plays like the most... He's played like fucking every game ever. So he... Type in an old game. SSOH PKC. He's got a playthrough of it. Put that, put that shit on. I don't know. Really, I go through my like YouTube recommended and I like let it serve something for me. It might be from someone I've never seen or watched before. But if it's got like an appealing concept to it, I'm fucking there. I'm eating my fucking dinner to that. Baseball doesn't Yes, baseball doesn't exist is a great one. Yeah, that's a good one too. You could YouTube recommended for dinner is a wild card. Yeah, like I don't got nothing in particular. Sam Onella Academy. Oh my god, that's a classic. That might be my like go-to dinner videos. Sam Onella Academy. Oh, <laughs> that's a. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't plant that. All right, I have five extra iron. Coolio. Still don't have a hybrid, though, which is kind of stinky. Ha, stinky! I really want to get a hybrid before I leave winter. Because if I can get a hybrid, I, I would, I, I'm much more comfortable watering the flowers in winter than I am in summer when there's a bunch of bugs on them. So I'm going to try to stay in winter until I get a hybrid. I did a bit of studying. Yeah, take a break, take a break. Dagon's exposing himself by sharing his likes? No, I just want to, like, share my favorite YouTubers with you guys. I just want to share my favorite YouTubers with you guys. Don't lie, it's ASMR. I don't like ASMR. It, like, weirds me out. I don't like... If it makes sense, I like stimulation, like, audio stimulation. But not through, like, my computer or my phone. I like... I like putting on, like, my fan when I sleep at night. I like putting on rain sounds... Or, well, I guess that's literally through my computer. I like the sound of rain. The sound of rain is great. I love that shit. I, 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 am, I am a sucker for some ASMR. It's just like, usually that ASMR is like a real thing or person. No, I'm not a big podcast person either. Not, not a big podcaster. Never have been. Not even during like the peak of podcasting. Don't lie, it's the goth mommy feeds you, huh? No, dude, I don't like... No, 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 no. First of all, ASMR is oftentimes, yeah, like, way too sexual. Second of all, I don't like that. I don't want to be fed as my ASMR. I'm already feeding myself. I'm already feeding my damn self. I don't like those. I like, like, touch as well. Like, like, feeling. You know? It's not just audio, but it's also, like, feeling. Stimulating feeling. I like that. But you can't get that through, like, your computer. Like, you ever get, like, a... You ever get a professional massage? I've never had, like, a professional massage. But, like... I can only imagine that that's, like... I, I want to, like, drop, like, $200 on, like, a professional, like, Thai massage one day. Because I bet you that would be fucking awesome. I'm not talking about, like, sitting at the mall. Oh, my God. Those fucking... Oh, my God. Yeah, Q-tip massage. That's why I like those. I, I like them. I like the feeling. You ever go to the mall and they have those fucking massage chairs there? You ever go to the mall and they have those fucking massage chair and it feels like... It's, like, really digging into, like, your fucking muscles there. And I'm like, oh, God. Jesus. It hurts. Like, it hurts. I want a nice massage that doesn't hurt. I want a nice massage that doesn't hurt. That's like one of the things I want before I like die. Maybe that's going to be one of my goals for 2024. Get like a nice professional massage. I love those chairs. It hurts good to me. I'm not going to say they don't feel good sometimes, but sometimes they're like, they're like fucking getting into you there. Ooh, no. Oh, good, and it's snowing, so I don't have to water. It's supposed to hurt? I don't want to be hurt. I want to be massaged. I want to be treated like a king. 
That's all I want in life. Is that so much to ask? I just want to have, you know, my little peasant servants serving me at all times, giving me a massage at my whim. I want to be fed when I ask. And I want to have my feet scrubbed when I ask. That's all I want. Is that so much to ask in this life? Hey, thanks for the 500 bits. Starting an official massage fundraiser. Thanks. I will genuinely put that towards that. I have to look for some good massage places around me. I love the little airport doubling money machines. What do you mean those little airport doubling money machines? My favorite musician, Will Wood, has a podcast called Life in the World to Come and talks about apocalypse shit and it's awesome. Well, I'm not saying there wouldn't be... I'm not saying there wouldn't be, like, podcasts out there that I wouldn't enjoy from people that I enjoy listening to. It's just, I don't like podcasts in the sense that maybe it's because I'm sort of iPad kid. I like the visual. Like, why would I watch a podcast where I'm only listening versus a YouTube video, which is more entertaining than a podcast is and also has, like, a visual accompaniment to it, you know? At least most of the time. I guess podcasts can, like, come with, like, you know, them actually, like, recording and filming the podcast, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I can find much better shit out there than, like, podcasts. I know there's video podcasts, but I don't even like those, though, that much. I went to a massage in Korea, and the woman hit my leg fats in the massage way, and I felt too ask awkward to ask her to stop, so I sat there in pain, trying not to cry. I'm sure that they understand if you told them to stop. You know what I did one time, and I felt a little embarrassed by it? I got a pedicure one time, which is like kind of a foot massage. Um, I got a pedicure one time, and I had to... They, of course, they put your feet into like these tubs, and the tubs have like hot water in them. The water was too fucking hot. Like, I had to tell the lady, Can you turn this down a little bit? It's like painful. It hurts. It feels like you're boiling me like a fucking chicken. And she was like, okay. And she just did it, because that's her job, and she's supposed to do that. And, you know, I'm not saying she should listen to everything I tell her to do, but I'm only asking her to turn, turn down the water, turn, cool it down a little bit. Yeah, boiled chicken. A British delicacy. You ever been in those tank things with the fish that eat the skin from your feet? Oh, no, I don't think I'd like that. I know what you're talking about, though. Like, nibble fish. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, I don't like those. I don't like the idea of a fish eating the dead skin off of my foot. That is very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Damn it. I will never get a- He will never get a purple rose. It's illegal to talk about VIP. No. Who said that? Hi, Dag. My low top died. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Attempt nine? Have you had a really bad few attempts at this? Yeah, lately. Um, I don't think I've had a good attempt since four. Like, one that went on beyond, like... I mean, this is the first attempt that hit over three hours since, I think, attempt number four. I think everything before this, like, died some point in, like, the less than an hour to one hour to two hour range. I don't think I haven't had a good attempt in a while here. So, but this one's going well. I think this might be, um, this is definitely the attempt that I'm, like, playing the most carefully. So I think I have a good, like, I have a good base here. I have a good base with which to work with. I'm, uh, I think, I think we got a good attempt going here. I'm going to skip a few days ahead because, well, it doesn't matter if you do it on Christmas. It's fine. It doesn't prevent hybrids or anything. If anything, maybe it'll even be snowing. Maybe take a break from stream and come back. I find that helps if you get a string of bad ones. Okay, yeah, but I haven't had a bad one in three hours. No, I know what you're saying, but like, maybe if I was like in the pits of a rut of consistently getting bad attempts including the one that I'm currently on, and maybe, but also, like, I would think to do that before I, it would be suggested. It's just tense that you can't relax at any point. You can when you're inside. 
Um, that's why I, like, do my BRBs usually inside. Yeah, see, it's snowing. See, I should do it on Christmas. Yeah, like, when I'm inside, it's, like, it's nice to be able to stretch and... Oh, he's wearing a little hat! And I got a black or purple rose. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Uh, that's, that's, that just really... That really invigorated me there. That really invigorated me there. That that actually boosted my mood by like a matter of ten. Which on a scale of like zero to a thousand isn't much, but like on a scale of zero to ten is pretty good. Plus thirty minutes? Um I don't know, we'll see. I kinda do want to keep it going because I feel like every time I like start a stream mid attempt i sort of like forget where i left off and i feel like i lose a lot of like good momentum that i had so i do kind of want to get to a place where like <clears throat> i'm at least like happy with where i've left off goose fuck off all right i'm going to wow i got a lot of fucking flowers that time jesus that's more flowers than i had every previous fucking time what the hell all right i'm gonna separate this from the rest of the flowers because that will spawn a peacock butterfly at some point. And then I'm going to, like... I'm going to, um... I'm going to rework this flower patch here. Because... It's... Like, if there's a bug that spawns in the middle of this, it's going to be a nightmare to get to. It's going to be a nightmare to get to. So I'm probably going to get rid of most of them. Oops. I'm going to get rid of most of them and leave some, but not all of them. Not nearly. I got to sell some stuff. Oh, but the shop. Oh, yeah, I can just drop it off. I can just drop it off. Mans be walking barefoot in the snow. Y'all never had to do that? Hi, hi. Hi, hi. How are you today? I'm oh, pretty good. Thank you, Ghosty Toasty. Thanks for the six months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Y'all never had to go outside in the snow into barefoot? Yo mom ever said, Hey, I'm home from the store, Dan! Help me out with the groceries! And I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't want to put my shoes on. So you just walk out there in your bare feet? Oh, nice, 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 nice! I didn't even know you could get those right now. Nice! You never had to do that? Really? That's a casual Canadian experience? I'm not Canadian! It snows in plenty other places in the world other than Canada. Please talk to Goose for me. I'll prime sub if you do. Oh, shit. All right. And if you don't follow through on that, I would hate to see what would happen. So, I mean, that would be, like, terrible. I mean, shit. Just talking to him and I get a fucking prime sub? Jeez, this job is easy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He was just at the flower patch. He's the fucking, he's just at the fucking flower patch, right? Oh, there he is. Dude, this job's fucking easy. There you go. Shit, I'll even talk to him twice. Because that line of dialogue was just kind of like... There you go. I'll give you two. Since he's only having Christmas dialogue, he's not really like speaking his shit, you know? So I'll let him speak his shit a little bit. Hey, thanks for the Prime! We be the meme! Appreciate it, and thanks for following through on your word. Whew. Gotta respect that. Thank you. And do enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's two Primes? Nah, you can only do one, but like, you know. I just thought I'd treat you. It is the season, after all. I thought I'd treat you with an extra one. Hey, Danzy, thanks for the Prime. For er, talking to rather, Goose twice. You can have my sub, too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Not even a prime as well. Thanks, Dancy. And enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. Now, you're not going to tell me. I was going to subscribe anyway, but I just wanted to make him do something for it. I wanted to make him, like, do something. No, no, no. You were totally, like, only going to do it if I did that, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you weren't going to do that just for the sake of it. You were, like, totally going to, like... You were, like, no, nah, I'll only do it if he talks to Goose, right? Botch this attempt, and I'll give 25 bits. That's not worth it. Okay. I have a price to botch this attempt. 
I won't tell you what it is, but I will tell you it is definitely more than 25 bits. I, I will purposely throw this challenge, this attempt right now, but it won't be for 25 bits. It wouldn't even be, quite frankly, for $25. It wouldn't even be for $25. That's how, like, and that's how you know, like, how devastated I am when I lose a run. Because I'd be losing runs for free, for no financial compensation whatsoever. Now, don't let that be an incentive to give me money, because I probably will not purposely throw this challenge, no matter how much money people give me. But if you said, Dagnall, I will give you $250 to throw this challenge right now. I'd say, yeah, but I don't want to. Like, I'd be, like, sad with $250. Sometimes being happy with $0 is better than being sad with $250, though. You know what I mean? Alright, that's probably good. That'll allow us to, like be able to navigate that a lot easier, I think. And it's also enough flowers to where, like, everything that we need to spawn will spawn. $69? Like, I would definitely, like, heavily consider it for $69, but, um, don't give me $69. If that's why you're giving me $69, you can find many more good reasons to give me $69 than that, alright? I'm handsome, I'm funny, I'm smart, I make good YouTube videos, those are four better reasons than that, alright? Okay. Built the shop, got the dung beetle and damselfly. Sell extra shit, buy three nets, two axes, and five medicine. Not doing that. Although I will buy the axes, because I definitely do need more. I definitely do need more. Give your... Guys, save your money. Statistically, he's gonna fuck up later on. That's also true. Is like, you're wasting money to exasperate... The, oh, you know, I'll, they'll do this shit as well. Yeah, might as well. You know what? Yeah, I will do this in wintertime. It's just easier, right? Yeah. And then we can do all the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? 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 I'm doing things out of order. I don't fucking care. I'm doing things out of order. That's great. Because, yeah, as well, I will probably fuck this attempt up naturally. I mean, I don't, I don't want to think that I will. I'd like to think that this will be the one, but we'll see. I'm sort of freestyling, but I feel like it's not really freestyling. I'm sort of like going off the guide as a way of making this challenge. Because like, my guide that I'm following is the Golden Net speedrun route, and I'm like... It's a good way to, like, efficiently get every bug in the game, but I have to consider, like, some factors that would make it harder to do this challenge, you know? So, like, doing more things in this challenge in the wintertime when there's less bugs and therefore less bugs to scare away is, like, an objectively smart thing to do, right? So, I really should, right? I really should deviate from what I was doing. I forgot I was watching you live. I've been playing your uncut Minecraft vids while playing Minecraft lately, and I was so convinced when I alt-tabbed that it was Twitch, not YouTube. Well, this is Twitch, not YouTube. This is Twitch.television. Yeah, right? What am I missing? Oh, log stakes, that's right. Yep. Do you think you will suffer with the palm tree beetles? Yeah, I would- I am yet to get to that point in this challenge with which to really truly tell you how much and to what extent I will suffer with the palm tree beetles. But yeah, no, I will. Because farming palm tree beetles is annoying enough when you have the luxury of scaring them away. They're even more annoying when you have to, you know, catch them in order to get them to despawn or move far enough away for them to despawn. Like, that's really annoying, but I would just be thankful for the opportunity to get to that point in the challenge where I can tell you, yeah, that would suck a lot. And that's at, like, the end of the challenge as well. Um, so I'm also going to be, like, extremely on edge by that point because I'll be like, haha, I'm at the end of the challenge. All I need to do is catch all the palm tree beetles without fucking up and I'm golden. So, add the stress factor of being at the end of the run, plus the fact that, yeah, the palm tree beetles are a pain in the ass to farm and also catch. And yeah, I will be a little bit like... Yeah, that will be a bitch. You're absolutely correct. But, 
I don't worry about the future. I worry about what I can control now. And right now, I'm just doing what I can to get to that point. Now, that being said, where would be the best place to put a bridge? Shut up. Stop. Sip it. It'd be like... Can I put, can I put it like in the little diagonal section over here, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna squash that gold, but that's fine. I don't care. Shit ain't nothing to me, man. Yeah, right there. That's a good spot. How long do you think a full run will be? Probably, like, um, 15 hours. I'm just gonna throw a guess out there. Like, 15 hours. Okay, that's done. Now we can do the housing plots. Like, 15 hours, if I had to guess. Will you do this with fish? Maybe. We'll see. See how well this video does. And then go from there. The most bugs you've caught in an attempt? I've definitely gotten halfway. So I'm gonna guess like 50 out of 80. So I've definitely gotten like over halfway before. <clears throat> how long will you be streaming today? I don't know. As long as I have energy. And now we'll do the plots. And then we'll cut down every tree as well. And we'll do all that in the wintertime so that we don't have to bother doing that in the summer. Because that would be so much easier. Suggestion to farm palm tree beetles on a bamboo island so there's no river to vault across and accidentally scare one. Yeah, I was actually thinking of just doing them on my island, like not going to a Nook Miles island. Of course, grabbing a bunch of palm trees from Nook Miles islands and then bringing them back to my island and then just doing it there. <clears throat> because, I don't know, it would... The, like, stress of... Having the Nook Miles Islands be, like, so small adds to the stress level of, oh my god, it's, like, so small and, like, no room to navigate. And I could, like, so easily, like, run into a bug. Like, without even, like, noticing because the island's so small. So I was thinking about, like, keeping it on my island, even, and doing it there, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll have to, like, think about it, because I don't know what would be the best way to go about it. Can I squimmy this in here? Oh, no, I can. I can. I totally can. I just gotta bump it over one here. Yeah, there we go. Successfully squimmied. In fact, let's even go back so that we get both of these trees. Next up is donating all fish, but you have to release every second catch, no matter what it is. It's an interesting idea, albeit weirdly arbitrary in... Like, why do I have to release it every second fish? I don't know, because that's what the rules say, I guess? I don't know, I've had a lot of arbitrary challenges like that with, like, artificial goals. Uh, I, I guess that wouldn't be necessarily stop me, you know? Also, that would be, like, tough to remember and keep track of as well, yeah. I would be, like, ranting about something, and I would completely forget that I just caught, like, the second bug, or second fish. In a row. And I was like, well... Oh, can we get a three-banger? Can we get three trees in one go here? Holy fucking shit, that's insane. Insane technology. Wow! That's crazy. Next time, can we do max friendship with all townies in Stardew Valley? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I just, like, take it one thing at a time. I don't really have, like, a log of all the challenges that I have coming up in the future. I, I just kind of, like, do what I feel like in the moment. So, who's to say whether I'll feel like doing that once I'm done with this? I don't know. Oh, let's see. We can get these two trees, right? Yeah, that's good. Catching every Stardew fish without failing one. Okay, that would be really hard and actually probably fun as well. I could totally see d doing that. Yeah, I could do that. People have definitely suggested all fish in Stardew Valley, which I've never even done, even on a casual playthrough. So I would probably have to do that before I consider um, doing every fish without missing one. And also, that would be really fucking hard, because some of the fish in Stardew Valley are really fucking hard to catch. Let alone the pressure of knowing that I have to do it on the first time. Barimba! 
Get the max amount of bells in AC and H? No, that would take like a... No, that would take forever. That's that's just not fun. Also, make sure that um, before you suggest a challenge, ladies and gentlemen, before you suggest a challenge, can I just suggest that you like run it through your brain before you suggest it and be like, hmm, is this fun? Like, would this be fun to watch? Would this make for interesting live streams and an interesting YouTube video at the end of it? Or is it just kind of like a challenge that's more daunting than it is actually fun and engaging? And if the answer is no, maybe don't suggest it. Or if you do suggest it still, expect it to be ignored. Because I, I, all, I run through every suggestion in my head through that same criteria. And if the answer comes out no, that would not make for very fun streams or YouTube videos. Because it would be like mindless grinding for basically no end goal. Um, I usually reject the idea in my head. I could also, like, reject it in real life, but then you guys would feel bad when I say, like, eh! Nope. So, you know, just make sure that you think, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is make sure that you think before you suggest. Give it, pass it through the old brain once or twice. Give it a thought. You'd be surprised. You ever played Stardew Valley to perfection? Nope. Quite frankly, I wouldn't even know, like, how step-by-step step I would go about doing that. I have never met perfection. I don't know what would be the most efficient way to get to perfection. I don't really know if I would enjoy getting perfection because of how slowly it would- how long it would take to get to that point. So, no. I don't think I would do that casually, and I don't think I would do it as a challenge. Just saying. Like, I love Stardew Valley, but I'll be honest with you guys, I get, like, bored of my playthrough and like, year three. Like, year three rolls around, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I, I think that's about, like, the point where I'm, like, content to end the playthrough. By that point, community center's built, Ginger Island's unlocked... The... all the, like, special doodads. Really, the only thing left to do is to perfect the game. Like, finish all those goals that are extremely hard to finish. Get every fish, perfection, every golden walnut, every everything. That's pretty much the only thing you have left to do after, like, year three in that game. There ain't really a whole lot. I mean, Ginger Island was great for, like, adding more content past, like, a certain point. But, you know, even that runs its course after a while. It's possible to complete perfection in two in-game years. Yeah, but I'm not doing it. Just saying, like, I I'm not doing that. Are you gonna stream started when 1.6 comes out? Yeah, in like a year? Probably. That'll probably be around the time where I feel like I can play Stardew again and actually enjoy it. Got a long, like, refractory period with games like Stardew and Minecraft where I have no interest in them for months and months and maybe even over a year. But when I do get back into them, oh, I really get back into them. And I feel like that refractory period, depending on when Concerned Ape decides to release 1.6, will probably be about up by that point. You like Terraria? Yeah, I'm nearing the end of a Terraria playthrough with uh, some friends of mine. And then I won't want to look at the game for probably months after I'm done with that. I will be like, I'm tired of this game. But I'll get back into it eventually. I know for a fact. I love that game way too much to ignore it for the rest of my life. Um, I'll need four. Well, no, I have four of every wood. I have more than enough. In fact, don't drop this. Are you not tired of AC and H? My job. Unfortunately, I would be really tired of AC and H, and I am, and have been, in many points of my life, been tired of AC and H. Unfortunately, I don't want to play AC and H anymore. Okay, guess you don't want to make money no more, because it's sort of my job. Like, are you guys tired of your job? I bet you are. Have you been, if you're not right now, have you been at some point tired of your job? Yeah, probably. Most assuredly. I, you can love your job and be tired of it. But you can't just kind of stop going to work, can you? You're going to get a little uh, fired if you do that. So, while I won't get fired, I also won't make money if I stop. So, kind of puts you in a little Ako, all Ako Taco spot now, doesn't it? Kind of a real, like, Ako Taco, huh? 
That's how I describe it anyway. Yeah, gotta make that money, exactly. You tired of your job? Too bad. You're scheduled at 3.30, man. 3.30 to 9. When you finish Terraria, I suggest you try out Calamity Mod. No, I don't think you understood me when I said, when I am done with Terraria, I don't want to look at the game. Thanks, Chihuahua, for the tier one, by the way. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Calamity sucks. I have heard great things about it. But I don't care if it's Calamity mod. I don't care if it's anything. I don't want to look at Terraria once I'm done with Terraria. I don't want to look at it. Same with Minecraft. Either mod came out, don't care. I don't want to play Minecraft right now. I don't care. Either mod got updated to, like, modern versions of the game. Love that. Love that mod. Love that game. Don't want to look at it right now. Do not want to look at it right now. What if you mod AC and H? That'd be great if I had a Switch that could mod AC and H. I, if I didn't want to play the game, though, I wouldn't mod the game because I wouldn't want to play the game. It's not a hard concept, folks. It's not a hard concept. You've, have you ever been burnt out of a game? You've never, am I the only one who's ever been burnt out of a game where I'm at the point where I, even looking at it makes me, like, bored and, like, disinterested? Ooh, careful. You, I have a hard time believing that you guys have never hit that point with a game before. It's not exactly a hard concept to understand. I've never gotten that burnt out. Well, I guess we're built different, then. Thanks, Mitsuki Desu, for the 13 months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. My job is crocheting and selling it, and people don't understand that I need a break to not get tendinitis. Yeah, you could love your job. Like, you could love, adore your job. You're going to get tired of it. And especially when you monetize your hobbies. Yeah, of course. Like, <clears throat> you're going to, like, I don't know. It, it's a great way to, like, make you hate your hobbies as well is monetizing it <clears throat> when you rely on it to like support you it is a just surefire way for you to end up hating something is monetizing it just nothing n like i'm not gonna say it's not sweet like it is like kind of rad as hell to be able to make money out of doing what i do i would never deny that but i'll be honest with you i definitely love it a lot less now that i do make it my job I still like it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it, ultimately. But, at the same time, it does make you sort of obligated to do it more so than you actually desire to do it a lot of the time, you know? And that's not very fun. ac and designed for you to play every day, not to mention you run out of stuff to do. What do you mean? Is this a way of, like, saying, oh, how could you get burned out of ac and h It's designed for you to get on every day. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, I play this game in a way that is not the way that it's meant to be designed. I do not play this game in its designed way. This is not how you're supposed to play this game. The beauty of it is that you can. But I play this game anything but how it was designed to be played. Okay, that's all the trees on the first layer. Shook. Shook it. Oh, that's why you stopped playing. Yeah. And that's just it. Is that, like, you can stop playing, pick it back up again anytime that you want. And, like, there's, I mean, outside of, like, weeds, very little punishment with which you suffer, you know? I don't have an axe, do I? Rats! Oh, well. Any game that you play it enough will burn you out no matter how much it's meant to be played. I don't know how there's people out there that have tens of thousands of hours in any game. I don't care how addicted, how addictive it is. I don't care how anything it is. I don't know how you play a game for as long as some of those people play like League or WoW or OSRS. I don't know how they do it. It's, uh, that's just blows my mind. Blows my mind. Like, how do you even stand to look at the game once you hit like 10k hours into it? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's over the course of, like, many, many years, but still. Absurd. It's called autism. I'm autistic. I can say that. Is it, though? Like, I don't think that that's, like, the sole reason, though. 
I don't know. Addiction? I guess. I don't know. Maybe I, I just don't have insight. The only game that I have thousands of hours in is Valorant, and that's because it's all all my friends play. I mean, I have a thousand hours in Isaac, but I even go like months to years without playing it. But it's just been out for ten years to where I've just accumulated a thousand hours over the course of like the ten years that I've played it. But I guess, yeah, having other people that play it does make you more motivated to play. Like, I wouldn't be into Terraria right now if it wasn't for the fact that I was playing with other people, you know? But I am, and it keeps me going. I have thousands in AC and H, and it's not my job? That's fine. It's a really reasonable game to have a thousand hours in. It is a very replayable game. My BF has been 100%ing the Master Chief collection. That shit is 700 achievements. I have no idea how he stays so motivated. Well, I would say when you're, like, close to a goal... Like, I'm really close to 100%ing the Binding of Isaac Repentance. And I'm playing, like, every day to get, like, that last 1% that I need. And that, like, last 1 or 2 or however many percents that you are away from it is what keeps you motivated. You're like, I can't end on 99.3%. I have to get to 100. I have to. That's what keeps you motivated for those last few percentages. But then, if they're anything like me, they'll complete it and be like, okay, that's enough for like, now. That's enough for now. That's good. Did you mention trying Splatoon? No. I would have probably tried it by now if I was interested in it. It's by two. Probably one's not good enough. Would you stream Sims 4? I have streamed Sims 4 multiple times. Would you retire if you get Dead God or onto save file 2? No, you know what I'm going to do when I'm going to get Dead God? I'm going to copy my save file to all three save files and be like, Look guys, I 3,000% I 3, percented the game. No, that's what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to do a 100 baby challenge. He has like 20 grindy achievements left so he can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that is probably what keeps them motivated. Is getting that last few percentage points. If they're anything like me anyway. Okay, let's go. Post to Reddit and get upvote. Look guys! I, I totally did beat the game three times on three different save files. I did not download a 100% save file and then copy it to my other two save file slots. Guys, look! Look how, look how good I am at the game! Alright, I think um, I'm going to cut down all the trees on my island, and then I'm probably going to call it there. I cannot stream for four hours, and I begin to lose my mind, as you can tell. So, here's what we'll do. We'll finish this. We'll also make a ladder. I gotta make a ladder. And then after I make a ladder, I don't need any more wood. Except for maybe regular wood. I'll keep regular wood. I'll drop my hardwood and softwood. Okay. Make a ladder. So we can get to the cliffs. And then, drop all my extra wood. Keep regular wood. Chop down all the trees. Maybe dig up all the stumps. I don't know if it's worth it, but I might just do that. We'll see how I feel. I mean, it's gonna be like another like 20 minutes to cut them all down. But whatever. So we'll see how I feel in like 20 minutes from now. Drop. Drop. Here. Here. Drop stone. I don't think I'm going to need stone. I mean, I guess I need to make regular axes. Well, no, I'm not going to need to make regular axes after this. I'll keep that. Don't need clay. I'll keep iron. Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need. Is the ladder assigned? It is not. Uh, I don't need the watering can anymore. We already got that. In fact, I could probably drop the watering can. I can drop the watering can. I can keep that. 